Ah, Hello. Oh God. Yeah, Let me just make sure I everything's working. Um, I feel uh, like... no, I'm not, I don't work on weekends. You do now. Damn it! I saw That's someone right. uh, sharing the cool. clip from the Mummy where uh, she's reading a tablet to get like an answer to something, and uh, like a horde of zombies are coming in or Mummy-controlled people, and. Um, he says, like, hurry up, Evie. Then she says, patience is a virtue. And Brenda Fraser just looks down, looks up, and goes, not right now, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. That movie is so fun. They need to get it in a lab and squeeze all of its juices out so they have concentrated fun and they can use it on things, mm. replicate it, you know? Hello, chat. Delicious, Look at them all. Delicious fun. Poor no, Look at them. All right. Them well, being able to ride and stuff. We're gonna have some uh, some people jumping in and out at different points, I think. Um, so that's just so chat understand. Rags is unable to make it, I'm afraid. We're all very sad because I think he would have very much wanted to do this one. This is this is a weird one, right? I I baited it somewhat on other episodes of uh, EFAP yeah, well, and on a stream or whatever. But um, the simplest way to describe it is Ultimate Showdown of Ultimate Destiny, which, for those who don't know, is a reference to a classic, some might say even the most classic, video on YouTube that, I guess, went viral, right? Yeah, even for its own time, it's big old... I'd say uh, so, yeah. And, 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 you know, it was really fun. It was just a bunch of famous characters you know from stuff fighting each other, and I believe in their version, Mr. Rogers won, and then he killed himself. <laughs> um, wow! <laughs> makes sense. Is it just because nobody wanted to kill Mr. Rogers? <laughs> only, Mr. Rogers is the only power, powerful enough entity to take out Mr. Rogers. It makes sense. Um, and yeah, and I, and I was talking about how there was one that was ran on a website I was a fan of back in the day that pitted like a bunch of people against each other and um Ezio from Assassin's Creed like dominated every single bout because it was clearly a popularity contest not an actual one of like fighting mm. power <laughs> um yeah because uh, the super chat just came in it's time to prove with facts that Ezio beats Alex Mercer it's like that's the thing though <laughs> we're gonna have to go over the what? rules <laughs> so Al Alex Mercer is crazy powerful that's the thing it was just like how is how is Ezio yeah whatever <laughs> so uh, there's 192 contestants in this thing, all right? Okay, I'm out. Oh, it, div oh. <laughs> it, it divides easily into 64s, which makes for uh, three weight classes, because people would like to see some of their favorite characters in here, but some of their favorite characters won't stand a fucking chance against some characters, you know what I mean? So you're like, you try your best to make it somehow, somewhat interesting with each matchup. Uh, most of it's going to be based on our general knowledge. We'll do some Googling. Here and there to get as much information Google. we can, uh, but the the idea Are we using here, AI Google. <laughs> why not? It's a it's a it's a general understanding, but at the same time, we're probably not going to entertain <laughs> certain aspects in certain ways. And so, you know, warning: you're going to get disappointed with certain things, like certain characters. You'll be like, mm -hmm. "Hey, but they have the <laughs> thing thing thing," and you guys didn't talk about their thing thing that could have thinged. And you'll be like, "Yeah, we're going to make mistakes, all right? We'll do our best because there's some stuff in here that." Like, I, I put in that I don't even recognize the names of. Um, or rather, I don't recognize anything about them in terms of their abilities. But hopefully, we'll be able to get by. Now, uh, one of the things that's important is there's going to be no meta destiny plot armory stuff. So, like, any say there's a character that just, like, in their universe, they have luck on their side all the time. That's going to be removed for the sake of these battles. Domino! Well, she's not in it, luckily. But if she were... Oh, no. Uh, something like that would have to be dealt with. There's, there's only a few characters I think this might apply to. There's a couple that have destinies, and it's like, nope, that's out. You've got to fight for your, you know, your own power stuff. Um, and remember, not a popularity contest. This applies to everyone here, as well as chat, who will be asked to vote when we have tie-ups between us and can't figure it out. You know, it'll be left to you. We'll have to trust you to figure out who would win in a particular battle. I imagine that'll be interesting to say the least now the way that the rounds are built is so that it gives some deference somewhat to the abilities of these characters removed from their highest power it can create a bit of a a difference in approach for how we would argue things the uh the first environment there's three rounds per battle and they get a point per win on each of them first one is going to be on final destination that's uh the image on the left there if you're not familiar <laughs> they get to be on that they don't get any resources of any kind other than uh, the only exception I came up with while I was working on this was uh, life support. So in the case of Darth Vader, he's going to need his suit. 
But, uh, for example, Iron Man would not get his suit on round one. So you get characters. Oh. Yeah, they have to deal with the environment and the, the you know, this is, what, this is the point of round one is that they're stripped down to their basics and see if they can win the fight. Round two is that they spawn on opposite sides of a, a, a woods, a wood, basically. Uh, so you have that and you get your basic loadout. Now that sounds a little bit flimsy and it's because it is. We're going to have to do what we can. <laughs> To figure out between us what we think would be a fair assessment of someone's basic loadout. So, um, you know, like like all the characters across fiction, what are they typically seen with? Uh, someone like Batman, this is going to be hard with because it's like, what what would you say is his basic loadout as opposed to him at his full power? Utility belt. Yeah, probably. I, I would say that's fair. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, there's a lot of tools in his arsenal that I suppose he wouldn't have access to. Um, but the, the, that's what round three is for. Where you are, uh, they both spawn on opposite sides of Earth and they get their maximum power set, whatever that may be. And this includes calling in assistance in the form of take um, Picard, for example, would get the Enterprise. And um, mm. many of the military men types would be able to call in, like, you know, military uh, payloads or, or whatever you have. You, uh, the equivalent of nukes or lasers, you know, all that stuff. They get, they get access to all that. And so. Have we got any G.I. Joes? Oh, I don't have G.I. Joe in here, actually, but I think you'll be pretty happy with some of the things that are going to be turning up. Okay. Um, so, yes, like I said, one point per round. Uh, I think that's... Uh, there's, there's three weight classes, like I said, and I did my best to separate them. I passed the list around to a couple people, and they seemed to be, um, you know, th it was, like, relatively fair, done what we can. The way it'll work is the uh, winner of lightweight will be entered into middleweight, and the winner of, winner of middleweight will enter into heavyweight. So it gives those winners a little chance, Ooh. but they're probably going to get squashed with how these are uh, kind of built, you know? And so with all of that, I think we're ready to start round one. All right. Um, which is, funnily enough, we got, uh, like I said, so the way this is built is this is lightweight first. And so these are guys, th these are people without any particular powers, at least that was like the intention. So they're normal people, but they might have skills, abilities, and uh, training and stuff. So, and, you know, I, I would say the word better suited is probably creature, because it goes well beyond people with a lot of these. Um, you even got an alien in here, I think, it's, you know, which is cool. Uh, Jar Jar hmm? Oh, Jar Jar, Jar, Jar That's a. I should have had him in here, that's true. <laughs> It's just not room enough. You'd have for like everybody. a half an hour argument over whether or not he's a Sith Lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the other thing would be that I'm probably going to put a five minute limit on each bout, and uh, you can abstain voting if you genuinely just like I don't fucking know who'd win out of these two because I don't even know who they are or something like that. Oh. In any case, okay. With that, I can start up the first timer with the first fight, which is Sam Fisher versus. Uh, this guy, <laughs> who is uh, the one that Fri guy? Friggy put, uh, suggested putting in. Garrus. Garrus Vakarian. Oh. Uh, where, oh, where do I see these? Oh, if you pull up the stream, the stream, you can see this. Oh, the stream. So they're on Final Destination fighting, like, well, round basically one, just in their normal clothes? They Yeah, casual clothing. They don't get access to any particular powerful armors or weapons. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. So Garrus wins round one, right? Probably. Like, uh, I think I think uh that yeah. Garrus would be stronger than Sam Fisher if it's just Sam like Fisher, pure melee. Sam Fisher would be pretty good at hand to hand combat though. Yeah, but, but I mean like, like yeah, Torians would be stronger than humans. So yeah, I'm yeah I think their physiology is a little bit more than human, right? Mm. Yeah, let's give this one to Garrus. Uh, well, that's what I would say anyway. I think right. like <laughs> round one fun with destination, yeah, Garrus. If this is stripped bare, I would have to say, Garrus, if they're stripped bare. Well, so round two, if Naked. that goes for, for Garrus, round two is basic loadouts, whatever that would mean for these two. Well, I think well, what Sam, is, Sam's got on is his basic loadout. Fair enough. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I figure that he actually starts to get the leg up if you put him in a forest environment. He's, oh, uh, yeah, that's probably true, like, actually. That's his thing. He's stealth, stealth man he's now. Stealthy. Yeah. Yeah, Garrus isn't a stealth guy. No. He's a soldier. Yeah. Are we suggesting that Sam has round two? That if, I think if you put him in a yeah. forest with his basic loadout, that's when he starts to uh, shine in that environment yes. in particular. Yeah, Sam would blend into the trees. He would have all kinds of shit set up for that. Um, 
then again, Garrus with his equipment is going to be it's it's sci-fi, you know, twenty second century equipment. Yeah, it's, a, it's very so advanced. he's got shield, right? Oh, does he? But don't don't, don't they know. don't they have like uh, crazy abilities in, in Mass Effect? As yeah, well? it's been well, so long I mean, since I played it, but I remember it's like Garrus, abilities, like shields and Garrus and isn't a biotic though. Like bi biotics are the powers in Mass Effect, and I don't believe Garrus is a biotic or has any biotic abilities. I don't know. I guess it's a question of like, does uh with with like modern day human weapons, is it even possible for uh, Sam to get through like Garrus's shields? Sam's rifle is pretty good. It, like it's it's very flexible and has a lot of different like firing modes. But um, I guess that's the big thing, right? It's like is is that is our ammo even compatible with that armor? I think what about um, grenades though? You know that's true. Yeah, yeah grenade surely, launcher surely in, like in his rocket launcher grenade. too. Surely a well placed grenade would. Surely, really, right? The projectiles in Mass Effect are all physical based anyway, aren't they? Because they, 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 I think from what I vaguely remember, like the, the way the guns work is they shave little bits of like metal off and then use mass driver technology to propel them forwards as effectively hard bullets. So they're not like so far removed from present day guns that right. they would not be completely compatible. Yeah. I think what I'm wondering is it a matter of it, it, like if Sam can get the drop on Garrus and get like one good shot in to take him out. But, like, if he screws up, then he's probably dead, right? Yeah. It depends on how close he is when he takes the shot. I mean, like, if he tries to, like, knife him, then, yeah, Garrus is probably going to just turn around and kill him. But if, if he takes one shot at him from really far away in a forest, like, who's to say Garrus is even going to know where, where it came from? <laughs> Someone said I don't know who these gay characters from video games are. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know Sam Fisher? Uh, you know, come on. Sam, Sam does have a daughter, so confirm not gay, but I believe you can make Garrus gay if you would like to. Elton John's got two kids. I was going to say, just because Sam has two kids doesn't mean... Yeah, fair enough. Or daughter, whatever. <laughs> um, are, we, are we settled on Garrus winning round three, anyway? Uh, well, he would have the Normandy. Uh, like to back. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a question of what what wins does like third echelon with all of the resources they have, or the Normandy, which is a spaceship. I feel like the, the support <laughs> thing might completely blow it up because can Darth Vader summon in a Death Star, for example? Like, he might be able to. Yeah, that's, that's actually going to be a wins. thing. Is because I don't want I don't want to put limits on that. Whatever reasonable technology these characters can have in their universe, up to and including, like I said with Picard, the Enterprise, then I feel like Darth Vader gets the Death Star, yeah. Because, like, it will absent those, though, then you'd have, like, the interesting first stage round of the final round, which is, like, which of them can better navigate public transport? And I think <laughs> the human's going to do that. <laughs> That's true, but it's a question of whether or not uh, Garrus would even have to, if he could just call in the Normandy, pick him up, and then they can figure out a plan from up in space. <laughs> in fact, that gives him a massive advantage, because Sam can't go to space. Yeah. yeah. Do that, but Sam so. does have an airplane they fly around in in the most recent game. Although, apparently in the chat, I've been corrected. Apparently, you cannot romance Garrus if you're a male character. No. I well, never tried yeah, well, that plane isn't going into space. So, time's up, yes, anyway. He does have that plane, <laughs> but... You gotta put um, your votes I mean, in for who you choose as the ultimate winner. I think it's the tech. Uh, I think it is the tech I, for Garrus. I think Garrus yeah. two to one. Two to one Garrus. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Seems I'm that most people agree it's Garrus. Which, uh, <clears throat> it, just so that everyone understands how this works, uh, you get a second, like everyone has to lose twice to be out. So Sam has a chance to come back someday. But it ain't this hey. day. So sorry. Whoa. The next bout, which I'm gonna get pictures to represent this these fights, but I gotta get the you know I'll probably just announce them first. You can start talking about it while I get it ready. But uh, second fight is James Bond versus Chris Redfield. Oh, uh, Chris wins round one. <laughs> Wait, Resident Evil Five. Yeah. Chris Redfield. Yeah, yes, he wins round one. Yeah, <laughs> the Boulder like Puncher. Chris so. got that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it, like he canonically got jacked between Resident Evil Code Veronica and Five because he wanted to be as strong as he could possibly be to fight Bow. So like, Punch rock. so I, it is Resident Evil Five. Chris, we're going with then. Yeah, I think I think Bond might be fucked. <laughs> yeah, round one. I think that. I think yeah, Chris bodies him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yep. round two. Yeah, I, I can't argue that. 
<laughs> Bond's got his Walter round PPK two, in round right. two, obviously, and uh, Chris would have, mm -hmm. I guess, his pistol and uh, machete if he's got that, I guess, in a basic Well, uh, Bond might have exploding... Um... That's true. Bond Lighter? should. He yeah, he should could get, have gadgets. He should have a selection yeah. of gadgets at his basic loadout for sure. I could, mm. I could see Bond taking out round two with some little gadgets. I, I could too. Yeah. I definitely, yeah, I could see that as well. Yeah. Which um, yeah, yeah. It seems like we're all clear on that. Which means yeah. round three, the decider, both of them at their maximum. Oh well, uh... Bond can only bring in an MI5, so he's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is what's Chris's like maximum sort of technological powers in the Resident Evil franchise. Well, I mean, he's a like member it. of the BSA, BSS, BSA, yeah, BSA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BSA. So I guess he could yeah. he could call any of them in for yeah. help. Sure. Um, oh, he could he could bring yeah. uh, Chris could bring Jill, Claire, Leon. Uh, yeah. You know, Ada. he could bring a multi Ada, You know, he could bring in a multitude of the BSA. You know, on top. Uh, Maybe there's a shit ton that he could do. Also, getting... canonically, Chris will get thrown a rocket launcher right before he has to kill Bond. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Infinite launch. Yeah. yeah. I'd give uh, Chris round three. Yeah, I um, think I'd... Chris probably has the better, like the more advanced. I don't know if we're underestimating to... the potential for Bond um, though, at maximum. Bond, Bond with a fully kitted out car might yeah. ruin Chris. <laughs> a fully kitted out well, Aston Martin is some variety. Um, you know, if it, remember, if they're spawning on opposite sides of Earth, it's like, well, who finds who first and gets the jump on him? Oh, right. Mm. I mean, Bond, like, well, Bond I likes like to, uh, Bond. he's not exactly the most subtle, actually, James Bond. He likes to announce himself. So I, I would say Chris, mm. Chris surely that's if he uh, chooses to, though, right? Because he's a trained, he to. he's trained yeah. to kill, like, assassin like, yeah, ways, right? Yeah, but uh, look at Chris in Resident Evil uh, 8. Look how he uh, got the drop on uh, both Ethan and his wife. But Ethan sucks, though. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, but, you know, Don't. Ethan's not even alive, for God's sake. Bond would also have, like, a lot of very oh. scantily clad women to use as meat shields, so he can just like, <laughs> throw, <laughs> throw lots of bikini-clad women at, at the rocket launcher, and they'll win, eventually. But, like I'm, like, I'm sure with the combined power of MI5, and, like, he works with the CIA sometimes as well, doesn't he? Cause yeah, 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 Felix Leiter. Felix Leiter. Yeah, MI6 um, is Bond. MI5, oh, six, I think, is yes. federal, right? But they just called in a drone strike from the CIA. Yeah, because it sounds like we might no, be split it, on round three. It missed three. and hit a school, though. That's just the point. <laughs> oh, no. We went for Chris and ended up blowing up a uh, primary school like full of children. Bond's gadgets him. get to, like, fantasy levels at certain times in terms of what they're able to achieve, like, well beyond yeah. reason. And I feel like that mm. might actually outclass Chris in, like, um, if ever they got to a, a, an actual fight beyond exploding each other with enormous ordnance but um i but feel chris like just chris but does doesn't resident evil stuff also go like crazy crazy all the time yeah and, and like chris just has to last up. that's all he has to do is last until the uh, rocket launch gets thrown in and then <laughs> bye bye bond well i mean we could pull a vote it's i close, guess at this point between the uh, one, the seven yeah. of us i um i'm more Ooh. inclined personally to go for bond in the, in round three likewise i think i'll go with chris mm. I I would go with Chris Redfield. I right, got three votes left. I think uh, round three. I think I'm giving it to Bond actually. Oh, ER just get the gadgets. Oh, 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 this is oh. getting tight. G gadgets and Bond cars are like can like I I don't think there's any Resident Evil game in which you could be playing as Chris Redfield in which you could take down Bond in an Aston Martin. <laughs> it just can't happen. Let's drive away. I don't know. I mean, like on the subject of uh, using women as meat shields, wouldn't Chris be entirely immune to that? He would never he see a woman and shit. think, oh, hot. He'd be like, no, meat shield, blast through rocket yeah. launcher right now. Yeah, I gotta give it, I gotta give it to Chris. Oh my god, Little Chris Platoon, never, you have yeah. the deciding wow. vote. Well, on point of national pride and honor, <laughs> it <laughs> has to be James Bond. <laughs> Looks like Bond takes it. Isn't that uh, isn't that um, oh, against shit. the rules, Platoon? But you can honestly, between <laughs> the main cast, you can kind of make your own reasoning, I guess. <laughs> but hey, well, wait, I'm, sure like, his, yeah. I'm sure his technology would win. Like he has amazing cars. He could use helicopters. I, there are other reasons besides the fact that he's English. I'm sure, yeah, probably. But he'd blow himself up like he did at the end of the last film. That's true, he is dead now. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, we, 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 how much are we considering canon? <laughs> doing, listen, we'll take. Uh, well, I Casino guess the Royale, Daniel Craig but... movies are their own canon. So, Dan, what Daniel Craig does doesn't affect any of the other bonds. <laughs> Y'all ready for the next fight, which is mm-hmm. yeah. Rambo versus Snake Plissken? Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Mm. Uh, Rambo. Round uh, one. Yeah. Round one, Rambo. Yeah, Rambo. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, round two, what are we looking like? Well, it's a forest, right? That's like Rambo. Yeah, Rambo. Rambo. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, I think Rambo's Rambo. sweeping this one. Yeah. If Rambo has his bow and arrow, I like in the Snake. But... <laughs> yeah. This is a Merc all the way through. This is, yeah, I'm afraid. Because, yeah, round three, I mean, they still is pretty competitive, isn't it? Hmm. Unfair. Yeah, because neither of them really have any <laughs> resources for the most part. I'll tell you why are, Rambo but... would win. Rambo would win because uh, Snake would be trying to get out of New York. He's in the woods. He doesn't know if he's in New York. <laughs> no, <laughs> no round three, three, round the, three. the other side of the... Yeah, yeah, round three. Well, are, are we assuming that Snake is in New York with the bomb? <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, can, can Rambo just wait him out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's already, I mean, it's already over. It's, uh, Dude, I like the first two people rounds, like this so, is an yeah. unfair fight. It's like, you're gonna, just, this is just the beginning of the unfair fights. Yeah, <laughs> <In this game. laughs> yeah no, some of these are gonna be unfair, but like, yeah, everyone watch Escape from New York. That's a good movie, but I think Rambo takes this one. It seems yeah, like we're all I, clear on that he already one. Has. He's already got two out of three, so yeah. Which puts, sorry, Snake. Snake! Snake! No, Snake! snake. Oh, he's, boop, he's in boop, this boop, as well, boop, actually, so. Boop, boop, boop. So, oh, yeah. you should have a snake versus snake, man. I didn't. I can't force these things. Okay, some stuff just happens. <laughs> um, so the next one is Captain Price. Everyone knows him versus Steve from Minecraft. What? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> wow. Um, I would have to go round one, Mr. Price. Yeah, yeah. That's probably bare fair. Bones. With bare bones, you just, Minecraft Steve has nothing. Yeah. <laughs> this matchup is so funny. Can you imagine Price dealing with this? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of name is Steve? What kind of name? I don't know. Can Price punch down trees with his fist? Still takes yeah. a few hits, though, right? Your uh, mouth looks like my mustache upside down. <laughs> if we Price give Price round uh, one... Round two and two, three yeah. are going to be complicated because Steve can dig and it'll be difficult yes. for Price to find him in the woods yeah. once he does that's that. That's true. I presume that, that is, <laughs> that's the deal, right? If he gets like a shovel, then he can just dig cube shaped holes in the ground. Yeah. Steve could theoretically so, dig the fuck out of the ground but well before Price would find him and build whatever he is capable of. I'm not as familiar with Minecraft as I'd oh, like to be. So. A little, just a little yeah, lava, I, I just a little mean, lava right? hole. Yeah, like uh, Steve might yeah. take take round three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think Steve well, would well, take round three, but I, think, I, I, got a, well, I got price for round two as well. well I was actually yeah, going to say, I, I assume I we all agree round three is Steve's because he gets access to hyper fucking power if he's left alone with yeah, all materials. Yeah, yeah. anything. Yeah. Like, almost anything imaginable. And as much as if, if price knows where he is, he can tactical nuke him, but I don't see how he would find him easily, oh, you know. So well, he needs to get the kill streak first. Round three is that they don't. That it's like they know that they exist, but they have no idea where they are. Yeah. So it's a matter of if he could find him before Steve just digs a hole and then disappears <laughs> from the world for a bit. into the nether. For a mass tower. It becomes true in round two as well, though, because like, like that's the nice thing about Steve is that he's a completely self-made man, and like his basic <laughs> toolkit is all you need to get theoretically out of this earthly dimension and down yeah. into hell. Yeah. And all he needs is his fists to do that. And then, like, and he then can go platoon. immediately just down through the floor and then summon a dragon oh, well, or the something. Thing, the thing is, on round one, if he just did that, he'd, he'd die. Final destination, he just plummets into the abyss. Yeah. Oh, well, so I was just <laughs> thinking, that's true, but Nowhere he could to totally go. set a trap for Price, right? If he dug, he made it one block level above a big hole, and then when Price is above it, he cuts yeah. a hole out, and then he just falls into the abyss. Yeah, that's true. I think I think Steve wins, actually. <laughs> well, so wait, what as what was your logic for Price taking round two? Uh, my logic would be that Price would be uh, able to track him and track where he's going. Uh, regard uh, so he'd be aware of these little holes that he's potentially digging. Um, if, maybe even oh, tracking him through the holes as well. 
And uh, also, he'd have a sniper rifle if he spots Steve fucking taken in the head, mate. Yeah, but the thing yeah, is, when he's underground, like they spawn within within eyesight in the forest. Like yeah, they spawn pretty far away from each other, other in theory, in the forest. Yeah, but yeah. if Steve goes straight down, then mm. what's he doing? Is he going to dig down? What if he, what if he hits lava and falls in the lava? Uh, He'll probably find some I, diamond before then, won't ooh, he? And then also, all Steve has yeah. to do is wait him out till nighttime, and then Price gets taken up by giant exploding penises and skeleton men. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I will say, for the sake of the fight, the the Minecraft world rules aren't applying, but. If he gets yeah, the diamond and makes a diamond sword and gets one slash on price, how much damage does that do? That's a big if, I though. I mean, mean where's right. this forest? South Africa? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it's it, like, a mystical forest. I, I think that one we can debunk with just like basic c comparison of the game mechanics, right? Like, does anyone really think they're getting a kill if they throw Steve with a sword into a Call of Duty game? <laughs> no, but. Bring a um, sword to a gunfight. The, the whole nature of an ambush, <laughs> though, isn't it? Yeah. And something that's working against Price is like, with his basic equipment, is he going to be able to do like spelunking? I don't think so. I don't think yeah, he's and, ready and for that, you know? Steve, like, Steve's right like, here. Steve's sort of uh, edge here is that he can displace and replace soil at an alarmingly imp impressive rate, while Price would be like, what the fuck mm. is this shit? Like, trying to dig through with his gloves yeah, like, on. He's like, kind of dealing with a supernatural entity. Throw a grenade um, in. Yeah, but... Throw a grenade in. <laughs> That just means yeah, that Steve's got to account Steve for it put, like, somewhat. Like a block in front of the way. Yeah, he just put it in front of it, and then he's okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm chat to, chat have honestly. Steve as the winner overall. I think it seems anyway. I'm leading towards Steve. I am also leading towards Steve. Actually, well, we'll just I mean, do a vote because we're, we're near Steve, the limit yeah. anyway. So I mean, um, I'll go Steve. Yeah, Sounds Steve. like Fringy is too. Uh, yep, same, Steve. Yeah, oh, you, yeah, you got me, guys. Oh, well, I that's all right, yeah. Words, but you made some compelling <laughs> arguments. <laughs> I, I will contrarian and, and go Price. I'm just uh, I'll, I'll throw another one in for, for Price, just because, I don't I'll know, I see, him winning in, I see him winning in the jungle warfare yeah. scenario. <laughs> it's just funny, though. Steve's <laughs> very bright and <laughs> very easy to see. I, I think you need to be one hell of a Minecraft player to get Steve beating, <laughs> like, Price with the full loadout. <laughs> The thing is, <laughs> in the somewhat, woods, like... it is somewhat Steve's game, so to speak. As in, like he gets to control the environment somewhat by by moving around and deciding yeah, when they will advantage. actually fight, um, because he has so much use That's of the underground. Game. Anyway, next bout we have Malcolm Reynolds versus oh. Anton Shigur. Who? Oh, know. you'll know him when you see him. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh. Um, oh. So basically, round one is who do you think wins in a fist? Oh, <laughs> oh um, uh, no. This is, mm. this is a tough one because I actually think Anton might be stronger I... overall, but Mal is like a really good brawler. Good fight. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would have I would have Mal taking him in round one. Yeah, I, I'm voting Mal for round one. I could be argued either way. Um, to be honest I'm with not you. sure. Because we have to I'm remember, sure. Anton's a fucking psycho. Like, yeah. yeah. I, haven't I, seen the I could see so him long, going but just. I remember him being a fucking crazy person. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, well, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. oh Mao's got Mal's Mal's fighting a war. You'll see Mal's something is... new. Do not be. I mean, you know, if you've seen Serenity and what, well, if you've seen anything, Mao will fuck you up. He will. He, he's. He's. He will. He's yeah. got. Um, uh, he's got his own set of morals that may differ from ours. No, yeah, you, you, this is why this is a tough fight, but I, I th yeah. think I might go for Mal I, I, in round one. I would be leaning towards Mal, yeah. Yeah, same right. here. Yeah. In that well, case, he, he'd fight. Fight. Be, I think it, like, it could, could go differently any other day, depending who gets the first punch sure. or something. So round two? Well, Mal. Cause... Mal can take a lot of hits, too. Like. Anton's loadout is a is a cattle. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a cattle, <laughs> yeah. cattle executor. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, yeah, true. Like I the, think the, the the I think the right. range for Mal will make it so he wins. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which that means he's got it, right? Three, Mal's, three has this, has Mal's got Serenity, serenity so yeah. it's yeah. game over. <laughs> yeah, Serenity does kind of make it like mess up the the balance of the third one because the third one it's like you got to think if if he could blend into the crowd and then all of a sudden i don't know offer mal a coin toss at some point and do his thing <laughs> maybe but i feel well, like serenity would be able to track him down way quicker something worth keeping in mind as well of course is that mal is pretty damn accurate with his pistol um yes 
So, yeah. you know, it, 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 I think, yeah, he's probably, because I saw people say mouse sweep, and it's like, I, I understand why you'd say that. It makes sense. Yeah. I'd have a mouse sweep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And not just because I love Mal, but I think that would legitimately be. I want more of that show. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know, right? Not now. <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> the next fight we have, and fucking don't tell me about unfair matchups, okay? These people are both in lightweight. That's the best <laughs> I could do. We have oh boy, Rick excited. Deckard versus Ellen Ripley. Oh. Ah. Uh... Hmm. I think round one. Well, have round to one, to, it's to Deckard. Deckard. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Deckard round one. Round two, he obviously has his pistol. What does she get as a base loadout? I she... mean, does she have the, the pulse rifle yeah. duct tape to the flamethrower? Well, yeah. I think basic loadout, Ripley, just, she doesn't usually carry a weapon. Uh, mm. She threw circumstance. Cat. and Yeah, she could throw a cat at him, but I don't think that's going to do a lot. <laughs> Is the thing. Well, there, I mean, there's also an important distinction you have to make whether or not Deckard has the super strength of a replicant or he's just a dude. I think he wins. Oh, either. that's a. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that that makes makes the the Wait, there is an answer to this that's oh, easy anyway. Oh, no. As far as he's aware, well, he is a man. So he'll. Uh... Yeah. I can't, yeah. Um, but in any case, I, I, this, that's why I preface this with it's unfair. I think Deckard just beats her three times. Um, I mean, are we yeah. giving her the flamethrower in round two? Round, oh, round like, three, though. Did she, did well, she get the crane as well? Did does she, she get the crane? I suppose the question know, is, does she get the Sulaco and the Nostromo in the in the third round? Which oh, she does. I think you... you, you yeah, oh, you could yeah, argue that. Has, uh, get all the marines. Well, uh, but the thing is, it won't matter if <laughs> he's oh, won the alien. first two, right? He's already booted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's already over. I, I mean, that's... The, like, but the big question is, like, does Ripley get her flamethrower in round two? I think that's that kind of like her. her I was going to say, even if she I, did, I it's, it's, the thing that would make the difference is the pulse rifle, but I don't know if it's fair to say that's her basic loadout, like compared to Rick, who's. Yeah, I, you know, I think I get what you mean, where his basic loadout is the gun. Well, the I mean, he's carrying it with him all the time. Deckard's movement, so um, that's a big thing, because if she can track Deckard's movements, then he could be in massive trouble for round two. I, true, I think but... we at least need to decide what Ripley's basic loadout is, because if it's just that okay, she's a space trucker, she just in her like jumper and that's it, like her, that's, her that's mechanics. The I, there are a couple. We're gonna get there. There are a couple characters in here. You're like, why are they even here? They can't win <laughs> like any fight. We're the harder hitters of lightweight right now, but she is one of the. If it were everyone at their maximum, the fight, the whole listing would be really different. But this is an attempt to try and level it, balance it out, and stuff. But yeah, Ripley. I think, because I'm mainly considering Alien and Aliens, not 3, 4, or whatever the fuck they decide to do next with it. Yeah, I, I wasn't even thinking of it. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. she she winds up with a flamethrower at the end of Alien, and a flamethrower taped to a pulse rifle at the end of Aliens. So, I, I think that, at the very least, we should split the difference and say she gets a flamethrower. Well, but that's the thing. That's yeah, her maximum. Uh, Other characters have maximums that they don't have access to until round 3, you know? It's, you hmm. know, end of movie sort of loadouts are very different to standard loadouts. I think we can all sort of agree on that. Somewhat. Yeah, I think so. I yeah, like I her a true. lot, but I feel like he's got it. Next up, I'd, I'd yeah. give round three to Ripley just because. Yeah, that's fair. I don't, I don't really mm -hmm. think that's unfair. We've got <laughs> the man with no name versus Carl Johnson. <laughs> uh, man with no name. Oh, wait, no, but round three, he, man with no name is fucked. Yeah, I think we can all agree he's losing round, round three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, round three, he doesn't win. So, round one, these guys, you know... Um, I think... What condition do you have CJ in? I mean, he's just... Because well, you can, oh, you yeah. can make him really jacked, or he could be, like, tubby and out of shape. <laughs> I, I think we just take him as, as he is like normally, this. not when he's super-duper yeah, strong, though. <laughs> this would be an example. Um, he doesn't get cheat codes, all right? Everyone's talking Aww. about that already. <laughs> I th I th well, so, I mean, I think the thing is, is, like, I'm not as interested in round one. Round two is, like, well, he gets, like, you know, modern day guns. Yeah. You know? That's well, pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, CJ's <laughs> gonna win, then. You're right. Yeah. He's Although, I mean, would he be quicker on the draw than the man with no name? Yeah. He would not. Like, who's uh, getting the first well, shot? I mean, even if you have modern he guns, be, whoever's he... shooting first. Um... If There's range like, to sure, consider, though, isn't there, right? Like, yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. Well, does the man with no name get a rifle mm. in round two? 
Because that would put an edge to yeah. it. Hmm. But the thing is, have we agreed? Because if we agree that CJ has round three, if CJ has round one, then it's over anyway. Well, so who wins in a fist fight between the two? It's yeah. like, well, uh, CJ's really good in a fist fight. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that, that's I'm, I'm, yeah, I think it'd probably be I mean, CJ. I don't know. The thing is with round two is it's just like, okay, but I don't know, just CJ with like a, like an AK-47. You know, <laughs> it's, just, it's just, I don't know. It just seems like he's got it. The man with no name is awesome, but he was not going to be able to last long in this tournament. Oh, and also, because uh, does CJ get body armor in round two? Oh, that's yeah. a good question. Is that a basic loadout? Well, I mean, you can get body armor. It's not. I think if Ripley get. doesn't get the flamethrower, then CJ doesn't get the body armor. I don't know. I mean, like, you have to acquire the body you, armor. It's not yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but like, whenever I'm playing Grand Theft Auto, I'm usually getting the body armor, like, as, as a default. Yeah, that one's is hard to why say. Why would you not have it? You know, like, it's, uh, it's kind of a case where you'd always get it. I suppose CJ wins either way, though, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Don't worry, guys. You'll have some tougher ones to have to bite bullets on in terms of your favorite <laughs> characters having to die miserably. Uh, for example, the next oh, one, we have Mad Max. Hey, look, because the film Ooh. came out. Versus I just watched all of those. Zorro. Oh, interesting. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Now. So what is Zorro's basic? Are we talking the just Zorro as Zorro? Just basic loadout? Or yeah, he doesn't get his sword or Zorro as basic his... Loadout. Okay. He has a whip, right? And then he also has... Uh, sometimes you'll have a gun. Uh, Zorro depends on which one you go with. But uh, round is one the ammo in Max's shotgun. <laughs> is, well, we'll, is the we'll, ammo we'll, we'll go around one first yeah. in a fist fight. Who's winning out of these two? I think I think Max takes it. Probably Max, right? Yeah. yeah. As far as I'm aware, Zoro is a really good fighter for strength and agility, and he's got a lot of training. I don't think yeah. we should count him out. Right. Isn't Max because yeah, he's a post-apocalypse right. survivor, while Zoro's had like training. Well, he, he... But he was like a super cop before the apocalypse. Yeah, it's like the, the the cop thingy going on as well. So he. Oh well, that's why I think it's intuitive too. to maybe say Max, but I wouldn't count Zoro out. Is what I'm saying, like his potential. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. Mm, yeah, yeah. He is indeed mm. swordless, but his sword's not going to matter much Might in be. round two. No. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I think in round two, for most of Road Warrior, Max's shotgun has no ammo, so like Zoro could probably win with a sword. I think we're, we're fair to uh, say he has a... ammo. No. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't think Max is winning. And Wait, Max, would probably, think... Max would probably win know. round three, too, right? Because he'd have, I guess he'd have, like, his car. <laughs> so, I guess it's yeah. a question of how well does Zoro adapt to modern life, you know? Well, Zoro, if Zoro's on a horse, then, like, oh, I mean, yeah, I guess Zoro would have to probably <laughs> learn how to drive a car. Also, are we, are we counting in Fury Road, Max? Because he was driving a war rig. He's, well, I, I, I think saying is, I'm going with the ones that are on the screen. So I'm going with Mask of Zorro and Road Warrior here. <laughs> okay, so if we do Road Warrior, then what about Max's fucked leg? Oh, yeah, good yeah. point. Mm. That could be a real problem in the fist fight. Um, I was assuming that he, you know, that he's fine. <laughs> like, no banged up leg. I mean, what's, what's, the... Mola, what do you say? What do you say to that? I mean, the images are supposed to just represent the characters. Uh, with Zorro, he has a hell of a lot more sort of mythology, so to speak, than just the yeah. Anthony Hopkins movie. I felt like it'd be weird if I said you had to restrict it to that. It's a general understanding mm -hmm. of both of these characters across their, you know, all of their stuff. And then a sort of basic understanding of what their basic loadout would be. I would even allow for a basic loadout for Zorro to have a pistol. He doesn't have one in, in the um, Banderas movie, but... Uh, as far as I'm aware, he typically does in a lot of his other stuff. So like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider that unfair. Um, but at the same time, round one, I'm almost like willing to abstain. I have no idea who would win in a in a fist fight between these two. I think it could go either way. Actually. Okay, so I, I think you could give Zoro round two, especially if you can make the argument that Zoro could have a pistol. If the different split for the the ammo for Mad Max is that. He just has the two shells in the in the shotgun, and no other. I don't, I don't know why we don't why we assume that he would only have two shots though. Why do we assume? But that because it, it's a big mechanic of Road Warrior that there's no ammo in that shotgun for the yeah. vast majority of the movie, and he's still finding a way to use it to solve problems. 
by just using it to threaten. Um, I mean, uh, sure. But I don't think you need to worry about know, like the I, events I, of each of these films as opposed to yeah, what yeah, we're like, seeing I, I as their resources. He has a gun with, with ammo. <laughs> like, they didn't hmm. have enough ammo. <laughs> He's spawned into the forest with that. And like, he wouldn't that have would a... That be like a legitimate question though, right? Like, that's, that shotgun will hold two... Mm -hmm. yeah, point, yeah. Well, and Zara's yeah, like, gun does he carry have ammo with him? Just the one shot. Um, so I still think Max oh, has yeah. the edge in round two. I uh, yeah. Zara's got a lot of agility. A whole yeah, he's lot quick. of agility. <laughs> and there's yeah, a lot of cover really in the fast. forest. Yeah, a forest has a lot of cover though. Of Final course. Destination, yeah. if there was a gun, that would be no chance. But you, you can. You can avoid a shotgun shot in a forest if it's not properly aimed. Speaking from experience. No, yeah, personal experience. Have we sort of decided that Zoro gets... Or we, who's getting round three? I, I would go for... Uh, my the way, I'm, ugh, the way I'm feeling right now, I'm sort of going with Max, Zoro, Max. I th I'm inclined to agree with that, yeah. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's fair. All right. Well, it looks like yeah. I think Max yeah. is the winner. It seems. But what if Zoro had a gay blade? Ooh. Oh, how does how do gay powers gay work blade. on Max? How does he do blade? It well, I mean, that's what it's called. Zoro the gay blade. That's uh, the name of uh, one of the movies. Does yeah. uh, does Max ever <laughs> fight the gay in, in any of his movies? Do we know? Uh, is there precedent for this? Maybe he's. <laughs> Maybe his blade's gay. I mean, uh, yeah, have you seen the villains in Road Warrior? Oh boy, we love oh, yeah. to. They're very gay. <laughs> They're doing lots of that stuff. Oh, just just the ones in the in the first one. They're super gay. Oh, second one as well. Yeah, no, I just saying the first one also. We've got us a matchup for history. Or at least it's uh you wouldn't be surprised as to why this one is here. It would be Nathan Drake versus Indiana Jones. Oh, oh. oh. Mm. Um, the feats that Nathan Drake accomplishes are pretty insane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like he, he, he survives some really insane feats. Um, his body count is enormous. Um, True. I, I, I think in a, I think in a fist fight, Nathan Drake uh, d d wins. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I think Indy's winning well, no, the fist fight. Nathan Drake yeah, lost I... the fist fight to some lady or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Naomi I mean, beats him up. Yeah, uh -oh. That's that's true. Yeah. And what, what Indiana Joneses are we we talking about here? Peak oh, Indiana. Obviously. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know Indiana exactly Indiana. what. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not, we're not we're not dealing with old <laughs> Indiana. No. Does he already have the dial of death? The thing is that? though, <laughs> the thing is, uh, Nathan Drake shouldn't have lost that fight. <laughs> In the Uncharted 4. Yeah. <laughs> well, Neil I mean, Kirkman, Neil Kirkman made him. To be yeah. fair, as has been noted by Chad as well, it's like, so you're just decanonizing stuff at whim. It's like, kind of. If We're not going to be considering a sequel trilogy, <laughs> well, you know, for Star Wars. Indy yeah, only, like, I, I think, only is win it not... fights if he's lucky, though. So I'm thinking, like, the first one, it, like, when he gets saved because the aeroplane takes out the guy, and he's losing to the, the big evil German guy until the aeroplane takes him out. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure the fist fight on top of the tank, he only wins... The car. Oh, how does he win that one? Doesn't someone like knock the tank and he falls over? Like, I'm Indy wins a lot of fist fights because he gets lucky more than because he has an immense amount of skill. So I'm right. sort of wondering whether he might lose round one. He well, he beats the of, crap um... out of the the jailer in Temple of Doom at the end. Once, once say... like the voodoo doll kid gets subdued by short round. Uh... Yeah, Indy. I would Indy argue Indy take that guy out pretty easily. Uh, Indy quite satisfyingly makes use of his environment slash his luck. As in, like if he sees something could happen, yeah. he'll try and funnel it to have that happen. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. But the thing is, this is final destination. So exactly, he yeah. has an absence of a lot of the. Oh yeah, I just feel true. like it's Nathan Drake. Just like the things that he accomplishes are insane. It's crazy, yeah. Um, like he, yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like it's fairly straightforward on this one. <laughs> like for round one, at least, anyway. Yeah, oh yeah, and right, just for right. reference again, I did say at the beginning, no luck is actually allowed as an actual resource. So, uh, I think the reason why we were highlighting luck there was to uh, show that Indy isn't. Like, and I think this is on purpose. He's not the best brawler ever. He, he's he yeah, yeah, he's beaten the fuck out a lot. It's, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, whereas, right. like, Nathan Drake actually is, like, incredible at fighting. Yeah, you're, well, you're, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, okay. You're a tap well, of the triangle button away from winning pretty much any melee encounter. 
But it's Indiana Jones's stuff all happens in one film. Nathan Drake, it depends on who's controlling him, and you can die multiple times before you do it. So well, then, you, do you we're canonize not that? About him as if he's like we're assuming yeah, the video canon game character. Yeah, that's yeah we're, we're, we're talking about like him canonically. Nathan Drake never died. We're just talking about as as like a guy who accomplishes what? the things what? that he does in the story. Yeah. And I would, what I would he say, is like, if yeah, we're just being insane. fair, they are similar, but I think Drake being younger and he seems to have stronger sort of consistent victories in his, his fist fights than Indy does. I That's think it's fair thing. to say he gets yeah. round one. Um, yeah, I, I think so. Sure. Round two... Indy would win round three, right? Because Indy has God. <laughs> he can just open the box and win. <laughs> Dude, I love the idea that he, he's holding well, the fucking uh, the Ark of the Covenant and he just uh, opens yeah, it in yeah, the way well, of... Like, well, hmm. Is that, what it, is that what it looks like in round three? Because well, mean, we might have to deal with round three depending on to... what's because the, the round two uh, mm. situation, of course, is Indy in gets with their weapons. He gets his whip. Mm. He probably whip, gets a pistol. Whip and pistol. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. But uh, the thing is, Drake... Drake gets a rifle. Yeah. Which. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you ever yeah, start with a rifle, rifle in Uncharted? I th I think you um, usually only start with a pistol. Yeah, but, most... but the thing is, is that my assumption for max power for Nathan Drake would be like rocket launches, grenade launches, access to, like mm. to me, it seems like a basic loadout would just be one rifle, one pistol. That's like your general loadout. Yeah, fair enough. That's what you're. I know that nobody wants Nathan Drake to oh, yeah. win these fights compared to Indiana be... Jones. Like I understand, <laughs> but I'm just saying. This will be the first of. There's going to be ones you're not going to like at all, chat. In future, you can see yeah. from the <laughs> listings you're going to you're going to hate yeah, some like, of your favorite that... characters losing to who you think is cringe. But in this fight, I think Drake has it. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, I don't like it, but yeah, even I, I gotta admit, it's the the argument's compelling. It's like. Mm. Well, some it's people like, really like Nathan Drake, three, so you got that. That's true, but it, I mean, I think that when you put them both together, everybody's probably leaning towards Indiana Jones as their oh, favorite. Oh, yeah, yeah. But like Nathan Drake, I, I don't know, I feel like games. it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> like, One the things the... he accomplishes are insane. Only two of them are on PC, which is weird. Well, no, the it's the two newest ones. I don't think I ever played four, actually. <clears throat> it's okay. This is about to get strange. Um, no. Good. There's going to be a lot of strange ones in the best way possible, but uh, our next fight is Jon Snow versus King Arthur. Oh. Easy. Oh. Um, <laughs> Arthur? I know Arthur. I finished Game of Thrones, so you, you guys go ahead. Uh, Arthur, is it, wait, is Arthur Ghost Arthur. his primary loadout? <laughs> well, so... No. I like that King Arthur picture. Yeah. Primary loadout more, right? <laughs> Was King Arthur, right? I mean, the, yeah, the, the, I, I got yeah. King Arthur. Yeah, just to help. Can Valyrian out, steel we... cut through Excalibur? That's kind of an interesting thing. They both got magical swords. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, so round one in a fist fight, uh, we going with King Arthur. I think, I think so. Arthur. Yeah. Yeah, I would. It seems kind of. Like, does anyone want to give like an explanation? Because it just seems that we're, mm -hmm. we're all just. <laughs> Well, I mean, he was a knight that was, I, I guess, influential enough as a knight or, like, had enough acclaim as a knight to start, like, the most legendary order of knights. So, you know, leading the knights of the round table. Well, I can only imagine he's... Best fight, though. Well, yeah, it, worthy, yeah, worthy enough to take the sword from the Lady yeah, of the Lake. Yeah, the strength of Excalibur from now. Lady of the Lake, yeah. yeah. So right. he took the sword out the stone. And then round two, they'd both have their swords... Uh... I mean, John is considered pretty yeah. like one of the top tier warriors, but obviously this is kind King of a Arthur we're dealing with. There. So, one to one sword fight, I think. I think fifty fifty. I think well, we would probably I mean, grant the Valyrian around... steel would not cut through Excalibur, right? We'd probably be all be on board with that. Yeah, mm. I, yeah, right. Like, I mean, yeah, it is magical. <laughs> Yeah, it, it could not be pulled from a stone, and it managed to cut I'm, through that stone too. I suppose the thing would be like I'm I'm thinking like round three. So like round three, he's got the Knights of the Round Table. He's got Merlin. Like he's got that work. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. What well, does does John have like Melisandre? Well, I was thinking. Stuff? I'm not sure oh, if we should entertain bringing in additional people because okay. 
Um, It'll start to get really unravelly and complicated, right? In terms of like, um, think of like the Marvel I universe: the thing is, a superhero is that... bringing in a superhero brings in more and more and more and more. You know what I mean? Like it would spread out like so a huge tree. In this example, it would be endless, wouldn't it? Because they'd both have wizards just bringing them back to life if they die forever. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> That's actually another cool um, connection. Yeah, I but I guess the thing is, though, I mean, surely it was bringing in other people. If Captain Price can, like, you know, bring in SAS, right? Like, I was trying that, to that is um, bringing in other people. Hopefully, restrict to just technology rather than people okay okay even though people um, would theoretically launch the technology you know what i mean but like still uh well how i guess who who would we say has surely king arthur has better access to resources than john snow at maximum because he's a king does a dragon count as people or technology oh. well yeah <laughs> whether or not john has a dragon is a big deal <laughs> Mm. That's a really tough question to answer because it's going to have repercussions for the rest of the conversations. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, does he get the dog? Uh, well, that's, yeah, well, that's the first thing I asked because of the art. Well, because people are saying like you've been allowing them having spaceships, so is it fair to have something like a dragon? It's like probably right, probably. I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. John gets his dragon in round three at least. Uh, well, John, no. Doggo, no, yeah, dragon, no. What he didn't get the, he because he, he didn't. Well, I mean, he got only. He rode a dragon. He had a dragon Three for a little. It wasn't a bad season, but he <laughs> did have a dragon. Well, this is the thing. That's his max. Uh, I'm willing to concede that. But what does King Arthur look like at his maximum power in like all mythology? Well, Knights of the Round Table. Yeah, that's the thing. That if if Knights of the Merlin. Round Table is out, I feel like yeah, that's then yeah, then I think John's taking round yeah. three, especially if the dragon's but, in, or even guess, Ghost at that point. I understand the rationale behind the rule for sure. Um, I guess I just I wonder in this case. Well, well I don't, I don't think, know. Uh, why would the Knights of the Round Table thrones, make a difference against the dragon? The dragon uh, from Daenerys? Well, I, I don't know. Like Merlin, what what can Merlin do? Well, he like Merlin's powerful. Merlin's a different dragon, case, right? yeah. Well, I mean, like, he yeah. gets, he does get the dragon from Daenerys, but remember, the dragons in in that universe bond with a rider, and that's just kind of it at that point. Like the mm -hmm. rider has to die for them to get a new rider, so that's his dragon once he starts riding it. Like I said, I, I'm I'm Listen, fine with uh, saying that John and his maximum dragon, version though, is to have right? a dragon, but it's uh, like people saying like, like maybe a dragon isn't. Knights mm. kill dragons, but I, I don't know if uh, I just don't know how practical it's going to be for that with a dragon flying is... above them, and it just burns the shit out of all of them, you know. And if you don't get other people, is that just Arthur? Is Arthur fighting dragons on his own? I don't think when, so, right? Like, I mean, that's not going to be very easy. Pretty sure, isn't one of the Arthurian legends that the reason there are no dragons left in all of England is because Arthur killed all of them? I well, think. Sure, was it yeah. specifically Arthur, or was all the knights? Well, but like, what are we what are we dealing with in that in those legends in terms of dragons? How big are they, and how powerful are they, and how often do they fly? Like the Game of Thrones dragons are pretty yeah. nuclear weapon style. I'm willing to buy it. I'd just be curious at the uh... mechanics of it. You know. Hmm. But uh, it wouldn't it says, necessarily. Based off, uh, it does not appear that King Arthur did kill dragons himself. Oh. Hmm. Um, according to one account, King Arthur was given Excalibur by Morgan, the Lady of the Lake, in hope that he would use it to kill dragons, but he only used it to kill his enemies. Hmm. Oh, dick. All another another account the... has that King Arthur worked with uh, Macados. The king of the dragons. And that after the dragon was tricked by Goliath into an ambush, Arthur's friendship with the dragon deteriorated. Mm. There's no evidence to suggest that King Arthur personally killed any dragon. So John still, then? Well, I'm still pretty convinced Arthur gets round one and probably round two. I do. Yeah, and I think John gets round three. Which means... Uh... I'd give it to Arthur overall. Arthur wins. And Arthur wins. Yeah. A fair fight, somewhat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this thing, I'm not as familiar with uh, Arthurian legend, I'm afraid. But this thing ever loads. The next one, which, give me a second, I'm grabbing the pictures for it, but I think you guys will remember who these characters are. Leonidas versus Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> which is a good one. 
So obviously it's Maximus tough. from uh, Gladiator, not fucking Gladiator. Fallout, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, hold on, no. not the Fallout one, right? <laughs> Oh, oh no. what about Fortress Maximus? So in a fist, I don't know. I this feels like a in a fist fight. Mm. I Leonidas. Leonidas is playing by slightly different rules. He's a comic book character. Well, I mean, I wouldn't. I, this is this is why I think people found this one a bit like ooh, because I don't know if we count either of them out at any point with this one. Mm. Yeah, like to me, this doesn't oh, I can't really. I think this one's too too um too close to call. I think I, I think the way because uh, I think well, I'm inclined to go with um, told it's an un Leonidas on the first round, I think. Uh well here's a question. I know we're jumping ahead. Round three, what does Maximus get? Is Max power him with like a whole legion? Uh, see, that's where it, this is where it gets complicated because I feel like he well, should. Don't but, get people. But the, the like the people ruling is like, well, does he get like what, machines does, does of Leonidas, war? Does Leonidas get his man? The three hundred, yeah. yeah. So because if it can involve other people, that really does hurt a lot of their power scaling at maximum. Is now a bad time for me to ask about the the rules of this? Uh... <laughs> no, probably. <laughs> no, please do because I yeah. I'm super curious about the rules too. Yeah, I mean, also hello. Got, hello. Hello. Also, I think you hey, Mario. Hey, 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 hey. Not your fault. Well, the irony is that fucking, the, between the two of you, you weakled out because Theo was too quiet and you were too loud. <laughs> but hopefully that's fixed. Um, okay, so the way it works is uh, we have these matchups and uh, they have three rounds to fight in. First round is uh, base loadout, no resources uh, other than life support. And then round two is they get their basic loadout in the woods. Oh, sorry, I should have mentioned. Round one is on Final Destination. In the middle of space, essentially. It's like a little block of land. Uh, round two is in the woods. It's like, an, I guess, an infinite woods. I never even thought to uh, answer that either. But it's, there's nothing else to it other than just it's the It's a really woods. big forest. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then round three is they spawn opposite ends of Earth. And they get their maximum power, whatever that may be, in their respective IPs. And so... Okay, and we would just arguing over what that entails i i seem to understand yes the, it, it's been difficult to really nail it down i already knew it would be but like we, yeah. we've allowed for certain characters to get access to like starships and nuclear weapons and stuff as would be in their ip but then it's like but we try to block off additional characters because it kind of if you have king arthur calling in merlin it kind of merlin is in this by the way you know what I mean? It would be like, imagine they had a yeah. team up, but yeah, it's like, okay, well, King Arthur calls in Merlin. Merlin calls in King Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> why, not, why not just have the round table set out, you know? Well, that's the thing. It's, um, it's, it's been difficult to try and make it fair. Uh, but we're, yeah. try we're trying, right? We're doing our best. But in any but case... We are accepting, like, that spaceships are being flown by people. Yes. I was going to yeah. say that, yeah. So, like, mm. we can accept that these guys can summon, like, faceless legions, then. I think that's an interesting way to put it, yeah. Maybe that's a different right? I can't summon named you know, characters. Like, yeah, but if you just summon a bunch of guys, like, that counts. <laughs> Are they bind on equip or soulbound? I, uh... <laughs> so in that case, if you had an army, you could call in an army. But it would be just as, I mean, faceless. As, yeah, I, like, I quite like the way Theos put it, like the, yeah. the faceless units, as opposed to... Got it. Um, like Thanos... So no hero characters units. with their uh, own specific skill sets. Is Leonidas no hero units, faceless understood. 300 yeah. army, the 300? Is it? I would assume. I feel like yeah. Max is. Well, wait, is his Max 300 or should his Max be like Sparta? All of Spartan's warriors. Yeah. I think that that's like history's already answered that question for us, though, because there's the reason the Romans took over from the Greeks. <laughs> well, but wait. Should well, we just. Wait, so are we, yeah, Italians so are better. Are we, better. Leonidas, are we just pitting Rome against Greece? Is that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we should scale it up. Think, that far. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to say, we can avoid that complication it, if right? if we're going to all agree. I don't know if we are, but if we all agree uh, Leonidas takes round one and two, then it's over already. Uh, that's uh, the thing, though. I don't know who takes. I don't round know two what, is, what is the toss up one. I think because like, well, I'm, like, I'm not gladiator. I'm not counting out Maximus. Right? Is... right, Maximus is a very clever fighter. There's no denying it. But yeah. mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, I just really good. you know Leonidas Does is pretty fucking great. good as well. We did sure, see maybe, Maximus. Two, we did see Maximus in a forest fight, though, winning against the Gauls at the beginning of Gladiator. Yeah. So perhaps we never saw Leonidas in in, in any forest. forest. He was only on. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe it's bad what... terrain for him, you know. Because <laughs> mm, surely round round two is just they both have a sword. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah. It's not easy to and create gates of hell. Well, you'd get trees. Leonidas would get oh, a shield, Maximus. his spear, and his sword. Well, Maximus might get all of his Roman armor then. Yeah, no. And he might have his horse too, right? We, we, we and a horse. Create and a, and a horse as well. But not the other, right? So I think we can we can determine an advantage for Maximus in round two. I don't know if it's a definitive one, though. Uh, for the I, yeah, I, 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 got, I got Maximus for round two. Line. Yeah, same here. Single yeah. combat's kind of Maximus's thing in his movie, really. I mean, like for a lot of it. You could argue that's the same for... <laughs> Leonidas. I He's don't even know who I've got for him. round one. Round one. No, Leonidas is in is in like m multiple multiple enemy scenes primarily. I think. Yeah, but it's he has, only the he has one multiple one on ones. After. If you remember. Yeah, yeah I guess like, that's true. I think it's safe to conclude that Leonidas would like be pretty dominant in a one on one fight. I think I, I think I like the idea that Maximus gets round two because we know that he can succeed in forest terrain. <laughs> like we know so. that. <laughs> We, I don't know. I feel like that helps him, right? And plus, yeah, armor. I mean, sure. Like he's got armor. Yeah, I mean, the armor. Yeah, will that's a sure. big thing, actually. Um, and then for yeah. round three, it becomes a matter of how bullshit are the three hundred, right? Well, <laughs> well <laughs> arguably, arguably, round three, it's, it's whether or not they get them uh, bottlenecked at a pass. Or yeah, not. because <laughs> yeah. round three I mean, is just the entire Earth. So just, like, yeah, they have the entire really Earth depends on the I would also argue that <laughs> round three could down to just know that which one would have more numbers. I don't even know which one would have the ultimate command over more people. Are they bound towards the one taking the most direct well, so route towards the I think this will take us down a route we shouldn't even try talking about. Like, <laughs> it's going to be way too difficult. So maybe to equalize them... Is Maximus them... ever referred to as a centurion? Is that... No, he was a general, right? He, he was pretty yeah. high-ranking at the beginning. He okay. was a general of, like, an entire army. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but so like, that's that's my. Well, I'm just the, saying, centurion is a is a term that does mean you're in charge of 100 people. So that would that thousand. would give us actual yeah, math, legion, but right? yeah, the legion. Yeah, so a legion's over a thousand, I believe. Yeah, which which probably I mean, safe to I assume guess, it, Maximus has more than Leonidas does. But yeah, that would be my yeah. Is that how we do this, or is that uh, unfair? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, should we just I mean, do a vote? Pick one, right? We're out the time, aren't we? Yeah. How we generally? Uh, how's everyone I'm feeling? Uh, we'll just go one at a time. It's Maximus. Maximus, all right. <laughs> I'm I'm leaning towards Maximus myself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to abstain. I am really not sure. I feel like it could be either of them. Um. Mm. Yeah, same. Abstain. I'm more <laughs> uh, knowledgeable about their anime counterparts. <laughs> 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 Anyone else want to uh, vote? I want to go Leonidas on the basis uh, of like the nonsense of his combat scenes, but I wouldn't, or like the combat scenes entailed in that film, but I haven't seen it recently enough to say. So <laughs> it's um... real tough, man. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, another thing. The, the unreliable narrator aspect of Three Hundred, like Leonidas, is oh, only yeah. really shown to us as a as like Faramir telling the story to a bunch of Greeks who are about to go into battle. That's so. True. Everything about Leonidas is exaggerated, whereas Maximus is, he's just, he's just in his world. He's not a story within his world. I mean, I'll give it to you. The mm. physics get played with a little bit in 300. I say a little bit. Um, the, but the thing is, like, it's, <laughs> it's, it, I still believe Maximus and Leonidas at their best would probably be a pretty good matchup. That's why I'm just, like, not 100% sure. I could probably be convinced by someone who would yeah, uh, give a definitive breakdown. We need more Mavericks here to make a decision. Well, it sounds I would like say it's... I would go with Maximus. with Maximus. Leonidas wins round one. Maximus edges round two and completely wins round three. Uh, it sounds like the Maximus yeah. is having about right. Uh, yeah, Maximus. Oh. I'm okay. Good for you, Maximus. Maximus. That's cool. You yeah. did it. <laughs> Maximize your five minutes. Good job. You guys are gonna start hey. wondering about some yeah. of these matchups in terms of how the fuck did this happen? But it's important to remember that this a lot of this was in a sense because there was no other options, okay? Or it could be all kinds of reasons. But the thing is, there's always interesting things to discuss. Or maybe you won't think there is, but there actually is. The next fight is Tarzan, right? <laughs> versus... <laughs> We're gonna be ready for this. Versus Peter Venkman. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well, wow. round one is a is a is Tarzan is going to contest. fuck up Peter yeah. in round one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Tarzan. Round two, Tarzan. Well, so, <laughs> so this is where it gets complicated because from what I gather, if he gets the proton beam on him for long enough, it will burn the fuck out of Tarzan. But Tarzan's pretty quick, and we're in the woods. I think yeah. Peter's yeah. fucked. Yeah. We're in the woods, exactly. <laughs> Tarzan is super duper fast, especially we're talking about. You'll just go boom, 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 boom. Yeah, animated. animated he's basically yeah. Tony Hawk. Any Would, angel the, that's that's the, the, the proton pack and thing. An astronaut conversation. I'm reminded of that. Yeah. Then they just, now this isn't a jungle forest, right? No, but oh, no. I'm sure uh, he can make use of the I trees. I presume that he's still pretty competent in a and just a you know boreal forest. Yeah. Just on the proton mm. pack, though, I mean, isn't the proton pack nuclear powered and it does set fire to things? So, like, he could either mm. Vietnam the entire forest because it's not going <laughs> to run out of power, or he could actually turn it into a bomb, in which case it's pretty much a, a score draw because I think they'd both die. But I, I wouldn't entirely write Venkman off in round two. If he starts mm. Vietnaming the forest, does that, like, serve his purposes at all, though? I mean, he can burn down the entire forest with that, right? Like, that makes sense. So. Does it serve his purpose of killing Tarzan? Yeah, maybe. Can, I, I don't think he can guarantee that Tarzan, unless he's planning to kill himself as well, Venkman's got to be moving out of the forest as he's burning what's behind him. And I don't trust well, that, that right? Tarzan won't be able to get around him. I think mm. without him knowing he's balance, really fast. Balance the probabilities, Tarzan wins more than Venkman does so, if you run that fight over and over again. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. say so too. To be clear on something, uh, mm -hmm. the they don't know where each other are in the forest. They like no. spawn randomly. They spawn and they have to look. No, they're yeah. within sight. They okay. spawn and they gotta yeah. find each uh, other. Tarzan, Tarzan clears easily. Yeah, <laughs> Tarzan yeah. sweep. Yeah, I think I, I think oh, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. It's a Tarzan sweep. And then, and then round three, he just gets run over with the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's too late. Like I don't know how the fuck Venkman's finding uh, Tarzan, but Tarzan sure as shit can find him. Yes. Yeah. Like or something. Oh no, this one's excited. You'll never believe what we're dealing with now. And you know what? You're gonna think there's an obvious answer, but you gotta just you ha you have to consider every element of their fiction, okay? And it makes a lot of sense when you see these two teamed up. You'd be like, oh, of course, Smaller would have them fight. We got Shrek versus <laughs> Jigsaw. <laughs> I think we have round one. Uh, <laughs> round one is pretty Here's round Shrek would body Jigsaw like in round one, one. <laughs> toss him off the final destination. <laughs> what, what, what's Jigsaw's loadout for round two? He's going to be able to an elaborate. You'll have like, his little retractable engine. blade. I th I'm not sure if he gets a gun. <laughs> Does he get a remote controlled like dummy thing with the mask? He gets a tricycle yeah, we'll with a little that. doll on it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, but he like, still, does, he does still Jigsaw loses get in round two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, here's I, the thing. I got Shrek one and two here. One yeah, round easy. three. I think round three Jigsaw easily wins. Yeah. I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't be so sure. Yeah. yeah. What kind of magical abilities does Shrek have access to in, oh, in... sorry, yeah, my bad actually. Yeah, Shrek mm -hmm. dominates all three players. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Shrek sweep. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's true. It is a Shrek sweep. I think so. <laughs> Hashtag yeah, because, Shrek yeah, sweep. Jigsaw doesn't get to set up shit in the forest. He doesn't have, like, his full gear with him no. or anything. No. no. And so everything. Shrek just wins that fight as well. So, yes. Like, even yeah. if he has a knife and you were to give him a gun, which I don't <laughs> think he even likes guns, but if you give him a gun... Like it's still just going to be getting bodied by Shrek. So was that, Shrek yeah, like, I mean, can Shrek be killed by a, by a gun easily? He's pretty big. It's just That's what there... I mean. Like, even if you gave him a gun, it's not going to do anything against Shrek. Is there ever a universe that's concocted where he can get him into a saw trap? Like, ever? That's Shrek in a saw trap. <laughs> I think that's the problem is, like, Shrek, ha Shrek having access to, like, potions and all that sort of crazy stuff, like, that mm. gives him an edge that I think yeah. Jigsaw will not be able to account for. Yeah. He'd never be able to make a trap that he could guarantee would hold him. He's too unpredictable. And yeah. somewhat magical. But people are saying he, he can fart as yeah. well, which has quite a potency to it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to rule that out. Just, oh, yeah. yeah, track sweep. Yeah. Track, uh, he's got a lot going on. It'll be interesting to, to come back to him later, see who he's up against next, because it could very well be Maximus. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> we shall see. Next up, Bugs Bunny and Mickey leaving. Mouse. Um, Bugs Bunny oh, wins round uh, one, I would yeah. think. Uh, no, nah, Bugs I sweep. Think, I think Bugs is winning every one of these. Sure. Who's got I'm inclined to lead towards it. 
Yeah, I'm inclined to lean Bugs more Bugs is involved with in violence sleep. far more often than Mickey yeah. is. Yeah, Bugs is nonsense. But Bugs can <laughs> lose, right? Bugs can lose. Mickey Mouse can't I mean, lose. Not really. When was the last time you saw Elmer Fudd actually shoot Bugs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, but he I, could I, lose, I mean, right? Like, it, it's Mouse potential to lose. lose. Mickey Mouse, it's not like Mickey Mouse has the power in his universe to not lose. That's not how it's going to work. Yeah, we don't entertain yeah, that. I mean, but uh, I was going to say, like what's Mickey got at how, highest powerful level? Hasn't he got, like, really good shit? I know he's... Wouldn't, what? Wouldn't legit Kingdom We're Hearts not talking about Kingdom Mickey Mouse Hearts. be the most yeah. powerful? I don't think we count. Does Kingdom Hearts <laughs> does that count? If we're thinking <laughs> I play Kingdom Hearts. Hearts actually, I refuse Mickey to Mouse. acknowledge Kingdom Hearts. Um, oh, I, I'm not doing it out of like protest. It's more so I don't know if Mickey. I don't know. Does Kingdom Hearts count as like canon for what Mickey Mouse can do? I mean, he has magic I mean, anyway, like, doesn't he? In certain yeah, yeah, yeah. Movies and stuff. In, yeah, like Sorcerer's Apprentice, he yeah. can, but that doesn't work out so well for him. So no. by the I don't know how. These, by the rules of these characters' continuities, the winner is determined by who it is more funny to see lose. <laughs> as much oh, as that's, that's true, that's we got to do better than that. Well, so I guess here's the, I mean, I guess it's round one and two is kind of the conversation, right? Like at base, I don't think we count Mickey Mouse as a, I feel like one and two is like their base level is essentially them with nothing. Yeah. That's like, you know what I mean? Like that, that feels like to me what their base stat is, is, is like just, they don't have anything, no yeah, weapons, no anything. I think like max yeah. power for Bugs Bunny is like, oh, I'm going to get this hammer out of my asshole and I'm going to beat you up with it or something. Yeah, but max <laughs> power for, for Mickey is he either has a, a, you know, super powered wand, or well, he's I, a paintbrush, guess, or he's got like what any I'm of getting these... at is, uh, is that like round one and two, I think, is what determines it. Yeah, yeah, and I think yeah. round one and two, it's it's Bugs Bunny easily. I would go with Bugs Bunny. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure. That's what Does I think. Does anyone object to monsters? that? Only no, if Mickey can like, give Bugs right, and mitosis and that, or something. I saw someone ask, is cartoon physics a power? And I think the answer is yes, because of... Absolutely. I, I think so. Yeah, cartoon powers count. It's complicated, I guess I would say, because it's going to come up as an issue at some point, probably, and we'll have to solve it when we get probably. there. Probably. We'll do but, our but best, I think okay? It is a matter of like, <laughs> yeah. It is really hard to are, take like, all like, characters from all things and have them be able to fight each other in a coherent way. Speaking uh, of I which, think, like... the next fight, okay. uh -oh. <laughs> Eric oh Cartman versus E.T. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god e. Cartman would what fuck E.T. E. up! Yeah, what is the offensive <laughs> power of E.T.? Well, Look at his face! Well, well like... <laughs> the thing is, you gotta, you gotta remember guys, Cartman's like not good in a fight. Cartman's yeah. like notoriously, notoriously shit in a fight. In a fight. Yeah, but, but, but he's yeah. against E.T. He's attack person. Yeah, but I don't like, think E.T. E. As far but... as, correct me if I'm wrong, E.T.'s main power is he has slight levitation. He can, like, lift things somewhat. And that's about Boy. it. Well, that's mildly mildly I think stage one might be a draw well, of both well, of them if failing. Has, if he has slight <laughs> levitation, does that mean that he can just grab Cartman and move him off of the platform in Final Destination? Post. No, Carbon no, Carbon wins round one. He would trick him into trying to help him and then he'd like push him <laughs> off. Uh that's well, the thing is is that they're both trying to kill each other, right? Like that's Yeah, I uh, I'm inclined to think Carmen. I, don't know, I think, I think he can make E. T. E. feel sorry for him. He could, he um, could pretend to hurt himself. Like that's a Cartman uh, move. It, it's it's trick trick pity and <laughs> then turn lost to on Wendy. the person and spring the trap. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's true, Wendy. but Wendy yeah, Wendy's like, smart though. I, I, oh, I mean, but I mean, you've also just got that like Carmen gets hit once and he cries a lot of the time. <laughs> true. That's true. Like, wow, yeah, but, like, I don't think E.T. is throwing a punch, though. That's my point. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> the, I guess he could the, freak the, out that he tries to touch him, though. Um, hmm. like, <laughs> yeah, but like you'd have to assume that he would freak out enough that he would like run off of the platform by accident. Is that out of character for Carmen? Just win the first round. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess it's yeah. Like even for as bad as Cartman is at fighting, he probably does beat ET. For I think he one, does, right? and he probably yeah. does in round yeah. two as well. If he finds like a, round two, I think he would. Yeah, you beat well, him with like a fucking ET at full power, even right? Like he's not very. Well, I guess he has he's still alien, just ET. alien technology. <laughs> well, I mean, he's on our planet alone and naked. Like I mean, <laughs> and he still can do some stuff. 
and Cartman can make chili out of his entire race. And it's I think Cartman dominates round three. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. he has yes. access to all the time and resources he needs, he can concoct some crazy plans. Yeah. Yes. Half okay, that's true. Yeah, each other, Cartman around. would end up with like an army. You know. <laughs> yeah, he'd find a way. He'd have Cartman a at one point something. makes an alliance with literal Cthulhu. <laughs> That's true. He does. He does. Oh. It's uh, he cannot be counted out, and I think we're all in agreement. Uh, yeah. yeah, Cartman's got yep. it. Be curious to see how far Cartman can get, though. Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> the I next. We're going to get matched up against someone that just beats him up in the first two rounds. And that's oh, it. that's we will get to a point where someone is just going to kick a child in the face until they're dead. Like, yeah. that's... Yes. <laughs> <Fantastic>. <laughs> Literally, I've come in at the right time, then. Uh, hey! <laughs> hey, drinker. Hello, drinker. Alright, yeah, this hey, one... What did I miss? Clear, oh, you, I don't even think... It's it so difficult to go over. You know, if you really want to know, though, you can scan through the stream on mute, and you'll be able to see all of the <laughs> images to show all the battles. The one you would have probably liked to be a part of, and we can ask you who, who you think would win out of uh, Leonidas and Maximus. Ooh. Damn. That's a mm -hmm. pretty tough matchup, actually. They're, mm. They seem like they'd be quite evenly matched, actually. Mm. Um... Maximus has got better armor, I think, but Leonidas is probably the better soldier overall. And I think mm. he's got command of slow motion, so I think that gives him a distinct <laughs> advantage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He's got Snyder power. And his beard is is truly epic. I think it functions as a secondary suit of armor as well, so <laughs> I think my money's on Leonidas. Well, fair enough. I think we actually voted for Maximus after much discussion. Uh... It was, yeah. it was a difficult one, but I was going to say, we better soldier on with the next uh, fight. You never know what's going to happen next, but if you pull up the screen, you get your images, which you probably should for this one. I was very happy with the image I found for this, but Homer Simpson <laughs> versus Ronald McDonald. Sorry. No, Homer. I just... think that Homer... <laughs> 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 Homer I still think Homer's winning round Homer, one. <laughs> Homer is a uh, pretty dominant, I reckon. It's so yeah, basic it's loadout, right? I agree, Ronald, right? Is that what he gets in round two? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I think Homer beats the fuck out of the clown in both the first rounds, but... I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. I was talking yeah. to a friend about this particular matchup, because I thought it was so funny, <laughs> and uh, then it was, they were like, you know, does, does Ronald have any powers in the McDonald's lore? And I googled his powers... And I don't know what the fuck it's from. There's someone who's like, there's there's this whole description in a wiki that says Ronald McDonald is the third most powerful entity in the omniverse. <laughs> 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 I was like, wait, I what the we, fuck? As, as we discovered about Homer, though, like uh, in that episode where he has to fight Dredrick Tatum, he becomes like a boxer. Yeah. He's got like this extra layer of fluid around his brain, so he can take an enormous amount. <laughs> he's got of yeah, ultra endurance. Yeah, he's got ultra endurance. I was going to so, say, for, for our purposes, Ronald is a clown. He's not an, an, a, a fucking omniverse entity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He falls down the Springfield Gorge twice in one yes, hour he's and lives. Super yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Arbor is a really good fighter as well, actually. He's pretty good. Well, remember, um, yeah, right. what was that episode where, like, there's, like, an adopt a kid or something and, like, Bart gets yeah, taken in by this. Yeah. Yeah, right, they they roll Jack down died. Springfield Gorge and up the other side while still punching each other. Like mm -hmm. I'd, I'd say it's just um, Homer is competitive with a really strong, muscly guy. Mm -hmm. um, he he barely yeah. loses. Just so, a counterpoint you know. though for round one, like because Homer is also very easily startled. So if if Ronald manages to scare him and Homer <laughs> screams and runs off the edge of Final Destination, which I can see him doing, mm -hmm. he's not, not impossible. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it depends. But... Yeah, because like, what would Homer's rage level be going into this fight? Like, is he just? Are you taking him out of an average day, or is he pumped and ready for this? It's casual in the first round, and to be honest, the second round okay. is sort of like casual loadouts as well. But I really do think Homer's got the first two rounds. I don't know what don't know armies yeah, Ronald yeah. commands in round three, but we don't need to deal with it right now. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> maybe one day we get. We're yeah, too, we're too busy. Clown. Homer's we, got it. We got the next round, which is and. I, hold on to your hearts for this one. It's going to be difficult to talk about it. We've got Mr. Mm. Bean versus Kermit the Frog. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I, wow. Oh, boy. <laughs> Kermit Sweet, oh, I think. Kermit Sweet. What? No, Mr. Bean's an angel. Oh, mm. that one, that's great. I mean, I feel like on Kermit the basis does... that 
Yeah, Mr. Bean's a human, and Kermit's, <laughs> like, small, so I feel like Mr. Bean could just stand on him or something. Yeah, I think, I think Mr. To Bean would night. toss Kermit it, off okay. Final Destination. He'd feel very bad about it. Mr. Kermit, Bean, uh... Mr. Bean's got a, got a wicked streak in him, by the way. Yeah, can, don't... Here's the thing. Can Kermit actually move in round one? Yeah, yeah. Because he needs... He's, or, he's like, yeah, he's he's like a hand in him. No, Kermit is puppeting a... him and they're no, like Kermit's alive. alive. <laughs> Kermit is Kermit alive. alive. He's walking around and okay. he's like, you know, he, he spots Mr. Bean. They spot each other and what what happens next? And I'm afraid I think Mr. Bean might have round one. I think Mr. Bean. I mean, he yeah, might kick him. Yeah. Kermit's got any? <laughs> it, does Kermit have any hidden powers that we weren't too aware <laughs> Nothing of? Nothing I'm aware of. I'm Cause... afraid. If he yeah, could he maybe convince Mr. To Bean to throw himself off file testing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then we're in a forest. Yes, round two. Right. I mean, Potentially Mr. Intuition. Bean knocks himself out in that case. Mr. Bean yeah. 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 I don't think, I don't think Terrain's going to confer a huge advantage on Kermit in this case. Um, What's required now, though, is in. Mr. Bean has to Camouflage. tear Kermit apart to win it now. He can't just toss him off. Which don't take. Oh my away. god! He'll do it. He'd do that. I mean, it doesn't <laughs> seem like in his nature. But how is it doesn't seem like it's in his nature? This is a guy that was, that was, that was stealing a blind man's lunch for goodness' sake. You know, he'd do that. He'd rip him. The important it. question is: How is Kermit killing Mr. Bean? What's his I, motive? By causing Mr. Bean uh, to like fumble into obstacles and you know, tree yeah, branch. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think I mean, Kermit like, can win. If Kermit got up in the trees, jumped down on him, and snapped his neck, like, while he was, <laughs> Can you know, he do that? Down, I just, I don't think he's got the physical strength to do that yeah. for a human. What well, fucking him. episode no, of the Muppets did you watch? <laughs> what he can do is he can Muppets hide. after dark. He can hide, and then he just keeps calling well, out for Mr. Bean, and because I mean, Mr. Well, Bean is naturally clumsy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay you know what, actually, over you know what, actually, I think, I think Kermit's got a real shot. Kermit needs yeah. to get up in a tree, break off a branch, uh, turn it into like a um, like a blade, you know, oh sharpen God. it, and then just stab him. That's well, how he overcomes if, his weakness. If, he jumps on Mr. Bean's Mr. head Bean under some kind of trap, right? With with a loop yeah. of, of rope tied to a, 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 dig, a big counterweight that's going to pull him yeah, up Kermit's into like a clever a... guy. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I so. Think yeah, you can make Mr. Bean defeat himself because I, Mr. I Bean is he, clumsy. I agree. I think that round two. I think Kermit's got a real shot. Hmm. Okay, run to I'm, I'm feeling a little lands on Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean tears his arms off. I don't know why you're coming just up with all the these crazy, convoluted strategies for him to win, win. But <laughs> he has to come Mr. Up Bean could just grab him and tear his arms so off. So, someone in <laughs> chat just pointed out Kermit is two feet tall. Mr. Bean can't grab him if he's already been stabbed in the jugular. Or his yeah, eyes. Exactly. If, if Kermit gets oh his eyes God. done. If Kermit can even get up there to yeah. do it. Yeah, Kermit's going to have to wear him down, I think. It's going to have yeah. to be it's like a methodical be a game process. Are we Gorilla assuming Wolf Kermit then? at least has frog jumping powers? I think he can climb <laughs> a tree. Does he have a showcase uh, pose? But I mean, he seems... Seems kind of normal the way he walks and runs around, Kermit. Like not normal for yeah, what he, exactly. you know. <laughs> um, well, what what does round three even look like? For both of these people. I think it's very similar to round two. I I yeah. think Mr. Bean bodies him in round three because Mr. Bean is an angel. Into him, he he's got the he's got the power of God behind him. He's an angel. <laughs> you can just smote him. <laughs> Can run him all over. Yeah, 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 yeah. If, 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 if God be with him, then who be against him? <laughs> Mr. Bean can just run him over, right? Yeah, oh, there's that a three wheeler. Yeah, he's got a car. Kermit has been uh, a pirate. Already... Kermit's been to space. Kermit's, yeah. you know, Kermit's got the whole Muppet show. Oh no, we can't have them. But Kermit's <laughs> got a lot of like stuff Why behind him. Why do we assume him. that Kermit can't drive a car? He can probably. He can, I think. Yeah, I think we've seen it. Yeah, drive a very small car. Yeah, but it's not his. It's not his. Loadout though, yeah. is he? It's not, it's, he doesn't really have a no, Kermit. Well, in round three, they get to yeah. have access even if he did, to anything. It would be, it would be they access they, to the world, so yeah, they can go find access to what they've had they ever. They get access to. Yeah. So oh, Mr. Bean, gets, Mr. Bean gets his mini then in round two and fucking yes. ride, drives him over. Yeah, right. But I, yeah. I could absolutely see a, in planes. a so. round three Kermit could have an M60 very easily. <laughs> All right. Well, we've reached a max time on this one, so we have to put in votes. We'll we'll do our best, but I'm going Kermit. Okay. Bean, I'm also clean going tweet. Kermit. Yeah, yeah, I'm Bean, Bean Kermit. takes it, I think, Kermit. for me. Oh my Bean. god. Bean. Okay, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go Bean myself. Um, metal. Oh man, I think I'll go with Kermit. 
Uh, ER? What, what did you vote for? Bean. 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 Which means, little Platoon, you're the final vote, so you can jam it so that it would go to Again. chat. I could do that, but I've been convinced. I think, like, round two ends with Mr. Bean sucking on a frog leg and winking. <laughs> 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 Looks like the beadsters got it. Um, I mean, you know, it's uh, I like that that was one of the most intense extent. discussions, though. Yeah, that was a great one, Matt. <laughs> and remember, Sexualizing their Matt. fight was was like an active imagination exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if this next one will uh, have as much of an intense discussion. It probably won't, actually, but I still enjoy that it's something that's going to happen. Um, we're still in the lightweight section, okay? So you never know what's going to happen. These are all characters that you'd, of course, want in, especially from their respective fiction. So here we go. We got Gromit versus Rich Evans. <laughs> Gromit versus Rich Evans. A round one's a problem <laughs> for Gromit, I think. I think Rich Evans is winning. Gromit? I mean, Gromit um, is Gromit is pretty smart. Yeah, he's like, agile. Yeah, he could bite Gromit's... the fuck out of you, right? Like, I, I, yeah. think, I think Gromit's definitely got the edge in the forest. I mean, is he yeah, still made out of clay? I, I don't think... I don't know, man. I, I think, like, a person can take a lot of damage fighting a dog, but the person's usually going to, you know, win eventually, especially when there's bottomless pits on either side of them, maybe? I don't know. Mm. I'm with you on I that. I mean, is Gromit, in this case, going to be made out of Play-Doh? Mm. Oh, um, so, yeah, know. like if you kick him hard enough, does he just, he just explode? He just squish him. <laughs> Picture, well, um, I was going to say, if anything, I it's probably a detriment, right? I think about it that way. If, if Homer is like a character, not an illustration. Yeah, he's not like a 2D piece of paper or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Whereas, like, so let's pretend is, he's an actual right? dog, then. I would say... Um, oh, it's just what we see in the movies, right? Yeah, just try and yeah. rationalize it as best you can, where it's not actually a tiny Play-Doh doll that Rich Evans squishes. <laughs> it would be... You know, <laughs> I think a human could probably still knock a dog off a platform. Of course, yeah. but he... you know, Gromit's very, really smart. Like, really, really smart. I mean, based off Red Letter Media, I'd, I'd say that Gromit would just fucking rip his yeah. throat out. <laughs> it's it's a, a, Gromit's it's... a pretty big dog, too. Gromit's a big dog. He is a big he dog. Is. He's a big dog. He's a smart tall. dog. He's quite tall. That's yeah. right. He has Rich. the supersonic aid scream. I, I love Rich, but he doesn't come across as much of a fighter, so... <laughs> no, but I, I could see him love just, like, doing that but... slappy sort of like, ah, and, and then he's yeah. getting to get off the no, platform. Good against the dog, so trust me. No, I know, but all he needs... He doesn't need so to defeat the dog mess. that way. He needs to get the dog falling off the platform. That's all he's got to do. Yeah, dog lunges at him. He grabs dog and tries to just dump dog off of platform. Or even does the yeah, classic he's, movie he's move. He's not just a dumb dog, right? He's not no, it's just true. Well, but he would still. What's he going to do about and, it? He's got to bite him, right? Like, that's his name. If, if it was a dumb dog, I would say you could just let it charge at you and then move aside and it would slide off. Yeah. Because, like, their paws are really shit on, like, smooth surfaces. So it'd probably just slip right off the platform. Like, but yeah, Gromit, I think, is smarter than that. I don't think you could outsmart him that way. Hmm. My problem is, I understand Gromit is really smart. I just think in this first round, I don't think he can leverage his intelligence in any way that meaningfully adjusts the outcome. Well, I mean, he can just grapple, or... right? He can grapple like a human and then bite you. Uh, well, I guess something to. So, round three, Gromit absolutely wins, right? Easily. It's oh, yeah, yeah. Rich yeah. Evans isn't really any more powerful in round three it. than one, so. <laughs> yeah, whereas, like, round well, three. I mean, he can buy a gun. Gromit's winning on the basis <laughs> yeah, but, of round three. Can, uh, yeah, can Mike summon in all the gadgets? Can Rich summon in Mike's to Klasa for round no, that's three? A <laughs> character. Michael in chat was asking, is he Space Cop in this case? Ah. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Which would have made more sense to choose because that's actually fictional, but I love the meme of just Rich Evans here. So. I think, um, <laughs> I think uh, round three, I think it's pretty obvious Gromit wins. And I'd say round two, I yeah. feel like Gromit can make something with the environment pretty easily. Yeah. I feel like oh, yeah, yeah. I, I he can that. create something. He can you... create traps. He can create weapons of some kind. Yeah, Rich would probably, well, Rich Rich would probably also build a set. Yeah, he'd build a set, though. He'd build a set of, uh, you know, a, a, a Does he room know in a house. Personally build a set by yeah. hand himself? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hand. He is kind of a Red Light Media's builder. Um, but, I mean, okay. you know. But Gromit, look at what Gromit creates, yeah, right? Gromit's look kind at of... those crazy gadgets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gr Gromit like the... creates a spear and shit, and, uh, and uh, Rich creates a Wheel of the Worst. So... Uh, <laughs> 
So yeah, I'm, I'm leaning yeah, towards it's Gromit. Gromit here. It's it's yes, yeah. I think I the Gromit. Yeah, Gromit yeah. I'm with Gromit as yeah. well. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Rich. Gromish. Yeah, you tried, Rich. Anyway, uh, next up, how about a bout of serial killers? Patrick Bateman Yo. versus Hannibal Lecter. Ooh. Hannibal. Oh, okay. Hannibal. Hannibal sweep. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Uh, don't be so hasty. I'm not sure about Patrick that. Patrick Bateman real yeah, physical fitness. Insane. Yeah, he is fit well, as fuck. So in round one. Mr. Bateman is very fit. I think, uh, I think Hannibal, Hannibal wins round, round one. Man. Hannibal is more intelligent and more vicious. I don't know about so, more vicious. Yeah. yeah, but Patrick is stronger physically. Yeah. Like so in round one. He's psychopathic. Yeah, like, like, let's not forget both of these guys yeah. need help. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. On, on final destination, on, 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 yeah, I guess wins. round one, I guess Patrick's probably going yeah, just I go with Patrick yeah. for round I, one. I, yeah. I, I still think Hannibal's tearing out his jugular with yeah, his that's teeth. what I was going to say. Yeah, he just bites his throat. <laughs> well, wait, but round two, yeah. I think Hannibal's got a good shot because I think he can, he can be, you know, he's a bit more experienced. He's a bit more wily. He's a bit more uh, cunning. Also, well, what I. Round two is going to be the most important discussion because I think three Hannibal's got it because he's he's a way better planner than Patrick Bateman would be. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. So if if we've agreed on that, then it's down to round two. Who wins in the woods with their basic loadout? Meaning what Patrick, they, I guess, get? gets an That's axe their... while Lecter gets axe, yeah. a book. <laughs> like I'm not sure. A scalpel. <laughs> like, okay. Maybe he gets a pig. Right, like he does use pigs as as tools. He can pretty tame the wild well, boar in the woods. What, <laughs> what conditions can Lecter create that results in him winning against a guy with an axe in the well, woods? I think, you know, he's a psychologist, so he could manipulate Patrick's. Oh, he could. Know, he could destroy his psyche. Or, he could fuck with yeah, him. Yeah, like, like get in his head and like make him. Like, you know, the problem make is stupid moves. You have to be Patrick. vaguely within axe distance in order to do that. Like, not, <laughs> not specifically that within range. Problem. Like, you have to be within visual range or, like, close to that. So, you know, he has very fine margin for error. Yeah, round two might actually be the one that Patrick can win. So Hannibal would have lots of different, like, well, I was about to say, maybe it's unfair to say... Tools, right? I was about to say, Patrick probably shouldn't get an axe in round two, actually, because that's not normal for him at all. That's, uh... Oh, okay. Then normal for him to have sweep. a weapon, but normal for him is just in the suit. Right? Yeah, normal, he, he's uh, got a he's got a knife. Yeah, does he get he's, a gun? He'll, he'll definitely have a knife. If he gets, he a, get a if gun? They, they should probably both he get has a knife. A gun. Yeah, probably both of them should get that. But mm. yeah. All right. Well, oh, so, so a lot of people are saying it should be fair. Oh, he has a but, gun. Mm, um, yeah, because he did have a gun. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard to say with that like casual loadout. Gun. What would they both get? Because I feel like this decision could really just decide the fight, right? Well, yeah, because if, yeah. if he gets it, a gun, then it feels like it's already over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He only uses a gun what once. At, at the end just of the just movie, so everyone understands, yeah. I'm willing to completely agree that Hannibal is smarter than Bateman, but that's not the deciding it's factor that. necessarily. Once again, chat, you need to understand. Intelligence is one thing, but can that intelligence be leveraged into something that creates a win? Well, he does. Exactly. In one Sorry, Silence of the Lambs, he yeah. talks his next door cellmate into killing himself just with psychological manipulation. He does, um, right? Which is why we give him time. Which though. is why we give him the the third stage for sure. He would he would win number three. Yeah. He absolutely wins. Yeah, yeah. I'll give him yeah. three. It's sure. two when they they're both he wins. randomly spawned in an infinite forest and told to kill each other to get out. Right, like. Does he win in that situation? If they both have knives, maybe? Because I think he could definitely startle, you know, or confuse Patrick long enough to stab him in the back, right? Do we but, think that uh, Hannibal would be like, he would be able to create traps? Do we think that's something he'd be able to do? Oh, and to clarify, someone said, like, uh, you like, wouldn't give him an axe, but you give him a gun. It's like, it's literally just about his casual loadout. What does he typically have with him? It doesn't matter how powerful the weapon is. It's not a matter of, yeah, like, what do you, yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah, it's not, somebody's got to win. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. it's not a matter of. <laughs> just a question about the forest scenario. They both know that they have to find the other yeah, one. Yeah, and... everyone gets the information yeah, that there's a creature in these woods, you've got to kill it above all else. Okay. Or rather, kill it, defeat it, disable it. If you get a knockout, that's okay as well. Because when there we get to the heavyweights, a lot of characters can't it. actually die. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shit. I think Hannibal Lecter wins, too. I want to give it to Hannibal just because I, I think, I think that... I'm, I think I'm leaning towards him with, like, traps. I am, too. That's yeah. something that he or even in, just his ability to subvert. Yeah. Like, surprise. a combination of traps, planning, and psychological manipulation might yeah. be enough to just tip the scales yeah. in his favor. Patrick Bateman so. is very psychologically fragile too, whereas yes. Lecter Lecter has his shit together. 
Lexi yeah. could likely take full yeah, advantage I'm, of Hannibal. I think Hannibal. Like Hannibal. Yeah, I think I'm going with Hannibal yep. here. I got a, yeah, I got a Bateman Hannibal Hannibal. Honey boy. All right. This one, this one's just going to be seen as kind of funny, but we'll see if we can think what's going to be said about it. Because we are veering close to getting to round two of all of the results of the previous, so, so to speak. But this matchup, we've got Simba versus T-Rex. <laughs> oh, okay. oh wait though. Uh, this should be an no. easy one. Uh, Simba's weak, obviously. <laughs> does does the power of being a cartoon lion, you know, win you anything? I don't know. No, I, I'd I, say I, the big thing that Simba has is that he's intelligent, like he's, he's a person. Very basically. fast. Yeah. Yeah. But well, I mean, still, that is a, a tyrannosaurus on a platform. Rex. I don't yeah. think, like, when you're a lion and you don't have like hands oh, well, or opposable thumbs or anything to manipulate your environment, I think a T Rex is probably going to take you. Okay, uh, but he could right. he, he could win on round one for sure if we're we're saying that he could do you know the the bull thing and and run out of the way and let the T Rex run off the side because T Rex is shown is, is to be unstable. Is T Rex even running in this scenario? Yeah, though? T Rex don't run very much. Well, but they are shown to be they unstable. Stride. They fall they, they over. Can. They miss things. You know. Well, that but um, I think in that scenario he's just he's bending down and eating Simba. I think, well, yeah. then Simba's running underneath his legs, right? Like he could definitely. He could give him a, a run yeah, on a like, small platform where you just need the T Rex to fall off. Yeah, I don't. I don't, know, I don't see actually, him. The I don't see him the T Rex to that extent. Uh, I'm actually. You know what? I gotta say. Now I'm starting to wonder. Like, if it's actually mm. that obvious. Um, if you put them on a Final Destination platform, is it possible for Simba to be running around in a way that's so fast that it actually disorients the T Rex? To the point that he makes it dizzy quite a bit as well. No, right, all the T Rex needs to do is step move, wrong. Would, his winning move would be to not move because apparently T Rexes can't see you. Uh -huh. Well, I was actually <laughs> going to say that you would want the T Rex to be freaking oh. out and moving around That's so that point. it falls. Is this a T Rex or the Jurassic Park T Rex? I, I think the best thing you could hope for is that Simba would give the T Rex the run around for a while, but eventually it's going to catch him. Yeah, but if the T-Rex even steps wrong. wrong. No, if the T-Rex steps wrong, it could just crush Simba. Like, but it could thing. also fall off the edge. I think probabilities yeah, for this... round one, the T-Rex pretty much wins most of the time, I think. Um, it's possible yeah, Simba for Simba to do it, so easily. but I feel like the T-Rex has it most of the time. It's, it's round two that I find interesting, because um, Simba has a lot of play with, with how he can manipulate the environment. I wish I was mm -hmm. a biologist so I knew better like the sensory capabilities of these animals now. Well, yeah, I'm not going to say that he has <laughs> cartoon benefits versus CGI or whatever animatronic benefit, like right? He, like We're, we're going to try and equalize them as creatures, but I will give Simba that he has heightened intelligence because that's the kind of character he is, right? Yep. Like, In which case... Round two, I think as well, though, I think the T-Rex might get him because the best thing he can hope for is to like maybe climb a tree or something and like leap on the T-Rex's back, try and like ambush it. That's but then you, know. you saw one of the raptors try that in Jurassic Park and it still got killed. Like the T-Rex was able to get it off yeah. and just throw it away. How does Simba and I imagine it would be similar. round two? I mean, yeah, can he... Yeah, can I don't he, think it's can possible. Build, like, can he be fast enough to claw at and like wound the T-Rex and then wait him out? Is that possible? No, I don't, I don't think, think so. He's, I don't think Lions, he's got the attack potency to cause enough damage to cause that kind of a mortal wound. I yeah, know. I think lions generally kill by like asphyxiating their prey. Like they'll they'll clamp their jaws around the, the throat of like I don't know, gazelle or whatever wow. it might be and just like you know, strangle it to death basically. But you're not gonna be able to do that to a T Rex. And yeah. whatever damage you can cause with like claws and teeth, it's not gonna be enough to stop it, I don't think. And it's, it's, dude, it's funny. Some people say like why the fuck is a T Rex in lightweight? It's like if the T-Rex goes against anyone with a gun, who do you think is winning? Like, I'd love to see a T-Rex versus uh... Thanos or something. <laughs> just... so... no, if, the, if this forest is on, is on Earth, right, and it's modern-day Earth, right, I'm assuming we're talking modern-day Earth forest, in which case, like, we have a lot less oxygen in our atmosphere than we have when the T-Rex was running around. So the T-Rex is probably, He'd probably just be high as fuck, and then he'd die because he couldn't breathe. I think I think I'm right in saying that we have like 35 percent less oxygen or something like that. So like it would actually be like mountaineering at high altitude for the T-Rex. No, it's difficult to apply that principle to this because you don't know what sort of effect that's going to have on him. 
I mean, I'm I'm open to the possibility. I just don't know if I don't, you can use I that as a decider. I think it's dangerous to invite that logic to the table. Yeah, I, I think yeah. that's dangerous too. Because as soon as you get like an alien, it's like, oh, so they they die like in you know. Oh, um, they're in middleweight. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Or even like you know, a caveman. If a caveman was to show, it's like, oh well. Yeah. But absent microbes. asphyxiation, I don't see how the T Rex is losing round two. I don't see him losing round two. No, I, I don't see I him think, losing round it's three either because there's no extra power. Mm. I think the Outside of there's no real loadout for like, either of these. Means to kill there. the T Rex. Yeah. Uh, actually, come to think of it, like mechanism of killing is probably Simba's biggest problem, which means yeah. round one is his best chance. I was going to say far. that it's kind of funny how that pans out because Final yeah. Destination gives Simba a way of actually killing the T Rex, <laughs> <'Cause there's laughs> which it doesn't it, yeah. otherwise have. Yeah, pretty fair. He fought well, but it looks like we've uh, pretty much come to a decision on that one. In which case, we are now down to a very... This is going to be a real tough one. I don't know what you guys are going to say as the winner here. It could be either of these legendary characters. We have the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man versus <laughs> Marvel's Katie. Oh, my God! <laughs> 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 it's, it's, this is so it's easily Marvel's I didn't even know that character. Come on. I didn't see that show. Remember, we don't count Marvel's plot Katie protection. Not, uh, no, 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 but uh, but Marvel's Katie not only learned how to use a bow and arrow in a single day to to marksman level, but she also killed the special flying dragon creature she did. Like right at the end of John Tree. So She's she's a crack shot. Stay puff marshmallow. Let, let's, let's consider the possibility though, right? On a platform <laughs> like this, what is the stay puff? Stay puff is already weight? absorbing like three quarters of that platform on spawn. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean he must yeah, weigh he a couple of hundred metric down. tons easily. He's like, got round one. He's he's gonna just move oh, yeah, slightly. He's, he's, he's gonna stand in round yeah. one. Round two. In the forests, though, I don't know if he could even move through a forest. He'd be like, stuck he in the trees. He'll get penetrated by all the twigs and yeah, branches he might, and stuff. He'll and he slip over and then... Gets... If he flattens her, though, she's dead. She would... She's not breathing. That's a... well, that's oh, I don't know how she would take her out. Immediately. Like, it's not like he can hide in the woods anywhere. Katie needs to be able to light fire to her arrows to have any chance that... Okay. Yeah. I think magical arrows I think or the regular start arrows. a forest fire? And try I, and I think they're them. regular arrows, but I mean, you theoretically, if you're in a forest, you, you can make a fire arrow. They weren't regular arrows, they were uh, Marvel... Well, I'll, I'll give you that, but Katie's not a person who knows how to start a fire in a forest. Like, she, she would... Oh, this could, yeah, this fair could, enough. Yeah, no, she's no, a ballet. No, yeah, yeah, she is. It's, it's Aquafina. She's got a lighter because she's fucking sparking up cigarettes as she's fighting. Aqua, so... Aquafina and Katie are different characters. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, This, this um, could end up going to some kind of, like, stalemate scenario where the, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man gets caught on the trees and can't progress <laughs> any further because <laughs> she's got no way of actually destroying him fully. So... He's... She needs to figure I, I out fire. Like, <laughs> she's pretty like he's by I, he's stay puff. I think hope. judging by Marvel Katie's voice, she she smokes forty Rothmans a day as well. So she's <laughs> okay, basically has a lighter. If she's got a like, lighter. <laughs> assuming she's even if she's quite dumb, she'll eventually figure out how to make some kind of fire. So I suppose just through attrition, she'll eventually like melt him. It's worth keeping <laughs> in mind. Follow, it's to follow Drinker's original logic, though, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man is stuck. massive, absolutely massive. Yeah. Like I'm not sure if the the trees would come across to him like us standing on Legos, uh, uh, sort of thing. I, I don't know. I mean, he'd, he'd just smash through trees. He would smash through trees. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's big enough to to be kind of around the top of a New York building, and they're pretty big. Well, no, he has to climb up the building. He climbs up that oh, one, but he? he's still huge before he does that. Like I mean, in terms I could actually of look up his height. So he apparently, still... he is 112 feet tall. Yeah, which no, don't get me wrong, that's pretty that, big. Actually. But like oh, taller than Doctor Disrespect. <laughs> Well, it's quite large, but it's not larger than like the trees are, are 40, 50, 60 feet pretty easily, even if they're not big trees, right? So, I yeah, well, I guess that could pine, be a... like so. I'm just looking at it, it really depends ones. on whether like, or not he has a, the a strength to tree, kick down, which is about 50 years old. That is 75 feet by itself, and yeah, so you can get stuck on them. Is I, I think strong you could quite easily get trees, trees that are bigger than him, and so like enough of them jammed together, like he would struggle to get through that, I think. He'd probably get caught up in them. Does that mean Marvel's also, Katie is going to be winning yeah. rounds two and three? Is that what's happening here? Well, even if he does get stuck there, how is she killing him? Well, that's yeah. the thing. Like, she needs well, to find a way so, to set him on fire. That would be the main way. Yeah. 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 She's she has enough bow and arrow. She she's going to blind him. Uh, she's going to blind him with arrows to the eye. You could try that, yeah. Isn't he a ghost? 
He's a manifestation. Yeah. yeah but, well, sure, but he's there's something manifesting into him, right? Wait, so he's still made out of marshmallow. Yeah, yes. it is yes. actual marshmallow. Yeah. 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 But so all well, you have to do is get rid of the marshmallow. She, could, she could eat him. She could just eat him. It'd take a <laughs> while, but she could fucking eat him. I eat so, calories. <laughs> Jeez, I <laughs> just imagine this battle stretching out for months while she slowly yeah, devours like, him. I <laughs> she gets a huge water. sugar rush. She gets the massive sugar rush from eating him and she just starts tearing him apart. Does, does the I, diabetes I, get her before she finishes eating him? Is the question there? But like, I, what's I think the it expiration would. Yeah, date on marshmallows, though? Because like, if it's, if he expires after like five months and he gets stuck in some trees, she could just leave yeah. him there. I know, but even if he's expired, he's just going to be a bit funky. Like, he might still be active. <laughs> Moldy I think much she, better than that. The only way she's going to take him out fully is to melt him. But would we consider the trees to be fire. incapacitation? Because we said knockouts count, right? So incapacitation if he's in the trees and can't move Well, a lot of people back. in chat Animals are not might start eating him. that he would be defeated in that vein by trees. That People believe he would push them down. Oh! No, he'd be defeated by the raccoons in the forest. <laughs> that's only about a long, long time. But that's even if we allow animals yeah. to exist in the forest. We never even, I don't even know we said that. I think oh, okay. Marvel's kid, you would have a really easy time to just dodge him for a long time because he's very slow. He is very slow, it's true. So she could just run around. I think someone in chat just mentioned animals don't eat marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that's the logic right there. Yeah, we can't well, go any further. You're right. I think we're out of time, so we have to put it to a vote. Who do you think wins this battle overall? Uh, I hate saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I love saying it. I'm going with, I'm going with Marvel's Katie, two to yeah, one. Marvel's Katie. Two votes for her. Yes. Good, I good. think Marshmallow Man, like, I think she would win round two by default eventually, but I think he would win round three. Because, like, round three is just in, like, an open area, isn't it? But, like, it the full Surely she has the advantage then, because she can prep how yeah. she wants. What is her Well, like, power? she can, like, access any weapon or whatever. Not necessarily any weapon, but if she knows where he is, which he's not, he's, he's going to be pretty well known in the world if he was just walking around, then she has to just find him <laughs> and kill him, and at that point it's even easier than in the woods, you know? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I hate to say it, yeah, I'm probably going to have to give it to Katie. Oh my okay. god. I mean, I what can I? What can I, I say? I don't see how she kills him. Yeah, um, yeah, I yeah, I gotta say. Well, and yeah, one of the things I, I was saying so. earlier was that I feel like up. if he knows her general direction and falls down on her, she's dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm saying stay puff round one and two. Oh my God. Yeah. Was that sure. was that just like four stay puff votes all in a row? Are we how are we looking here, Theo? What's your vote? He's he's go, uh, oh, gone. Oh shit! AFK. Okay. Um, hmm. mm -hmm. Now what do we do? <laughs> Should we put it to chat? Even though it's obvious they're all voting for Stay Puff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, chat, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say there's no point in a poll because they're spamming Stay Puff. I mean, it's fine. You know, the people have spoken. What can I say? I, I love that the, 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 so many people in chat will just get annoyed at things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, right, girl. When, when, we get to the, when we get to the heavyweight oh, round, they're going to be I so upset. They're going to get uh, furious. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was a battle hard fought. The thing is, it would get funny if Katie won definitively because she's going to have to fight other people in this particular tournament soon that are going to possibly put oh, yeah. it down for good, you know? And you, you probably would be amused by that. But no, it's fine. We've got a stay puff mouth mouth, man. There he goes. Um, Alright, so this is a this is a curious one. I actually think that there's going to be a decent amount of discussion. Potentially. Though, I've been wrong about this before. Who knows? We have the next bout. <laughs> Tyler Durden versus Rocky. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh. Now we're talking Tyler Durden as in the narrator, or as in just think of him as you know, the way that he yeah. manifests physically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. So I think my money would have to be on Rocky as like the better overall fighter. Like yeah. he's got better training. Say so That's so I think on the too. platform, Rocky's got him. Yeah, oh, yeah. round one. I think it's round one is Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. Yeah. Can Tyler Durden be knocked out? We're gonna say yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. He can get beaten to yeah. fuck. We've seen that. Which, I know yeah, a lot of people are like, Tyler's not even like, real. It's like, no, we're going with, he is. <laughs> like, with, we're like, going with, sake like, of this. Well, but I mean, Tyler gets the living shit beat out of him, but it's almost like it's not phasing him at all. He's like laughing well, in the middle of it. It is hurting him, because it's hurting the narrator. Yeah. 
Like, yeah, and eventually you could control. knock him out no yeah. matter how much you like, yeah. be like, is, it. Is a guy, basically. Rocky would have that okay, fight so control. We're, we're yeah. making him just play by the rules of normal humanity. He's a yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah. Right. He's a guy. So now, the, Tyler, I think, wins round three pretty easily. I think easily. he wins round three. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really just a question of Rocky in the woods? <laughs> I think Rocky still got it in round two, right? I think yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I think like probably Tyler is like way more cunning and intelligent than Rocky is. Yeah. The thing He's is, also Rocky ruthless. Would, Rocky would just be looking for a straight up fist fight, and I feel like Tyler would come at him with traps and stuff. So mm. I don't. I think. I think the Rocky lives for, in Philadelphia, though. So you know, <laughs> I'd say that the problem that Tyler has is that in society, I can see him like operating in a way where he can be way more effective in the forest. I don't know about that. And I don't know if it beats just Rocky being the bigger, stronger guy. With better training, yeah. Mm. A lot of people saying Rocky Tyler would play playing. really dirty, right? Like, he would kick you in the nuts, he'd bite your ear off, like, he'd do what he could to um, try and win. Th- so he's, sure, he's more but, ruthless. But they're both out for each other, you know? They're both trying to yeah. kill the other guys, so, like, I'm not sure how much of a difference that's gonna make. Hmm. I'd be inclined to say Rocky. So, what is Tyler's? Uh, what's Tyler's build I, then? Like, what's his his loadout? His normal loadout? I don't. Does he ever get a gun? I was about he to, has yeah, guns. He, a yeah. couple. He's got of the times. narrator hostage with no, a gun. I, I guess what I mean is, does he ever? Do we? Do we ever treat that as a base stat more so than I'm, him? The base is. It's if just Aiden doesn't get a gun. I don't think he gets a gun. Yeah. It, yeah. I think I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. He does. Oh, he has to guns, clarify, he does use but, different things in the film, but we're talking about like guns, standard. I don't know if we treat yeah. it as his base. That is what I'm get. Is what I mean. Yeah, I don't yeah, think he has we, it on him at all times. Remember, we made Ripley go in with no weapons. Yeah, because she really doesn't typically yeah. carry weapons. So certainly, in the first two. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Well, it seems seems like we got. Yeah, it. I, guess... I feel like Rocky wins in the forest. I yeah. think so too. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah, me too. I think he can Tyler do to win in the I, forest. I, like, I'd probably yeah. give round two to Tyler. Uh, sorry, to Tyler personally, but like, he, okay. I think Rocky Rocky would win the other two, so I think he wins overall anyway. Well, I don't think Rocky. Th- that's the thing. Oh, I don't I think, think round Rocky three. Wins round three. I think round yeah. three. Yeah, like, carries him. Yeah. yeah. Tyler <laughs> would destroy the building he's in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, the Fight Club is hilarious and comical by the end of the film, so. Well, okay. Um, well, just, it sounds like Rocky, yeah. Judging from the votes there, it sounds like Rocky's got it. Um, yeah, Rocky. The next fight, one that is curious how this came to be, but yet here we are. Uh, Rorschach versus Sherlock Holmes. Oh, Ooh, good mm. one. Okay. Round one goes to Rorschach. Rorschach, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's a vicious little bastard. I was going to say, just so everyone has it recognized, we know that Sherlock can fight. Uh, certainly in several of his iterations, but I don't think he's going to be able to... It's Conan Doyle Sherlock, right? Yeah, like, and yeah. just Rorschach yeah, is Rorschach like a just psycho terrifying. brawler. Yeah, he'll fuck him up, probably. Yeah. So, round two. I think he, he wins round two, too, though. Yeah. Right? Like, we're still talking about him with his, his regular loadout, right? Now he's, I don't know, basically I... a, 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 a... Compared to to Sherlock, whose regular loadout is the clothes he wears, right? Like, there's no real big pipe. difference. <laughs> oh, a pipe. Maybe you give him yeah. a violin. <laughs> no. But uh, Rorschach you, you would have his grappling him, uh, gun. You'd yeah. give him morphine, wouldn't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you would. <laughs> would get the, uh... If we're talking about his, ba- his base loadout, <laughs> Sherlock is out there just just uh, doped to his mind. You know? <laughs> Laying on the ground. <laughs> Some people Rorschach feel... just walks up and beats him up. Yeah, he just yeah, takes right. <laughs> Sherlock <laughs> takes himself out. Right, he's too high. Yeah. <laughs> Some people feel Sherlock should get a uh, revolver. I'm not sure about that. Like, I don't think standard he never has a yeah. No, no, uh, no. He's he's no. A, that's what Watson's there for. Can Sherlock win any of these rounds? Well, uh, three. I, I, think, don't, I think I think he, he can make three. Uh, take three, yeah. Yeah, three. three. Maybe. You just he could just Rorschach he could go full Moriarty and just get Rorschach like executed for murder. <laughs> get him on some <laughs> I mean, charges. Sherlock's got like a, a great knowledge of like chemistry and and uh, poisons, all that sort of thing. Like maybe you could take him out that way or make a he bomb is... or something, blow him up. 
canonically he is supposed to be a very good sort of like bare knuckle boxer and he has a cane yeah. sword and he specializes Ooh. in that as well i think yep that's a fashion uh, item that needs to come back i, know, oh, yeah. I completely cane agree i really want one mm -hmm. every gentleman should have one so what are we so what we're are we giving thinking round then? three I think Rorschach I just... wins on the basis of "quote unquote" superhero peak human physiology stuff. Well, he's, so he's not got any superhero and stuff. He's he's a very strong I know, man. But like, he's peak human. Sure, but he's an like, sheer, sheer viciousness and like absolute refusal to quit. I think Rorschach... that, that'll that'll play into it. That's like the bigger you know complications for the both of them is that Sherlock is super intelligent versus a maniac who will never give up. Yeah, and he won't. Right, like. If we're talking in a forest, he's going to, to keep coming after Sherlock. Yeah, and Sherlock could maybe devise some kind of trap before um, Rorschach reaches him. I'm not sure. Does he have the does he have the like the material know how in order to create anything that he could use? That's a tough one to say. I would say probably not. In the forest, Rorschach has the grappling gun too, so he can get up into the trees. Yeah, and I don't think he. I think he's just gonna sprint and find Sherlock and beat the fuck out of him. That's probably his goal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, sounds like we're all aiming toward Rorschach gets the win overall. Mm. Yeah. So Doesn't look unless like Sherlock can find move. out some way to like wear him out in the forest. He but would see it I don't coming. Know how he'd do that. <laughs> help I don't know how he'd do that. So like... the thing that I think uh, screws him over a little bit is he's limited on time. Um, in the forest to do any kind of particular plan, and Rorschach's not like mm -hmm. stupid, so any basic plan he comes yeah. up with is probably not going to work. It would be a, it would be tough to say exactly. In any case, our next bout is that of two gentlemen who, uh, I don't know, you could say these have a matchup in theory. I, I, I don't think anyone's ever really thought of what would happen if these two fought, but fuck it, we are. It's Jack Sparrow versus John mm. McClane. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Mm. Well, I think John's got it on base loadout. <laughs> yeah. Third yeah, round, yeah, but... yeah. Well, yeah, so those Jack Sparrow's not particularly fantastic at a fist fight, is he? I can't remember the no, stuff. I don't know. Really. No. He's a he's a really good uh, sword. Really good fighter, with a sword, but not so great sword. with fists. Yeah. Really but... good with a sword and kind of lucky of the things he has going on. Yeah. And um, we've he's like supernaturally that luck lucky. Gets removed. Can, gets... can we count luck as a superpower for no. him? Uh, like, I was does he have luck? No, no. no. we no. not count. I'm willing to agree. So, uh, I, yeah. He's lost round one. Um, round two. Yeah. John gets the gun. I... And uh, yeah, John, <laughs> yeah, John mercs him in round two. Yeah, well, yeah. Jack does get his pistol with one two. shot, but it feels like that's just not as good. It's not a very <laughs> not good enough pistol. to kill so much for a fight. Yeah, no way. That's not going to work. That's not. Yeah. Well. Uh -oh. John McClane's won in all three rounds, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. I think all, yeah, yeah, I think all three as well. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's like when Jack has the Black Pearl curse and he's just like yeah. a skeleton and can't be killed, really. Well, that yeah. would be his most powerful, <laughs> right? So that yeah. would be his round three. It wouldn't matter, though. He's lost yeah. the, uh, the first two. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. he's already lost the other two. <clears throat> Fair attempt. But, uh, yeah. That was easy. Unlucky yeah, Jack. some of these are easier to do than others. Uh, that's true. I'll see you later when I'm downloading something. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> for a second there, I thought you meant yeah. like right now. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> John McLean, the winner. Next up, you wouldn't have thought you'd have to deal with this, but in a way, I think it makes more sense than a lot of these matchups. We have Austin Powers versus Frank Drebin. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like some people don't even what know a, who Frank Drebin up. is. More uh, people need to see. Squad, thank you very much. Well, I was going to say yeah. most people need to. You, you got to see at least naked gun films, right? But, um, I was about to say yeah. like, the old people know. Just recently watched uh, Police Squad. Police Squad all the way through. It's, uh, also, I can't surely always, you it's, can't it's be great. serious. Oh shit, that's the wrong image. Sorry, <laughs> I, I can't pull them yeah, up super Sherlock. duper fast. Oh right? no. <laughs> Trevin's like, oh, got the drop on Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> He's already shooting. <laughs> but yes, uh, obviously the, the connection between these two is kind of a music is the fact they're both a part of like, oh, yeah, for sure. parodies. Um, but who wins in round I, one? It's probably think... Austin, right? I, well, the uh, Drebin's playing by weird rules of physics. He doesn't get his luck. Austin right? gets doesn't... his judo chop. 
judo yeah. chop. Well, yeah, okay, Austin yeah, Austin is, Austin's winning round one for sure. Austin's younger and he's got judo chop, which is pretty OP, as we know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, round two, they both get their guns. This is where it gets complicated. Isn't it, isn't it Danger Powers? Austin Danger Powers, yeah, that's his middle name. <laughs> oh, I was, I was hoping somebody was going to play that joke with him. Austin Danger. No, as Danger is his middle name. Oh, I can't get this mojo, of course. Is that his base? Oh, yeah. Mojo? No, that's uh, that's his super duper power, I'd oh, say. Okay, okay. He does have his mojo, mm. it's true. But I mean, yeah. at this point, it's just who's the better marksman? I mean, uh, well, we've seen by what I've been seen... missing from two <laughs> yards. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. Rabin is not a good shot. <laughs> no, <laughs> at all. Austin's, but he's limited ammo, so Austin's all right. Like he misses a lot as well, but I think he's probably better. He, he, I'd say he's better, yeah. Probably. Um, yeah, I, guess I fucking love that scene so much, where it's just behind a bench and they just shoot each other. Oh, that shit's no funny. Yeah. Fun, yeah. <laughs> this, this is the hardest fight I'd love to watch. That's all I can say. They could make it incredibly funny having these two fight, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> we don't have Leslie Nielsen anymore. Aren't they trying to do a reboot and make a gun as well? Yes, oh, with uh, oh. Liam Neeson. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Liam Neeson is. Uh, I'm not Frank saying Drummond. they're not doing it. I'm just saying no to the concept. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose we don't need to discuss round three, but uh, there we have it. Now it looks like we're going oh. back to the world of video oh, games. Yo, I like those. Do you Wait. though? <clears throat> video yeah. game. Mm -hmm. I bought a couple today. I bought ones? a lot of them yesterday. Uh, we, had, we had a big flea market. And I, Ooh, and I went flea and market? Bought a cover. I, a <laughs> flea market, yeah. Flim, 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 flim. We I got, got myself a, uh, a Nintendo shit cube. Hey. Nice. They're <laughs> awesome. What are you Finally talking about? Shit they cannot play DVD. <laughs> they cannot play yeah. DVD. <laughs> All right. The next fight, because everyone's going to want to start discussing and chat, I'm sure of it. We have Isaac Clark versus Joel Miller. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Mm. So, um, I think mm. Joel's one, winning round one. Joel clears yeah. out round one quite Yeah, for sure. Round one, easily. Little clown yeah. in your boy. Uh, you can't do shit. Uh, round two is, is an Isaac win. Yeah. Isaac, yeah. Isaac gets so the armor got... and the. Gun. He's got the suit and he's, he's got, got armor and he's got both up rounds, right? Does Joel get his rifle? Because that's going to fuck up Isaac somewhat. Um, yeah, but it still doesn't matter. The plasma card is still going to tear plasma off, plasma. off his limbs. Yeah, it, well, of course, but like stays. the range. What's the, what's the effective range? Yeah. Yeah, because mm. uh, it's not the easiest shot to fun, make compared uh, to Joel's forest, rifle. I think Joel might win round two. Joel's going to have know. the advantage from a distance, know. but the thing is, Isaac's armor is going to make the difference. Like, well, and it's a force, it's not a clear a shot. Time. He understands, like, how to, like, outmaneuver people in settings he's like this. He's a guy. As he's opposed to Isaac, who's an engineer. Mm. Uh, stasis. The... Stasis oh. is, is, yeah, is you good, know, but stasis again, you need range for that, though. Big... Yeah, the range is the issue. Can That's like Joel has to play a really good... Marksman and I feel and like game. the woods is far more Joel's environment than it is Isaac's. Yeah. How does Isaac get his little navigation well, beam? <laughs> worth, worth thinking about though is that Isaac definitely has more control over the terrain. He can cut down a tree with a bolt cutter, grab it with stasis, and like throw it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that yeah. can cause havoc in well, the wait, terrain. Yeah. He doesn't get to have that though. Surely he gets the plasma cutter. He's not going to get all of his weapons. He doesn't get stasis. Plasma cutter. Yeah, no, not stasis I, I, and. Yeah. I didn't say you didn't get stasis, I meant the... When you said bolt cutter, do you mean plasma cutter? Oh, sorry, the plasma cutter. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I thought um, you meant some other weapon. I wasn't yeah, sure about yeah. that. Stasis no, no, and no. kinesis, though, I guess. Sorry, yeah, plasma, for... I, I can already see a plasma cutter cuts down the tree, grabs it with stasis, throws it, and wow. plows through a bunch of trees, destroys right. the environment. How does, how does yeah. Joel's rifle do if it hits the armor? Does it do anything? Do you yeah, think? Um, I, think, I think it definitely I think, staggers him. I think yeah. it, it would... I think the big thing is that there's a lot of gaps in the armor. I was if he, if he hits him, especially the base yeah, armor just... is not very much armored at all. I'm just wondering because mm. Joel would have to be quite the marksman to, you know, like specifically shoot around the armor in most of the cases, I think. I think he would have to be quite, and he'd have to deal with the fact that Isaac is going to be moving and he might even yeah. be using his jets as well. And like... he's probably going to have to be avoiding, you know, Sharpened pieces of tree shot back at him with uh, exactly. When people are asking, yeah. well, and again, it's not a Joel clear or... shot, right? 
part one Joel or part two Joel's like exclusively part one uh, Joel. Yeah, part one Joel. Yeah, let's <laughs> not nerf him. We're not gonna nerf I, him. I agree that um, I I think uh, Joel stands a better chance for sure than I think one would think at first glance. But I'm yeah. still leaning towards Isaac Clark. I, I feel like the gear gives him a huge yeah, advantage. It's, it's based Asus on so and so telekinesis have talked me back around to. Because so, yeah, yeah it's another fair. one of those cases where Joel can win, but he has to. It's he's playing the no damage run, you know. Yeah, he's got to yeah. do perfect, while yeah. Isaac's got to do okay. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um. Uh, and I guess round three would be this. It's it's like once you've got all the kinds of weapons that Isaac can get is yeah <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's it's huge huge load. Load. You get a marker. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, is that even good for him? Just get a bunch of necromorphs. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I think uh, I think Isaac takes two and three. Yeah. All right. Meaning we got our next fight, which you never know where this is gonna go. It just could be any characters from any fucking thing, and uh, I feel that that's a good way to intro this next two. I'm very curious how chat gonna spam. I don't know who out of these two gets the mm -hmm. popularity vote, but we've got. Mike Urban Trout versus Joshua Graham. Oh. <clears throat> mm. Okay. Uh, well, Joshua Graham's got the problem of, like, it's going to really, really, really hurt him if he gets punched, right? <laughs> yeah. This, Mike is old, really but hurt. we're shown he's not, uh, like, he does a few brawls in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. true, though. Joshua Graham is, is younger. Yeah, but that's Mike kinda... is nonsense for his age, so I would agree with you on that. <laughs> like, complete nonsense for his age. I would rather focus on Mike's intelligence than any kind of raw strength. He's still he's got a bit of old man strength yeah. going. Like he can he can wallop, but he's still I probably don't shit about Joshua Graham. Well, this is more for the people who are familiar, but I'm seeing all kinds of um, messages in chat right now. This is all over well, the place. Well, as I understand it, isn't the deal that, like, when Joshua Graham takes off his bandages, it's like he's burning again? So I presume that getting punched would be incredibly painful. Like, I'm wondering if it's painful to the point that it would be seriously, potentially debilitating. Hmm. Well, I might know, take a, quite a few punches. Think. Well, uh, yeah, mm. Mike gets beaten the fuck up in Better Call Saul pretty harsh on purpose, right? Like, he can survive quite yep. a decent bit um, mm. for, for for an old man. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, in round one, I'm guessing we're, we're, we're mm. just trying to figure out who sort of gives up first. Well, I guess I... it's just the thing is, like, Joshua Graham's younger, so, like, surely well, that, that does give him an edge in terms of the raw physicality. Josh is also like mythical in in the wasteland, right? Like, he's... well, sure, but like he's not a mythological like being. No, know, but the, he's the he's known myth. for being like unbeatable, right? Like that's well, sure, what... but like so... he's he's not though, right? Like Saitama would beat him, yeah, right. Like he is a guy, right? Like he is just. A I mean, guy. I could totally buy. He a has like um, guy, the but... pain gives him a sense of just pure anger and adrenaline, and he just goes nuts on Mike and mm -hmm. tosses him off final destination. I think, yeah, round. I think we should move to the other rounds because one seems to just be a toss up. I, I I'd be happy to give uh... it to Graham in round one. To be honest with you. I think yeah, so. I think I've been talking to Graham. Because I mean, the yeah, thing is, yeah. the way I'm feeling, I think Mike has it in round two already. Uh, possibly because he is. Like, all we see him do is plan and set up everyone's deaths in both shows. Like, when he has. He's incredibly ingenuitive. Yeah, and he, and he knows, like, everything about handyman sort of stuff. I, I feel like he'd be fine yeah, yeah. in the woods. But to be fair, Plus, I don't know so as much Graham about Joshua Graham. He was in Vietnam woods, right? as well, so, you know. Well, he was thrown yeah. into the desert and was just fine. So, yeah. I want to say he was fine, but yes, no, you're right. He, he, he did way better than most people would. Um, yeah. But I mean, does someone want to give like the 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 defense for Graham because I'm not as familiar with him? I'm just wondering. Well, he's if super duper skilled, right? Cool. As well, isn't he? Presumably, yeah. Like he, like he's really because he was like a general, right? Wasn't he like one of the leaders of uh, Caesar's? Mm, yeah, like, but legion? he didn't. Then he failed <laughs> and was set on fire and thrown in the Grand Canyon. So someone said... Well, yeah, but... <laughs> so the, the, he the, survived the, the Grand Canyon. <laughs> the fight would go this way. Mike's gonna say, here's what you're gonna do. And then from that moment, it's over. <laughs> as soon as Mike says those words, it's over. Um, well, so the round three... Does everyone agree here that it would be Mike at round three? Because um, he's the fucking like king of planning and ambush prevention. 
in in his perspective show or yeah and he's shown to do that against people with you know ostensibly an army because i think in in the best case right you could say that that he would uh that joshua would have helpers at least um maybe not the legion because you know they're his enemy at that point but i guess it's a question of whether or not we're saying that he has the legion um oh is, at his most right does he get or, to or not. Would they like? I'm trying to picture well, how this would well, work. Well, I guess here's the thing, though. What are we imagining as Joshua Graham? Is it pre or post? Right. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Well, whatever most I powerful is for post, round three, right? but I'm I, I saying, think post two. Does Mike get shit like a helicopter and an ordinance of any kind with uh, his links to how powerful the possibilities would be with like Fring's operation at its most powerful? Yeah. Um. That's that's where it starts to get interesting. It's like, complicated. Can yeah. can the resources that can be mustered in the wasteland be comparable to the resources that can be mustered in a functioning, you yeah, know, in a functioning world? Hmm. Aren't there miniature nukes in the wasteland, though? <laughs> yes, there are. Does he have access? Yeah. To, he can, uh, I mean, I presume it's possible that he could get access to those. Yeah, he could have power um, armor in that case, time. but. We're pretty much I, out of time as well, so we'll probably just have to uh, give a vote. I I think it's Josh Graham for round one and three for me. Yeah. So, Anyone Is there any reason me? why he wouldn't be able to win round two? Like, why do we... Well, because it would just be him versus, you know, uh, a Mike Ehrmantraut that has enough time and enough ability to kind of do some minimal planning. And probably has a gun because he always has a gun on him, right? Yeah, so it's but not Joshua Graham can do all that, right? I mean, he's not really shown to be like the most genius planner. So I think in that case, for round two, I'm giving. Well, it to I Mike thought he was, isn't he like the leader of? He's a leader of a like he was a leader, right? Of of uh in the Legion, and then he was the leader of uh the tribes and like in in Zion, right? So like he's yeah. like he's got to be like super tactician as well. Surely I feel like they're actually. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, he's, like, like, he's got access really, to a like, lot. Um, even. To the point where it feels like it's just a familiarity thing. Like, I'm willing to, from the information I've gotten, to say that Joshua Graham would probably win. Like, he's more likely sounds candidate. Like it. Yeah, that's where I'm leaning. Like, it sounds like he can. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it feels like it, it is leaning in his direction to me. Any yeah, disagreement I, on such a statement? Sounds like it's not. All right. No. Pushes I think, us I to. I think I'm good with Josh Graham. Oh, who's going to win with this one? I'm actually pretty curious. We have as the next bout Lara Croft versus Sarah Connor. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Sarah Connor from Terminator 1 or 2? <laughs> right, that's, that's got to be. Are two. we talking about Dark Fury here? Or <laughs> oh, I, I, don't that, think, I don't think it would be fair to put <laughs> Terminator 1 Sarah into a deathmatch <laughs> game of any kind. <laughs> Oh man, I I think in a fist it's, fight, I think I think Lara. Lara's taking her yeah. out. Yeah, Dude, I think it's Lara probably. Lara oh, slices maybe not her up with her Lara. polygonal breasts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> blinds yeah. her, stabs like, her in the eyes with them. <laughs> I think they would be very evenly matched in in, in round one, personally. Uh, but I think Lara is younger and would therefore win because, like Sarah Connor in Terminator Two, which is probably her peak, right, would yeah. be what like 35 40 you know like she's she's a little bit older than a, a 22 year old laura croft ultra um, athlete like, yeah ultra it, athlete um, you know has a gymnast, has yeah. an obstacle course in her house <laughs> canonically yeah, lara's Sarah... been training for all her life essentially since she's a little kid so. that's fair um sarah's 29 in t2 and she's like lost her mind in terms of that might go against yeah. her or for her i guess it's complicated um, right I, I think she would be very tenacious but you know it's still peak Lara Croft. She's just outmatched yeah. well is that true like physically I, I would have thought um training in the in, in the way that uh lara has to deal with the challenges that she has is different from like strength training which is what sarah has mainly done over the time she's had you know what i mean like they're like two different things I'd be willing to agree that is, Lara will outclass well, it, maybe, but I, I, just, I just think it's worth considering. One of the things about the desperation that... as well, right? So, like, you know, Sarah Connor is, is absolutely motivated and will probably, you know, get to the point of biting and scratching you if, like, you're threatening to beat her. Whereas, like, Lara is, 
motivated by what like tomb raiding which is not Sense quite the, the same thing as yeah. beating off She's skynet so if you can convince sarah connor that lara croft somehow represents skynet then i think sarah connor wins mm. i think that might be a hard thing to convince her of i could see her winning round two pretty easily because she gets guns and things right but but well, so is lara well wait we'll yeah, get to that that's gonna be complicated no, uh, i mean i would say lara's, lara's pistols have unlimited ammo do you, well, well wait, 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 yeah, wait, 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 we're not losing focus around one, as soon as we, because this yeah. round two is going to be tough, oh. so is round three, to be honest with you, but round okay. one, it seems like we're generally aiming toward Lara for round one, it seems this, this is the vibe I'm getting. It's like, like 60, 40, 55, 45 yeah. to Lara. Right. Yeah, I'd say, I'd I, say I Lara. Think it, I, think I think it, I think it tilts slated. towards Lara, yeah. Yeah, but in round two, does, like, Sarah Connor get, like, a rifle? Is that, like, her base loadout? I mean, the thing is, her base loadout changes a lot in T2, right? She goes from having a pistol to having pistol and rifle to having, uh, I think, pistol again. So, like, the thing is, you have to take into account that she probably would have that as a base loadout going forward because of the fact that she's a paranoid, you know, like, I will kill anything that mm -hmm. comes near my son sort of person. So I think it would be fair to mm -hmm. give her the pistol and the rifle, but that Lara would get all of her gear that she typically well gets, including the double pistols. Sarah, Sarah does not successfully kill Miles Dyson, though, like from a distance. Well, that's but that's that's very much she because she doesn't have a uh, lot of success killing anything. Well, well she, she, she's she's about to execute like Miles. She decides well. not to because yeah. his son gets in the way. That's, that's well, I, I don't know why we're saying she didn't have that much. She nearly killed the T one thousand. Like, yeah, and she's a person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know why we're downplaying well, not, that. And she did take out the T eight hundred. Well, I said in, in she almost one. beat him yeah. single handedly. Like she nearly got him. It was it was like yeah. uh, the T eight hundred like right at the end with the uh, with the grenade launcher. But like that wouldn't have worked if she hadn't done what she'd done. So true. Okay, sure. I'm just could saying. You, could you argue downplay. though that that was yeah. all part of working together with you know the T one hundred? Well, like I said, almost single hand. She didn't do it. Like <laughs> she pretty repeated herself her like a million but... times. <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't know how many times she almost single handedly took down the T one thousand. Yeah, if she had one extra shot in a Spaz twelve, she would have gotten him. Yeah, yeah, she would have and... actually gotten him. Him. Uh, on and Lara Croft's biggest enemy was like a tiger in the first game. So. I'm not discounting Lara at all. I'm just making sure that we understand this is yeah. a tough one. Yeah, I'm just yeah, trying yeah. to make an argument for Sarah Connor because it feels like it would be more obvious to lean towards Lara Croft because of the things that she... We're talking about like OG Lara Croft, right? Not yeah, like the yeah. reboot. Okay, so. Even though on the reboot, I mean, she accomplished... She becomes like a Nathan Drake situation. <laughs> yeah. How many people do you take down in a game, right? And how much should that explain yeah. your uh, abilities. Oh my god, I guess the environment in the second round favors either of them. In Probably a... favors Lara, right? It favors yeah, Lara. I assume Lara. She goes like tropical environments. Yeah. And, but, so I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking Lara stuff. wins, actually. I would give it to Lara myself. I think so. I think it's, yeah. I think it's, it's an interesting fight, but I think Lara's got round one and two. Uh, it's I close, do. though. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, the um, the arguments for Sarah. I just... I don't, I don't know if she's going to be able to edge out. Uh, I mean, just... Look at how sharp that chest is. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I've been looking at. I prefer Sarah as a character, but I think Lara's. Well, yeah, of course. He'd get a he'd get stigmatis from groping her. He'd be he'd <laughs> Is that controversial to prefer Sarah to Lara? How do people feel about that? As a might character? be, but I mean, then again, Lara Croft is the most popular video game character uh, of all oh, time, of course. according to <laughs> that insane poll. But yeah. Also, the next one. People have wanted this to be here, so it's kind of lucky this uh, this happened this way. But this is okay. fascinating because I can somewhat participate in this conversation, but this is going to be tough because I don't know how many people here actually can. We'll find out. It depends on whether you're a Star Trek fan. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh my god. god! Dare I even introduce this? It's Do the it. classic battle. James T. Kirk versus oh. Jean-Luc Picard. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, I can't participate in this conversation. I haven't really. seen enough Nor of the I. of the OG one. <laughs> I, I have seen a lot of this. I think the round one is is maybe very clearly Kirk. I think <laughs> yeah, it's gotta yeah. be Kirk. Yeah, like like no, Picard, Picard can fight and he chance. does fight, but, but he, he yeah he's no he's no Kirk. 
he's no Kirk in a, a one-on-one fight. Um, also, uh, Picard is canonically in his 60s when he takes over yeah, the he's, Enterprise. Like he's but old, he's, okay, but they're also in that universe, right? In great shape because of you oh, know, sure. all, the, all the good health and stuff. And they, Kirk's like, younger though, right? So like, Kirk's just in his 30s. That alone. Yeah. yeah, surely Kirk wins a physical fight. Yeah. I think in round one, he definitely wins, clearly. Yeah. The right, question so. is, what what becomes the standard loadout for either of them? This is <laughs> I, I, I it, yeah, it's 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 simple. Yeah. It is them with a phaser. That's that's what's going to be in the uh, yeah. the forest. So at that phaser point, tricorder. We do have the uh, the phaser overload option, but I think it's like a, you could turn Picard... your phaser into a grenade at that point, somewhat. Yeah, I, I think Picard is better as a shot. Than Kirk, I think we see him in a lot more combat situations with a phaser, where he he is actively killing people, um, throughout the entire next generation and all the movies. I think that you see Picard as being like a pretty good shot. I think if it's a a quick draw situation in a forest, I would put my money on Picard. Um, a lot of people in chat are saying like Kirk would easily win one and two. Why is why is that? Like why? Why do we? I think, yeah, I mean, we, people saying that. We, we've we've actually seen, about. seen Picard doing phaser training in uh, Next Generation and scoring right. high. And he's good with with um, you know uh, melee weapons. He knows all these things. You know, uh, he's even practiced with like old Earth weapons. I, I think he's kind of a, a Renaissance man when it comes to military combat. But uh, I, Kirk is just kind of showboaty. You know, whatever. He's more impulsive as well. Whereas yeah. Like Picard is known to be the more strategic and and sort of forward thinking and planning and strategizing. Act, mm, that's a, that's the falsehood. It's a falsehood that Kirk's impulsive. He's not. He's actually a very very strategic say, captain. I've been watching um, though. TOS, and uh, it's interesting that Kirk has that reputation when he's a very careful captain. Like, uh, yes, a lot of the very, episodes. yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a reputation which has gone around Kirk, which is not actually uh, warranted in the slightest. It's usually from people that have never seen Star Trek, to be honest with you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I, I said, I I've just I, started to watch a lot of it, and uh, Kirk is not the character that I was led to believe he was. No. I mean, round I, I, th- I mean, I'll say that round three is, is Picard, and it's not even close. Well, but, so yeah, um, just for the sake of the why, understanding, why that... we've got, they're both well, in the Enterprise, could... respectively, they have a, yeah, a Starship fight. You've got, you got the Enterprise D versus the, uh, the Enterprise. The yeah, okay. so, okay. yeah. Well, but out of curiosity, it's just a more advanced ship, is it? Vastly yes. more advanced. Yeah, yeah, if yeah, we, uh, yeah. Not that we will, because that's, that's simply how it works in this game, so I'm afraid that he will get round three. But I was going to say, if they had the same uh, ship, who do you think would win as... Uh oh, that I I would probably go with uh, Kirk. Interesting, especially I mean, you know, the way that Kirk has used his ship, um, is is uh, yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense to me. Especially uh, unless... in the Wrath of Picard. If you you know, in the in the Wrath of Khan, Wrath of Picard, Wrath of Picard. In the Wrath of Khan. <laughs> <laughs> in, you know, in the Wrath of Khan, that is that is some genius stuff. So I, I would put in a, in a on on a, a parity with with vessels. I'd I would go with Kirk. All right. Well, mm. so the way it stands is that uh, Picard's got round three, Kirk's got round one. The thing that's to take into consideration yeah. is I think Picard's tech, being his phaser, is actually higher tech than Kirk's. But Kirk's is still capable of like vaporizing you. I think, right? Yeah. I I think. Uh, I think Picard would have uh, his phaser on stun, and I think Kirk would have his phaser on stun for round Well, that's both. Um, not but an impossible. Either way, it's... whichever one gets hit. Yeah, yeah, they'll be going for the knockout, not a kill. That's fair. That's but uh, who would hit who which first? Is still, which is who's... still a win, which is still a W. Are we like it basically just comes down to which captain is more accurate with their phaser, I suppose. I feel that's Picard. It's, it's tough. It's tough. It's tough. <laughs> I, mean, I mean right like i i i think it is um plus picard is just so much cooler so you know <laughs> <laughs> he's a fellow baldy so you know uh, yeah i uh man i i guess i'm curious because like I, man so many people in chat were saying it was kirk like obviously and easily i'm just curious why there's such a disconnect 
I'm not actually 100% sure of what they're going for. I have no idea. I'm just not familiar with Star Trek at all. I've seen a lot of Kirk's <laughs> name. I, I would go Kirk, Kirk, Picard. Well, people are saying, oh, Kirk beat Spock. And it's like, yeah, but Picard beat a Nausicaan. So, like, you know, if well, we really want to say who who's the better uh, melee fighter... You know, I mean, I didn't even come into round two anyway. He, he got he got skeered through the heart by a Norsican while fighting another Norsican. So right, uh, but he still he still you know was winning that fight. <laughs> I, 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 I reckon if I've got to be if I've got to be uh, you know I mean my personal favorite is Picard, but I I got to go with uh, Kirk Kirk Picard. Considering well, the like, um, so limited I'm, knowledge, I, I, I'd, I'd be. Yeah okay with saying it seems with considering everyone's involvement that Kirk seems to have it out of these two. Would that be fair? Seems like it. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like it. I mean, chat's certainly a very aggressive on this one. I wouldn't blame them because they, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they've got an investment. They want to see Kirk move forward and not Picard, and that's fine. You've chosen your captain. They're both, they're we'll see how he does Picard's in the phaser round. scores were the thing that was making me be like, hmm, maybe he does have round two. He did get beaten by Guinan, though. Yeah. Who's yeah. much better with a phaser than anyone. <laughs> well, it was interesting, though, because you said the, the phaser training. Does Picard, like, does he have, like, an exceptional rating, or is it just good? Um, I... I, I... They go high in rounds. He, there's been a couple of times where he's been phaser practicing in the um, holodecks. Um, well, they gotta enough. keep. They gotta keep sharp. The next. But, I mean, that's the kind. Of, that was the kind of thing which was there before they had holodecks. You know, in in Kirk's day and stuff. So yeah, Picard yeah, is very yeah. martial. I feel. Yeah. Next fight we have Ethan Hunt of Mission Impossible versus Ooh. Corporal Hicks. Oh my. Oh, well, poor Hicks. Well, uh, well, why? Hold on. Mm. <laughs> I think in round two, because he right, you've got rifle. he's got a pulse rifle, yeah, yeah and yeah. armor. And like, what would be the the loadout for Ethan in round I two? Just himself? Is a pistol. I think he gets think a gun. Yeah, that's pistol. about it. But uh, it, we so have to like concede. Hicks gets the pulse rifle in uh, in the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So round two, I feel, is easy Hicks. It's round one, boy. I would say round three is easy Hicks uh, as well. Even. Yeah, because mm -hmm. Hicks mm. has the Sulaco. Um, I mean, can um, Tom Cruise would you give him the whole ship? Space yeah, disguise we, we, technology and convince Hicks he's somebody else. The yeah, captain, yeah well, he's, he's, that, that's, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I, I mean, I want to do round one anyway. Really. Isn't that the most interesting one? Who these guys win when they're I down think to Ethan takes round one. I think Ethan wins round one. Yeah. I guess because Hicks's it training like... is much more in weaponry than hand to hand. Yeah. But I, I don't, I don't actually know yeah. what Hicks's training for hand to hand would even be if there is any. I assume there's some. Right? He's a marine, so they they would definitely do quite a bit. But uh, I mean, Ethan, Ethan's been in some pretty crazy fist fights. So yeah, like yeah, I feel like Ethan wins round one. Um, it just it just seems like that's like he is super duper duper like physically fit. Like, I'd exceptionally so. Um, Hicks loses round two because Ethan's better at ambushing. I don't know. It's It just feels like Hicks is so dominant in that I... fight in the woods because of That's... the weapons difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can so say like better at ambushing, ambushing all you want, but then there's a big gun. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Big gun over a big gun a with a things. tracker, with a big tracker oh, on shit, it. Yeah. And yeah, a grenade yeah, yeah. launcher. Oh. Grenade launcher in it, too. And yeah, I feel like Hicks sure. definitely like the weapons d just makes it for him in round two. So and yeah. round three is interesting though also, because yeah, all of the resources of the IMF. He does have all of that, but it depends on how there. we think about this because the Sulaco can nuke essentially. So like, would it just be that as long as I can find him? Well, but he could just keep nuking Earth until he gets him again. <laughs> <laughs> how many how many nukes do they have? Probably a lot. A lot. Yeah. He's a, we're assuming that Hicks can go just go back to his reality afterwards and not have to deal with totally destroying the planet. It's uh, I mean yeah, I wouldn't count definitely uh, have because it's complicated, right? Ethan's got a lot of resources. I just don't know if he he might get outclassed with how in the future uh, Hicks is, you know. But yeah, they have they have auto aiming weapons, right? Like they they are way advanced compared. To be fair, 
Um, Ethan probably has some of that now because the stupid AI. But then again, that's the, the enemy <laughs> in that film. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. God, that movie was terrible. Oh. <laughs> I guess that's the problem is it might just be a case of Ethan has no way mm -hmm. of getting into space, which just means it's an instant game over. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Like, he, d he just can't take him. So it'd be Hicks. I think it would be Hicks, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's All a right. tough matchup, Ethan. Yes. You gave it your best yeah, shot. Enough. I appreciate it. You could revisit it the after Dead Reckoning Part 2 when he does go to space. Then True. we can True. come back. Well, they probably could have gone there. If they made like two billion with the next two Mission Impossibles, they might have considered that. And we would have loved it. I'm sure they'll do that. Um, Mission Impossible Moonraker. Ooh. <laughs> the next matchup is Solid Snake versus Leon S. Kennedy. Oh, oh boy. boy. God. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's like, pretty that, close. That's like a really Snake close matchup. Isn't Jesus, it, it is. But Snake yeah. is like Snake. Snake isn't winning. his deal. Like he's an expert in close quarters combat. Yeah, he's a yep. close quarters combat and espionage expert. Does yeah. he a weapon? Well, is it round one and two? Yeah. In fact, I think that's actually easy. Actually, Snake like wins. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. He God. definitely yeah. wins yeah. one and two. He definitely yeah, wins one, one and two. two. He wins for sure. Leon, Leon is like in... nonsense, but. I don't know how far we can indulge the nonsense that he pulls in the video. Well, it looks game. like <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got a lot of plot. The chat seemed to be like well, ninety-five percent snake, so it looks like he's got it. Uh, even yeah, if you it even if you indulge the nonsense, you then go and indulge Snake's nonsense and have him fight <laughs> a Metal Gear yeah. alone and win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, yeah. fucking Leon gets defeated quite a few times in Resident Evil Four. It's just that he keeps getting away with it because they need to yeah. wait for the uh, you know the the plagas to yeah. I guess, uh, to obviously, to make the point clear a bit, in round one, it seems like Snake wins because he is just the better fighter, and Very round two, it's like, this is team. his terrain. This is yeah, his yeah, element. This is what he does. This is yeah. his thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, te Metal Gear Solid 3 is the one that primarily takes place in forest environments, and technically, that's not Solid that's Snake, not the one that was yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Naked this Snake. But got all of they, that guy's skills, uh, though. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, they have the same skills, so, you know. It's. Uh, I, I don't think Leon has a chance in and again, any round, really. For every Leon versus whatever boss you want to pull from that game, you can say Solid Snake solo to Metal Gear. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Because uh, you know and what? Any fast rounds? Right after. Any fast yes. rounds are welcome because this fight is the last of round one of Lightweight. Ooh. It'll get faster it's as we progress one? through oh, Lightweight, but I might put a two minute cap on the rest of the rounds for Lightweight because we had our big discussions uh -huh. about each of the characters. Uh -huh. Yeah. We you know, you, you understand what I'm saying? Round two is where all the winners of round one fight each other, so it's 16 fights, then it's yeah. eight fights, you know, and so on. Um, there was a loser's well, bracket, but we just, I don't think we have the time to do loser's brackets, I'm afraid. No way, we don't have time. Not anyway. We gotta get, cause we, we gotta get to the heavyweights. So the final <laughs> fight of round one of lightweight is Judge Dredd versus Jack Bauer. Oh, oh man, oh. I, boy. I feel like Dredd oh, wins man. round one handily, right? Dread, dread, dread. Yeah, yeah, I think, I yeah, think it might be dread, dread. I mean, I don't really dread see might how win Bauer all is going to do anything. I mean, he's great at planning, but I mean, oh, he's great. No, he's great at um, what would be the word? Improvising. I mean, improvising. I don't know shit about yeah. Jack Bauer, so maybe you guys can chat me up. Jack Bauer. Well, he's just he, like he's, he's just a forge one. one. But the figure he's a yeah counter terrorist he's dread, yeah, exactly. that. Um, <laughs> So basically, I don't know what's the best way to describe well, Jack Bauer. Him, He's Jack Bauer is kind of like Sam Fisher. You think about it like super duper, you know, like yeah, special force, okay. like espionage, mm. like super, yeah. yeah, you know, secret secret agent guy. But the problem is that it's yeah, it's Dread. So yeah, yeah it's Dredd. It's Dredd. he doesn't stand a chance against Dread. I, yeah. I do like I like Jack Bauer a lot. A bunch of the seasons of Twenty Four suck, but a few of them are pretty good. And Jack <laughs> Bauer is yeah, always sure. quite as if that awesome, plays into how he would win this fight. He's a good fighter fight. and all this, but you just don't. No, I'm just like I'm just saying that like despite <laughs> that, episodes. I'm saying Dread definitely will slaughter Jack in every round. Yes. Yeah, yeah. he would. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Seems everyone's agreed. It was, uh, it was fun knowing you, Jack. <laughs> he tries. Bye. All right, give me a no, sec. This is an unfair way. matchup for him. That's the thing. <laughs> hey, yeah. Points for turning up. Yeah. Like him against Ethan would have been. Him maybe against a little Kermit, bit that would have been fair. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, like I said, round two now. So, you're going to see a lot of familiar faces. Um, let me just pull them up. We got the first of round two is. Boy. The wonderful James Bond versus Garrus Vakarian. Uh, 
I mm. guess it feels like we're going to be doing a bit of a repeat of the conversation, yeah. which is that yeah. like you're dealing with sci-fi tech from the future. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that um, it will come down to shorthand now. So Garrus kind of Garrus. won this fight already. Garrus, yeah. So yeah, yeah, Garrus. I think, I think it's, it's Garrus. Garrus. Garus. Yeah, first round doesn't even matter. Just to be so... clear for future <laughs> rounds, right? Matter. For anybody who's missed anything before they come in, they'll be like, whoa, why did you skip this? It's like, we did Garrus versus Sam Fisher, I think, right? So yes. If, he, if Garrus beats Sam Fisher, right. it's safe to assume he can beat James Bond. It's, I know they're different characters, but that's kind of the shorthand we're using, just so everyone yeah. knows. They don't get it. Makes upset. sense to me. Right, yeah. well, while I'm yeah. sorted out the pictures, uh, Rambo versus Steve from Minecraft. <laughs> I missed the Steve from Minecraft one. conversation. What did we settle on with his capabilities? Like, Steve is a master of his terrain. That's yes. the main thing that he's going going for him. Okay, yeah. I think Steve wins all three. Is Steve <laughs> all three? He needs a nerf. Yeah. Is Steve <laughs> able to alter Final Destination? Like, yes. Okay. I think yes, so. Steve like, wins every round forever. Ground. Wait, he could. He can't put. Yeah, Wasn't but, that something that he could do? I don't think he wins Final Destination, no. I, I, he's got so no. little material to work with, and if we're saying, like, Final Destination yeah. is, like, a line of blocks, and then a smaller line of blocks underneath, and then, like, he could start digging, but Rambo's just gonna be, oh, sorry, yeah, it would be Rambo, wasn't it? Yeah. He's just gonna see him and be yeah, like, what yeah. the fuck are you doing? And then kick him, and he'd the fall off. He can know? punch like, trees down. It's true, he does have a hard punch. Yeah, but punch remember the base stat like rock. of punching another character in the world of Minecraft. How long does it take to kill a person doing that? And this That's is Rambo, true. so... That's true. The thing is, it's funny is because Rambo has to follow three. that law as well? Not necessarily, but I'm saying that even if we followed either world's law, uh, Steve is not punching Rambo to death before Rambo kills the fuck out of him. The attack power of Steve's punch is low, even if the mining powers are oddly high. Oh yeah, and as was just mentioned, Steve would have a lot of trouble getting through metal floors. Like it would take him a while, especially with his yeah. fists. So he yeah. loses round one. He loses sure, round one. Two and three. If it was like we're kind He's of got three. What Steve with has pride. three. We 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 know this yeah, from the past. Steve so has it's, three. it's two. Oh, which, by the way, both of them are quite comfortable in the forest. That's oh, yeah. true. But the fact that Steve can just dig on the ground and use that as a means of, it's like, you know what I mean? How does yeah. Steve just, ever lose round two? Yeah, well, he, because he's just it, randomly if, sniped from a distance, I guess. If like, Price, mm. if Price couldn't beat Steve in the forest, then Rambo is a very similar skill set. Yeah. To be fair, I would, for the record, probably put out. Rambo above Price in the forest. Um, but oh yeah, I, I would too. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Sure. But they're both like but, special forces operators. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. that's what their skill set they're is. They have probably very similar training. Rambo's essentially and, on a time limit here. He has to like because Steve has to get him Steve is quickly. scaling. Steve hits critical mass very quickly, you know. And then, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So I think you I can't think let him Steve. farm minions, right? You got to take him out early game. Yeah, exactly. Leaning fit in a way, wrong game. Someone said, "Stop nerfing Rambo." How are we nerfing him? Not, I, no, I, I think even Rambo if you gave him explosive Steve. arrows, if you give him the explosive arrows, yeah, if you said he had an M60, him. you give him all these things, he's still, he's still not going to Yeah, you've got to keep in mind, anyone thinking about this, yeah. he's, he's got to find and shoot Steve before Steve digs up a hole in the floor and then puts it above himself, and he's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Steve, like, creates cold fusion underground. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's a, yeah. yeah. a supercomputer or something. Yeah. It's, um... It's a tough. One. It sounds absurd, but because I don't think this is one people are not going to like if we conclude Steve is the winner. But it looks like that's what we're dealing with. I think he wins yeah. two and three easily. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right. I mean, I I, like, I agree. So we we'd have to change the rules by which he won the first round for him to lose round two. Like, <laughs> I am inclined to agree. Rambo is out. <laughs> Ooh. I can see Steve actually just winning this entire category. I I, I can't yeah. see anyone beating Steve he at any be. point. He certainly in round winner. two, he might be the winner. Yeah. Well, we what, have... what, 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 what about Garrus getting in, uh, getting into Normandy and fucking yeah, nuking him? That Steve around. with enough time can build a spaceship of his own. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he doesn't have it. Yeah, but Garrus is in in the Normandy from the start. Bye, well, he has bye, to find bye, Steve. You know, well, Steve. The Nor well, well, not the Normandy. Wait, 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 wait. Can't we should talk about this if we get there because. It, yeah, we yeah. we got somebody to get to. <laughs> the next fight is Malcolm Reynolds versus Rick Deckard. Oh, Malcolm number one. Mal Malcolm. Yeah, number I think Malcolm's two. number one for sure. Um, 
Yeah, I think he gets number three. two. Malcolm number three, dude. Yeah. Malcolm Sweet. Yeah. Malcolm's Malcolm got Malcolm it. Three, yeah. Yeah. Mel Sorry. is the boy. Yeah. Yeah, he's Sorry, better. Rick. You're out, bud. <laughs> I hate yeah, this. Fuck you, Rick. Get the fuck out of here. Damn. All right. Carl Johnson versus Mad Max. Hmm. Carl Johnson at his fully kitted up is like definitely more powerful than Max. He he's got tank. So, you know, at like at his max. Yeah, not including cheat codes, he's he's still got a shit ton of power. Um Carl Johnson thanks yeah. to his GTA ness. But um how are we feeling so about round one? Between CJ and Mad Max? That's I don't know, honestly. Uh, it feels like a top up. DJ's pretty strong. Yeah, we got a lot of no picks. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm finding them. Yeah. They take a second, all right? I'm sorry. <laughs> I think CJ wins round two, though, because him at his basic equipment is better than Max's. Yeah, that's probably true, right? The um, What would CJ get? Yeah. Like a pistol? He's got slash... an AK. If he's got an AK. I feel yeah. like he's definitely got like a rifle of some kind. Yeah. And I don't know if we agreed, but I feel like he body armor would be default. He He'd have body armor as a default, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. like default is him with nothing. Uh, you know, base base stats number one, but then in round two, it feels like he should have the body armor, since that's just like a normal gameplay mechanic. I agree. So I think CJ yeah. wins, and then he probably has an AR or something like that. You know, like Max that, does pretty, pretty well in the Thunderdome. <laughs> Yeah, but is he, is he, uh, CJ does pretty well in San Andreas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah no, I mean, I mean for round one. For round one. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, granted, there's no yeah, jumpy thing, but yeah. <laughs> he at the very least agrees to a fight against the body, who's like, you know. I think they're guy. really close, like competitive in round one, but I think two and three CJ wins. Yeah. I'm inclined to go with Matt Max uh, Arsenal overall is kind of limited. Like, he has a lot of yeah, knives exactly. and shit and everything. Uh, like if you go with Thunderdome, he has like a bunch of stuff he just throws on the, the body counter. armor doesn't grow on trees in San Andreas. That's not none of the equipment that any of the characters have had when they spawn in the forest grows on trees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, that's the yeah, no, no, they, 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 well, it doesn't I, have to I, be I produced in the forest. I don't understand that, like, as a point, the whole idea is that they spawn in with like a base amount of equipment. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is like relevant to who the character is. And yeah, and he would definitely have body armor. armor. He'd have an yeah. AR. I think I'd probably Sorry. give Mad Max round one, but the other two rounds is just CJ easily. Easily. I well, I don't know. Like as you were saying with Thunderdome, when they they tell him to give up his weapons, he he has so many on him. So his base loadout is a shitload of weapons. Yeah, at but least, I mean, like, you could argue yeah, that CJ's all, base loadout all, like, then should be comparable. Didn't all you, didn't you? Didn't we all also agree that this was uh, Mad Max Road Warrior? Oh yeah. I don't. I didn't agree to that. <laughs> like, I'm fine with Mad Max getting in okay, general. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm okay with him having more ammo. Yeah, but it's but still mostly. Like is is yeah, we're not picking CJ from a particular mission. We're just taking a general he's, CJ. He still has yeah. only like small arms and some crossbows and stuff. CJ is like a yeah. fucking gatling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair like, enough. CJ has got better I resources. Believe. Okay, yeah. yeah, CJ wins. CJ's I think it. CJ wins. Mm -hmm. yeah. The next fight. These are all going to be names you recognize now. We have Nathan Drake versus King Arthur. <laughs> what am I... I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say that again? Well, what do you guys got? What uh, do you reckon? So I feel like Nathan Drake wins round one, right? Does Nathan Drake beat King Arthur in a fist fight? I <laughs> see. Um, it's such a ridiculous I, thing to say, but yeah, I think, I think so. He, I think he wins by virtue of modern standards of fitness and well-being. Maybe like I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think Arthur probably beats him in a fist fight. I have no Why? idea. <laughs> because right, because yeah, Nathan's, yeah. Nathan's a Nathan's a modern day fighter for sure, but but Arthur is a guy that you know lived in a completely different time, and even. Royalty in those days would would you know the homeless probably live better than that. So uh, well, I, I I think that he's been Arthur's been through much more as a fighter than uh, than Nathan has and and would be much better equipped for that hand to hand. I mean the thing is is that Nathan Drake only does hand to hand. If it was a sword fight, if it, it's obvious that King Arthur wins, but like Nathan Drake only does like when he's fighting you know melee, it's only ever hand to hand, and he beats yeah. everybody except for Nadine because the writers decided that he wouldn't win that one. <laughs> King Arthur has like 
killed giants. So that's true. Uh, so Chatter's got a good point. Arthur doesn't have microplastics in his testicles. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Um. I mean, yeah. I. Well, I guess here's here's a qu round three. Um, it's like Nathan Drake with a rocket launcher. Yeah. <laughs> And and vehicles as well. Yeah, I feel like two and three are Nathan Drake anyway, right? I think they well, are. Yeah, yeah. In, in, in two, it's Drake. He's got a gun, so he's got a gun. I don't know what King Arthur's doing so. against the gun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then three, he's got rocket launchers. Even if you, because I, I remember the argument was whether or not you would include the round table um, with King Arthur, but I think even if you did that. Right, there's still a rocket. Ah, if you did that, it would be well. If you did that, it'd be Merlin, and Merlin beats. Nathan well, yeah, Drake yeah, but I think sure. I think the idea was we don't he get, like Merlin can't come in because he's he's a hero does, unit, right? Well, so does Excalibur does that beat out a gun? Well, some people like, say I, mean, like, I, I think so. you couldn't. I think you couldn't shoot through Excalibur, but I don't think King Argon Third. Oh, could sure, but like block a bullet. Be blocking Excalibur, right? I don't think he's going to block a bullet, but I don't think you could shoot through it. Um, yeah, we can't have Merlin coming in, of course. Uh, somebody was saying that Arthur can stop bullets. Like th this, this is just evidence that I don't know much of anything about the many know. different myths I and legends. You remember calling... any Arthurian legend in which King Arthur has to fight a person with a gun? So I don't <laughs> think that's canonical. <laughs> can, I don't think so. Either. We can assume like vague magical forces sure. in his favor, but like I don't know. Guns are quite good. Like are yeah. guns are really good. Like, even if we give Arthur round one, I think Nathan takes both two and three. Yeah. The thing Always. is, it's like, I don't, uh, what, it, what is the appeal in terms of the magic will stop the bullets? Like, what's the, <laughs> what's the argument for that? I don't, yeah, what is the know. argument for that? I don't know. How do we know, know that that's magic? true? <laughs> like, I'll even accept that, that Arthur can, you know, change in uh, he, like, forms is, and is stuff. Is Arthur but... invincible with Excalibur? Are they talking no. about the well, Arthur even... in Fate? Like Artoria, because <laughs> she's like a superhero. No, we're not. He was never like he was Yo. never added into. He wouldn't be in the lightweight to that point, you know. So uh, is maybe he actually invulnerable while wielding Excalibur. That sounds like well, we, horseshit. But taking away those of, powers anyway, right? Well, I was going to say if he was invulnerable by by having that, then he'd be in. Uh, he'd probably be in middleweights. Then so it, this is in, not. Yeah. yeah. Whatever Arthur version that makes him a man who was strong, talented, had a sword that was pretty powerful and possibly magical, like that's the one we're going with. Which there's plenty of visions I'm aware of that have him like that, rather than um, blocking bullets. Agreed. So um, anyway, <laughs> well, why would I just love the idea of Arthur. The sword makes well, him invincible. Why I'm willing to accept. There's plenty of then? stories that regard him having some form of magic that can block, like who knows what. But like I. I'm not gunning for the, for that sort of thing. If I had known that ahead of time, I probably wouldn't have put him with these guys because it's not really fair. Um, mm. Next fight: Tarzan versus well, Maximus. So, so who wins? Well, I think it was, it's Drake clears round two and three. Arthur doesn't have a chance. Okay. Um, his arm is probably pretty good, but oh. not good enough to deflect bullets. Uh, I think it's Maximus, right? <laughs> uh, in round mm. one, I'm uh, round still one, giving it to Tarzan. Yeah. Yeah. Round one. yeah. Tarzan. Yeah, round one, it, but I meant like overall. Tarzan? I was about to say... Well, round two is well, round two. tough. Like, mm, yeah. These are both like very... <laughs> is it Tarzan? That's Tarzan's turf. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. Stuff, but but Maximus, Maximus is armed. Has Maximus has a sword. No. Is armed with a yeah. sword. He does, but Tarzan would recognize what that is, right? Like he would know to avoid it. Yeah. And he, probably he would know can. what it is for sure. What, what's um, he going to do well, about it? He did beat Clayton and Clayton had a gun. So that's true. Yeah, you know Tarzan's I mean? like, gone up he, against people with weapons. Right. Before. He didn't with a gun, yeah, like so he we probably do, does we, win. We do re recognize that having a sword doesn't mean you automatically win, no matter who you are versus a swordless person, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 It probably is still Tarzan because of the terrain and mm -hmm. and the fact that Maximus isn't in a position to control the terrain. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd say it's Tarzan, Tarzan, <laughs> Maximus. <laughs> See, might, think, might come down to Steve and Tarzan because of the forest being round two. <laughs> No, is round three... first round. Why is it so clear cut? Because he would have an army. No, well, round well, one. I mean. Oh, I'm three. sorry. I thought you said round three. Yeah. Round um, one is that Tarzan just is appears to be like stronger than um than Maximus. Like he, the fact that he's able to be so agile up in the like that requires yeah. immense yeah. strength. Yeah. I guess I that's like... fair. Yeah, fair enough. 
Like then you kill like a like some animal as well. Like a yeah, you killed a leopard. So yeah, oh, yeah. Like full yeah. yeah. Well, several times the strength like, of a human being. Yeah, yeah. Tarzan is yeah, super yeah, yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so right. Tarzan wins. Yeah. Uh, was that Tarzan overall? Just clar clarifying. Yeah. Well, round three, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. I, All right. Yeah, yeah. Two rounds, Tarzan. Sorry, I doubted you, Tarzan. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't beat me up in the jungle. <laughs> Our next bout, Shrek versus Bugs Bunny. <laughs> oh, oh. I think, uh, I, I think, think Bugs, Bugs is losing. Competitive. Yeah. Wait, really? Uh, yeah, I, I, I think Shrek would beat him. You think Shrek beats Bugs Bunny in a, in a fist fight? Finding yeah. him, though. Yeah, well, I, I definitely well, in round, round one. Round one. Round one. Bugs Finding him in the jungle Shrek. or the forest. I feel like Bugs that... Bunny's probably going to win round one, right? So how far are we going to go with Bugs Bunny's? Wait, uh, how's Bugs Bunny running, winning stuff? round one? I think the power scale like abilities like all the Splatoon force. Well, much like Smash nonsense. Bros, if you knock Bugs in off the off the platform, he's done. It doesn't matter yeah. how many tune physics he has, he's he's out. Exactly. Or, uh, yeah, can you actually remember, knock him off? You know, does he have good recovery? That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think he does. I think yeah. Bugs Bunny's can air jump. jump. <laughs> I, I can I can imagine scenarios where he gets knocked off and then like just starts walking along the underside around to the other side. And then, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. I could Man, I could picture back? Shrek doing such a huge fart that it just disorients <laughs> Bugs and he walks off the edge himself. Like this is a powerful thing that we. I got. mean, again, like, I suppose whoever's so, funnier like... to lose, you know. I feel like Bugs Bunny, like Bugs Bunny, could probably do so. Like he could probably like paint a portion. Oh well, I guess he don't have a paintbrush. I was gonna say he could he like could paint one. Uh, a cliff or something there, like in the in the forest, and it would <laughs> work on Shrek. He has the ability to just reach off screen and have whatever. So that's true. He does have that ability. He could just reach out of fun. Does he have that ability exactly. in round one though? <laughs> yeah, that, that's the round three though. Surely just, like, that's, that's round just an three. innate thing that the character does though. Like he does that all the time. So well, I mean, uh, Mahler, you decide. Does he have that in round one? Well, if that's and grab a big mallet. If so, for example, <laughs> yeah. like any force users get the force at stage one because that's a part of them, like DNA wise. So if mm -hmm. one, we would argue if Bugs can manifest anything he wants from off screen, that might be too breaky. Could, I don't know if that kind of breaks the whole we thing. We could limit it to like typical yeah. things he gets, like the big mallet. Like a mallet. Yeah. Yeah. Can you it can be limited to he power? has to pull things out that will make make it funny for a moment. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it has to work for the joke he's trying the to do and hope that the joke around will Shrek. The character revolves around humor. Everything to do with whether or not he's able to win or lose a situation is based on what's funny. So, and it, and it would be funny to have him beat Shrek. So I don't, I'm not entertaining. That's the same oh, yeah, shit as Destiny. Movie. We're not doing it via who's funny. <laughs> 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 Um, well, I guess it's a question. Do you, who do you think is stronger, Bugs Bunny or Shrek? Shrek, Bugs but Bugs has the advantage of speed, strong. agility, and uh, confusion. Like, he can fuck with mm. Shrek. I don't he think can. Shrek can hit Bugs. I don't think he can either, yeah. At that point, then, it's just down to mm. Bugs sort of tricking Shrek into I falling off the, the platform. So yeah, I Which imagine I like Shrek just like wears himself out just trying to hit Bugs, and then in like classic cartoon fashion, once he's tired, Bugs just reaches off screen, gets like a broom or something, and sweeps him off the, <laughs> the edge. <broom. laughs> the more you think about it, the more Bugs becomes sort of a demigod, doesn't he? A little bit. Yeah. Cartoon characters he can break like, the fourth wall like this. There's power, there's power scaler communities, and they've been trying to like figure out cartoon characters for a long time. <laughs> they, yeah. We're probably not going to crack it here, but. Yeah, probably does, not. does that give not bugs round two as well? I think so. Uh, yeah. In which case, I, and, and I think I think round three, like bugs, definitely wins with all of. Oh yeah. You know, whatever Shrek can get, like bugs is gonna be able to get some crazy shit himself. Dude, that, is the final gonna be Minecraft, Steve, or is Bugs Bunny? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. It's hard to know exactly where we're heading, but the next one. Oh, what a classic example. I, I would. Uh, I mean, I mean, I was just say it makes sense. We we would come here maybe, but we've got Eric Cartman versus Homer Simpson. <laughs> Fuck oh, yes. that's that's oh. funny. Well, so round one, Homer wins. Homer wins yeah, round yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Homer wins round two as well. Yeah, probably round two is probably well. does win round two. It's like round three. I think Cartman wins, but yeah, round mm. three, Cartman wins for sure. I'd say. Like, oh, because he has enough time to plan in and... the forest, though. Yeah. Because like, I can see Cartman <laughs> doing some shit with the Christmas critters, and they do live in the woods. <laughs> yeah, oh god, and they're they're very OP. Uh, 
wasn't it decided that there's no animals in the forest? No, yeah, can, I think like, to make things you know, easier, leverage? yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, the Christmas critters are vicious. Yeah. And in round two, Homo would win as well, because it feels like it essentially boils down to the, the same man versus thing. a kid. <laughs> like, that's what's yeah. happening here, basically. <laughs> but you're right, uh, three goes to Kaba because he would, he would devise some horrifying scheme to kill Homo multiple times yeah. over in round three. And the rest of his family, too, yeah. Yep, cook him into a chili. But uh, Homer doesn't have to experience that because uh, he won those no, first two rounds. No, because he wins close. round one and two. Uh, next up Easy. is Mr. Bean versus Rich <laughs> Evans. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, this is about for the ages. Holy shit! <laughs> I thought Rich it could have been. I thought Rich Evans lost. Yeah, didn't yeah. Rich lose? Oh lost, wait a minute! Maybe yeah, right. he Hang lost. On. Because he lost to Gromit. He did Gromit lose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I mean, the Mr. correct Bean Mr. Gromit. Bean versus Gromit. The correct like, is so Mr. Gromit. Bean versus yeah, that Gromit's that one. Yeah, so that's easy. Better. Gromit won. Yeah, yeah Gromit yeah. wins. Yeah. Mr. Bean has no shot. <laughs> Gromit yeah. is the perfect kind of opponent for Mr. Bean to lose to as well. Like. Definitely. <laughs> that is perfect. Uh, right, okay, Gromit's so next sweet. one is actually Hannibal. <laughs> Hannibal Lecter versus T Rex. <laughs> wow. mm. I oh, think the T Rex wins. Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, like, so like you can't even give him the Simba thing and say he could jump under the In round three, three, in round three, uh, Hannibal's got it. Hannibal's got it in round yeah. three, yes. But, we can all agree with yeah, that. But but round one, get some guns one and two, three. he has no chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do a, is there even a reason to entertain? Like, <laughs> you know, Hannibal could uh, maybe get some twigs, no. chopping them up. Uh, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> How do you psychologically fuck with a T Rex? Right. <laughs> it's, like, it's the one thing he's got. That sounds like a movie premise. Like, Hannibal has met his, you know, biggest foe, the one person he cannot see. Hannibal I'd met his match. T Rex meet. I'd watch that movie. That's good. <laughs> Hannibal right. versus uh, T Rex. It's like Velocipaster level stuff, right there. Oh, oh remind me, did we did we say it was Marshmallow Man or Marvel's Katie? I think Marshmallow Man won the vote. Marvel, Marvel, yeah, yeah, Marshmallow Man won the vote. Yeah, 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 yeah. so oh, it is okay. Marshmallow Man versus right. Rocky Balboa. <laughs> oh, okay, it's Marshmallow, well, Marshmallow Man. Later, so that's yeah. Wait, what are we deciding? I didn't catch that. Marshmallow. Oh, I, oh, I think. Ma I think Marshmallow 1 and 2. Uh, sorry, yeah, Marshmallow 1 and 2 and Rocky 3. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Rocky 3. Oh, Rocky, I thought Rocky. I don't think Rocky even wins 3. I, I think it's still, like, the straight way across is Stay Puff. Stay Puff wins round 1 and 2 for sure. Round, like, yeah. it's just Rocky just doesn't have the capacity to he's, take him down. He's got less I capacity mean, to kill Ivan Stay Drago. Puff than Katie did. Yeah, exactly. yeah, he doesn't have any yeah. ranged weapons. Because right? pun punching so, the staple yeah. of marshmallow bass, probably going to do anything. He's going to be like, hey, like yeah. or something. <laughs> nothing at all. And then, like, round three is also stay puffed because it's just the same fight again. Pretty, yeah, I um, think he's good. I don't know. Rocky I mean, Rocky could, like, like drop a, gun, a Molotov right? cocktail. Yeah, he's yeah, 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 dropping yeah, Molotovs, you know. Maybe. Maybe. He's got an angle in. He's in Philadelphia. People can teach him how to make them. Yeah. I love the Stay Puff is getting into uh, round three, though. That's Stay cool. Puff. Yeah, he traps, traps, uh, Rocky traps him in uh, one of his freezers that he's training in and then starts snapping bits off when it freezes yeah. over, you know? All right, we might be back to a harder one, folks. We then, got... then Paulie eats him. Then, then Paulie just eats him. I mean, it's a lot of marshmallow, but I, I can see it. It's potential. We have, next up, John McClane Life versus life's Rorschach. Life's Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Uh, Rorschach round one? I think round round still one. Goes to Rorschach, though. Yeah. Rorschach round one due to. Ooh, does John get yeah. round two, though? He, he gets a gun. Rorschach doesn't. He gets a gun. gun. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think he does get round two. Man. Yeah. So it's down to round three, which is probably John, right? He's got the police force. Yeah. He's got, well, yeah. He's got super resources yeah. on his side compared. Yeah. Rorschach, Rorschach has been arrested before. Well, so, so all Rorschach needs to do, of course, is stay hidden until he gets access in some way, shape, or form to John, and then kill him assassination style, if if it possible. It's not impossible for him to win. On... It's just hard. Oh no! Wait. 
Yeah, I was thinking if Rorschach had the Minutemen, like which well, would be I mean, a lot of people would want to like, does he get the Watchmen? And it's like, no, Watchmen, he can't have the yeah. Watchmen because that's it's it's gonna Wait, be. Wasn't it the Minutemen in the thing? Watchmen, Watchmen. Oh, they actually do call themselves the Watchmen. The, the second iteration of it, right? Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, he's it's been a while um, since I read the book. He's a second iteration guy, right? He hangs out with Manhattan and all that. But um, wow, why is it not yeah. Manhattan? If Rorschach could pull in Dr. Manhattan, then he'd fucking win this whole list, obviously. <laughs> like, it wouldn't be. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, it was decided that that's not how that works. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, are we, I think we're agreed. John McClane got it. I th I'd say so. Yeah. You can shoot mm -hmm. the shit out of Rorschach. Oh, poor guy. Oh, then we've got Austin <laughs> Powers versus Isaac Clark. Judo wow. <laughs> 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 Judo jump, baby. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, Austin might have round one. So round two though. Oh, I think round Isaac three with two. armor. Ooh, because Austin can call in a lot of help in round three. Mm. Technologically, I mean. But I, I, I think, think Isaac. Uh, I mean, two. well, he can't compare to Isaac. That's true. Um, I was just thinking about it. Yeah, I think Isaac is one already. Go to a time machine and then that's, kill Isaac as a. That's guy. true. You're <laughs> wow. not wrong. <laughs> Austin does have a time oh. machine. Well, well then. Hmm. I think that was not considered because any characters that have time machine access moved up automatically to middleweight. So we're going to have to mm -hmm. discount it for Austin. Because um, otherwise he's one. Uh, <laughs> like, the gold member is no longer canon. Uh, well, I mean, uh, he's second got the second film, he time, secret service and stuff, he time travels in the Spy of Shagami as well, didn't he? He does. Does he? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, been a while since I've seen that one too. Yeah, as Spazzle said, don't worry about it, and neither should you. <laughs> Isaac literally killed a mood. I know. It's okay. We gotta <laughs> I know I've gone cross-eyed. I mean, uh, so we give we give it to Austin for round one because of judo chop. Judo chop so round is super two OP, yeah. goes to Isaac. Yeah. Yes. yeah. But round three probably so goes to Isaac. Round three. Isaac. Yeah, round three would be Isaac. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I appreciate the attempt, Austin. It's just that, you know, yeah. it's just really cool. It's just too powerful. Well fought, sir. Well fought. Well fought. All right. Joshua Graham versus Lara Croft. Lara. It, it does uh, feel... Is it that quick, Hot? Ooh. I think... Round I, one. Yeah, she shoves her uh, chest into him, yeah? Well, round one, yeah, she just kicks him in the balls and he fucking starts crying. Those microplastics, <laughs> damn. Yeah. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> well, then he wouldn't feel it. <laughs> well, plastic down there. There's too much plastic. Oh, mega plastics by the time that future comes around. Um, so round one, maybe Lara. Maybe. Wait, why? May I? Is she is. Because she kicks him in the nuts, or no, she, no, no. She, she, would, she, she, is, she would hit him, and she would realize she that the amount of pain that he'd be in, and she would just not let up. Well, so here's the thing: is that I. That was a thought I had, but is that actually the case, or does Joshua Graham have, like, really good pain tolerance? Like, do we have to assume that he just does because of the fact that he endures living, despite having been completely burnt, like, throughout his entire body? Does he right, but she's still, she's still a super athlete, right? Like, she's still yeah, uh, that's true. a very talented fighter as well when it comes so to... So Joshua to... Graham, isn't he? I don't know that we've ever seen him in a hand-to-hand -hand fight in Fallout, mm. man. Yeah, Laura doesn't have, do a lot of hand-to-hand -hand fighting either. That hand-to-hand -hand combat, though, like training when he was in the Legion? Maybe? That they, I mean, they. I guess they do have some sort of hand-to-hand, -hand, but he's more, you know, uh, of a, a leader and somebody with a lot of stamina, and he's able and to like, he pull fighter, things together. Right? Like, uh, he fights with the courier in, in, uh, in the DLC, doesn't he? Yeah. Like he fights alongside him in combat. Yeah, I, I, but... We have to assume that he's quite good in combat, right? Because he beat Mike. He if does. He beat Mike, and he's yeah. got to be good at combat. Like I give, I think he wins round three easily, and I think he wins round two probably. Um, La Lama actually, is an irrelevant uh, in the forest. It's another. Well, actually, great, yeah. Uh, say, like, yeah. We we decided last time that Lara Croft has a big advantage in in the forest because she's mm -hmm. dealing with natural. Like natural terrain, pretty frequently. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So it really does come down to round one, then. And also in round three, remember Lara Croft's got like massive resources. She's a very rich. Yeah, she has, oh yes. Yeah, she uh, fucking has. Yeah, boy. Rich girl, power. You know, she has a butler. Like I think they're quite competitive. 
is what I would say. It seems yeah. like they're quite competitive. Hmm. In round one, can she just rip his bandages off and cause him immense pain? Like he's, you know, Bane from the Dark What I'm Nine gathering, Rise. he's like beyond pain, a lot of people are saying. Like the no matter how much pain you cause him, he's well, gonna be able to as I understand it, the story was like he he got set on fire and thrown into the Grand Canyon and survived. Yeah. And then right, yes. he bandaged himself up and he it never stops hurting, but like he it it fuels him. Like he's he's he, it seems like he's got a really high pain tolerance. He right. has to, because he endures existence in pain, like, constantly. It sounds like he wins round one, then. Well, yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's a guy as well, you know? Yeah, so he's probably, like, <laughs> stronger wow, than he sexism. Is. You, you hit him enough, and he's sort of backpedaling. She can kick him off the edge. Yeah, but, I mean, he could probably kick her, like, off the edge, too, right? Of course he can. He's a man hitting a woman. I don't know. I'm, like, nice. I just... <laughs> this appears it's, to it's be a, a tough one. Is, like really competitive. Yeah. What are his thighs like? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the time and place, Mark. I mean, I'm just saying, Lara's got pretty good thighs. That's fine. I'm a, That's fine. I'm a abstain from this one. I, I have no idea, <laughs> like really, who wins. I have absolutely no idea. It's know. a real tough character. one, man. Um. Well, what about uh putting it to chat? They can decide. Ooh. Yeah, sure. Chat, let's go, Joe. Okay. We'll give you uh, a minute to vote, all right, chat? So get them in if you're uh, looking to decide. I'll say, who wins ultimately? So that's across the three battles put together. Overall, who do rounds. you think is winning? Yeah. Start poll. That should work. That's a lot of Lara. Well, in that case, I'm going to grab a drink. Yes, give, give yourself a little vote in there. How are we looking? How do I get this off the screen? Oh, it's it's uh it's pretty close, but Lara's in the lead slightly, but it's it's actually quite close. Alrighty, yeah. Ooh, oh, chat are gonna hate each other now. Yeah. <laughs> they can't direct yeah, at us. They have, have to, to hate fight. each other. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys have to fight. It's not our fault. We did everything correct. We, we tried to help you guys. We did everything. It is interesting though, because everyone is like spamming arguments in chat. So it's just really just. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's a real um, tough one, man. I'll give it another. This, uh, this is a nerd business. This, this is a popularity contest. No, it's not because then Lara Croft would have won easily because she is the She's most the iconic one. video game <laughs> character. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. But uh, uh, I'll give it another thirty seconds. See how uh, see give it a chance for the the Grahams to come in. You know, I'm not even particularly pro Lara. Like as a character, I'm I'm I mean, completely unbiased fine. on this. I don't care who wins. I, I, I yeah. just don't know enough about either of them I to be honest with you. I know enough to know, you know, some stuff, but not enough to detailedly explain who I think would win this. Joshua Graham's got cool quotes. That's the thing that's working in his mm. favor. He, he does He's have got cool some quotes. Cool lines, some really yeah. interesting quotes. The fire burns. Like what? Like Kawabunga, baby. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Well, I don't Keep think he said that. Uh. <laughs> and also, oh, <laughs> but Mubes, you know uh, that Joshua Graham's voiced by Holt. Hey. It's, it's, uh, it's it, joshering it, time. His name is Keith, Bro, and then Angel? he's got a second name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, Keith Zigzagarpagaba, or whatever it is. I don't want to disrespect like the it's... man. He's a great actor. I love his stuff uh, in yeah. voice and in. Is he, is, by the way, is he from like New Vegas uh, or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's in okay. one of the DLCs. Yeah. Um, One day. All I'll right. I've ended the poll. Chat. You have decided, not us. You have decided that Lara has won. You've decided. Wow. Yep. There you go. Goodbye, Joshua. You are out. You're on the streets. Was it because of the boobs, Chat? Be honest. Be honest. Yeah, boy. Because so. I understand. Boobs are nice. <laughs> you know what? You're right. All yes, right. James are. T. Kirk versus Corporal Hicks. Well, so <laughs> okay, round one. The Salaka <laughs> versus the Enterprise. <laughs> oh, we'll get there. What's round I, I, one looking like, though? I, I don't. I don't think Kirk's beating beating a Marine in a fist fight. Um, uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, he's yeah, he might. Aliens and and guys in rubber yeah. suits and he's beating monsters. Yeah, Kirk. In fist fights. He's, he's pretty good. Guys in rubber suits. He's fighting uh, Gorn and everything. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think Kirk. In a Kirk in a fist fight, I would put my money on him over Hicks for sure. All right, fair yeah. enough. 
it's the round two where I think Kicks probably wins, just because a pulse yeah. rifle and yeah, armor we all, we all versus agree. a phaser versus and a phaser. Yeah. We all agree yeah. a phaser is probably more powerful, but the he, he's getting you he shot you with the, his rifle before you're getting the phaser shot on him. Probably phaser is gonna be yeah. Especially I think, um, Hicks, I think it's Kirk Hicks Kirk. That well, that's the thing. Ooh. Is the Enterprise stronger than the Solaco? Yeah, I'm I not would sure. say so. I think. In Boy, terms of technology yeah. and ability, I'm not actually sure. I can't remember what the travel abilities of Sulaco are. They've got to be. They're interstellar, right? They've got to be. They so, are interstellar. It's not faster than light, but because you still have to go into the the pods, the, um, right? And it might take. We wouldn't yeah, know if the Sulaco has shields, right? Warp. I don't think I, it does. Okay, and I'm gonna does. I'm gonna reach I'm gonna reach into some 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 mm. like far canon for this one. Oh boy! But in Aliens Colonial Marines. <laughs> the Sulaku. <laughs> <laughs> the Sulaku does not have shields. In that case, so... well, I was going to say it probably doesn't have shields anyway. Um, in which case, the Enterprise has mm. a huge edge. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I feel like it mm. brutalizes the Sulaku probably, which. Yeah. Um, the firepower from the Sulaku, I, I presume the Enterprise can deal with before it's able to destroy the Sulaku, in which case, I'd probably go with, with Kirk. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd I be going that. Kirk Hicks, Kirk. Very well. Yeah, it is done. We're gonna say Captain something. Captain beats Corporal. <laughs> yeah, everyone knew that. We knew it going in. It's just, we just had to have you know, just get through. It was, it was all the red tape. You just have to be like, ugh, he cried. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Solid <laughs> Snake versus Judge Dread. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Mm. I don't know enough about so, Dread to add. How I good is just... Dread's CQC? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. The, that's... Is it better than Snake's like... is the thing? Because I think he's very good, right? Snake but... is a clone of the best soldier to ever exist. So exactly. keep that in yeah. mind. Right, like I think Snake I mostly is... just see Dread shoot things. I, I but isn't really Dread also a, like a superhuman? Is he? I think he's just a really, really, yeah, really yeah. good cop in the future. No, I think it's just ripped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, super, super right. pick and buff, and his gun is pretty fucking good as well. Oh, it's an awesome I think gun. Round one, I would give it to Snake hmm. because he is, of course, the best soldier, and he doesn't like, there's no armor or guns in that fight. Right? No, that's just them so, yeah, stripped yeah. down basically to yeah. just fight with no I, weapons or equipment. I think in that case, plus the fact that Dread would be blinded by the sunlight, having no helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal with this. Uh, well, so round two is in the forest, which is. I mean, I don't know how good Dread thrive. is in the forest, but I how I'm good inclined to give forest, it to Snake. Yeah. Does well, Snake there's there's not a whole lot of Dread is also a clone. There's not a whole lot of greenery in the Judge Dread universe. <laughs> what can his, his gun uh, do though? Like, does his gun have any like tracking or heat seeking or like can it counter yeah, snakes? Camouflage? Those. I was about to with his helmet. So, yeah, he can yeah. say he can he can like do explosive rounds and and all sorts of stuff with the gun. But can mm. it spot snake in his element? I guess it's like does does yeah. the gun's ability mm. outmatch snake's natural camouflage? Hmm. And also, if in Metal Gear Solid Four, doesn't he have like the super duper camouflage? Yes, the like, Octo Camo, yeah. Yeah. Does yeah. he get the yeah. Octo Camo? Um, so. hmm. does he? Is like a base, you know, amount of. Well, uh, it's equipment. only in four. It's he it, has Metal Octo Solid... Camo only in four. That's true. When he's an old guy, and we were thinking yeah. of him like in his prime, right? So like, uh, in his prime, he'd have Metal Gear something, Solid One, and when he analogous to the... the Camo Index. And when he jumps right. on the boat, uh, in two. Yeah, he does have an optic camera but there. Snake well, also that, like, beats a Metal Gear. <laughs> he does. Yeah, yeah. That's for his thought. That's so. reiterating. <laughs> but like, does but Dread can he find him? Can he use like uh? Can he use um, like night vision or or like thermal but thermal the thing vision is, I, to find him? I think he has I a heat seeking well round. Works. I just don't I'm pretty know sure in it. one of them, maybe it was the Stallone one. He has the heat seekers. He does have mm. the heat seekers, but I don't know if he has to have like visual contact to lock onto someone. And also, Snake might be able to like counter that. He might actually maybe. like be able to find ways camo, to do yeah, that. Those chef G's, those always work good. Yep. Hmm. Okay. What have we figured out? 
Snake's arsenal is really good. Snake is <laughs> very good in the scenarios. Were we, um, were we settled yeah. on round yeah. one for sure with uh, Snake winning? I think Snake wins. Yeah, I think Snake has to win. Okay, yeah. and uh, just to clarify, someone in chat, they were like, "Why doesn't Dread get his stuff in round one? That's like his normal stuff." So, it's no resources in round one, so Dread wouldn't be naked. He'd just be wearing like casual clothing. He wouldn't have his his yeah. outfit nor his helmet. The idea is it's like innate abilities. Yeah. Uh, in round one. So, like, for instance, Luke has the Force in round one. But he doesn't get his Luke-powered armor suit. he doesn't have a lightsaber. Or his Luke mech. And he doesn't have a lightsaber in round one. Yeah. Well, uh, evidently, he's also a bi-engineered human. A clone of the perfect judge. Yeah, this is why this yeah, match is... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> the perfect judge yeah. versus the perfect soldier. Mm, Wait, yeah. he's, he's a clone of Judge Judy! Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it's leaning. Oh, here you go. I'm, I'm wondering. Danny D what? says uh, Dredd's helmet can detect a predator. So I guess there was a collab between the predator and Dredd, right? Neat. So if it is can a detect a. Is hunter? Let's say again. Is a pedophile hunter? Oh, I see. <laughs> oh. Oh. You need a, you need a particular <laughs> visor for that? Like. <laughs> I mean, technically, <laughs> yes, uh, I would say. If, <laughs> if Dredd can find a Dredd can find a predator, he can probably find Snake. Yeah, yeah, through... yeah. That's true. I thought you were going to say he can dodge a dodgeball, but okay. <laughs> that's he can probably find a predator, also true. He can dodge a dodgeball. <laughs> that's probably also true. Uh, I will say uh, we're a bit over time, so we're going to figure this one out. Uh, I'm gonna oh, give I think Snake. Snake just has too much of an environmental advantage. Uh, I'm going with uh, Judge Dredd. All right. With the predator information, I think it's uh, Snake Dread Dread. Okay. Snake Snake Dread. I yeah, I still think it's Snake. Uh, Snake wins round two. I think. Everyone Same. else. Mm. Yeah. Wait, oh, what sounds? Is that like a lot of snake weird. votes there? Snake. It sounds mm. like it. I'll uh. Yeah. I'll yeah, say Snake as well. No, right. I mean that's probably enough. Uh, Dread is uh, it's been he's been a good combatant, but apparently Snake is just too OP. Ugh. In the forest, I mean also, he is an animal thief, but uh, yeah. I was about to say as well, like uh, in terms of popularity, I wonder who has the edge there. Probably uh, Snake, Dread sure. for sure. Yeah. That's just me. All in right. the UK, Dread for sure. So. Uh, next, we're into round three. Garrus Vakarian versus Steve from Minecraft. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Steve wins. Steve wins. This is, this is easy. Are we at that point? Steve Steve's again. just dominating. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, so. I don't know what Steve can lose to. Uh, I mean, I don't, Bugs Buddy? Normandy, but, but Steve can create his own Normandy. And yeah. he, with that time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, thing. just to be clear, right? Well, Garrus wins round one. Yes. Yes, yeah. I think yes. Actually, I think Steve lose round one almost against anybody, right? Like he's well, not going to win yeah. round one. What are the scanning yeah. capabilities of the Normandy? Can the Normandy just uh, yeah. detect oh, Steve good. on the ground? Hmm. Yeah, I think it could. Yeah, it can. Yeah, because it, yeah, cause it can yeah, mine got the resources in, in, from the air. And remember, he might, he might even be able to detect it before it even goes underground. So you can just you know, and before he'll have time that Steve to. Is in the same dimension. Could it be Garrett is about to knock Steve out? Oh my God. The Normandy can this find Steve said? fast enough. The Normandy can get Steve. Well, what, kind of, um, what kind of fire power does the Normandy get to the have? Normandy the Normandy first. Uh, the Normandy, I don't think, can blow it up. I don't think the Normandy has enough power. It, oh, right? It doesn't have, have, have enough power to destroy a planet. I don't think so. so. It has a drones, which it can, you know, it can and find it him on a planet. Up. Hypothetically, that's about a portion of a planet. It doesn't need to destroy the entire planet. Just you know, the portion he's on. Does it have orbital bombardment of any kind? Yeah, I was going to say it must have artillery, right? It has, it does, but I don't know if it would be pa like if if Steve burrowed pretty deep in the ground. I don't know if the Normandy could actually like get to well, him. His, Have you got to call in a bunch of Reapers? It, there's, um, there's no. Well, they I can't. Think... The Reapers are the bad guys. So yeah, the Reapers are the bad guys. They can't call there's, in Reapers. It's sort of a thing here where yeah, the longer Steve, Steve spends digging deeper, no, the harder it, the longer it takes him to set up. Right. So yeah, the, the Normandy's not like a planet destroyed. destroyed. It's not going to blow up a no. planet. Right. Yeah, but um, how, how fast can it detect Steve though and like shoot him? Well, pretty quickly. Is, it it yeah. could probably detect. That's him the thing. Quickly, Steve doesn't but... have enough time to actually 
do his well, thing. Well, that's assuming that Garrus can get to him. Yeah, Garrus has to call him, in like, to be picked up by the Normandy, get into orbit. He doesn't spawn on the Normandy, does he? So, like, yeah. he has no, to get to the Normandy, get up there, yeah. navigate over, and then it has to scan, and then it has to get him, and it can't... Yeah, it would have to be before Steve gets very, very, very deep underground, because the Normandy could be, like, split in stealth. He can get underground well, fast. And if Steve can get to, like, another dimension, potentially, <laughs> yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then it's, then it's better <laughs> I do yeah. like the idea that Shoulder. Garrus has got one shot in the first, like, minute, and if he fails, he's lost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there, it's, it's not one hundred percent Steve, which is rare, you know. It's not one hundred percent Steve. The Normandy, yeah, like the Normandy does give Garrus a, a chance, but like he's got to be quick. Could and that's if he can get like... underground to get him. That's the thing. I don't think he can get underground. Situation where either one can't get the other. Um, no, I, Steve with enough time can get Garrus. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, Steve yeah, I don't can think become, can get to him. He can become ridiculously overpowered, Steve. But um, we could argue that Garrus can call it in from some kind of like transponder right to do all of this for him. But possibly, is it uh, how does it look for him to scan all of Earth for Steve from Minecraft? Um, the thing is, is that the scanner is pretty good uh, mm -hmm. in Mass Effect, and then it, you can send down probes pretty quick, like real quick. But it does take a um, few minutes to scan the whole planet. It depends which game, but I remember the first one taking fucking ages because you have to find the great. little resonance thing with the lines <laughs> that go big, and then you shoot the probe. But like, like most of the planet doesn't have those, and those are big mineral deposits. So one Steve from Minecraft probably isn't going to show up very much. Mm. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, how, the probes how, are there. Steve, how Steve defeating the Normandy? Yeah. Uh, well, eventually he'll build his dragon. Dragon. Yeah, he'll build his yeah. own Normandy. Does a yeah. dragon beat the Normandy? Well, dragon can't be yeah, in space, presumably, probably. right? But, well, uh, <laughs> Normandy's not a huge a combat ship, can, either. Like, yeah, but it's clear, in this space, is, though. Can my, it is uh, a stealth ship. Can Steve it's in force space? open portals at ultimate power? Or can he only make use of ones he finds? Well, to, to not the specific place, right? Because, obviously, you like could he defeat the Normandy that, that way, but anywhere. if he can't do that... Um, can spawn the Wither? I'm not familiar enough with Minecraft, but... I assume I mean, you could build an insane amount of things, right? Like I imagine that Steve could maybe build like a, a rail gun that like goes into space oh, and blows yeah, up the maybe. Normandy. Eventually, he just builds a halo, like <laughs> <laughs> maybe with enough time. But at yeah, that but point, is that an actual thing you can do in Minecraft? Like that's it's that an actual thing he can do? Uh, isn't the I presume that the assumption is that the sky's the limit, right? Like with enough time and enough. Well, like, yeah, in the third round is whatever Steve in the can real do. World, yeah. Mm. Um, I mean, an advantage that Garrus would have is that if he can keep Steve underground, which is quite a hostile place, Steve runs out of food, whereas that's not a mechanic in Mass Effect. Potentially, yeah. Like, Steve might have to resurface to get food, and then Garrus can come and kill him. Hmm. Hmm. I think Garrus got this one. No, that's the thing. He doesn't have it. He just maybe Steve loses it. That's the thing. No, uh, well, you know, you know, I, I, um, I don't think if Steve could actually beat him in while he's in space. That's the thing. Um, because yeah, well, well, I, we were talking about the Wither being pretty overpowered, which is a player constructed, the highly is destructive, super overpowered. undead, hostile mob boss that can hover in midair and fire barrages of explosive Wither skulls at its target. Would that overwhelm the Normandy? <laughs> Which is can we go into space and shoot a spaceship? We could go. Uh, we could go chat vote on this if everyone wants to. Because I'm not sure. Unless you guys um, are sure, I'd probably hmm. just give it to Steve. I feel yeah, like, like Steve I... could win eventually, but I'm also okay with a chat vote so that it is their fault. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm. Yeah, I'm I... interested to see what the chat thinks. Yeah. He... I can't decide. I don't know. I think because I think Garrett, I think Garrett would something, win. But something I, to clarify it is the idea that when Steve enters the real world, the possibilities for the things that he create is like massive, because in the real world, there's even more things than are available in Minecraft. I don't know if it, it would feels work like, like that exactly. Maybe uh, it's, mm, it feels weird, or right? Or he like, could, not, or maybe he can't do anything. Like you could put it either way. Well, the thing is, is that we've concluded that he can dig a hole in the ground and then put yeah, a yeah, perfect yeah, yeah. replication of the ground above him. He's so, really well, quickly, I think in order the for real world, to... and Steve goes and punches a tree and it just hurts his hand, then he's basically <laughs> dead. Exactly, yeah. In order for us to be able to move on and for chat to not have an aneurysm as a result of us discussing the potentials of these, well, yeah, we'll leave it to them. This one. Who is the ultimate winner, Steve or Garrus? Decide. You'll yeah, get, we'll give him you two decide. minutes just to make sure ultimately just. Uh... 
I think Chat's gonna now. get really mad during the like heavyweight. Fight. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, a lot of things that you can do also like requires the uh, specific mob drops that aren't in the real world as well. Like the, there's also that argument. But... Mm. Well, no. See, in in round three, he would have all of Earth and all of time, right? So like, you'd eventually find, you know, I guess the stones to go to another universe, right? Like that's the idea. I, I guess, and if he can go to another plane of existence, <laughs> um, that's the thing. Yeah. you know, but he would need obsidian to get that right, and that might. But that exists, might, depending on yeah, where he spawns. Obsidian. Like, no. <laughs> obsidian exists, right? Well, he just needs yeah, enough yeah, obsidian. Depending to, like, on where he spawns, that might be like very, very far away from him to get. It could take a long a while, time, but, but yeah, like it's, it's a vast quantity of it. Right, but eventually he can get oh, yeah, enough people, obsidian to get to another universe. basically on a on a long enough time horizon. It seems like Steve will win. This it's is a matter the of whether of, or not he has enough time. The peak of yes. nerddom, by the way. Everyone in chat is so certain their guy is going to win. Right now, it's forty eight to fifty two. <laughs> like, oh no, yeah. it's the Brexit ratio. That means we're going to have to do it again. <laughs> Looks like let's go, yeah, Steve voters. We got another let's 40 seconds. 40 seconds remain. If you really want let's Steve to win, even. you're gonna have to pump those yeah. numbers. Oh, Steve. Oh, geez. But if you want Garris to Don't win, you should cowards. also consolidate those. Numbers. Don't you want Steve <laughs> Bugs Bunny? Otherwise, Bugs Bunny wins oh, it all. It's 50 50. What it happens is... if it's 50 50 in chat? Wait, uh oh. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh -oh. What have you done, Chad? <laughs> <laughs> Invent a sudden done? death fourth round, you know? Like. Well, like, if, if, that, if it's 50 50, we'll have to go through all of us, just give an answer, and then we'll see you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, 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 it's, oh, it's got oh, eight, seven, Steve. six, oh, oh, four, five, four, three, two, one, <laughs> over. Oh God. oh, God, it went back to 50 50. Oh, 51 for Steve. It ended 50 with, hey, there you go. <laughs> Wait, so Steve won? Steve with the Steve last one. minute Steve ball won. drop. Yeah, oh Steve my god. <laughs> Chat losing their minds <laughs> over that. <there. laughs> Steve sweep, let's go. Rigged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're on Windows. Microsoft rigged it. Well, Damn, all right, Steve, Steve is moving on. He's back so in the or game. The capital Bugs Bunny. Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Steve and Bugs Bunny. That's going to be the final round. Next yep. up, we have Malcolm Reynolds <laughs> versus... Though I am surprised at Garrus, man. I am super shocked. What, how competitive he was? Or... Yeah, I didn't think about it until, like, you know, oh, yeah, no, the, the Normandy. Normandy really it's does. the Normandy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Normandy is really broken. All right. <laughs> Yep. Malcolm Reynolds versus Carl Johnson. Um, so I do round like Mal. three, round three, it's it's Mal because he's got Serenity, Serenity yeah. which beats a tank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Round one is it Mal? And I think he might. Um, Mal might win round one. I don't I know. Mean, if, Mal... I don't know if Mal necessarily beats CJ in a fist fight. I don't think it's. Mm. I don't think it's he, um... clear cut at all. CJ. I'm not saying it's clean cut, but I think it's Mal. That would be my guess. CJ's pretty good in a fight. Have they got? Have you got like know. a fight you can CJ. sort of look to for CJ for fighting? That like sort of because obviously Mal's got the operative fight that's like really displays his abilities. Even yes. though he he does that's take a beating true. in it. Yeah, but he beats that's the operative. True. He does beat him. That's true. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is true. And that, and that guy is fucking insane. So yeah, I, that's really good is. villain. <laughs> Yeah, the CJ is uh like really. I, I I guess the thing is, it's trying to figure out like, well, what is the nature of it when you're playing, you know, San Andreas that CJ can just get into fights with basically anybody and, and come out on top. Um, I'm not sure, but he can still um, he can lose to a pedestrian, right? Like that's that's true. He can lose. To yeah, we got to be careful with how we reflect this. Everybody, because <laughs> yeah, like depending on the player, they can sort of win everybody or win none of them. Um, but like. Yeah, CJ can do boxing. That's like he can do that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, what I, I guess Are we because whereas now it's like a trained yeah. soldier, right? Like he's a he's a brown coat yeah. trained soldier. That's true. That's true. Well, that that's what I was about to ask. Is round two? What does it look like? I assume but, CJ's you know, got Mal round two because Mal gets his pistol, but it's... CJ's got a a lot more. I think. Yeah, CJ got like a big and he's got body armor. Got... Yeah. Yeah. He probably, I get what you mean, like, that, that Mal's setup with a gun doesn't match what CJ would get at, like, I guess what you would assume is, like, a base level. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. 
Because you could argue it's unfair it really on round three, but it's also unfair on round two in a way. You know, the fairness is complicated. Yeah, no, this, I, but... I agree. Um, oh, wait, the stream is F. Oh, no. Oh, it's okay. It's, no, it's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's on. It just went for a second. Let me reload mm. because it didn't recover for me, so I got warned. Yeah, it's, it's fine oh. for me. Yeah, it's um, back now. I don't know. I feel like it's pretty even in terms of a fist fight, so I don't know. I'd leave it up to... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, it could just be my lack of familiarity with CJ's sort of skills. It just feels like Mal, he's like, it could be the difference between a TV show and a video game, to be honest with you, but it felt like the, the, the show really gives off the vibe that Mal's a really smart fighter, but also a pretty strong fighter. Mm -hmm. No, I, I understand what you mean. Like, the mm -hmm. Grand Theft Auto games just don't put that much emphasis on melee combat. It's just, yeah. it's just not something that gets much focus. It's way more about weapons and vehicles. Like there's no if reason yeah. to see the, the like, anything fighting animations it's kind of goofy but you know it's mm. I, I think it's what uh it sounded like theo was about to say which is that grand theft auto doesn't put like an extreme amount of emphasis on cj being a good fighter compared to what five line serenity does for mal yeah There's i think no it's safe to, to say that he's mal... anything more than like a competent street fighter right no yeah Safe to say that yeah, Mal could fight you know... someone with only the gta melee animations as attacks <laughs> Yes, but well, I, I, I don't. I'd be okay with giving it to Mal. Yeah, I think. But I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm not so. underestimating CJ. I'm just saying that uh, there's efforts in their respective uh, fictions to. Like, there's a different level of effort to say what their power levels are regarding that. But yeah. Um, all right. I guess Mal makes it into the next round. I'm very curious. Oh well, yeah. we know what Mal, Mal's against Steve next time. Oh, <laughs> oh crap! Mal. Rip. Rest well. in pieces. <laughs> All right, we have Nathan Drake versus Tarzan. <laughs> uh, so round one, Tarzan, I think, uh, wins. I think yeah. so too. Yep. Even though, even though mm -hmm. Nathan Drake accomplishes crazy things, there was an emphasis placed on him being somewhat normal, whereas, yeah, Tarzan is like peak strength. Yeah. And in but a forest. Wins. Yeah, Nathan Drake mm. has more experience at that than some of the other competitors Tarzan's gone up against. Plus, he has guns. So, well, so that would be round two. Yeah. That's where we also, start to think. Which is, say that's the question is... Steve's completely overrated. We gave that to you, chat. We gave it to you. That's right. And, <laughs> and you got to own your decisions. <laughs> You're not in a position uh, to complain. Yeah. Um, that's your, that's your two, fault. I wonder with two, because uh, it's not like a forest is terrain that Nathan is unfamiliar with. Yeah. And he has a gun. He, has he does have a gun. A gun. People are referencing yeah, Clayton, like, but Clayton is not as talented as Nathan Drake. And also, Clayton didn't have an AK-47. No, he had like a blunderbuss, right? True. <laughs> yeah, he did. So, and I, I don't know how like... competent he would be in hand-to-hand -hand as well. And, uh, well, the thing is, is that round three, Nathan wins. Because yeah, he's, got, sure. he's got amazing equipment yeah. and, the, and way more of a capacity to find and track down Grenade Tarzan. So it's round yeah. two. It's all down to two. Round two is... Hmm... Uh, so it's a question well, of, of Tarzan hmm, jumping Nathan, through the trees and Nathan Drake shooting at him, right? Well, I guess something to think about in terms of figuring out scaling is Nathan Drake beat uh, Lazarevich with like all of the like with immortality juice. <laughs> so like Tarzan has done really well mm. against difficult odds in difficult terrain. Yeah. That's that's what's making me think that it might be that uh, Nathan's got the edge. It's not like it's not super unfamiliar terrain, and he's accomplished crazy things. What, what I'm picturing mm. is like you run a simulation, and Tarzan's going doo -doo 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 around all the trees, and Nathan's trying to shoot him, miss, miss, maybe tags, miss, and then gets tackled by him, and then beaten the fuck up. Run simulation two, tag, 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 and Tarzan's dead. Run simulation three, yeah. same yeah. thing. Simulation four, oh, yeah. he fails. Like I'm trying to figure out what's more likely. Yeah, and I guess that's the thing is. Um... Well, I guess I guess the thing is is that Tarzan wins in a fist yeah. fight, but I don't think it's like it's it's not like he completely bodies him. I don't think. I think it's like mm -hmm. Nathan puts up a pretty good fight, but he still loses. Yeah. And so if that's the case, and then that's you put right. the gun factor in as well, does that mean that he's you know does that tip it in his favor? Hmm. Would Tarzan know how to operate a firearm? Yeah, yeah, um, he he, he yeah, does them in the books. It, but he, okay. he, but he, he probably wouldn't be, like, amazing at it, whereas I'm Nathan just, Drake is excellent yeah. with weapons. I'm imagining yeah. the outcome of the scuffle where 
like Tarzan reaches Nathan Drake, the guns like the gunshots miss, the gun goes wide, and they're both trying to get to it, you know? Mm. Um But that's that's if, oh, if Tarzan could get to it. Could could it be argued that just... Tarzan could find either something throwable or something in the in the forest is gonna really help him out to fuck up Nathan before he gets near him? Something like a is it how, yeah, how he, good is he at throwing stone? I know it sounds silly, but a big enough rock <laughs> at Nathan's no, head. I, I know, but ironically, I, I got you. But um, well, but something that's also worth bearing in mind is Nathan isn't bad at stealth. Yeah, no, he uh, he's pretty good at stealth. So I'm leaning, to, I'm leaning towards Nathan Drake. I I think uh, for round two. No, I'm with you on that. Uh, I'm on Tarzan. Tarzan is pretty kind of with Tarzan, right? Tarzan is pretty. This has been his environment his entire life. Life. That's true. Yeah, it's that the jungle, true, though. That's his like, like true environment. The forest isn't like you know one hundred percent the same. Well, yeah, sure. I would say when I'm thinking of a forest, but I'm the outdoor, like a boreal forest. Yeah. But I agree, it is definitely more his terrain. But gun, there's no gun and shit like that. You know, there's uh, mm. there's somewhat limiting his his movement and. Uh, we do, uh, we do <laughs> votes, everybody. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I, go. Tarzan. I think I'm going Tarzan. It sounds like I'm Tarzan's Tarzan. winning here. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going attack. Tarzan. One, two. Yeah. All right. Well. One T T N N T T N for me. Very well, Tarzan's got it. He's made it way further in this than I thought he would. Good for yeah. him. Yeah, he's a Chad dude. He's, he's Chad. really good in the second round. Is the thing. Like, he's just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing that helps him out. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's his. Re yeah, that's his. Uh... The terrain's keeping Snake and Tarzan in the fight. Home field <laughs> advantage for Tarzan. <laughs> Round two. Homer Simpson versus Bugs Buddy. That's we already know, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> Bugs wins. It's Bugs yeah, Buddy. Sorry, Homer. Bugs, Bugs wins by any metrics you could. Like, yeah, Bugs yeah. is dominating that one. Sorry, I didn't even need to put that on the screen. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Like, Bugs is really benefiting here from like a completely undefined power set, though. So like, I, I agree see, with I that. Here winning everything just because we can't the figure out what the fuck he's able to do. Yeah, he's a he demigod. Kind of. Can... We'll we'll see. We'll do our best. Sorry, guys. Okay, we'll do our best. But anyway, next one is a uh, Gromit versus T Rex. <laughs> well, <laughs> so if Simba uh, didn't win, actually, round, one. Know, round one uh, is a bit of a problem for Gromit. I think. Yeah. Yeah. For round sure. one, but I, I don't know about round round three. Gromit wins. Gromit's got round three. It's for round sure. two. Can Gromit do yeah, anything? Yeah, round two. Can, can oh, Gromit do uh, anything? Why? Gromit, round, Gromit can make what, devices know, that'll like, kill a T-Rex for sure. Gromit can create gadgets. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Gromit can yeah. create amazing gadgets. With enough time in the world, he can create... Well, and let's be honest, the T-Rex, like, if you tell the T-Rex he somehow knows to get Gromit on the other side of Earth, that's going to take him a while. Like, he's going to yeah, have exactly. to do a bit of walking. He well, might not so. even have the ability to get there at all. He might not, yeah. Meanwhile, Gromit can... Uh... So it's a question of whether yeah. uh, Gromit could create anything in the forest that he could use to kill a T-Rex. And I don't mm. feel like that's impossible, but it would be difficult. I yeah. think it's certainly unlikely. Yeah, he'd need to do it quickly enough before the T-Rex finds him and gets him, which the T-Rex mm -hmm. would probably find him fairly quickly, would be my guess. We well, have seen Gromit do things in remarkably short periods of time, however. He is That's a fast warrior. Yeah. No, what yeah, could he yeah. make, though? But what could he make without any... Like, you you picture like no an metals. Ewok level he, he log trap or something? He could make like a massive something. spike trap or something, you know? He could do something like that. Yeah. Yeah, some sort of like a punching trap. trap he needs, like, that kills the ATST in Return of the Jedi. But like, that's the thing. Yeah. That, that's, he needs to be able to pulleys and sort of out of vines and, and yeah. saws. He needs, he needs yeah. a couple of tools at least. Hold on his own. Yeah. I mean, and what he needs is like tool. rope and something sharp. That's pretty much what he needs. Yeah, but that's got to be a big something sharp to like, oh, kill a yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. It take a long time. Sharp. Could he get up high enough in a tree, oh, right, yeah. that he could build this thing and give himself enough time to make? I don't know how quickly a T Rex is going to go across terrain. Gromit can climb a tree pretty fast. Gromit? Though. I right. think Gromit at base level is the T Rex could knock the tree down pretty yeah. easily. Though. I think he's just Gromit, like, right? Yeah, Gromit is just Gromit, which means that I just I just don't think he has enough I don't, time. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, I'm I'm I willing to agree that uh, it goes fun. Rex Rex yeah. Gromit, so the yeah, T Rex like, also yes. uh, yeah, you know, staying Poor in Donko. sort of. I feel like if the T Rex had bumped into any of the gun guys, it would have been over, but he's uh, he's still in. Yeah, yeah, I would have. Out goes Gromit. Sad times. Mm. Anyway, next up, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man versus John McClane. <laughs> um, I think it's John because so, he's got I round mean, three. I think, 
And then round two, John just needs to start a fire, and he's got him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That feels fair to me. Yeah. Was Finally, there any reason no why one we can make fire? Rocky? Was there any reason why Rocky couldn't have created a fire? Cause um, cause... <laughs> Well, I'm not saying you would punch him. Set up boxing gloves. That's probably the thing, the, well. I'm not being mean to Rocky. John I don't... has a lighter. That's true. well. He has a gun Why too, right? He's got gunpowder. That lighting like... a fire is fire. going to well, like, so... light him up like he's covered in gasoline. You well, I mean, to an extent, he does catch on fire in Ghostbusters. Like, uh, so if you can get him to catch on fire, he's fucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like that's that's right. a little yeah. more than just, and I'm not. Trying to be match, a, a dick to Rocky, I just I don't know if the character would know how to start a fire in a forest when he doesn't have any materials. I know that John not only Meanwhile, probably does know, but he can with the tools he has because he has a knife and a gun. But, but this yeah. isn't just a, a fire. This is a huge fire. Well, yeah, you're in a forest. It's a forest. <laughs> and, 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 and what's it's wood to central. set the state of Marshmallow Man on fire? And was it, the proton pack is what did it. So yeah, but yeah. it's still fire. Like, uh, I don't think a light is gonna fucking do uh, jack shit to extremely it. powerful. Well, we still, the entire forest you start fire, a fire right? with the lighter. Though. Yeah, I, we still believe that the Stay Puff like guy gets attack. stuck at some point, right? Like that's still. Well, so I was actually gonna counter all this with if the Marshmallow Man spots John trying to set him on fire and he falls on him, John's dead. Yeah. Also, the yeah. fire isn't going to kill him instantly. So even if That's he does set the fire, and even if he does catch fire, the so marshmallow man's still going to come after run. him. In that He's case, I would say for every time the marshmallow man spots John and falls in his direction and gets him, like that, it could be, <laughs> it could be tough for John because you're not surviving if you fall in that yeah. ma- inside the marshmallow man. You just drown in marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> the question is how fast. Can the right, but he doesn't need to. He doesn't need to like forest. go up and set his feet on fire. He That's, just needs to set well, the he, forest. Yeah, on but if fire. he sets the forest on fire, he's, he could kill himself. Yep. Well, right. okay, but let's say he just well, sets he a circle of, around this stuck, well. stay puffed man, right? Like, you could do it. He's a smart guy. He would he would think to to strategize, right, and and build um uh bulwark of fire around this stuck marshmallow thing. He wouldn't necessarily go up to him and and try to light his feet on fire. I think it would take longer to set the whole forest on fire than it would take to set the marshmallow man on fire. He's going to be sitting next to a tree, holding a lighter out, hoping at some. <laughs> that's such a great conversation. I don't think by that's the way. Bad. <laughs> Um, I think you probably just want to have a lot of torches prepped and ready to go, and then light them all and chuck them at him. From as Again, far though, away the Marshmallow Man spots him, he's fucked. If, if you're yeah. close enough to chuck like, yeah. torches at him, you're close enough to get squished. I think so. As Jay I says have, in the uh, chat, set a fire upwind of the Marshmallow Man and run. <laughs> <laughs> the way I remember the movie, the fire did not stop him. He no, it. It didn't. He, he starts to melt because of the. Pro- we don't get to see the eventuality of him fully burning because they. That's not exactly the way he's defeated. But what I'm suggesting is, once you've set that fire, it's gonna. It's just gonna keep burning all of the marshmallow until he's dead. Yeah, well, it becomes dead, like so giant so s'mores though, and then you've got that to deal with. <laughs> oh, sounds good. <laughs> what you delicious. basically need to do is trap delicious. him and then set him on fire, which would not be easy. Hmm. So it sounds like Stay Puffed has uh, got it. I am, yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm actually on board with Stay Puffed uh, winning at this point. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I, I'm definitely with Stay Puffed on this. I'm I'm so proud of him for getting this far too. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> got a bunch of characters here that are just you know what they they he needed their time in too. the spotlight and they're getting it. If only Venkman had come up against. Yeah. Him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Isaac Clark versus Lara Croft. Um. So. <clears throat> Lara Croft would win round one. Like, she's a fighter and he's not. He's just an engineer. Yeah. I think she'd uh, win round two as well. I no, Isaac, he, like, Isaac wins no, round two. He's got, he's got his armor, he's got his uh, plasma stasis cutter, and he's got pieces. stasis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's I up against something a little too are we, difficult. Are we saying two. stasis in round two? I thought we were saying stasis in round three when he has no, it. I think, he I gets think stasis, stasis is a base super early. would count. Yeah, like yeah, plasma it's cutter really and all early. abilities. But right? what's the what's the range on stasis though? It's not huge. It's not huge, but, yeah, but she still has to get pretty close. It's so enough. She has to. She'll have to get close enough to actually shoot through the plates with any degree of accuracy. Yeah, so I think it was the reason it's worth mentioning is the second Isaac hits it with her, she's fucked. He's got her. Yeah. Yep. And again, I feel like the strategy of cut down a tree, grab it with stasis, throw it through the forest is like really effective. She'd have to deal with all that shrapnel and debris. Referring, she would jump and then press X, Y, Z, Y, and she would go spin through. Oh all yeah, of it. yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's one of the crystal yeah, dynamics I, ones. Oh yeah, okay. And of course, like in, 
I, I mean, it's uh, and then three right. he wins for sure. But Lara, right? If we're going loadouts, Lara has twin pistols. She has shotgun. She has grenade launcher. You know, a grenade launcher is going to do a lot against Isaac. It's going to blow him into pieces. Is that actually her base? She got a grenade launcher in many of the standard loadouts. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. She got a grenade launcher. Yeah. I figured her base loadout was like the dual pistols and yeah, it's like late yeah. game stuff. Yeah, they added, like, they like, added the uh, the bow in uh, in the new lot, but uh, yeah, she got she gets a big boom boom in the game. That'd be is that a light game? That's a light game item though, isn't it? The bow. I feel like it is. It's uh, no, no, not no, the, bow, not the, the, uh, the uh, grenade, grenade launcher. launcher. Yeah, she, but she yeah. I mean, she gets well, it. So she would get so that in round be, three. That'd be round three. Then. Like Isaac would yeah. have a hell of a lot better armory if uh, we were going round three rules. Yeah. Yeah, because right now Isaac only is allowed to have the plasma cutter. Granted, that's the ultimate weapon. Plasma cutter is really it's stasis. Stasis is is what's helping him. It's all of it. I think. I think he's unfortunately. I think she's outclassed here. So it's very difficult for her to win this yeah. fight. I think so. Seems that is decided. I know it's sad to see Lara booted out, the number one most famous video game I mean, character. I, mean, I like Isaac. Win. I like Isaac more than Lara. So mm. I don't mind seeing him. I don't know if that's controversial. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Okay. Well, yeah. I like him. <laughs> Isaac's got it. Okay. Oh, this. I don't know what's going to happen. This one. James T. Kirk versus Solid Snake. Oh, oh man. Uh, well, so Snake wins in snake, close snake, combat, right? Kirk. Snake, Snake, Kirk. On that. Snake wins. Yeah, Kirk, first Kirk rounds, wins right? round three for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Snake yeah. has oh, no yeah. spaceship. Snake I think Snake's team. got round two, even though if he was to misstep, yeah. which is very unlikely, Kirk could phaser him. But I don't think that's happening. You know, Kirk doesn't have yeah, any form think. of protection, right? No, no. really. No. no, no. So he just gets tranked or shot or. Yeah. Otherwise, just yeah. Yeah, because yeah, Snake like also tight. has ranged, you know, options. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I think Snake wins. Snake, Absolutely, Snake, that seems cut and dry to all of us. So sad. Kirk is out, but Snake is still in. We're really coming down to the uh, the lightweight champions now. We're in round four. The heavy hitters of the lightweights. So Steve mm. from Minecraft versus Malcolm Reynolds. Hmm. Uh, I mean, Mal well, has round one. It's kind of the so same. The question it's is the, whether or not worse. Serenity could shoot. Serenity's not as powerful as, as the, the Normandy, Normandy now. Normandy, yeah. That's yeah. Kind of, I, think, oh, I think he's auto lost because have... he's got less capabilities than Garrus did. Yeah. 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 I think so. Uh, we, got, we got to remain oh, wait, consistent. No, no this, is the, this is essentially yeah. the result of chat. You've decided that Mal cannot win this because <laughs> Garrus can't <laughs> win it. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, Steve Steve's is in the yeah. next round. Steve got it. You know there's going to be some Steve people who voted it for a troll and they're like, hmm. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> uh, all right, we have Tarzan versus Bugs Bunny. Well, uh, well. <laughs> well, well Tarzan. <laughs> He's met his match. <laughs> it really like, is going to come down to Steve and Bugs Bunny, isn't it? I, I told Probably you so. Good. I told you. But Bugs Bunny is 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 a demigod, right? Like he can't be beaten. I don't know where <laughs> if he fought so hard and then stupid fucking he, rabbit. He gets him. into positions in some of his uh, cartoons where he's like, like you know, uh, like almost pretending to be defeated somewhat, but at least actually has taken some damage or is covered in soot, you know that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. like, mm. the, the problem yeah. is like the only consistent basis along which to define his powers is humor. So like I don't know how else we can. Like, well, should we not then class humor it? in the same way as we class like destiny and luck, and that it's yeah, actually it not admissible as a character? I wasn't ever ad ad uh, allowing that. I was just going with the fact yeah, that he does seem to be not. super fast, super agile, and hard to like he kill. Can move really fast. Yeah, the he manifesting objects is a big one too. His ability to do these things is dependent on how he can so manifest whatever he wants. I, mean, just... well, I, I, I think it is like it's it's base level is he seems to be very st like strong in terms of durability. Like the yeah. characters in Looney Tunes can withstand significant injury yep. pretty fine. Yep. Um, and then so the fact that he's very quick. The like, yeah. very quick round one, if Tarzan lobs him off the edge, is he getting back because of some spawn that he has or not? 
He'll just walk in again from off screen. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about that. Man. Yeah, I don't think we should allow that. Even if, even if we all agreed no. that's a possibility, we shouldn't. I allow understand. It. Yeah. Um, I, I think it is like a matter of what what does it look like if Tarzan's trying to beat bugs to a pulp? Like, it's not gonna. There will be no blood drawn. It will just make him a little floop guy. It, it for a feels little bit, like but he'll recover. Yeah, like Final Destination is probably the only platform that Tarzan can actually kill him, unless, of course, we're. It's really a matter of whether or not we're entertaining if Tarzan eventually caught him in the forest and just tried to take his head off with raw strength. Could he actually <laughs> <Yeah>. do that? <laughs> I don't think he could. I mean, I well, mean, to be fair, Elmer stretch, Fudd stretch, stretch. and Yosemite Sam are no Tarzan. That's true. Right? Like, I mean, I don't think Bugs has faced a hunter like that. That's <laughs> true. But Bugs has faced some formidable foes in his time and triumphed. I, the problem I have is that yeah, that's fair Tarzan, I don't think, can win this if we remain as consistent as we have been with every matchup Bugs has had, you know? If Tarzan can so. beat him, I feel yeah, like I Bugs know. shouldn't necessarily have won everything as easily as he did, so... Probably gonna have to that let him take this one. That might be a fault with the, the, the inconsistency of the rules that applied to bugs in previous matches. Oh, I'd say it and absolutely that, that is. I... <laughs> like we have no idea what the fuck <laughs> bugs could do. But <laughs> I guess I'm trying. I don't know what the fairest thing to do here is in respect to the other combatants, so to speak. There's not even a final form. We gotta disqualify bugs. I mean, and Steve. We, we could exactly disqualify we bugs. Accept his bullshit powers, or we disqualify him. <laughs> well, I mean, we could, we don't have to disqualify. Those aren't the only options. We could also reduce him to a. He is a very fast, agile, and particularly strong cartoon character brought into life so that he has to actually, if Tarzan catches him, probably would die. Yeah, and has, like, minimal ability to reach off. Like, he can get the mallet. He can get know. a mallet, and that's it. And if you hit Tarzan with Yeah, we'll cap him at the mallet. The mallet is <laughs> instant KO, though, that's the thing. If he gets mm. him with it, it's over. Tarzan and Tarzan's be, pretty quick. Like a flat. He is. That's true, but so is Bugs. Yep. But as has been pointed out, you probably should have lost to other fighters <laughs> before. Time. Well, um, I mean, you know, what, what do you think? What do you think we should do? I uh, did not anticipate Pull. Bugs's power. Chat. We ask Chat. Chat. Pull. Yeah, I, I would vote <laughs> for the disqualification of Steve and Bugs on the basis of Ooh, <laughs> their and silly Steve. for the team. Damn. Well, it's they a bit late to disqualify be both in of a them because totally different category. Well, they've uh, they've knocked out too many people at this point. You know, it's not fair. Right? Yeah. I suppose like, there is an element of stunt cost here. We just have a little bit. Very close yeah. to getting rid of Steve naturally, whereas we've not been anywhere near getting rid of Bugs naturally, just because yeah. like, he's impossible. Yeah. Even Steve, even when <laughs> Steve goes under the ground, Bugs would just like tap on his shoulder, going, "Yeah, what's up, yeah. Dad?" Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's he like, on the ground with him, like yeah. <laughs> a, a random is, door. I, I agree like, with what Fortune said. We we entertained a real conversation for uh, for Steve with uh, Normandy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know Which how we ever lost. get to that point with bugs. I don't think you can. He's he's a demigod. It's difficult. <laughs> you you <laughs> can't unless you like strip him of most of what makes him well, what some, he is, right? It's kind of the whole well, premise yeah. of this thing. What we're doing is absurd. The whole thing is. It's yes, really difficult to yes. do. <laughs> we're doing the best we can. It's kind of like but it's the... fun. Yeah, well, I have I would. Alright, it's up. Your choices are Bugs wins, Tarzan wins, Bugs is disqualified, Bugs and Steve are disqualified. If <laughs> do we have to add the results of Bugs disqualified and Bugs and Steve? I think it's too late. I mean, and they're... besides, we're closing in on four hours and we're through one weight class. <laughs> How many do you have? Three. Three. And everyone's gonna want to see the heavies. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. It's probably gonna be long conversations there as well. Yeah. Well, you know, this is all, all the people this who had. Was, I knew this was gonna last fifteen hours. I knew it. I knew this was gonna last all night. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna be at least ten, right? Sorry, guys. We have to cancel the forge tomorrow. We still have to finish this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, like a hours well, maybe maybe it's a we, we gotta do the the midweights as well because there's a lot of characters oh, yeah. in midweight. Uh, We're on the cusp like, of getting really a whole new set of characters, that. so. <laughs> um, do we do the heavyweights whole, before the midweights then? If the, no, if we, the heavyweights I, are shorter. Heavyweights too, too climactic. It's uh, it's too climactic. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> uh, so and so just said I'm joining a bit late. It's, it's like you're not even a third of the way through. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it looks like Bugs and Steve getting disqualified is close to happening here. <gasps> Yay! Oh, oh. oh. 
I mean, it looks like it. I'll uh, I'll end pull in I don't know twenty seconds. We'll give them. What does that mean though? Then, like, that we disqualify them from here on out? If they disqualified whoever the I next fight, to. Porter wins their fight. Yeah, because otherwise yeah. you're just going back and re redoing the yeah, entire. Well, do well, the yeah, because the problem is if we went backwards, it's like okay, well now that's just making it really difficult. Yeah. Um. Uh, so people, some people suggesting we move them. This moment. We move them up in class. Let's start this... from the beginning. Let's just start <laughs> right from <laughs> the beginning. <laughs> Suggest moving them up in class, but I think uh, that might take too long. And well, there's only room for one, so the actual winner of light can't even go in at that point, and then there's not enough space. Oh. The, the re there's a reason why yeah. they're split into 64s. Okay. Yeah, I could say then who yeah. wins between them and move that one up, but yeah. They can go in the in the disqualified hall of fame. Yeah, there might be more than just those two who had been disqualified. Probably not. the The highest of heavyweights get insane. So we're probably going to make discoveries about characters as we go in terms of their capabilities that were not foreseen. So but I, th I <laughs> think, in retrospect, probably should have anticipated a character that's like tune tune related is going to be super difficult. And then Steve from Minecraft is just hard because. You know, video games kind of it's 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 kind of yeah. TV show and movie characters are much easier to have fight each other because they yeah. I don't know I, I say that all of those can be animated so <laughs> like it's mm. it gets complicated <laughs> anyway but uh, yeah it looks it like looks like they're disqualified they look like they've been booted out of the game all right wow oh sorry damn chat why didn't that's... you say something earlier hey yeah chat. <laughs> this is all chat's fault <laughs> gosh darn it. Well, okay, I still so... think Steve could have lost by the rules of the game. You know what? Bugs can't, but like you could have nuked Steve from orbit. Yeah, like, Steve, he almost Steve, got nuked from Steve orbit. Steve came close to a loss. <laughs> which and, and yeah. is that your implication there that we? Well, I did give them the option to disqualify Bugs or Bugs and Steve, right? So but they chose both. Oh, the chat has spoken. It's fine. What's funny is that that means Tarzan wins against Bugs. His next fight is with Steve. So I guess Tarzan is now really high up. He's uh. Wow, he's going to be in the final, I think, actually. <laughs> but who will he fight? Let's find out. And remember, everybody, there's no need to be upset about this. <laughs> 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 this is very serious stuff. Morgan all the people who just voted to disqualify Steve are just Garrus fans. That's all they've That's done. They just was. piled back in to get the vengeance. To get you couldn't <laughs> accept the defeat. To get just you back in the to get you back in the just correct just mood out. for what we're doing here. The next fight, and I didn't. I'm not rigging this. This is what it is through everyone's votes. The next fight is Stay Puff Marshmallow Man versus the T Rex. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh okay. Okay. Hmm. nice. I don't know, man. The T Rex would think... have a chance. I, yeah. I think the T Rex. He can wins. eat a I lot. Don't think the... <laughs> I don't think the Marshmallow Man can actually squish him. Like, I don't think he can actually kill the two. Yeah, we really need to be clear on the sizes for this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I think they puffed this, like... Yeah, right? no, yeah he's very much. bigger than the T-Rex. Yeah, he's how bigger, but he's, he's, you know, he's made of marshmallows. He doesn't have the sheer mass to actually squish him. Um, yeah, I mean, I think he can yeah. drown him. He would drown him in marshmallows. I guess we can rip yeah. him apart. But, um, yeah. The T-Rex... Yeah, the T-Rex is strong enough that he can actually rip him apart. Um, but mm -hmm. is that lethal to take a big bite out of him? Or does he have any internal organs, you know? I mean, it would bite the head. It would just right. rip him to shreds, right? The, the Stay so Puft Man like, stepped on buildings. From what though. I'm gathering, yeah. just yeah. for clarification, yeah, thick enough stay, to be able to hold how, Stay Puft is six times taller than the T-Rex. Yeah. That's yeah. How, how relevant is bite force as a statistic against a marshmallow man? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like... Well, so I'd love to say that I think the T-Rex has a chance here, but I'm not sure he does, because part of the problem for him is that he's going to run at that marshmallow man and start biting, but the marshmallow's just going to fall on him, and I feel like the T-Rex is going to get fucked by the, the all of it. He can't breathe. How heavy yes. is the... How much he how heavy is the... Well, yeah, now, now we yeah. need to start talking about the mass of the marshmallow, and... Can the... he... Can he not eat his way out of wherever he ends up stuck inside the marshmallow he's gonna, man? He's going to get clogged breathe. in marshmallow. He's just... I don't think the T-Rex can deal with that properly. <laughs> Carnivores. It, 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 it just depends on, like, what, what, how much does he actually weigh? Like, can the T-Rex, like, push him off him? Tons. Him? It's tons. He's a 120-foot tall He does have the... In Ghostbusters, yeah, whenever he walks, it's, like, quaking the earth, right? According to a thing, uh, I think yeah, with yeah, yeah. someone in the heavy ball in the Discord has pinged up. me and said apparently Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters would weigh about three point eight seven million pounds. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. There you go. Well, you might yeah. just instantly die when he falls hmm. on you then. Exactly. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take my. I wish the T Rex could win this, but I don't think he can. <laughs> I think He's met his match. Yeah. 
Yeah. Aww. Can like you believe like it? Things like, oh, he has all this no, arsenal, no. this and this and this and posh, <laughs> marshmallow. But it's like, Sad. I'm just gonna fall on you. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Isaac Clark versus Solid Snake. Well, uh, round Solid one. Snake, oh, round, round one. Round one, Snake. Round two is the tough one. It's actually tougher because how is Isaac going to be able to find if, him? If Isaac spots Snake, it's over. But that's a big if. That's yeah, that's a really big if. if. Yeah, that's actually really is a big if. Um, it, Snake could come up behind him, just stab him in between the armor plates. Come up behind him, use the trank gun, like. He has yeah. many, many yeah, options. I think, so. I, think, I think Snake actually probably has the edge this time. I think yeah. his stealth is just too good. Yeah, mm. he's got a very unique skill set that gives him a huge advantage in the uh, in the forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, forest <laughs> it's a very is, particular like, set of skills. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. chat were basically like ninety five percent uh, Snake there. Looks like Isaac is outers, much like the T Rex. Yes. Yeah, Isaac would have to react way too fast. So Isaac's one of the other people who could have beaten Steve with a planet cracker. No, um, this is round... <laughs> we had it. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is round five, uh, where Tarzan automatically wins against Steve, because chat voted him out. All right, I'm going to blame them every time, so we, we don't have to be seen as silly. Uh, then <laughs> the next rounds, we're back with the ones we just fought with. It's Stay Puff Marshmallow Man versus Solid Snake. <laughs> Oh, I don't know that well, Snake they... can ever defeat the Marshmallow. Yeah, because well, I think, I think uh, round one... CQC is not well, that well, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and round two, I could imagine that um, Stay Puff could just roll around in the forest. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah base get him, right? I don't think yeah. in the forest Snake would naturally have with him anything with the attack potency to bring down a no. Stay Puff no, Marshmallow no, Man. Not at base no. level, no. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, but I mean, oh, he's going to be man. really oh, hard to be right. spotted, so he might be able to avoid having him fall on him. Like I not... The question is, how does he kill him? Around. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Snake yeah. could hide for a really long time, but the, the State Punch Marshmallow Man would, would get him eventually, right? Does the Marshmallow Man have any so. weaknesses? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. It would take fucking forever, but eventually, like, he would outlast Wait, him. wait. Could, he, snake... could he bring it down, though? Could he, like, Create traps to to trip him up, bring him down. Um, Does Snake have access have to, be a to really the codex? He's 120 feet tall and three million pounds. What kind of Does... traps can you set? Does a really Snake good have one. The rest of his team on the other end of the codec that he can call up for advice on how Not to beat. In, this uh, round two, in round no. three, he can. But that's I mean, that seems like a natural part of his thing. kit. Like but, he always oh, has the true, codec. True. Yeah, the codec. Has the codec. But that that <laughs> was codex. I don't know. Is that all they can do is tell him stuff. What can he call in? Is that just, uh, you can just can't get information in. He just can call up a variety of people for information about whatever he's doing. Colonel, there's a giant marshmallow. At the <laughs> How do I what kill do a I giant do? marshmallow? We need I'm fire, in the snakes. Woods. Um, could <laughs> could he set the forest on fire something. and evac potentially? <laughs> uh, do, oh, does I he have set the forest on fire and get the fuck out of there? Does he have C four? People are saying. Yeah. Um, Not nah, well. I mean, th that's I don't know the if thing. I count that as like a natural. Yeah, I wouldn't mm. find that in the base set, really. Yeah, you get it not. pretty oh, early on for oh, to yeah. solve a puzzle to get into what's I, effectively the first boss fight. I, I'm just I'm struggling to determine what we would call his natural <sighs> like setup. So we have yeah. the trank dart gun thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, Siggies. what else? Siggies, yeah. <laughs> uh, grenades. Camouflage, probably grenades. Yeah. Probably doesn't get a rocket launcher. I think if he no. has the grenades, he has the C4. Uh, that seems reasonable. Can he get stuff like called in from his allies or no? Uh, well, the, in the later games. Theoretically, but not in this one. You sh I don't think mm. that would be. Right. Actually, yeah, Solid Snake's never in a game where you can do that. Well, all we should are... assume that he can get from calling up with the codec is advice. Yeah, yeah okay. Well, how was, uh, mm. what's the vibes? There's a world where he wins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cannot figure it's out a really way hard, to kill a marshmallow. I, I just because I find it you need funny, the idea. you I'm need sorry, a, you need a lot of explosives for the yeah. marshmallow man. I just I just I think a couple of C4s <laughs> and maybe a couple well, of the thing is, won't do that. If he, Tarzan doesn't and set then he just falls on him again and then he dies again. Is he able? Like, could he like take off its limbs and then you know figure something out from there? 
It's going to fall on him and die. I think C4ing uh, the yeah. legs might be a good start. At least it buys you more time. Is there any water in the jungle forest place? Is there a river? Because like, marshmallows get really soggy and heavy and horrible <laughs> if you get in the way. Somewhere we or said or there river. was an infinite forest. I think it might that just be infinite trees, forest, right? and that's that. Yeah. Oh, I, I imagine that there maybe would be, like, a river somewhere. I mean, had that been said earlier, I feel like I would have been okay with it. It's just that we haven't yeah, entertained yeah. that with everyone yeah. else. Sure. We'll really I, change I the game like if a Aquaman shows up. Just trees and, like, you know, what you would find in the forest normally. Uh, water would be, like, different biome, technically, It still wouldn't <laughs> count out, I don't know, Snake finding a way to very stealthily set up a big fire trap. Like to activate it in a sense yeah. of a big, huge fire that really crawls up the trees and Stay Puff himself in a particular area. Then, the take a... And then just like runs yeah, the fuck away in a different legs. direction. If you can take out the legs so that he can't like run around anymore, yeah. uh, then it might be able to yeah. set him on fire and then, you know, melt him. But in what percentage of the times we run this scenario exactly, does he yeah. successfully, mm. like, because again, he's playing no hit mode? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, he's very competent in well, stealth. So. He's really good. What I will say is he this have might a be lot of time to do the that deciding he time. winner of, like, because the thing is, Tarzan, I'm not sure he wins against either of these guys. Um, mm. And he's the think, remaining on the other side. Yeah. So should we put this one to the chat vote? They can decide the winner of Lightweight. I think so. These questions are just too difficult for us. What could we possibly do <laughs> against such reckless <laughs> battles? I mean, we could also vote amongst ourselves if you want, but... I think they want to do it. Look at them. Look at them. They're all yeah. like... loves to participate. <laughs> Yes, you know, the options. I think we've made clear all of the, uh, the, the, the elements of it, so they have all the necessary equipment to decide. Uh, this is going to be an intense poll, but I actually think that they're all going to go for Garrus Solid wins. Fucking <laughs> 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 Jack! Garrus oh, dude. <laughs> Vote Garrus. <Yeah>. Justice for Garrus. <laughs> 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 oh. Just it is as if he was unjustly thing. defeated by like narrowly losing to a guy that got destroyed. They voted for him. They did. Yeah. Why would voted you... that he lost? It's so weird. They can't complain. They yeah. voted. Why? Yeah. They could have changed. Complain about that the poll is now on the bottom of the chat. I think that's stupid. It's weird for me because I can't. I don't know how to get like because... it off the screen where it, it is. Yeah, it should exactly. be at the top, yeah, because you want to see the newest uh, yeah. things coming yes. in as well. It was. I think maybe before. you have to vote. No, I, 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 mean, I, I, I uh, it's not <clears throat> anything I can access. It's it's like how do, Mel, you better explaining this. It's like the URL is in OBS. It, oh like, yeah, directly okay, draws it. from yeah, a source. In OBS, got it. So I can't actually do anything mm. yeah. until the poll I mean, ends. It looks but, the it looks the looks the same on the on the normal chat. So, but um, yeah, we'll go for a minute. I have a feeling it's uh, it's already over. Which you know what? As I think it, I think it's I think it's it's suitable to have Solid Snake be the winner of lightweight. I think mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Totally lose. It matches. Solidus is a different person. I mean, just happy uh, doesn't uh, have got to say, I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, <laughs> stay, <laughs> stay Puff. Stay Puff did well, you know. He really... He did well. He did. <laughs> There's no shame in losing the Solid Snake when you're a large object. Tarzan's the finalist, you know? though. That's what's wild. If Snake can take out a Metal Gear, he can take out a Marshmallow Man. <laughs> <laughs> I like I said, this is I true, but Puff, surprised how well like... Tarzan did. Yeah. Do, you, do you think Garrus would beat Snake though? If Snake can take out a Hind D, he can take out a Marshmallow Man. <laughs> I don't know how good Garrus is in CQC, so. Oh, honestly, could we just say fuck Garrus? He's not even an interesting <laughs> side here. Ooh. He's just dumb. Oh my god! Oh my god! As a so Mass Effect player, player, I'm just going to agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> my god. <laughs> Is this that legal? is the most controversial thing said all night. <laughs> I wouldn't know. But the poll has ended. We can crown mm. Solid Snake the winner of Lightweight. And Yo. he gets to go into uh, Middleweight. Uh, oh, he's legend. gonna get bodied, I'm sure. Possibly. <laughs> Gen Just... Gentle folk, this is where I have to dip. Uh, have a great evening. Thank you so you much for uh, right. joining us. Keep dude. fighting. Yeah, later, dude. All later. I know is, go Batman! Yeah, he's on his way. <laughs> <laughs> I shall give him my vote, ass. Um, I need like three minutes just to set up. We shouldn't be too long. So, That's if you guys want to discuss something about I don't know, cheese or whatever.
Yep, she, I like cheese. Cheese, cheese is cheese great. Is great. I like Cheddar cheese. Favorite is cheese. Quite nice. Should cheese be in the heavyweights? I don't know. I think cheese could beat Steve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can cheese? Can Steve craft things out of cheese? That's the real Probably. question. Well, is there a cheese block, block chat? Cheese uh, gets cleared by Gromit, though. You know, so. An interesting yeah. uh, <laughs> thing Solid Snake versus Sam Fisher, I wonder about this stealth comparison. Uh, I vote uh, Solid Snake all like every that, day on that one. The thing is, is that there's more sci-fi stuff uh, working in favor of Snake yeah. compared to like Sam Fish is meant to be like somewhat realistic. Yeah, in a sense. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, like this, I don't like deciding things just by title, but it's hard to compete with like a clone of the best soldier ever. You know? mm. Yeah. yeah. So. He has anime bullshit on his side. So. It would have been interesting to see Solid Snake. Uh, not Solid. It would have been interesting to see uh, Sam last longer because he sh he feels like he should be fairly competitive, especially well, with the uh the. Who did he lose to? Uh, Garrus, I think, Garrus. his opening fight. Yeah, yeah. Garrus. Yeah, that makes sense. It's the nature of this sort of thing. It's either you have to have like bounce it out. There's going to be the most interesting fights can happen sort of at the beginning and end, or if you mix it up completely. Then you get like retarded fights, you know, Homer versus Sam Fisher. We're like, well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that would have been pretty funny. Homer did fairly well. He did all right. Yeah, he got pretty far. Yeah, there's only so. Well, far. it'd be interesting to see doing this again, like in a year, with the same <laughs> the same characters, but ordered in a different list for their first rounds, and see if it would change the winner. Because I think it would for sure. Oh, a few, few, few people certainly got snaked by Bugs Bunny and Steve. So. <laughs> well, and for, for, for the record, there's going to be more mistakes like that, probably. Oh, absolutely. Uh, there yeah. always will be. Oh, I mean, T Rex would have been knocked out a while ago if he comes up against the wrong thing, right? Who, sorry? Yeah, T Rex could have been knocked out. Oh, nearly yeah, anything yeah. with a gun. T I think, yeah, yeah, CJ like... would have beaten the T Rex. Well, Captain Price, right? He could have fucking yeah. wrecked a T Rex. Yeah, Captain Price probably would have beaten the T Rex. <laughs> So, uh, as, you, as we went over, it was mostly guys with guns, you know, some enhancements here and there and everything, but that was, the middle weight is like, it's hard to say, but this is like enhanced people, but the, the limit is a lot higher than you may expect, because the heavyweights obviously get into some crazy shit, but in order to fit everyone into, into weight classes, it meant that some people were in classes they probably <laughs> didn't belong in. So there will be some people here and they were just like, why did you do that? And it's like, I'm sorry, okay. There was nothing I could do, literally nothing. But hey, the more, you know, confusion there seems to be, the more we can be like, all right, we'll leave this one to a vote and see see what the people truly believe out of these two characters. But starting on middleweight, round one, first fight, we have Subject Delta versus Medusa. Um, so I feel like round one, he's, uh, uh, he's screwed. Oh, Subject Delta. But did you say Big mm. Delta? So what's Daddy. curious is he gets his plasmids in round one, doesn't he? Uh, do we consider that to be it's like DNA? Like, well, does he have sure, but does he have like the ability to recharge? You know, I think you would have a base level of Adam or Eve, right? Yeah, okay. Adam uh, gets you them, but how Eve... does his vision work? Like, does he have like yeah, that's the or... thing. How well, so the other thing work? I was going to say is, does his suit count as life support because it's like embedded into him, right? Somewhat, yeah, I think, I think big daddy's. Yeah. yeah, big daddies can't live outside of the In city. which case, they spawn uh, so on Final it... Destination, he needs to just fire a freeze at her or whatever the fuck, and uh, it's really down Without to who... looking at her. Well, and that's the thing, right? This is something we haven't had to answer yet, but if he doesn't know anything about his opponent, he's not going to look away from her, I assume. No. Yeah. yeah which, um, so he gets turned heard... to stone immediately, then. Well, if his the vision yeah. works like a regular vision, like... You know. Like I said, yeah, if, if, she, if she goes to go blah, like like, well, are we doing it God of War type rules or is it just automatic whenever you see her at all? Which I'm fine. I think with. it was automatic. If yeah, it's automatic, automatic I then I feel cool. like he's turning to stone. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Oh, well, man, I think a lot of yeah, I think it like fucked up vision. by Medusa. <laughs> I figure. Well, the thing is, is that if you have an awareness of Greek mythology, then you'll be fine. So if you're like a normal average mm. day, you know, person, then you'll, Maybe. you'll figure it out, right? I don't think you'll even... Like, are you going to immediately assume that's a Medusa, like, the, the well, millisecond you look at her? Like, you know. You'll you be fine if it's a Norris, right? you are able to win, but, you like, can't look at her not at all. looking at your opponent the... ever is hard. Well, the thing is, I mean, if you get her from behind, like, if you don't encounter her directly, then you'll be okay. 
if you see her at a distance, then yeah, but you know, if, yeah. right. But we're talking about Final Destination, right? They're staring at yeah, each other, well, so he yeah, just instantly just turns to stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, well, that's that's another. Yeah, it's one one she has yeah, it for sure. <laughs> the other if it was because hmm. if it's if it like you know gradually turns you to stone, he will be able to shoot a plasmid before he's done. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is important because it's going to be important for future Medusa. Yeah, oh yeah, because right? people worried Medusa is going to instant potentially. I yes. think if it's instantaneous, she needs to be in the heavyweight category. Like, <laughs> because what what won't? What, I'm not sure. If she most can things will look do at their opponent. In, she gets dominated in round three by most of the the middleweights. I'd imagine. She gets dominated in, in round three for sure, and maybe even round two. Maybe it's round just that two. Round one when it's person staring at Medusa. Yeah, round one she's is always going to win. Up to each other. She's <laughs> always going to win round one, yeah. Pretty much. So is it wrong, Bola? You don't even know what's in this fucking class, bitch. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> I know what all the people in here are. And we've already had the lightweights have access to fucking starships. What's Medusa going to do against the fucking starship Enterprise? <laughs> Stop right there. Got like a, Look, at, Look it. at it. Got a big snake starship. Disqualify Medusa, come on. No. <laughs> no, no, no. No, this Get isn't this here. isn't this is not some not loophole. It's her power. Like, this is this is her ability. That's this is very much the game. The people don't understand that the point of What's the game the... is that they have different abilities. Yeah, and chat's very much familiar with the idea of characters having very particular niche but powerful skills, but being mm -hmm. not particularly good outside what's... of that. Yeah, like well, that's the thing. She's really all... interesting one. Her what's power doesn't go any higher, right? She starts here and ends here. Yeah. Exactly. He has so one. Yeah, he's he's oh, and, and good. if she's against any long-range killer, uh, she's fucked in in rounds two and three, and she's out. Then she she can't yeah, just win round one true. and that's it. She has to win two of three. Well, I mean, she might be out here already. She might be. Yeah. It's possible that she's, she's done against uh, Big Daddy. Yeah. Well, because yeah, Delta will fuck her up at long range. Uh, he's got longer range than she does. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. He's got a shit ton of guns. Um. Which oh, is yes. why, like, yeah, we we well, we, we haven't talked about it yet, but round two uh, and three might already be his anyway. I think he wins two oh, and three. He's way more powerful. Uh, I'm, I'm sure in round two, but round three for sure. Yeah, I don't oh, know well, that. Hold on. So we're assuming that at a long range, that her petrifying gaze doesn't. I think guns effect. outrange. Her I think it, I think gaze. we have to conclude that she has to be within a sufficient distance. Yeah. If she's like a hundred meters away, what does it even mean for it to be eye contact? Bas basically, you have to be in a range to see her eyes. That's yeah, her that's eyes, what I thought it was. Exactly. So like, he sees to... her. Just, it's her ugliness, basically. I no, I, the eyes. I thought I I thought it was the eyes. I thought it's it was you eyes, had to look yeah. at her in the eyes, and then you freeze. Mm, yes, maybe? right. Yes. Maybe? Well, so to be are. to be yeah. absolutely that's why clear, the Greek, the Greek Medusa... person has like a mirror shield, so he doesn't have to look her directly in the eyes when he's fighting. That's true. yeah. You can do like a reflection okay. stuff, but I was just going to say Medusa has several yeah. iterations across all different kinds of media. It's really which one we're oh, going yeah, it's with. Varies a lot. And uh, I think it that it's totally fair to go with the one where you have well, to lock eyes. Not like super close that, range, but uh, identify her eyes with your I, eyes. I see someone in chat that something that's interesting that might even determine round one. She needs to see his eyes too, right? But she can't. Yeah. Uh, she um, oh. I, does I she? I don't, I don't know. know that she I think has it's to see the person their eyes. looking at her. I guess they have to look at each other. Yeah, it, it's, it's a tough one. Yeah. Uh, is it eye? Uh, yeah, because if it's eye in, contact, then in the myth at I, least, it's it's you looking at her that's turning you to stone, not the other way around. But uh, yeah, yeah, it depends on the iteration. Yeah, saying. I don't think it's her looking at you. I think I think it's okay, you yeah. see her. Daredevil's yeah, gonna was, fuck yeah, this girl up. Direct, <laughs> I thought it was direct eye contact. That was the thing. That like you, what does it mean for you to look at her, but she's not looking at you? You can look at like if you look at her from behind, she ain't looking at you, but that's not gonna work. Yeah, no, it's I thought you it was direct into eye her contact. Eyes. Right, that's yeah, why he used the shield. Hideousness. He used the shield, was, he used the shield and closed his eyes. Then. Right? Like, that's how she was killed, is he used the shield to see where she was and yeah. then attacked with yeah, his eyes right. closed. So, he used the yeah, silver so, shield to see the that's reflection. Right. The reflection, yeah. So you can look at a reflection, that's fine. It's direct eye contact is what I thought, yeah. which, I don't know. Well, again, I, I think there's multiple... Contact with her and vice versa. Like, I mean, you, I you know, so. to, to include so. all of them, there are ones where she makes a cone of vision. You have to stand in the cone for X amount of time and then yeah. you'll be stuck. Like, mm -hmm. you can go with a lot of different ones. Um, I think, yeah. I think I'm happy I with think instantly. I think you win. Well, I was going to say, I'm happy with her winning round one, but I think Delta has for two and three. three. I think you've got it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. 
I'm fine with that as well. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Too. All right. Well, it looks All like right. you got it. Yeah. Yeah. Disqualify Medusa, and then she loses <laughs> round one. <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, she was not going to be around forever. Like she was going to lose the next one probably. If I think yeah, so. Yeah, remember, Midwife's got a lot of powerful characters, but still re a really interesting one. I feel uh, to discuss. All right, round two is Corvo versus Ratchet and Clank. Well, oh, boy, round one, <laughs> round one, Corvo wins. Yeah, yeah. Well, is it both of them? Because I mean, get rid of two people. Ratchet is pretty. It's Ranch is pretty well, so, pretty strong. I was what I was gonna say is you need to be thinking about Clank. Clank can turn into super duper big boy Chongo Clank. Yes, which is very powerful. Can he do yeah. that? Um, How, what, what does he like? What does he need to do is, that? It's uh, innate. It's an it's an innate ability, but like in the game, it's not innate. Like he, it's like he needs to go to specific locations at specific times and then do that. But it is an innate ability. Um, you just like within the game, he he doesn't unlock it until a certain usually, time. I'm fine with it like being. Does it, 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 does he like need right anything platform. else to do with this? The, is the question. It's not like he needs resources to do it. Yeah. No. But the thing is, is that Corvo has like some innate abilities that make him like he can freeze time. That already puts him in a oh. really good spot to win. That's true. He, he has the blink. How was the freeze? Uh, teleportation. He so freezes. Round for one, long I think it's. Round one is is definitely his. He can freeze time and get to them at, without them being able to stop him. But round two in the forest, he's going to have a lot more trouble. The first time you use Blink, and round three, go they, immediately they behind them and then weapons. kick. <laughs> All right, we got round one. Mm. Like, round two. Round one is Corvo. Round two is d more difficult because Ratchet and Clank, I think, with base equipment means uh, a handful of weapons that are quite powerful. Mm -hmm. Very like, powerful, the, the, yeah. You know, we're talking like ro like rocket launches are uh, early game weapons in Ratchet and Clank. Sadly, what's, yeah. what's, Cor what's yeah. Corvo's? Uh, you got a uh, pistol uh, and a sword. I don't, know why people, I don't know why people are saying a crack in time. He doesn't have any of that stuff yet. Like at base level, Ratchet and Clank, doesn't, he doesn't have so, like any time powers that he can Cor use. Corvo's going to have in. Corvo's going to have a sword, his pistol, and his powers. All his powers? Uh, I think all of its powers. The, <laughs> that makes it complicated because dark yeah. vision just make him win. I figure that um, that's really beneficial that he can like see through walls. Yeah, uh, can't can he, he just, see through uh, trees then as well? <laughs> he can see through yeah. intervening. He can terrain, see through so. trees, but only for yeah, a short yeah. amount of time, though. That's the thing. Oh, mean, how does he? Does he, does he have any way to? Yeah, does he have any way to rejuvenate his mana stuff? Because I remember there's a. The mana system in that game is weird in that it can run out it, only to a certain point. Uh it it does run out to a certain point, yeah. Um I, I mean really I'm just thinking like can he outmaneuver like if he gets shot with a rocket? Like he's he might like, blink uh, he, of stealth, blink's pretty powerful. And he has blink and time stop. So he does, yeah. but like he yeah. needs to be aware of the, like the time stop he needs to like make that happen. And yeah. he'd be getting shot out with a rocket, right? It might be too quick for him. Right, and um, to be clear, with with Ratchet and Clank, they're not like shooting a rocket from a long distance, and it's one time thing. They're shooting like fifty a rockets bunch of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, while he's jumping around as well, like he's right, running back yeah. and forth, jumping around, doing like helping him. aerial cartwheels. Uh, and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Is, Corvo is also like Mister Master of Stealth, though. So that's true, but that's oh. true. But he he's he's more of a master of stealth in urban terrain. Yeah, in a forest, it's not. He's not as. Uh, that's not and, as suitable to his. And abilities. his foes, in this case, don't obey right, the I don't, of dishonored in that they're capable of looking up. I don't think <laughs> we've said that this is a forest in the middle of the night either. So it's going to be a daytime forest. Run. I presumed it was a daytime. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah <laughs> which means that Corvo's just standing there in the middle of the trees. <laughs> I yeah, like I don't know that Corvo's stealth I, is super good for him in a forest. No. Um, necessarily. If he can stay hidden until night, I guess. But if... I think the cer the circumstances that lead to him winning are quite slim, so it's probably Ratchet and Clank. Uh, um, wait, wait, hang on, I, hang on. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm I'm just sure. looking at his. I'm, I'm looking at his abilities because I, I don't prop. remember them. He has possession. Possession. He can just possess someone for. He's got to get a within range, though. That's the thing. He's How close range, range on that? that? Yeah. I, I don't, don't know, know what it know. is in like meters, but it's close. And... He can't do it from like across the 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 forest. And because of the way his mana works, I think he's getting like one big spell, pretty much. 
Like, Pretty much, yeah. And then he'd need to recover. I think that that would probably be the only way for it to make sense. Yeah. And then round three like, is, is a clearly possession. ratchet. Round three is is wait, round three is yeah, clearly no, ratchet. No I don't chance. know about that. I think in the, so. In the, they in have the big world, at that we're dealing point. with two very That's powerful true, entities now. At round three out rounds. in the world, Corvo Corvo's going to do really well in the real world. Like in it, he's going to do incredibly well in that environment. Ratchet and Clank, they're not. They're aliens on Earth. Like <laughs> they're going to stand out. I think Corvo mm -hmm. easily, and especially with all of the abilities he has in round three, like if we assume it's max power, I feel like Corvo absolutely well, um, wins. Just no matter they've, how got, they've, got they've got scanning, they've got scans. Would you clarify for me? They, they Ratchet Clank, the... can they get this spaceship on round three? Yes, they I get think, a spaceship yeah. in round three, but like I don't know necessarily how much good that's actually going to do them. Um, they have They're... to try and kill him, right? And like Corvo might actually be able to deal with with that because it's mm -hmm. magic versus science. <laughs> But they're able to find people. I can't remember the name of the character that they're, they they look for. But he's able to find like pieces of of uh, uh, gears and stuff with his his spaceship. So he's clearly able to scan and find you know individual things that that are. That's true. Um, but what I would be trying to push towards is what does it look like if it's Ratchet and Clank in a ship fighting Corvo with maximum abilities to freeze time. Um, like possess enemies to to like blink to use all of these abilities. Like I don't know, I don't know what it looks like. It, you know, as a ship battle. Sure, hmm. but how does Koro even you know get close to killing them? Right, he's not going to get close to the spaceship. Oh uh, well, it, but he it could. Depends, right, I can, I can hypoth. You know, what if it's like the ship is coming down to strafe? He pauses time, blinks closer, like it gets into the ship. Uh, through a variety of different means he has available, then it's like, then that's game over. Mm. Once he's in the ship, it's over. If he gets in the ship, it's over, yeah. And that's sure. possible. It, I don't know how so, easy yeah. that's gonna be. Like, how close the, does it need to be to the ship for that to happen? Like, you know, you can I think we have to assume from... it's like, I don't know, 20, 30 meters, something like that. Well, we're, yeah, um, but they could stay from, from very high up, right? We're a minute over, that's so we're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to end it and do some voting. <laughs> <laughs> this one's honestly quite <laughs> difficult. So, uh, well, also, Clank has time powers in round three, so that's right. my balance it out. Ratchet and Clank are yeah. ridiculous in round three, but I guess so is Corvo. But anyway, uh, overall winner, who would you vote, everybody? Let me know. I'm going to go with Ratchet. Same. Yeah, Ratchet. same. Ratchet. I think I'll go with Ratchet. Yeah. Yeah, same. Well, well they have it. <laughs> I, yeah, that's it. Because, uh, well, all right. <laughs> I think chat felt Corvo pretty strongly. For uh, for a lot of it, so they're gonna be very upset with you guys. Well, my bias is for Ratchet and Clank, obviously, but like they're the characters I like more. Uh, I honestly so just he don't admits know it. enough of both characters too. Well, yeah, what I do you mean? I made the strongest case for Corvo. Out of it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's really yeah, true. Your bias did not show in this round. Okay, oh, so are we because Chad is so very upset about that one. I don't know. I guess uh, yeah, they're gonna be upset. Live. Oh, oh, so live. So live. Hang on, let me just. I'm just gonna ban them all really quick. Look, no. we're just helping them forget about Garrus. That's all. Oh boy, <laughs> we're bringing me because we we had a few test runs of just how this would go, and uh, this one was actually discussed at length. We're about to reopen the discussion. Ow. We have oh, no. Redditor versus Arbiter. Uh, the redditor. <laughs> so the, redditor. the thing is, I think redditor. I think an elite is stronger than a predator at base level. I at think least so like too. nine feet tall. I like the yeah because we're saying that it's the predator with only his life support, which means his mask. Right? Um, no way. No, he doesn't get. That's not right? life support. That's like a no. technology that. Well, he that's, that's, how, that's, that's like armor. Hmm. But nothing. that's how they breathe, right? Like no, no. He doesn't like, need that to breathe. He, he can survive. He can't see very well without it, though, can he? Like the first he has a when vision. Taken off, I, wouldn't, is very I don't think it should classify as life support doesn't in the same way Vader's suit does. Yeah. I don't think that. Yeah, I don't think that counts as. And, and this would be like assuming, and this means that Arbiter doesn't have like shields or anything either. It's just the two of them in a fist. Okay, fight. so it's it's a blind predator. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is... naked fighting on a little platform, right? I mean, yeah. I guess this is a thing to clarify. An elite is like bigger than predator. At least, mm -hmm. like nine feet tall. Yeah. So, like, it's safe to assume that an elite is stronger than predator. Yeah. With no gear, that... he so... probably wins. With yeah. no gear. 
Yeah, I think he he wins one. Probably. Um, mm-hmm. I think I think like my gut is telling me like the uh, uh, Arbiter's one, Predator gets two, and then three is going to be interesting. Well, yeah, so yeah, the thing with uh with two is that it's it's like Predator's ideal environment. Exactly. And yeah. His yeah. gear is very good for that. Like. I can a plasma, you know, like a plasma blast coming from Predator, would that be tanked by Arbiter's shield? Yeah. And even if it was, he could just fire off a second one very quickly, yeah. couldn't he? Oh yeah. yeah. Pred- Predator definitely wins round two. It feels like Predator Which definitely wins. Which means it's down to three. Yeah. And part of the problem here is I'm not familiar with Predator law enough to know what their space like power levels are. Like their ships, uh, what they're yeah, capable of. Yeah, because the thing is is that yeah, because I think was... it's safe to assume that Elite, uh, that Arbiter would have, like, ship, you know, he'd have a ship. Oh, of course. Yeah. Um, Predator would also have a ship, but, you know, it's... Yeah, it's hard to say what... It's it's so it turns out they farmed in, autism in the chip, and chip turned... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we've ever seen weapons on a Predator ship. That's what I was right? going for, yeah, because I don't know if they actually... Yeah, but whereas... to be fair, or, or what, what, they do, I don't what know films what are you they drawing do. from? Because, obviously, there wouldn't be a, necess- a necessity for... A weaponry in Predator One and Two on their ships to be displayed necessarily. But even in the Aliens vs Predator films, Ugh. and even in the bad Predator films, Ugh. I don't think we've ever seen weaponry on their ships. I don't even. It would be safe to assume that they have some weapon weaponry though. Like well, well I think so, so, I think it's um. But what specifically is? They the, are intergalactic the traveling warriors. They definitely have fucking weapons on their ships uh, when they want to. Yeah. yeah, definitely. It's a question of whether or not that would match ships that have the capacity powerful? to blast. Yeah. You know the surface and of what's, a planet. And what specifically even they have? Like we don't know what what specific. Well, we know they have so... giant bombs that can blow up like a sizable area, right? That's like true. that they can hold on they their do. wrist. It's but this one's uh, hard to really like call. A covenant area. The, yeah. re- the reason it's hard to call, and is we don't have enough information on the predator mm-hmm. side to say. But they will the kill themselves else. in and order to win. Factor, I feel. We know that they well, will sure, kill but, like, themselves. If he do- that's but that I I mean surely that doesn't count as a win for him right like that would just right. be a draw yeah but at best right is a draw he's willing to nuke the area we know this that the, the, the he's not going to lose unless he do, gets um, definitively the covenant beaten. ships have stealth capabilities at all um I mean yes. you no know the predator does well because yeah we see the predator it's, ship uh, stealth. what well, depends on what ships yeah, we're okay. talking about like a covenant carrier is pretty obvious. <laughs> they're like the question is can they ship. detect like clove uh, um, ships or not because uh because obviously i, I don't want to draw uh, too do much but should we yeah that's true should we let chat vote yeah. for this one because we've got lacking information uh there's gonna be people who've read okay. more about predator lore in chat i don't know if that helps with uh figuring this out i wouldn't want to undermine by the way covenant ships are incredibly powerful it's just difficult to figure this out that's all yeah and hey, right, the Arbiter was inspired by Predator, presumably. I don't know enough about Halo. Like, the I mean, I would say that it's just on what we seem to understand about the capacity of the ships, it does seem like a Covenant ship beats a Predator ship. I agree. Maybe if if it Covenant ship, it I feel like we just. Or not. I feel like we don't have the information to say unless anyone here knows more about no. Predator ship lore. Nope. New. No. Nope. I think Arbiter might take this one. Well. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, but sure. I mean, it sounds like it's for chat, right? <laughs> is, is, is chat deciding on this one? Yeah, I figure. Because, yeah. like I said, I, I don't think that the, between us and Cass, we just don't have the capacity to vote on this. Um, we can assume, but I don't know if that's as good as letting chat do it at this point, because like I said, a lot of people in there might know. Uh, Predator. Arbitor. Mm. Alrighty. <laughs> Decide who wins round three, and technically who wins overall. Uh, would Arbiter get the entire fleet? Well, so we've kind of not done that with the other ones. We haven't given them all of the ships in I their think, cannon. I think we'd just say Arbiter gets a yeah. ship. I yeah. feel like that's yeah, I, fair. He, I know, think they should get a, 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 well, I mean, like a capital ship. To reflect, I mean, if, if Arbiter got a fleet, then so would Predator, right? It would only be fair, but we wouldn't yeah, do it that yeah. way because it gets weird. Like, do, do they get the entire empire's like capacity? Like, you know, yeah, it's, it's I, better I to like cap it at like yeah. one one specific ship. So it can be a capital ship or a fighter or yeah, whatever they have access to. Well, it looks like Arvid has got a decent lead here. I'd say he's got it. We'll let Which it go is for interesting. Another... I wasn't sure it would be that quick cut. <laughs> biased chat. Yeah. To be fair, it would be biased <laughs> no matter what, even if it's fifty-fifty. 
my assumption would be that the bias would be in favor of predator in terms of like personal preference because like mm. I would arbiter, thought... is, arbiter is really cool Popularity Super contest, cool, Predator though, would know. probably win, but I think people do yeah. really feel the Covenant's got a lot of power in space, which is true. Yeah. Like oh, I yeah. said, it, it, it could Predator's literally just be the, the yeah. there's just not enough media for everyone to be aware of what Predator even does in space with spaceships. It's mm. just, like, just not yeah. typically what you see of them. Uh, someone just sent me something from a wiki. Apparently there's a mothership that has a plasma beam and rockets, at least, and a cloak. That's it's good, just that Covenant but... ships are super powerful. Yeah. Super duper powerful. They glass planets. They dominate human yeah. ships. Yep. They have it's shields. It's not an easy decision for sure, even though, even if they have like a big yeah. capital ship uh, themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks like Arbiter's got it. I would say it looks like yep. Arbiter wins. He's into the next round. Well, All right. Let's see here. How are we going? Ratings. Right. Okay. Well, while I'm sorting that out, the next one is Adam Jensen versus Wesker. Albert Wesker. Oh, so oh, okay, that's the fun uh, one. Um, so Adam well, Jensen I mean, at base, I presume we all would be like Adam. Je uh, Adam Jensen means augmented, like not right. Yeah, he has to be augmented. <laughs> but at base, does he have augmented. any of the upgrades, or is it just I like think, Adam Jensen? Out I think of it's the default. Tutorial? Yeah, yeah, right at the wrong one for sure. Yeah. So Whereas Wesker out of the gate. What's he? Is he, he's is a he Wesker from Resident Evil 1? Like, or... I don't know. Uh, I mean, he's supposed to be a god, god, right? <laughs> In five. Five. <laughs> seems to be the one that... Well, would Wesker base just be Wesker without any powers? That seems a bit unfair to he, Wesker. He would have his powers, right? He just wouldn't well, have life you know, is not guns fair. This is difficult because there are many eras of Wesker. Um, we, yeah, exactly. You know how we t we clearly went with T2 Sarah, not T1 Sarah Connor? So it's like, so what are we doing for Wesker? It's oh, like, yeah. I, are we going with Resident Evil 5 Wesker? I would assume RE5 Wesker throughout. Probably. In which yeah. case, he does get his hyperpowers at base. Yeah, which then he has round one. Round he one. Round one's round one now. He's yeah, West is kind of broken. Round two. Um, well, it, I think he. It depends. Just... You just need a huge um, amount of firepower, and you can take him out. Wesker, the thing is, is uh, like Adam Jensen can be really fast with certain abilities. Like mm -hmm. in Mankind Divide, he had like a big dash that was super duper quick as well. That's kind of like mm -hmm. Wesker's dash. Um, hmm. He's you know strong enough that he's able to like pick up hundreds of pounds and and that's true. You know he's um, yeah. Ultra What's stealthy and all this. Round two, though. I guess that's that's kind of it's. I'm not sure, like exactly where I draw the line in terms of like no. what would be considered a normal amount of Adam Jensen abilities. I mm. guess what he has on like the first few levels of the game or whatever. Mm. I feel like it'd be like mid game, right? So he'd have the blades. He'd have the Icarus like landing system. So like it means full damage is never going to be a problem for him. Um, he'd probably have. He'd have the dash, I think. Um, hmm. And he also definitely has, no. like, swords in his arms. And he has so, guns. Yeah, yeah. And he's got guns. Know, mm. Like, he, he can do some damage. Wesker but he's still like a human in, in the core. That's the thing, yeah. We, like, Adam Jensen is, <laughs> like, a superhuman, but, like, Adam Wesker is, like, crazy. <laughs> he, he fucking flash steps he around dodging bullets and, and shit. Like, and that's, that's the thing. Adam Jensen can't dodge bullets. Uh, so mm. that probably means that Wesker he, does win. Yeah, but he does have that fiber, that nano fiber that That's would true. allow him to tank worth, a couple of bullets. Worth keeping in mind, That's humans true. defeat Wesker. He is powerful. That's though. true. He is dealt with by They're people. And Adam way. Jensen, Adam Jensen is absolutely more powerful than Chris Redfield. Yeah, a hundred percent. That's true. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. bearing that in mind, now I'm starting to wonder. <laughs> right like he is he's not bulletproof but he can tank a lot of bullets he can he be can. shot by like you know sniper rounds and stuff and survive uh so he's unless wesker hard. can oh and invisibility him... as well that would be, right yeah, i mean be base level abilities he's mm. really really stealthy um and he's very very he can like turn into you know what is it the the, the little tiny spaces he can crawl through and stuff so That's like right he can crawl through vents so he he can get nice and small <laughs> yeah, so like he's very capable of moving around in, in a uh, a forest. I think um, much like a snake would have been, right? So it's really a question of could mm. Wesker see him, catch him, and put enough bullets into him before well Jensen could get close mm. enough. 
Hmm. Wesker uh, is Jensen... also very hard to kill. Like he, he takes a lot of hits before he's going down. It's yeah. not like one uh, headshot will take Wesker down. The way I see this is that eventually, like he can't, Jensen can't win on Alpha Strike. I don't think he doesn't have the damage potential. So eventually, it becomes just a fight, and I'm not entirely sure how I Jensen think wins. That what we fight. figured out is that mm. it's possible that uh, Adam Jensen has a chance, but the fact that that's our conclusion means Wesker probably wins this. Yes. Well, yeah, it's it's the unfavorable terrain as well because like Wesker, you need a volcano really. Like that's what <laughs> yeah, you need. You need I think Jensen, I think Jensen can win round three. Uh, yeah. I think that's like more viable with all of his abilities. Like he's pretty OP. Yes. But, yeah. But yeah. But yeah. I'm I'm okay with Wesker taking this one. Wesker advancing Sounds to the next right stage. To me, yeah. Uh. All right. This is um. I don't know. I don't know how this will go, but I'll. We got Boba Fett versus Xenomorph. Oh. oh. Well, mm. I, I think well, so the round Xenomorph one. wins round one. <laughs> yeah. 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 For sure. I think round probably two, I wins think round... Boba Fett wins on round three. Yeah. 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 Is yeah. this, you know, Just by OT Boba alone, Fett right? or is it the uh, Disney trilogy it's, Boba it's Fett? It's OT Boba Fett, not Goober Boba Fett. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, yes. What about Xenomorph in, in the woods? Might be pretty well to um, hide in. What is he no more? Uh, yeah, but Boba's got, got the, um, the targeting visor. Targeting a pizza thing mm. is on his helmet so he That's can true. see through things. He has fucking knee yeah, rockets. Yeah. He's not going to lose yeah. with those. No, no, you do, you do wonder about <laughs> the tree's ability to hide the alien somewhat. Um, not sure how effective that would be. Yeah, yeah no, you're right. For some reason, I thought they had cloaking. I don't knee know rockets it's alone stupid. clear the alien. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he has the rocket on his back as well, and he has a flamethrower and shit. You know, he has a bunch of bunch of stuff. Yeah, Zeno was pretty big. Probably actually, not to think about, it's actually probably going to be hard to hide for that thing. Oh, yeah, people point out Boba can fly. That's true. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah, I think. Right, I think but they don't. Too. We've already established that they don't know where each other is necessarily yeah. right away. So that does give the xenomorph a little bit of time to like climb into trees and prepare, right? And I think that there, it's not unreasonable to assume that the Xenomorph could ambush Boba Fett. But would mm -hmm. Boba Fett die from the ambush? And I don't know. Because he does have armor. He's got, you know, flamethrowers, which, you know, the, uh, the Xenomorphs have proven themselves to be, uh, uh, you know, afraid of and, mm -hmm. and damaged by. Um, so I, I don't know, man. I think... I think he might be able to ambush him, but I don't think he could necessarily kill him. Uh, cause like the, the xenomorph goes for the headshot, right? Like, and he's got a helmet, so he might survive that. And he's made of Beskar and, and we know how good that is. Nothing. I right. even, yeah, I yeah, even exactly. assume if the alien <laughs> skewers him, vibranium. the Boba's going to be able to kill the alien as he's dying. You know what I mean? Like even uh, the yeah, best yeah. case scenario for the alien, I think it still dies. Good yeah, I think I think the alien is definitely winning round one. I mean, we also see a lot of xenomorphs die in the movies all the time. So yeah, but one of them took down. Yeah, you know... no, I was just saying, just the Steel Man Boba. He's just gonna. You don't even need a Steel Man Boba if we've we've agreed because Slave One is gonna annihilate an alien. Um, though it's yeah. not yeah. this is gonna get yeah, too complicated sure. if we entertain that the alien fucking eggs up and armyifies the whole planet <laughs> before Boba. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, uh, you know, yeah, the, the potential of both of them at their maximum, even if we push this alien to a queen status mm. or whatever, like the Boba's ship will destroy it. And that I, means... I, I think Boba will be able to track it down, like, fairly quickly as well, even if it's, you know, anywhere... He's a bounty hunter. Yeah. Which means... Will you just use the fobs? I no, think the Boba edges <laughs> out the alien in round two, um, which means he has it, right? Yep. Does everyone feel comfy on that one? Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh my god, the Xenomorph and Predator are both out. Sorry, folks. Damn. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Oh, <laughs> Maybe we should have them fight. Bow, bow, bow. Well, it's the T-Rex problem, right? Like, up against that. the right kind of guns. It's well, yeah. Die. This is what I meant at the beginning when I was like, people are going to feel annoyed at certain characters not being able to fight longer, but, like, you know, it's the breaks. It's how it goes. You never know what's going to happen. Exactly. Speaking of which, next battle, Captain America versus V. <sighs> From Vendetta. From Cyberpunk. The yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, now, um, uh, to be so clear, round one, Captain America wins, right? <laughs> uh, no, I think V might win. V's strength oh. is absolutely insane, oh. uh, especially yeah. for going from the movie, right? Is so it? V tanks getting really? shot like a bazillion times. He's wearing a bit of armor, yeah, but certainly. He's very durable, but well, he still it, dies. Yeah, well, I, uh, Cap can Cap nearly dies in three shots. I think is it by Bucky. Um, yeah, he gets shot. I think I think if we're comparing them, V can tank more than than Cap can. Yeah, but can V punch as hard as you know Cap can? Uh, I'm trying I think to remember. so. Yeah, he's he's super he's strong. Like a super soldier too. Yeah, they're both. They're probably comparatively ridiculously strong. powerful. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Who's the better fighter though? Cap's it's gotta, gotta be, be better fighter, right? Oh, ah, uh, fuck! I, I can't remember. Is he uh, better enough? Does V have like special training? I can't remember. Let's have a look. I, I mean, he's really he, good. I don't know that he's got, got training, but he's very good with like knives and things. And we see him being super accurate when he's throwing the knives. Um, Cap is like amazing yeah. at fighting. Plus, he's got like superhuman reflexes, essentially. Well, so, yeah, it might be hard to hit Cap with a throwing knife. And well, we're not even doing that yet. Anyway, like, it's it's their baseline we're trying to figure out first. So neither of them. Yeah. This is them punching each other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And this is I with think... no this is with no gear, so, so Cap's got mm. no shield, but V doesn't have any weapons either. No. Um yeah. so this v is a description is super of fast um, and super strong. Description of V here says enhanced strength, agility, reflexes, genius level, intellect, master fencer, martial artist, marksman, master computer hacker, master of stealth, master in demolition. <laughs> He's a bit of an OC. Mm. Isn't he can he? do everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the thing, but the thing is like, <laughs> you know, Cap bit. Cap is equally like impressive. This is why it's kind of like a close fight actually, I think between them. Yeah, especially round 1. It's kind of a coin toss. Hmm. And people yeah, no, know, like, it, what... people saying Cap has 1911. No, Cap doesn't have anything in round 1. Neither. No, of them. he's got nothing mm -hmm. in round 1, not even a shield. Mm -hmm. yeah. Round 2 with a shield. I feel like Cap's got a. I feel like Cap is leaning towards having the big advantage there. Well, we'll get there, right? But like round one, I'm. Possibly, yeah. Should we move round one for later, just in case? Because like it's it's a real tough one. Maybe they're kind of like locked. Maybe in a bit of a stalemate because they're both excellent. Yeah. Um. So round two, V gets knives. Cap gets. I think it's fair to give him the 1911. I'm okay with that. And the shield. And the shield. And the shield. Yeah. yeah. Which, and uh, the shield is like really good for him. Well, I, I would oh, say, based yeah. on the, the character sheet description, though, I mean, V is also a master of you know stealth ambushes. He's more tactical, arguably. Mm. Um, better able to exploit the terrain in the jungle. Could easily get a, a jump on Cap and mm -hmm. take him out pretty quickly. I think if it gets it's into a fist fight in the jungle where they're both armed, then yeah, Cap wins. But I'm not sure that like whether it would get that to that stage. Yeah, he could potentially just put a you know throwing knife in the back of his head. At some point, hmm. Cap doesn't have any like super, you know, senses or anything. He's just strong. Yeah, I thought he had somewhat heightened senses. Does he not? I don't Cap he does. does. Does he? Well, I mean, in order to do the things that he does with the shield, I think yeah. we have to accept that he he must have some sort of heightened senses. It's really it's um, bullshit yeah. that like that Bucky. I, I just thought he has really it's good reflexes. That Sam can do it. Oh yeah, yeah if, you, if you listen to really this set, reflexes. right? Uh, Captain America, superhuman strength, speed, endurance, durability, reflexes, accelerated healing, longevity, expert tactician, strategist, master of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah, the, so the, senses I meant, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The fact I, I'd say, yeah, Cap, Cap's got some superhuman reflexes, for sure. Oh, yeah, reflexes. Yeah, I was more talking about, like, senses. It doesn't have, like, you know, spidey senses. Well, he doesn't have spidey <laughs> sense, no. I just yeah, want, yeah. Um, for the record, if V is about. described as martial artist, while Cap is described as master hand-to-hand -hand combatant, I think he gets round one. Hmm. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. It's... He does take out the, the kickboxy guy on the ship in whichever movie that one was. So he, he like, he's well, beaten martial art that's not, before. Uh, yeah, but you, you go the, the multiplier of being a super strong person too, right? Like, the that guy mm. was a normal dude. A v is like a I also super soldier. Would, yeah, I also would assume that Cap is slightly stronger, but I I would. It's really hard to say between their fictions. I actually don't know. Um, yeah, you know, it's kind of yes from what we see in the movies. Like I I assume also, Cap is a bit stronger. I don't know if this this doesn't really help, but V is described as having enhanced strength, while Cap is described as having superhuman strength. Hmm. It yeah. sounds like Caps is more, but I think going from their respective, yeah. like what you see of V, I wouldn't have described V as having enhanced strength from what you see in the movie. He's like amazing. Does he, do, mm -hmm. does he ever do much? Like, I don't remember this film well. What does it's he do? In what one... feats do we have? 
It's in one fight scene, right? Just before he dies. Well, he, he gets that's. He does. Well, he... um, but what does he? I mean, specifically, like, what do, what does he do in terms of strength that we have to track? Um, he punches someone in the first fight in the beginning of the film, and they like fling across the room. I think he he does it with like okay. while holding his knife. So that would be something. He survives the whole building falling down on him and on fire. That's true. Um, oh yes. He uh, um, fights what like nine people in the subway. Also, no one just like Cap is more than just strength. It's like, to, for, yeah. So is V. We're trying to figure this out. Like <laughs> step by step. Okay? <laughs> Didn't mention that. No. <laughs> I'm going through all of it. It's uh, this is a tough one, all right. And like popularity yeah. contest, Cap is dominating to the point where I'm not even sure we can trust Chat on this mm. one. Because uh, <laughs> Chat's biased. <laughs> they're like they're loving Cap, and I love Cap too. He's great, but mm -hmm. I'm just saying because round three, Cap's yeah. got it. Um, because he has mm. access to so much more power than yeah. V does. But mm -hmm. I also I also think he wins round one. Uh, well, I was about to say I think he win, wins round two because. <laughs> um, Okay. <laughs> it's tough. For, yes, he can be stealthy. Yes, he could ambush. But like, I don't know that he's ever gonna I'm, be able to hit I'm Cap before Cap. Two, I think. I think Cap's gonna like pick it up that he's coming at him. You know. Possibly. I yeah, I mean, he, there was that guy up in the tree, and he saw him. You know, <laughs> before mm -hmm. he got him. Mm -hmm. Like, I think this is a really close fight overall. But I'm willing to say I think Cap's got it. He's inching, inching it out. Likewise, yeah. I think so. I think so. I'm yeah. agree. just about Cap all day. Cap's cool. I wonder who yeah, he'll fight fair. next. Oh, I can see who he's gonna fight next. He he he. <laughs> anyway, well, we've we've oh what a what a bout we have next. So uh, you can see why these two were were paired up. But the first combatant is Bender from the famous Futurama mm. show. <laughs> I'm not sure you're all familiar with his. Oh, yes. Matchup is none other than the T one thousand. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure the T one thousand is dominated Bender on this one. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Bender, yeah. there's no way Bender can win. Bender can, can't bend him. Bender can try and do a lot of things. We know what he's aware. Of. Like, like he can wrap himself around him. He can try and punch him and stuff, but like, the T-1000 liquid metal, he's gonna chop Bender into pieces. Yeah, yeah the, Bender's got no chance, and that hurts mm -hmm. to say. Chop Bend liquid. Yeah. <laughs> so unfair. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, is uh, this... Bender was white, white? No, he's not. Bender no, he's is not. Definitely... Bender, Bender, do you see the kind of girders that he can bend? Bender's incredible, Bender and it's just... Strong. Oh, yeah. This is what happens. Bender's very strong. Bender's getting wiped out by yeah. someone who's, like, is kind of his perfect counter in a couple ways. Um, yeah, it's sad yeah. to see, but it happens. Like a Bender versus Captain America, he might have a shot. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> what if the T one thousand takes the form of a girder? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, good point. Bender also breathes fire. Yeah, I mean, you know, if he can. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's it, does he have a booze on him? Un unbendable girders. That doesn't well, matter. What we can say is, liquid. would Bender have uh, fight three? Because he'd have access uh, to with all of the yeah he probably the ship would, plus of like the maximum he could get yeah and Farnsworth would probably build something that would f fuck up the T one thousand but I'm afraid T one thousand's got round one and two I think yeah, I think I so, think so. Yeah. oh well <laughs> what about the T one thousand push to his his third round what does he get access to Skynet help him out um the th uh, the thing is is that he could get access to a ton of resources just because of his abilities like yeah. he's his ability to infiltrate, he could get access to insane resources. That's true. Yeah, they're limited he's... to Earth tech, though. Well, his yes. round three is just taking control of the entire nuclear defense of the Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, you know for a fucking fact that's going to come up later. <laughs> okay. We shall see. Oh, goody. Um, in a good way, I mean, oh, I guess. But anyway, next fight, we have Master Chief versus a Brotherhood of Steel Knight. So, uh, I think Master Chief dominates. Chief. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Master Chief dominates this one. So, just like a nameless knight? A I think, knight. well, so, I'm not sure I guess the thing much, is, round it? one is, really round doesn't. one is, is Chief without his armor versus Brotherhood of Steel without his armor. Chief wins. Yeah, Chief wins he's that, super for sure. soldier. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Round two, I'm just like his base armor. Mjolnir armor is is better than Brotherhood of Steel armor. Oh, yeah. Yep. And his yeah. weapons are going to be better, too. 
Which, and then yeah, of course round and three. And he's like, way oh, faster. He's got, round three's got like forward onto Dawn and stuff backing him up. So yeah. he wouldn't even need it though. Yeah, the yeah. chief wins. He wouldn't so even need GG. it. <laughs> yeah, this is a chief sweep. <laughs> this is easy. Chief wins. <laughs> yeah. He's that, was, that, was not, that was not fair at all. <laughs> it's the most apocalypse versus future tech. Like it's <laughs> not fair. <Yeah. laughs> Brotherhood of Steel Man should have gone against T Rex. It would have been if it was better. John Halo, yes. he would have lost, probably. But good old Master Chief, mm. he wins. Yeah. Now, this matchup, some of these you just don't know how they happen, right. but you know what? That's the beauty of the nature of this whole thing. We have Fox McCloud yeah. versus Ash from Evil Dead. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, I think Fox is gonna win. Well, I think so too. Okay. Round yeah. one. Why, why is Ash told... in this category? <laughs> well, why I mean, does he have his R wing in the forest? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Ash on round three. Not... Doesn't he have access to the Necronomicon somewhat? Like we got Ash is pretty powerful, depending on what I mean, he's allowed he to have. He doesn't really use it, you know, in a correct way. He doesn't know how to actually use it. <laughs> but so the round one. Is, that's a good so point. Imagine, the thing is, round one, you've got Fox is just a better fighter. That's like the big thing that's going to work in his favor. Mm -hmm. Fox is like a is a really good fighter. How tall is Fox? I think I think Fox is definitely shorter than Ash, but he's he's a better fighter and he's super fast. Yeah. Like I would assume he's like five feet tall, just based yeah, on like, like smash that. size. Short, yeah. Yeah. Um, he is I was a bit just short, thinking if but... Ash could grab him and like rip his head off or something. But... Well, we'll toss him off the platform, nah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, I don't, he's I don't know a smash fighter to, to be that. clear five foot eight i know he's a smash yeah fighter. So, yeah so pretty, Jesus, he's, he's taller tall. than i am yeah five foot eight he's he pretty tall short um, thing, I, I, I think fox fox wins for yeah. sure uh and then in round two it means fox has got his blaster he's got his dash ability his reflector yeah. that's his base <clears> ability and i think shotgun, he wins that one but too. i don't think yeah, that's gonna... Ash... yeah. and also just fox is like he's a he's like a soldier he's he's you know he's trained yep so I think I think Fox yeah. wins Ash round three, maybe farts. with all of the crazy supernatural abilities he's yeah. got. But then it's like, yeah, but you got to deal with you know the great Fox and our wings. I don't and know. Yeah, and uh, I'll agree, Ash is tanky. It's true he can take a beating, but that's not going to save him ultimately against Fox. I don't think. No, I don't think so. No. Um, but yeah, Death um, fairies. again he, for he reference, gets the car, but I don't think it's going to help him. <laughs> <laughs> if they made it to round three, it might have. Entailed something different, maybe. But uh, yeah. be interesting to see how this all plays out. Don't worry if people just get wiped out; it's all part of the fun anyway. <laughs> this one is especially just—I'm uh, not even sure how this one came to be, but here we are. The next bout is, and you have to see this as like werewolf. So, you know, we can we can talk about what its abilities will be in total. But I'm more interested in the fact that this matchup has Werewolf versus Light Yagami. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this Wait. one's actually fascinating. I Does like the this werewolf one. have a proper name? It's... Yeah. Well, it's unfortunately. Yeah, so... Well, so I think the. Uh, well, maybe the it doesn't matter because it's got to be um, any yeah. human's name. Round one so right means game. light with no death note, right? But then round two and three, he's got the death note. Yeah, so round one, can he's light fucked. get the Shinigami eyes? But is in round the two. werewolf is he part human? Because he's kind of be uh, killed by the death were, note. Yeah, like a werewolf could be killed by the death note. I think it would because if they were a human, then they'd have a name. Yeah, but don't you um, have to know who the human know, is? Like, yeah. how does he know but, who he is? Are they human? That, light, that's what light can always make the deal. That's what I'm saying. Does he yeah. get the Shinigami yeah. eyes in two? I think I think I think so because well, like, he, he... he or he can have it. He can choose to have yeah. it. So can he like, write a name once he sees a werewolf before the werewolf kills him? I, I Ooh, think that's so. a tough part. Mm. And ask but... for the deal in time too. For reference, but... you would absolutely lose if he was against something like the Flash, right? He wouldn't be able to beat that. But yes. can, but a werewolf yeah, it's immediately. Werewolf's pretty fast. Mm. So it's yeah, really, it is a question of will the werewolf get to light before he can make the deal? And I'm annoyed because I think down? the most interesting round doesn't matter. Like three, <laughs> I mean, like round three yeah. is fascinating for this one. I think that's really. I think neat, round but... three is where light would shine. But yeah, nice. back and forth of him trying to figure out who this random werewolf is that's chasing him down across the globe. Yeah, because so to know. be clear, uh, they spawn in the forest, and yeah, light could. Start up the deal, but he can't do anything until he identifies what the creature in the woods is, right? Like he, or can he just say creature in the woods, whatever it is, kill it? 
Uh, no, he needs a name and a face. Yeah. A name so a the deal yeah. is I meant for you the give the up deal. half your. Oh, for the deal, he doesn't need anything for the deal. He can just. Yeah. Well, the problem yeah, is he needs the say. human face. If he doesn't um, see the werewolf as a as a human, then it's I. Fun. Mm, I mean, the werewolf. Is that is wolf man. Face. He's. He's. It would be considered half human, right? The werewolf. Right, but the if this werewolf doesn't go to its human form at any point. Would the, well, would I the mean, wolf face count, though? As a, yeah, as a that, face? I was thinking the wolf face would count. I would not think so. I mean, there's mm. not... It's, it's not like it ever shows up in the story, so it's like, there's no <laughs> precedent for it. Well, That's you just gotta face. figure, like, the Shinigami eyes should say whatever the trigger for the Death Note would be for that person, right? If, oh, this actually you, puts throws a wrench you know, complications if the forest the is always in daytime. Um, there's no moon. <laughs> Oh. oh, yeah, okay. So that, so, uh, I think oh. Light just has to find him before the sun goes down. <laughs> I figured that, um, I always figured that we were just treating it like, well, regardless of whether the moon's out, it's just a werewolf. I'm, I'm a, I think you in know? spirit of this whole thing, yes, that's got to be it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. otherwise, then Light wins. <laughs> just already. Yeah. It's kind of pointless at that point. He's not even a werewolf, he's just a guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that could be really <laughs> like Steve from Accounting who has to survive an entire game <laughs> in the forest. <laughs> Um, I mean, it sounds like we're leaning towards werewolf. Well, so if, if think... ER is saying it and Theo is saying it, they're the two yeah. big anime nerds, I think. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, I don't know shit about this. Hey, look, I didn't say it. You did. Probably. Well, like, <laughs> he needs a name and a face, then he needs to write it down before a werewolf kills him. <laughs> I don't... Yeah. Can't get like even if we those... bend the rules in his favor and say that the yeah, again, I mean, he count. writes down names pretty fast in the in the anime. You know, sometimes he's writing yeah. real fast. Very with small the too. Dude. Yeah, you write them on like a little tiny piece of paper that's in his watch. <laughs> yeah, he almost got uh he almost got near with uh how quick he was writing. Um, hmm. so the problem is like <laughs> in order to take the deal, does he not need access to a shinigami? So like. Or um, we just... well, if he's got uh, he can talk to them at any time. By default, surely the death note so does means. Does he that... just have Ryuk? I think so. Yeah, Ryuk yeah. can like always hear him. I think, is, like Ryuk I think he's not always death showing up. But he's basically Ryuk. always there. But we do not have to assume that Ryuk is going to play ball. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Cause... He can just be like, nah. <laughs> like <laughs> he can fun. he can do the deal, and I think that has to be honored. But Ryuk's not going to do what he says, right? Like, yeah, that's not how the deal works. I mean, he's, he's done it before real. by being bribed with apples, but yeah, uh, but he's generally he apple doesn't really give a fuck. <laughs> like have an apple. Um, well, it sounds like uh, sounds like the werewolf's got him. It does sound like, it. and it's, so. it's also one of the only yeah. creatures that likely was be able to beat light this early on. Yeah, because if he was yeah. dealing with just a regular person, that gives him definitely more of an edge. Like if it was Master Chief, you know. Uh, well, he wouldn't be able to see <laughs> his face, though. That's true. Unless he's so he would TV lose. show version. He would lose. Then <laughs> if it was the TV show version, he'd win very quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, next up, we have Link. You know Link. That, that, that boy, that old guy. Versus... Link. Geralt. Oh, really? Mm. Hmm. Hmm. I don't really know enough about Link to. Uh, which which game for Link? Yeah, which version? Because there's three Links, but I'm I'm assuming uh, we'll just go with Breath of the Wild Link because he's the most popular Link. You know. I was just thinking of a Link from Smash Brothers, basically. Like yeah, that. same same one. Um, which there's more than well, one Link, Link from, from Smash Breath Brothers. of the Wild. Which, which Smash Brothers? <laughs> Oh well, I, I was just thinking of like the basically like Ocarina of Time adult Link that yeah, was like mm -hmm. the archetypal Link. Uh, I mean, Geralt has, like, you know, uh, enhanced strength and shit, so I, I assume he wins round one. Actually, right, no like, weapons, there's, not, there's signs. no reason why Link would win that, right? Geralt like, can do not... signs at any time, too. That too, right. yeah. He's got mm. in inherent magic, um, Link does not, right? And Link is just kind of a oh, tears of the little kingdom. skinny elf twink, right? So, like, <laughs> he's not gonna, like, <laughs> lose to Geralt in, in a fist fight. What does it look like in round two, though? Mm. Like if Link's got the Master Sword. Mm. Yeah, it's a little harder, right? Because at that point, you've got Geralt... And a bomb. With, 
and Bob. I, you, I still you got Geralt with a potion and two swords. Uh, Geralt times though, like Geralt could just like stun him, right? That's the thing. Like Geralt's got a lot of abilities that are very focused on combat. Where yeah. Yeah. Link kind of just has a sword and a shield for when he needs to fight and a bow, but he's mostly solving puzzles. Yeah. Well, if Where... he's got a bow, that gives him a. Does uh, Geralt usually have Geralt a bow? Geralt has a hand cross. Uh, yeah, a little yeah. Cross oh, yeah. He can also oh, okay. survive uh, uh, like multiple arrows, basically. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is, he's yeah. got the stamina. Geralt's, for got, sure. uh, Geralt's got like super senses, right? He does. Yes. He does. He, he can be, also. He, he can, can track Link turn, very uh, easily. He can put Link on fire. Which oh, no. Link has yeah, he can. You know, which you can shoot fire he, from he his can hands. mind control Link. Like he yeah, has I was going to say, does Axie work on Link? Does I assume Link, it would. By contrast, does Link have like as part of his base set of of objects? Does he have like the ocarina or Majora's Mask or anything that could balance the magic out? Definitely mm. not the Majora's Mask, but they might have the ocarina. I wonder if uh, anything particularly special should be reserved for, uh, like, round three. Right, because, like, I could see Link having fairies in, in round three, which would almost certainly tip it in his favor. I mean, he would resurrect, and then Geralt will kill him again. Like, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them would. With enough time, with enough time, Link would eventually win, well, this, right? This might be over. Uh, both of them at max power. Is there a clear winner, or is it complicated? from what everyone knows about their lore. I think Geralt just wins all of it. Uh, yeah, I think Link, Link is probably sign... more powerful at round three. Well, because... Um, he has the Triforce, he'd have the fairies, yeah, he'd have all say, those magical abilities. Triforce ability. is pretty yeah. OP from what I gather, right? Like, as, as the Witcher got, yeah, like, he... an equivalent that makes Geralt super OP? Uh, no, not the no. round three. No. Guess, but in the other two, I think Geralt would win. And I mean, both. he picks up some... Think about has... and go on. Here's a question: Has Geralt ever defeated anybody of comparable like strength to Ganon? No. Is that some like could could Geralt def, uh, defeat Ganon? Geralt has an mo of not fucking with. Uh, actually, he beat that laugh. Uh, Geralt could probably I've... beat Ganon, maybe. You do. You can fight it. Like he is, he is a professional two, monster hunter. You he can like, defeat dragons. Yeah, but he, he's a professional monster hunter, but he makes a point of not going after the really scary shit. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. That's true, but if push came to shove and he had to. The, the, that's the think? scary thing. Is like He beat Detlef, who is a vampire, and vampires are a pretty huge deal. Yeah. In They're like super powerful in that universe, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's really down but to round two. But are they as powerful as, then... as Ganon, right? Is like... Ganon really that powerful, though? Yeah. He's an I mean, eternal. He's pretty powerful. You know, yeah, he's super powerful. <laughs> yeah. He's a big chunk of um... <laughs> I I think that in round three, Link feels to me like a very clear winner uh, because he has so many different things from the Triforce to his own innate, uh, um, you know, magics and stuff like that. And Geralt doesn't really increase in power from round two to round three. I, I think round two is the real important one to figure yeah. out. Um, yeah. Yep. And I think what's complicated is just how much does Link get to have in round two? What's his base stats? Exactly. I figure or rather base it's what out. he has in Smash Brothers, right? Like, he has the Master Sword, he has a shield, he has, like, a bow and a bomb and a, and a boomerang. That seems like and a grappling base hook, right? level. And a grappling and a Yeah, and a hook shot. Mm. That's, like, his normal loadout. Yeah. And then Geralt would have two swords and his two innate swords. magic. Yeah, but crossbow. the magic's pretty good. Crossbow. Yeah, the magic's pretty strong, that's the thing. Like it, the magic is strong. Him, he could potentially mind control him. That's oh. pretty damn huge. <laughs> is there a reason why we, it, or is Link, would he be, like, invulnerable to mind control? I don't I, think, I don't think so. Yeah, okay. has there ever been a like, Zelda game that's He's fallen that? into a dream state before and been controlled through his mm. mind. So I, I wouldn't necessarily say that he has like some sort of mental fortitude that could, you know, stop really to that. He doesn't have an answer to Axie then. But I also, I think this is maybe an excellent opportunity to give it to the chat, because I honestly could not <laughs> vote. I have no I idea. Would, I would absolutely say Geralt in round one and two. I think but, I know enough Yeah, I think me to too. Confidently vote, so. Mm, chat, you decide. Because it's really, again, it's a question <laughs> yeah. about, like, Link eventually becomes more powerful than Geralt, no matter what, yeah. right? So it's just a question right. of how much are we going to give to him, and how much are we going to say that that, you know... Uh, I assume we're not factoring in, like, yeah. any time shenanigans with Link, right? <laughs> right, because, no, no. like, eventually he just becomes too much powerful. I mean, yeah, he is, yeah, exactly. He is like, one yeah, of the most Geralt powerful has, things. He also has, like, super sensitive shit, so he could easily, like, dodge bombs and shit like that. 
Like, that's not really a threat to him. Yeah, I mean, Link is also able to move, right? Like... Yes. <laughs> that's not that's not like oh he can dodge but things. Yeah, so can Link. Link is is quite Yeah, quick. but Link doesn't what have if... like super senses, right? He's not a superhuman. He's an elf. He's not a human oh, at all. He's an elf. Eh, I mean, sure. <laughs> he's he's very, you know, very agile. He's got a lot of power. He's definitely strong. He is a warrior. He's fighting nonstop. These are very I, I think it's a very close fight. Joe Seems just, like it's uh... me. Joe just challenge him to a spelling bee, and then Link loses because he doesn't talk. Oof. No, it looks like Geralt's uh, in the lead big time. Yeah, he's... Oh, I'm they, sorry, Chad. He's a Hylian, not an elf. Yes, he's from Hylia. He's not an elf. But he's an elf. He's a little elf twin. Is and, he an and... elf? Is he... Yeah. Is I just he... thought they were elves. <laughs> he has pointy ears, but, you know. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, was I he, racially profiling him? <laughs> They're very is long. Is it actually canon that he's an elf? They're all he's like a Hylian. slightly pointy. He's a Hylian. Yeah. yeah. And what are Hylians exactly? <laughs> yeah. You yeah isn't that more, years, like, I mean, I'm Canadian, but I'm also a human, right? No. 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 Oh. <laughs> Half <laughs> human. All right. <laughs> Half human. I think it's safe to say Geralt has won. Geralt does. Geralt like, I'm happy to accept it. I just, I'm, I feel like it was, very, it's a close fight. Geralt and I, I couldn't figure Geralt it out. Next. It would have been an interesting fight, for sure. Well, talk about interesting right. fights. Next up, I think you'll appreciate the, uh, the images for this one as well. We have Harry Potter versus <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh but that's Santa actually... Claus? Oh, Shad Santa, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's buff. <laughs> mm. Oh, uh, damn it. Oh, Both everyone's spamming Santa. Elvis it's like, shade. Santa, he fucking takes her Harry Potter's <laughs> life. Just puts him in his little stack. Harry Potter is a little twink in the world. Death. Same win. Well, I mean, what round one. What powers does Santa canonically have? That's a really good question. Oh. I'm going to go to Google He goes that very one. fast. Let's go fast. He has <laughs> infinite we just pretend it's this force. Santa. <laughs> and give him round one. He's got he the speed force. Have some time dilation power. He knows Must what do, children yeah. are thinking. He knows when they're awake. He knows oh, when yeah. you've been good or bad. It's so good for good. Does he just have omniscience? Uh, it's like partly omniscient. Yeah. Well, so yeah. this is a list Super we got here. Speed. He's capable of sorcery, superhuman longevity, size alteration, fire immunity, flight, shape shifting, transformation, <laughs> teleportation. Like, I yeah. love that fire lot. immunity is on there because you know it's because he comes down. <laughs> <to shape. laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. What immunity. kind of asshole says just a like, fire yeah, on Christmas Eve? Immune. He's probably immune to fire, you know? <laughs> he's got and he can be. definitely move really fast, right? Like, oh, yeah. He has super so, speed, for sure. Or he's reindeer. Or has the reindeer. Speed, no, it's the reindeer, because the reindeer have, like, warp yeah. speed, don't they? They bend space. Yeah, but he can also get he, into he your house. Up, like, it. tanking it in an open fucking carriage. <laughs> no, and he's still got to move really fast. Into without... a house and back into his, his yeah. thing. Like, he's definitely got to be quick. Yeah. I think Santa wins all of them, actually. Santa's yeah. fucking god. I think Santa's <laughs> overpowered. As we fuck need to move one. Santa to the heavyweights. Maybe he'll earn his way. Like I don't see how he can Harry Potter and rips his head off in all rounds. Right, like that's the thing. He would he would hit Harry and destroy him before Harry could pull out his wand. Yeah, in every round. Little and little like wand. even in the forest, he knows where you are. And even in the 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 round three, he would know where you are. Yeah. He, he would know where Harry Potter is immediately. He kill him in his sleep every time. I mean, yeah, he doesn't necessarily know <laughs> where we are. He just knows if we're sleeping or awake. It's yeah. almost like it's axiomatic, though, isn't it? Because if Harry fights Santa, then Harry is bad. So Harry loses Christmas just by the act of fighting back. <laughs> I think he can't if you win. kill Santa, yeah. you lose Christmas, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you fight back, you're uh, a naughty boy, Harry. Oh, so you got to become Santa. There was a Tim Allen That's franchise. Oh, there. right, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> disqualifies that. <laughs> well, well, he's, he's pretty powerful. We'll see. He's, he's got some power for sure. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But Harry Potter ain't he enough to stop him. We're like all agreed a... on that. Remember, even if uh, Santa should be in heavyweight, the fights, we've still got plenty of good ones left, and he will enter heavyweight by virtue of defeating the lightweight, uh, middleweights, I guess. Yeah. He very yeah. well might. I'm rooting for Santa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think Harry has Santa a chance in this, this, one. this whole thing. <laughs> Santa would have fucked up T Rex, wouldn't he? Let's be honest. Would he have fucked oh, up Bugs yes. Bunny though? Absolutely. Oh. Mm. 
don't, I don't think know so. why you put him in here as a fictional character. No, he probably would have, I think. Well, uh, anybody who thinks Santa is real, he is. I put Rich Evans on here, too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, no, okay, true. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> the next fight is Charizard versus Ridley. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Now, My instinct is good of Ridley, but is a lot bigger than Charizard. Oh, I don't know. Add. Charizard's pretty big, and and Charizard is obviously Ridley's like really big. Yeah, he's big. The people who make Pokemon obviously love Charizard because they just make him more and more OP in every iteration. <laughs> so this this is kind of difficult. And the thing is, I think all of their abilities are innate, so there is no round one, two, three, really. Uh, I don't, I don't know. The thing is, is Ridley's bigger, and Ridley's like, like a person, basically. Like he's, he's smart. Mm. Yeah, you know, I think if I'm Samus, character. I'm choosing to fight Charizard because I feel like that would just I, be. Yeah, I feel like that. <laughs> I know he'd be pretty fire and everything, but like, yeah, Ridley's really don't you big. You just have to put out the fire on his tail, and you win. <laughs> so. Charizard can do the the Gigantamax, <laughs> right? So how big is he when he's a Gigantamax? Wait, what I is, imagine. What is that? Is it's that just a like some new Pokemon thing. What that? Yeah, <laughs> Pokemon's can do this. Yes, so he he can um become really big. Well, Ridley can fly, and he has a super sharp tail, and you could probably get to his eyes. <laughs> Charizard can fly and has a really hot tail. <laughs> I don't. I feel uh, like it's fire, Ridley's bigger, course. and also Ridley can breathe fire as well. Oh, Apparently, like according to the chat, oh. Gigantamax yeah, makes really... him like two hundred feet tall. So, uh, um, but, but what it, what is that? And can he just like do that off the t like innately? It yeah, it's an innate ability. I think he has to eat a ball, so it might be like a what? like a round two or three. Then. He has to eat oh, a ball. So, so it's not it's not innate then. I must be a round ball, three thing, I think, right? But yeah. Okay, well needs um, a trainer. It seems like round one Ridley's got it, but round three Charizard has it, from what I'm understanding. I think that's probably Maybe. likely, yes. Yeah. But round I don't two, know much about the Gigantamax it, right? stuff. Because it's just two drag two dragons in a in a forest and Ridley's bigger and stronger. I think it goes mm. to Ridley overall. That's what I'm getting. I think so. Yeah. Think so, and yeah. also round three means that Ridley's got the space pirates backing him up. So I don't even know if it's that clear cut. Um, I, guess, like, I guess I'm just I'm yeah, I mean it's, it's like, still a two hundred foot tall dragon with fire, right? Like you're still yeah, gonna but, be able to Sure, but like all the space pirates with him? I don't know. Yeah, they have ships and know. stuff. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm not going to allow Ridley to have a fleet or anything. What What is like the bigger case for Charizard if you put the two of them in an arena? Like, what What would be the case for him? I like, like him. Pokemon. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. <laughs> I like Pokemon. Is my favorite. He's a Poke band. I think I think Ridley is is a very big, very strong, very scary bad guy. Uh, I think it makes sense for him to win. Um, certainly, round one. Oh, I did. I think there are, the the Pokemon make like Charizard is just obviously their favorite, and they keep giving him these ridiculous abilities every time they I come mean, out. With Charizard's so. cool. He's awesome. Um, but I mean, what Ridley's type just is bigger... Ridley though? Like, is there a type advantage Charizard has? Is like Ridley weak to fire? Uh, do do people who are not in the Pokemon world fall into like categories that would be recognized in the Pokemon world? You know what I mean? Like, wh like if you put, I don't know, like if you put Aquaman, does he is he like a water type Pokemon? <laughs> if you put yeah, yeah, no, Pokemon Pikachu world? would fuck <laughs> man up. No. Absolutely. I suppose he would. Yes. Well, I I figured that if you did it, that uh, Ridley would be Dragon type. I'm not yeah. sure what else. He I don't would think have, though. there's a particular like weakness flying, to consider. Dragon flying type. The way yeah. I see it, from what yeah, everyone has said, perfect. is the Ridley's got it. Maybe Charizard has a chance in round three, but we don't even know that. I'm afraid. Mm. I think he's outclassed. Yeah. Next yeah, up, fuck off, Charizard. We have Pikachu versus <laughs> Pikachu. Cuphead. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Cuphead's super weak. He can he dies to a single oh. hit. But his innate That's ability true. is he That's he can hits. finger gun for real. <laughs> That's true. Finger. My he God. does always have a finger gun. How effective is that against Pikachu? Are Man. they I, are they real bullets? <laughs> well, how, how big yeah. is Cuphead? He's pretty small. Yeah. Uh, the I think boss is a pretty tanky, size, right? 
Like they feel like they would be the same size. Yeah. yeah, I feel like they're comparable size. Uh, Cuphead's Cuphead incredibly has... agile. Also, wait, it's not Cuphead one hit to kill him. Okay. It's not one hit to kill him. Super agile. It depends on your difficulty. He can right? jump really high. It depends on the difficulty. Yeah, that's true. And also, Cuphead canonically, you know, he never, we never find out, right? Like, if he, uh, if he actually got, you know, hit in in the game. So I'm not sure if he's that much of a glass cannon, really. Mm. Cuphead has like some because his ultra, you know, the abilities you get when you like when you like his super. That's pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. How many how many uh, gun types does he have though at base? Does he just have the regular, regular one, or does he have like the boomerang? Yeah, I think one it's just the regular one at the beginning of the game. Okay. Is it really just to down to whether or not Pikachu ones? can dodge be before firing out some lightning? I guess. Well, I figure that yeah, well, I figure the lightning would instantly kill Cuphead. It's, Probably, it, yeah. We we can see this like a Cuphead boss because Cuphead's offense is like constant. It's just can he live through whatever Pikachu does to try and kill him back? Mm -hmm. Can Pikachu survive a bullet from Cuphead or multiple ones? Hmm. Uh, well, um, because of the way Cuphead works, I am presuming eventually it will deal damage that is enough to, to incapacitate Pikachu. To answer a question for chat, I can say that we will not take into account Ash's Pikachu. That is not a fair thing. This is not. You cannot take that <laughs> yeah, into account we're just, whatsoever. Just Pikachu. Wait, what, 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 you what can't say Pikachu? it's a, it's a like, regular old Pikachu. It can't be Ash's Pikachu, or else it, it's an, instantly overpowered. An advantage Cuphead seems to have here is inevitability, insofar as he does not appear to have stamina or like any form of exhaustion. True. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, true. Pokemon that is like the fundamental thing for their battle, like nonsense. So, well. Yeah, I, I I think uh, a Pikachu would do some damage potentially, and if Cuphead gets hit, he dies. But Cuphead is very agile; he can jump, he's fast, he's got a gun, you know, and and that gun only gets more powerful as we go round to round. Um, I don't think Pikachu wins this one. <laughs> I don't think Pikachu think wins round one. Yeah, he's dodging a thunderbolt. Pikachu probably ends up winning round one i don't i guess i'm i'm curious like how well do you think pikachu would do against the bosses that cuphead has to fight i don't think it would i think he'd die i i think i think pikachu i, I don't know pikachu's like really like the move in you know in smash brothers right the recovery that's pretty crazy like that's yep. that's pretty good right. Pikachu I, has yeah. damage potential far in excess of Cuphead, so I, I want to say Pikachu might so. do quite well against some of the bosses. Yeah. Mm. It, it it just depends on like how much damage does Cuphead's bullets do to Pikachu. Like that's the fundamental question. Well, actually. I don't know if that is fundamental because that that essentially determines how long Cuphead has to survive before Well yeah. Yeah, which I don't know how much of a difference that makes. I mean, it's just a question of like how quickly could well, it might, Pikachu kill him. Honestly, compared to how quickly can you know? Like, can Cuphead we're, parry we're lightning like bolts? We're entertaining that Cuphead has the capacity to dodge any and all of Pikachu's attacks, but I don't even know that that's fair. Like he's this is a different yeah, creature from a different universe, you know? Like it could just be that it's, Pikachu's too fast and knocks him out. Well, yeah, like Cuphead I'm fully willing to dodge. Don't, dodging yeah. lightning, it's not. Yeah, that well, easy. I'm just assuming Cuphead is agile, so he has to yeah. survive for X amount of time while getting in damage. I guess, uh, here's a question. Is Pikachu's base stats, does that mean that there's a difference in the abilities, you know? So, like, Pikachu at base level, like, like what level kind one. of moves can he use versus... Well, the thing is, is that if it's Pikachu, we have to, we have to, like, be at a base level, right? He needs to have a base level of ability. What does he have at level Pichu, one? For a tackle and tail whip or something like that? Well, yeah, but that would be Pikachu, yeah. not Pikachu. Like, <clears throat> Pikachu would necessarily be a higher level than that. Yeah, it just depends so on like, what, what game. Or he'd have like Thunderbolt and stuff, right? From. Yeah. Yeah, just um, by virtue uh, of being a Pikachu. At that point, I I don't know. <laughs> I can't call it. I find it likely team. that Pikachu wins the first round. Okay, I think so. On flat terrain, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. That um, has the forest round two though. Hmm. Um, that feels better for Cuphead because yeah. of his agility. Mm -hmm. Does Cuphead yeah. get the plane? Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Does he start same. with the plane? I don't know. I don't know if it, he gets I, that. The way I would resolve this is he can be in the plane or not. You know, because mm. you can only ever be in one state or the other. You never go between them in a fight. True. Hmm. 
It's I think Pikachu wins round one. I think I think Pikachu has a very strong chance in round two. Um, I think so I too. Know. I think this is really close, yeah. honestly. Yeah, Same. and then round That's three. Better bullets now, right? Does he get the auto aim one? Hmm. If he has auto aim, that's going to be really good. That's going to fuck him. up Pikachu yep. quite a bit. And he would. I think he would have that. Yeah. Does Pikachu yeah. have oh. in round two and three, or just round three? I think Pikachu would have Swift. Like he'd be able to move really fast. I mean, Swift but... is the unavoidable attack, isn't it? Oh, oh, wait. I'm mixing. God yeah, it's damn. guaranteed it's to attack, but it doesn't like do Pokemon. a lot of damage. But still, mm, that would probably fuck up a lot Cuphead. Of damage. That would that be against him, would, wouldn't it? Cuphead right, that's the thing. He loses. Uh, if you just okay. hit him, he's, he dies, so... Oh, yeah. shit. Uh, all right. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, Cuphead. I think, I think yeah. that's it. <laughs> I don't yeah, that really did change the like... game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm happy to say I think Cuphead loses overall, but he, he can put up a fair fight. Yeah. Yep. Look at him go. Look at that power. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? He was a good sport about it. He's like, congratulations, Pikachu. You beat me. Like, oh. No, he's not. He's a He's like China broken on the floor. So sad. <laughs> okay. We've got an Animu again coming up. Ah, uh, fuck. No. <laughs> I don't know if it's a cool one, though. If it, you know, he's from one None Piece. None of them are cool, Mauler. That's true. Um, oh, I don't know what. I don't, I don't know shit about One Piece. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Anime guys. Lose. I only know the live action One Piece. It's Luffy versus Poe. Poe the bear. Oh, oh the panda. From yeah. Kung Fu panda. So Luffy oh, is. Yeah. Oh. I, I know that Luffy is really fucking stupid lately in One Piece. Oh, like, he's like yeah, a no, god Luffy's very character. powerful. Yeah, mm. I don't. I don't think Kung Fu Panda. Does, has a uh, does Luffy win the the finger hold? Does that that's that's like an insta kill, right? I don't know. Well, Luffy's like made of the, rubber and just doesn't die thing. to anything that isn't piercing <laughs> damage. Like that is well, true. Well, I mean, we could vote. We could let the chat vote. I mean, they seem pretty split. No, you can't just always movie. abdicate. I can't see the right. chat you're reading, Luffy but I'm is, seeing a lot of Luffy yeah. there. Yeah, no, I was kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, Luffy is very powerful. Poe is. So we're on final Poe... destination. Sorry, go on. Yeah, if we're in if we're in the final destination, even then, right, I, I can't think of any situation. I feel like uh, final destination, Luffy is like base near impossible to knock out because he can always gonna, stretch yep. and grab the that, platform. Yep. That's what I was about yep. to ask. Do we have the blast zones? <laughs> you know, well, so I was I was about to say I feel like that's the only time Poe's gonna be able to knock him out by blasting him away, and he can't stretch in time to reach the platform, so he just falls into the abyss. He can always stretch in time. <laughs> He's a bullshit anime character. He sure is. <laughs> well, oh my yeah. God. Do we make this? Mo I mean, this is the truth. The, the, the people are gonna be like, "How did he end up in this class?" It's like, from my knowledge of the TV show, that's that's why he's here. So. Mm. If we go with him in the season one of the live action show, that probably makes this make a little bit more sense instead of going this... with uh, his version in all of anime, which apparently is not only like he's at a god point right now, but also um, <clears throat> very different to his like first, you know, stories. I'm guessing so. Yeah, he's people are saying like, he's a god, so extra powers and stuff. Yeah, he's saying bad, more of bad. So... That's a continuity. I'm allowed to do that. So yes. if we just take him as he's just Stretch Armstrong, then essentially, essentially yeah, Armstrong. or Mister Fantastic, similar. Then um, Poe could could theoretically beat him. Sure. Again, do, do we have the blast zones, or do, are they not real? Is it just in the void in Final Destination? I assume you have to die by falling down forever. If if you're like a say, for example, you're a flight ready creature, you okay. can't be blasted out from Well, yeah, right. or would it be like at the end of Kung Fu Panda when uh, Poe deflects uh, <laughs> deflects so, dialogue into I, the sky and then he explodes. I, I, Game! <laughs> yeah, because without that, I don't think Luffy can lose in this uh, yeah. setup. He can always get back. Well, yeah, I think Luffy's yeah. winning all three rounds. I think we should mm. disqualify all anime characters. <laughs> they do become bullshit after a while. It's true. Well, hey, light didn't win. Playing shonens. Yeah, I probably give it to Luffy in too. two and three. I'm not sure I do in one. I feel like Poe's Wushi finger hold knocks him too far, too fast for him to recover. Yeah. Well, it doesn't knock him. It just disintegrates him, right? Well, so yeah, we don't really know what it does. Just if it doesn't disintegrate, light, right? 
does it then just through force push you away? I don't, I don't know exactly. What were you, I don't what know. Would you it, describe it? I <laughs> guess it's just. It seems like in the movie, it, it like it like disintegrates or just you know sends into like a different realm. Well, I'm I'm down with Luffy wins the next two, but loses the first. Well, I mean, I'm That's already seen. yeah. All right, fair enough. Well, um, yeah, Luffy makes it to the next round. Sorry, Poe. He's pretty chill, so he probably doesn't mind. He probably <laughs> thought that was awesome, you know? Yeah. Yeah, right? Did anyone see yeah, the fourth one? would love to get beaten up by Luffy. Like, on Earth? Did anyone see the fourth one? I have not seen it. I have no it's interest. Aquafina. No, I didn't see it. There was a fourth one, yeah. There oh, is a fourth fuck. one. It's out. I have not seen it yet. I've heard the cover song a lot of times. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's fair. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the stab battle. It's okay. Um, yeah, this is a matchup nobody expected, nobody wanted, but here it is: uh, mm. Hell Diver versus Joker. What's <laughs> 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 uh, the uh, just a Hell Diver? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 well, all right. Um, I'll dive you know what? Die really quick. Round one. Um, hmm. Well, I was Boy, gonna say, I kind of feel like a hell diver he, could win in the. It's, uh, it's just a regular guy. But, it's just a know, regular he's... guy that had, had like two I, minutes of training. Yeah, but like, I, hate, face. I hate comic characters for this because you're gonna say hell diver wins round one because that seems intuitive, and then someone's gonna go to some random comic run from fifty thousand <laughs> years ago that yep. in which Joker is like a peak martial artist with superhuman <laughs> reflexes, and it's like, yeah, all right, man. Joker at the end of Arkham Asylum. Mm. I think Joker might win just because he's a psychopath. But... <laughs> it's no. it's hard, right? Because like clearly the Hell Divers can hit hard because they can kill a bug with uh with with their melee. Sure, but they might have some like you know enhanced you know drugging or whatever like the, you know steroid bullshit. Yeah, yeah they can do on steroids. Like an orbital bombardment. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, right, round three, I think Helldivers wins. <laughs> oh, I know that's round three, but I'm just here saying. it is. Someone appealing to Joker, tanking punches from Batman. Batman's a guy, well, <laughs> dude. I also, it guy. depends on what yes. they're uh, appealing to exactly. Like, so there's video game logic where Batman can beat someone like you know to the an inch of their life several times over, and then they're like, "Okay, I'll tell you the information." Jeez. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's it's difficult to use yeah. that as law. Not that I'm saying you can never. I'm just saying it's it's. Of course, you'll find instances of that. Can the hell devil survive society like Joker again? Well, so this is democracy <laughs> versus society. So it's difficult to figure out. I've seen some people saying, "Oh, hell divers can revive." No, no, no. Those are different hell divers. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That is that's not different. That is not a new. That's the one hell diver who dies in three seconds. That is. His whole life. <laughs> yeah. They they are different hell divers every time you're calling in reinforcements. You are not the individual hell diver. You are your ship full of hell divers. <laughs> Joker doesn't Correct. have to log into his PS ad to fight first though. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, maybe we can knock out other one because round two, does he get his uh orbital shit, the hell diver when that's that is basic loadout? I think yeah, I that's just to select yeah. in that case, right? he's got round two. Yeah. Joker's got nothing around two. Yeah. Yeah. And run free, right? And, and three, three. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say, I hate to do this, but Joker at max strength across all IPs, he might be able to do something, right? There is probably that's... versions of Joker that are stupid enough that they win. <laughs> uh, Superman I mean... infused Joker that has like yeah, it's like, yeah, like that multiversal yeah. super Joker who like they probably know, is. Thanos is the, the Hell Diver has a mech and can call in like orbital bombardment. Oh, yeah, or, one Apparently orbital laser and it's Joker. over. I'm gonna Google this. God, now. I hate comics, dude. Shut up! <laughs> wow, <laughs> oh, you can't say that. Titan when... Joker. No, that that was my oh, joke about the end of oh, Arkham Titan, Asylum. Titan. Titan Joker is just uh, the Arkham Asylum one. That's fair. Yeah, it's when I he takes that, the that, bane that, that should be yeah, yeah. considered somewhat fair, especially because yeah, it's what he does to himself. <laughs> <laughs> monster. I thought Titan Joker would be like a, I don't know, like a skyscraper high <laughs> Joker. I think it was like, <laughs> what? No. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the strongest is probably like Arkham Asylum Joker, man. Um, at the end. Does, do any of his fancy dumb little gadgets do anything? Like, <laughs> I, no, I think Eagle One comes by and drops a 500 kilogram bomb, and that is the end of. Yeah, Joker. I thought just that you know he's in the mech, fires five rockets. Yeah, especially right. the old I, I just don't see any, any world it. where he survives. I don't think the 
the funny whatever the the flower thingy he wears sprays does anything to change that outcome. Dude, the bob is head toward him and he sprays <laughs> in it. Like, I'm gonna get yeah. you. Melts Dude, it and deactivates it. I, I just I just googled for strongest Joker thingy. What and you apparently there's an Emperor Joker. What does he oh, do? Shut Emperor up. Joker. Emperor Joker was a form the Joker took after tricking Mr. Big Zip to kill whatever into donating 99.99% of his reality powers to him. How do you do oh, that? How do you trick he someone into giving away 99.9% of, of reality? Of reality? As a oh. direct result, he became near omnipotent. Dude, <laughs> how much can you do with... with Joker, please? <laughs> how much can you do with one percent of reality power? <laughs> well, so I mean, we didn't allow oh, it for funny. for Luffy to have whatever his latest anime version of God Power is. I don't know yeah. how distant a Joker we're going to be getting into that he has re ninety nine percent of reality powers. I don't know if that's probably that's probably a bit too no, much. Fuck that! Like, <laughs> yeah, that's um, a bit I just want to just it. Just it doesn't. It doesn't feel like it captures the spirit of the Joker to me, like uh, of no, what we understand yeah, it to yeah. be in media. So, I think it's fair like, to say to the Hell Diver has this. Imagine the idea of. Yeah, yeah it yeah. seems. I mean, it seems like it. The Hell Unless Diver Joker was able to, I don't know, hide out and concoct some kind of crazy plan to lure like a Hell Diver down, trap him, and and kill can him. Can this we have revolver a... destroy a dropship? Because of the nature of Hell Divers, we have a very good idea of what kind of damage their ships can do to targets on the ground. Yeah, yeah, and it's pretty insane. That's a mm. lot of damage. That's a lot of nuts. Call in the auto. Oh, the, there you oh, go. The Hell in the general vicinity. Democracy wins. Yes. Democracy. Jay in chat just now. I just wrote a fan fiction where Hell Diver is God, so you have to count that as his full power now. <laughs> <laughs> Our next well, is, battle folks. we have Buffy uh, Summers versus Xena. Mm. Warrior Princess. Oh, do I need to go away until this is done? No, just what? try to avoid. You shouldn't need to say any. Like just Buffy's powers lightly. are pretty straightforward. Oh, She's a super strong, like super duper strong. Yeah, uh, pretty good senses. Yeah. She has semi got prescient. Like she can have visions of the future slash visions in general. Um, she's, she's pretty hard to beat. Trains but... all the time. I I'm pretty sure Buffy wins this right? Well, not having seen the show. Is that, I don't know enough about Xena. Xena. What's, yeah, what's what's Xena's what's Xena's just Xena? a strong warrior princess. Oh, is she not? Like, she's the, a regular the name person. of the show. Does she not have she's any like supernatural stuff? Princess. Oh, Xena's Xena's a regular person. I mean, kind of. She's a very good fighter. Oh yeah, the Buffy's gonna fuck her up. <laughs> if if Xena is, she's gonna remember at least. But yeah, it's been a while since. Does she really okay, have wait, 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 wait. Because Google says, oh, is she just strong? Okay. Google says Xena was the only mortal with the power to kill a god. She could always defeat gods before. She wasn't able to harm them. Sometimes she was able to hurt them. Blah blah blah. Xena was given the power by Archangel Michael. Like wait, wait, wait. Oh, she so does have powers. Or do, is that normal or is that weird? <laughs> like is that some distance? <laughs> is that a power that has any <laughs> utility against Buffy though? Um, I don't. If it's know. Very is it specific like, to kill gods, then no. But... I was going to say, does the power to kill kill gods mean you know an anti god gun, so to speak, mm -hmm. or does it mean the necessary yeah. force required to destroy a god? Well, from what I'm reading, the regular like uh, sort of law for Xena is she's just a very very impressive human. She's kind of like Cap, but not yeah. super soldier level, yeah. just intelligence Peak and human physical physical. Yeah, uh -huh. which is not going to be enough to take on Buffy, I don't think. Yeah, she's pretty yeah, much just an amazing fighter. Oh, she can do a first aid too. That's nice. Yeah, she's, she's knowledge in herbal <laughs> medicine. She can do a lot of things. Yep. Buffy's gonna. Buffy do is the, significantly the stronger Buffy than the vampires there. in that universe, and the vampires are pretty strong. Yeah, yeah. Another these, thing, these hero is, wikis are hilarious sometimes. Buffy could likely kill her in one punch, so she's got to be is the uh, even with like, like top tier abilities. It's like a whole list of powers and skills for Xena, and like all the way on the bottom under other skills, it just says killing gods. <laughs> okay, People when we when we say she's a regular person, we don't for like... we don't mean that she has no like really strong abilities. Like we recognize that Xena. People keep repeating warrior princess. Like we know. No, people um, will say that she could fight uh, she, she could fight Hercules, and that's you know you know something at least because Hercules is a demigod. Yeah, see, yeah, Hercules, you know, I wouldn't have had that question about, but I, and what I meant, I guess, by Xena being a regular person is that she doesn't have an, abil an ability to, as Mahler said, tank a punch from Buffy. Well, that's, that's I just, my, so does Xena have, like, innate superhuman abilities? Like, innate that work all the time against any enemy that she fights? 
I don't remember that she does, but yeah, it's been like twenty well, years. Well, by the way, <laughs> like, that's, what she, that's what she needs. People, yeah. well, and people are, like considering all of Xena's potential weaponry. It's like we haven't even gone into what Buffy has access to. There. There's We're no, there's no on, need right? to. Yeah, yeah, Buffy. We don't even want to get into Buffy's like abilities when it comes to magic. Um, we'll just let her. Like she, she's probably dominant. Don't worry, guys. Buffy will be beaten soon enough. There's plenty of. Uh, I love the appeal up. to the title Warrior Princess as if that like means <laughs> anything. Know. Like Light, Light called himself the god of the new world. Should we go and like reevaluate him a bit? <laughs> but guys. Next fight. Ryu versus Bane. <laughs> oh wait, so that's I mean, just moving on then, so Buffy wins. Oh yeah. Well I this if she is a normal so. person, but she's very well trained, Buffy's gonna squash her. Yeah. Oh, uh oh, alright, well. <laughs> I think, I don't, again, Bane's Ryu a fucking comic book character, but Ryu, I, yeah, so, Ryu, yeah, Ryu is Ryu's really Ryu's pretty damn powerful, though. Yeah. But, again, Bane's a comic book character, so. Well, he's he's got <sighs> the venom and he's strong, but, like, Ryu's also strong and he can shoot Hadouken, so he's I feel like strong, Ryu wins. much more trained and is magic. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I think Ryu's got this. Yeah, um, I think so. Yeah. And I think he's got round two as well. So, like, it's... I don't know, it seems like it. I don't know how he could lose. Bane yeah. is definitely stronger, but, yeah, he doesn't have any... Range I don't know, is he? Is he that much Rear stronger? Is, like, pretty strong, I, right? I, I think he's stronger, but... Uh... Okay. I mean, I could be wrong. He'd probably be doing I'm Zangief wrong, but... damage. I figure that in the if they spawn out in the world, then Bane would be, like, really, really competitive. Because of like all the resources yeah. he could accrue, his ability mm -hmm. to yeah, because Ryu's just a guy. He doesn't really interact in that sort of way with the world, so he doesn't get any advantages from that sort of uh, from time. Game. No, yeah. there's also a lot of different iterations of Bane as well. Like he varies a lot. Yeah, I was going to say, are we going with like the movie version where you can just punch his mask and it turns out it's super effective? Uh, <laughs> maybe I think not. We're well. thinking of Chongo Bane, not yeah. not uh, not that one. I mean, well, from what I've like seen, Ryu's got it. Ryu's got it yeah. Um, maybe mm -hmm. there's something we don't know that Bane would be able to make use of. I know people have a lot of respect for Bane's um, intelligence in his like original formats. That's why I think he takes round th uh, round three. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Well, fair enough. A fight well fought, but he lost nonetheless. Poor Bane. Alrighty, which leads us next to uh, <laughs> get into some wackier ones now. Um, but you can see how they end up here because of <laughs> complications. But we have Leonardo versus Doc Brown. <laughs> hmm. Uh, well, number one's pretty easy. Yeah, number one's pretty obvious, but this is yeah. getting complicated <laughs> with two and three because I feel like Doc gets the DeLorean with round two. Doesn't have probably, enough, yeah. uh, but he d probably wouldn't have enough road to get it to the speed yeah, he needs to travel. In oh, in the forest, yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. How's he going to get to 88 yeah. miles per hour in the forest before Leonardo <laughs> comes and shoves <laughs> his head off? Leo yeah, wins round one. And two, yeah, I think, I think Leo one. wins because of that, yeah. 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 Poor dog. <laughs> the terrain, the terrain is like the duck. Leo. The duck uh, clearly terrain. wins round three. Dude. What if there is a, just a lucky enough okay, to find well, a yeah. clearing, he's got to fly though? out of the forest. I don't know if he's going to be able to do that without seriously damaging the car. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. He, he wanted to be able to get the speed. Yeah. If he, well, Especially everyone, that everyone shot feels the, 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 the flying the is really going to save him. It could, right? In theory. I, I, in the forest, yeah, I feel like fly, in the forest man. causes him a lot of trouble. If he can, like, you know, go straight up with the car, then maybe. If he can... If he can levitate out of like a clear area and, and yeah. get out fast enough before Leonardo gets up there and, and kills him. So then, asks, why doesn't he get the train? And it's like, I don't think the train's gonna help him in the, the forest. Train is not helping. <laughs> <laughs> it is not but, yeah, you're not the, helping the regular, out, man. The regular car only has like wheels, it doesn't have the hovering ability and shit. Like that's the thing. Yeah, wheel. are we counting the flying one or just regular? That's that's the second and the third movie has that in, right? Yeah. That's not the first. I don't think that's unfair. So I don't think we I should just... count that in round two. Well, but wait, we, ne we haven't made that rule necessarily for, like, you know, Sarah Connor wasn't limited to her first movies. 
um, stuff. That's what I'm too. wondering is all. Yeah. Would we would we let him have the flying one? I don't see why he couldn't have it. That's but... true. The flying car is in the first film, right? The end does of the, the one, right? does the oh. flying DeLorean yeah, get out yeah. of the forest? Right, right. That's where. It is. Well, that that's what question. I wonder. How it get out? I mean, hey, it's fixed wings, so it's fast it draws... on speeder bikes. Like Return of the Jedi, you can get pretty fast through a forest if your reaction speed is good enough. I don't know what the turning circle in a flying DeLorean is like, but like it's theoretically possible. It's possible, mm. uh, but I mean, it's it would be more difficult just because it's a wider vehicle as well. Well, why are I mean, people like above blown country. away by the notion that his standard loadout is a time machine? It's like he's Doc Brown. That's like his whole thing in the yeah, that's, trilogy. That's that's literally, just what he does. I don't. The whole point is that you're fight, pitting them against each other based on what they can do, like based on what they do. Do I've never heard of this yeah. sort of discussion before. They've never heard of it. Like, what would be the point of having Doc Brown but no tech, like the the, the, the level of the time? An machine. old he's man. Got a, he's got a. I mean, would you say well, Leonardo? He's a, he's a mutant, so he should just be a regular turtle. No, no, <laughs> it, it, it would be way more interesting. Just just three straight rounds of an old man versus a ninja turtle. Yeah. That would be quite good, actually. Who do you think would win that one? I think the turtle I mean, might he... just about do it. Yeah, he could he escape, it out. Because I think we, we've all agreed the... that if he gets the time travel off, he's won. Because he'll go back and just step on Leonardo, I guess. <laughs> like, <laughs> or, <laughs> or get rid of the ooze or whatever. Well, he has infinite time, right? Like, yeah, yeah. he can't oh, lose man. once he goes back in time once. Which That's, means okay. Uh, so, do we believe that he can get out of the forest and go eighty-eight miles per hour? I'm willing to believe he'll it'll Leonardo take some hits from like you know branches and stuff, but I, I think he's getting out. Oh, all right. Well, if sure. if he can go straight up, oh. then he would be able to get out. It is is the forest? Yeah, I think it can go straight up. I think I think it's a VTOL, so yeah. I think he can. Get oh, out of there. Then, okay. Then yeah, then he should then probably, probably be fine. Mm. Oh wow, yeah, Doc Brown. Also, wins. we've not come across yeah. it yet, but characters who can actually open a portal to another dimension themselves uh, in the woods can get out of the woods. Yes, uh, mm. as you as will become very apparent, I imagine with uh, the heavyweights are going to have fun character. with that. It's going to be <laughs> the It's going to be really hard to beat Doc, though, considering this. No, yeah, it's true. He's going to be a. He's going to be tough. To I defeat. think there's a lot of people that can stop also, him from reaching a certain yes. speed in a car. Yeah. yeah, there's a couple of people. It's kind of like Medusa. You need the right counter at the right time. Yeah. Like a I Quicksilver mean, I mean, could Santa's probably end up be being in middleweights. He'd probably be able to get him. Just as an example, yeah. Quicksilver's not in this, but if he were, he'd probably be able to beat him on round two. Mm -hmm. Um, like I said, Santa. Santa's probably going to beat him. Oh yeah, <laughs> Santa's got a good shot there actually. <laughs> But it looks like are we are we we've uh, we've decided Doc's got the edge on round two. I guess so. Yeah. Seems like it. Yes. <clears throat> Look at him go. Well, the next round. Oh, it's a classic matchup. One that's been in discussions from nerds for a, such a long time. We have oh, Robocop <laughs> versus oh. the T eight hundred. Oh my. Oh. Big. What do you got? Without the plot armor, the T eight hundred becomes a lot more powerful against RoboCop. Yeah, hey, yeah, T eight hundred's winning round one. I hate to say it because I love RoboCop. Uh, I don't know. Is it that clay cut? I, I think I think so. All, really all he has to do is go for his face, right? It's, yeah, but like whoever pushes the other off first. Defending himself. I, think I don't think either of them are going to be very push. easy to push off, but I, I yeah, think I that I think the Murphy, T800 is just much more agile and more mobile. And he's, he's not made of anything that you can kill, really. Yeah, I'm not sure yeah, Robocop's stronger of the two. Weapon, yeah, because like this is this is interesting. Like the base weaponry that comes in the sense of like fists punching. This is close, um, and it is a, ma a matter. Of, well, could the T800 knock off? Like, you could fuck up. Um, Robocop's face, kind of right. Yeah, Just that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Robocop has a weak point. Like... Yeah, and if he hits yeah. him in the head, right, then we've seen that Robocop will occasionally fall into these weird sort of delusions and hallucinations. So, like, it's entirely possible to smack him hard enough that he goes into, you know, not necessarily unconsciousness, but he's certainly not present anymore. Yeah. I would argue that that Robocop feels like he hits harder like he's physically stronger than a t800 but a t800 is more agile 
uh, can certainly move faster, can 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 do all sorts of things uh, with range of motion that RoboCop cannot. And is a bit more durable, right? And is more durable in, in terms of, like, doesn't have a giant weak spot <laughs> as a head. <laughs> yeah, so you could just punch him in the head and then knock him over in the first round. Well, yeah, because yeah. uh, I guess a uh, 70s show guy, he, uh, he managed to stab Robocop, like, just directly, which feels like with the T-800. Mm. Like, well, but then again, the T-1000 stabbed the T-800, and that basically killed him. So he got him in his power, power mm. cell, right? That's what Robocop would yeah, actually do. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, but he can't, because he, he doesn't have any weapons. Robocop right, so it's just not in no one punching and pushing. I uh, think that because Alex Murphy is so incredibly non-agile, can barely move, can barely turn, has no range of motion, and is uh, you know weak in so many different ways, that the T-800 can push him around and knock him off. Or at least knock him over, because he's not getting over. If he gets knocked onto his bag, he's done. Mm-hmm. I did look it up. I mean, the, the Robocop has a substantial advantage in weight. He weighs right, half he's a much ton heavier. versus like the Terminator's T-800. I think it's like 0.2 tons, I think it was. So like, one of them is going to be mm. much harder to push around yeah. and throw but around. But if, if he can stun him, then he could probably just push him over. Like in the first round, he just push yeah. him off the edge. Yeah, I think the punch to the head pretty much settles it. Yeah. All right. And then... Round two, they would have Robocop's incredibly powerful gun versus yeah. what? What mm. would be the, the T, you know, the round two Terminator? Lever action mm. shotgun. This is complicated because arguably the base stats for Robocop have to include his gun, while Terminator not so much. Because, uh, you know, yeah, I don't think he really has. A gun and he that shows comes up with naked. him. Yeah, he grabs <laughs> other people's guns all the time. He doesn't have one of his own, you know. He'll always get his hands on a gun eventually. I'm not sure if I. I this is like a 50 50 for me. I don't know if uh, if he should get a gun as part of standard loadout, the, the T800. I'd be tempted to say yes, though, right? Because, like, again, going back to the Sarah Connor example, I mean, she doesn't spawn into the world with a gun, but she always gets her hands on guns. That's. F- yeah. so I think that's fair. By the same standard. Yeah. 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 What okay, so does he have a shotgun then? <laughs> That's like the iconic Terminator weapon, right? Is a shotgun. Well, but small caliber weapons, even shotguns, aren't really going to do a whole lot to Robocop. You need like you a big get him in his, rifle in his mouth, I guess. Right? Like legit to fuck him up somewhat. Even yeah. even when he gets shot in the head, and it happens sometimes, it's not a, a kill shot against Robocop. Yeah, the T eight hundred has like targeting systems and that, and that as well. So if he can identify that, that is a weak point. That would be a big factor, but mm, I think Robocop still would win round two. Yeah, I'm voting Robocop for round two as well. I also like different yeah, I mean, bullets and, and the, I've got, the gun I've, I've, that can, you can use. Funny, I've seen both of the films, the, the significant films that would regard this, and I'm really not sure what would happen. <laughs> I just, yeah. Yeah. It feels like that situation where the, the person making the film at the time gets to decide arbitrarily, right? It's like one of them yeah. punches the other and then something think, happens. Either one could definitely win, but I think... Uh... Robocop wins more times than the T-800 does. Or if he's got a human brain, too. I think he'd be more creative in the forest. Well, and we both know that they, like, the targeting computer for Robocop is insane. He yeah, is able to really shoot good. things at an insane distance with his gun very quickly. They're equal to both of them, right? I would imagine, because the T-800 has Well, and they've both well. been respectively it- torn apart in their films by annoying yeah. devices created by people to right, try to so this- up. Yeah. If if he has the gun now, Robocop that is, does he also have all the different modes or are we keeping that for round three? Because mm, there's like the different exploding. I'm not sure uh, um, shells and Robocop's stuff, gonna have a right? chance in round three because I don't know if we're letting the T eight hundred have access to the Skynet to shit. Skynet. Which is, well you could have like a hunter killer or the plasma weapons and stuff, which Robocop cannot withstand. Also at that point, I mean Robocop is a machine, so as soon as he, you know, ever plugs in for power, he's taken over, right? Yeah. Like, as soon as Skynet oh, yeah. is involved. <laughs> um, I'd love for round three to happen. Skynet has to take over Earth. <laughs> eh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, I mean... I, I think, I think uh, the 800 wins round three. But, yeah. It's... And did we... What did we agree on round one? Was it... 
the T eight hundred or was it? Sort of I think the T eight hundred wins round one. Yeah, I think Robocop yeah. wins round two. And I think I think that there's a very strong chance that Robocop could win in round one, but it's one of these things where it's like it's a chance. He'd have to oh, yeah. get lucky. And and we're trying not to do that. It's like what percentage of matches would he win? You know, yeah. Well, did, we, did we establish a way that in round one the T eight hundred beats like the weight disadvantage? That seems oh, yeah. stun, stun he hits him in the head, yeah. yeah. Right. It just attacks the face. This is also complicated because of the fact that we're snatching them from particular eras with no real reason for it. Like, yeah. should the T the T eight hundred not be snatched from his actual environment, which is in the future, and at that point, Robocop's not going to stand a chance because he'll have is it right because he has a laser gun. The T eight hundred yeah. just successfully attacks Robocop's head, and it just works. Well, so that's another well, thing. I don't, I don't know that that's how that works. Hit his head. That's... Robocop can defend himself, like no, for sure, yeah. It's just and like he's, and he's much bigger and heavier. Like, it's just yeah, that he has a weak point, and the T eight hundred really doesn't. But he can, like, if he's got that much of a weight differential, Robocop could probably very easily throw the T eight hundred. That's what I'm well, thinking. Oh, easily is a stretch, but <laughs> I mean, Robocop's pretty strong. Man. It was a, the Terminator wouldn't be allowed sure. weapons because he has to travel to Robocop's time. Since fucking when was that decided that the Terminator has to be dragged <laughs> to Robocop's timeline? <laughs> It's just way easier to like knock someone over who's stunned rather than someone who's fighting back, you know. So out out of the like say a hundred matches, I think uh, the T eight hundred would win more than uh, Robocop would. Yeah, and I'm... it's mostly mobility, right? Like Robocop just doesn't have a, a well, large, he's them slow. The T eight hundred's fast. Um, Robocop's slow. He can't really move that well. He's not particularly stable. Um, he doesn't have a, a huge range of motion. You know, people can get around him. So I, I think that having the T-800 on the final destination platform, he could get around him and just start smacking him in the head. And that would be enough to be able to disorient Alex Murphy and then push him off the edge. He punches really fucking hard as well. So it's... <laughs> I find this one very tough. Yeah. Yes. I, I um, mean, vote for the T. How does it anyway. happen in Robocop 2 that Robocop gets, like, disabled? I can't remember. They remember that? In He's Robocop like, 2? In Robocop 2, when they kind of program him to be politically correct? Not that. They, um, <laughs> there's those people who hit him with, like, something electric and it, like, disables him. Remember that? Oh. They, like, uh, saw him apart then as well. Yeah, yeah. They, they start pulling him to pieces and then they return him to the police station. Yeah. Man, what did they do? I think they just shock him, right? Oh, saying, magnets! They hit him with a magnet. That was—that's what it was. They were. <laughs> I don't really watch Jackhammer and magnets. You can be easily yeah, electrocuted. Big... That's probably gonna—if he gets past this round, that's gonna get him eventually, probably. Mm -hmm. Oh, Pikachu! Now I want Bugs Bunny back in it because I can just imagine Bugs Bunny just pulling out a giant magnet and just sticking <laughs> into a tree. <laughs> Even Robocop's trying to Get run him. the other direction, he's getting dragged back, like, no. that's, that's the thing with Bugs, is his outs aren't, like, balanced or consistent, but they're always really funny to think about. Well no. then, um... I... I'm convinced that it's the T-800 at this point, I think. I think it's really, really yeah. tough. I'm almost stuck on the, um, the nature of where we're dragging the T-800 from. It feels like Robocop's getting his prime, but T-800 mm -hmm. isn't. If the robot, if T eight hundred got the pulse rifle in round two, um, he probably wins. I think that doesn't. Because hmm. you know, whenever you see the T eight hundred models in yeah. like the future flashes, they usually have their guns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that the version we're going with though? Also, well, so that's what I'm saying. Is I don't. Yeah. Okay. I, I, if... Maybe we can put it this way to decide: Is it the T eight hundred or a T eight hundred? As in the T eight hundred that yeah. we see in the film, or any old one? With other versions of this, it's just a one. Well, we did uh, a Pikachu, right? Other... Yeah, exactly. Not so that, that necessarily should, decides. You probably it. should have the pulse rifle then. In that case, yeah, it feels like it should just be a T eight hundred off the presses in the future war. Yeah. What the hell happened to the timer? In I don't know. Way. I found this one. Right? This Wait, is like one of the most important does, cultural does battles ever. Does the T-800 <laughs> have the pulse rifle in the forest, though? 
That's I think what that's what the question was. Determining? Yeah. Yeah. I think oh, literally, okay. literally, literally, literally standard standard loadout. Loadout. Can get it. It, it, it would be his standard loadout. It sounds like we're concluding that he should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In which case he wins for sure. All right. I Is he that, getting to the forest right. through one of the Terminator portals? Because then he's pretty much just got to be naked, right? I mean, do you, I don't, do you no, get everyone is there? getting blo yeah. blopped in. Like, he's not going to get a the special hand of God just puts you there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. That wouldn't be fair. At that yeah, point, okay, Robocop fine, shouldn't right. be allowed shit, right? In fact, wait, Robocop what? wouldn't be allowed... How does that work? You... Uh, the, that, no, rule, that rule from Terminator hasn't even made sense anyway. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> like the, the the whole it has to be no, encased in flesh. It's not the Terminator portals. It's just they just get yeah. They just they just by God. they get spawned. Yeah, you guys are not yeah. ready for this one. <laughs> when I saw this this being a thing, I was like, no fucking way. This matchup. But you know what? I will say a lot. This is on a lot of people's minds. I think when they come to to experience these two pieces of media, you often think to yourself like, what would happen if these two got into a fight? So, I guess it gets decided today. Let's find out. We have Jafar mm -hmm. versus the Orphan of Kos. <laughs> <laughs> There's no chance Jafar is winning any of these. What do you mean? He turns into a genie at one point. Yeah, Jafar could be OP in round three. <laughs> Yeah, it's oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wins oh, the other two, though. Nah, he loses for sure. I foresee <laughs> lots of screaming in Jafar's future. <laughs> Let's see if Jaf uh, if Jafar can hold out for nine hours. Yeah. So, well, round one is going to, to the orphan. This. We can all agree on that. Uh, I, yes. think, I think yes. so. And round two as well, I would think. I feel like round two as well. Like even even if we're saying not gonna do in round two. He would have yeah. his staff. He'd be able to do yeah. like has, the base level like, magic. He has mild sorcery. <laughs> yeah. But is he's he doing any? Is he doing anything? He's capable of. He's able to like control minds. Right with his his stake staff, can he yeah. control the mind of a newborn higher being? <laughs> Probably, Maybe. Probably. And his staff do twenty thousand damage in one go. Like yeah, even the Sultan so. doesn't 20, agree with him. You know, like he can turn the staff into a snake as well, though, right? Or yeah, just looking at Jafar, Ooh, he there's... can throw a snake at him. <laughs> looking at Jafar right now, though, there's nothing about his loadout that would make me comfortable taking that up against Koss if I was yeah. playing Bloodborne. It's, it's round three where he would be like an all, all powerful genie, right? That's yeah, that's when he would win. But the, the other two rounds, he loses, I think, pretty harshly, too. Yeah, I think, <laughs> yeah. I think has it. Yep, yeah. But obviously, like I said, everyone has been waiting to know the answer to that. Yeah. I'm glad oh, we yeah. finally hashed that <laughs> yeah, out. Finally, we kept me up at night. Too. It was so complicated, too. Give so many layers. <laughs> like onions. And like, and that and that stuff. fight's so funny. Yes, the, the being beats him to death until he turns into a genie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that Fringy is back because we're dealing with two green boys for the next one. Oh, boy. Act oh, one. No. one of these better. Be I think I know who one of them is. We have <laughs> another obvious sort of one that it's time we deal with it. Like we've solved all the other ones, so now it's time to solve this. We have the Hulk versus Mr. Frog. <laughs> yes, <No. laughs> Mr. Frog <laughs> is really fast. He's and really fast. Really strong. He's really sure. fast and he's really strong. He's also <laughs> racist. He's also racist, <laughs> and he's very. He's very unpredictable. Yeah. He's very... Do you think There's he can, like, power because... level so high? Do you think Frog he can, like, every... speed blitz Hulk? I, he's he's mine. He's super so fast. fast. It's, uh, he's he's kind of yeah. Sonic levels. Hulk starts he, as Hulk, bit. right? He doesn't start as Banner? No, he's Frog just Hulk. Uh, yeah. He's Hulk, yeah. Okay. I think. Um, the thing is, as well, is um, Mr. Frog is really unpredictable. You never <laughs> exactly know what he's going to do. Mm -hmm. Part of what makes <laughs> I've seen from the trailer also he has access to those green goblin grenade things as well. You know? yeah, that's the, the, the pumpkin thing. bombs. I don't think the Hulk can deal with pumpkin paper. bombs. I'm not sure. <laughs> well, yeah. Hulk's a comic book character, you know. Well, so I guess that's the thing. Mr. Frog versus um Hulk on Final Destination. Who do you think? Who do we think? I'm leaning towards Mr. Frog myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even joking. For, yeah, for anyone who hasn't so seen fast. Smiling oh. Friends, you don't understand the power we're dealing with. Yeah, I've not yeah. seen all of it. I've not seen he the part where he's apparently a fucking god. To, to, to bear he in can... mind, he's 
strong enough that he cut off a lady's hand with like a check. Oh, I wasn't about to say that. Damn it. I mean, <laughs> I think the Hulk <laughs> could do that as well. The Hulk could probably do that. The the thing is, Mr. Frog is so fucking fast, and he's animated yeah. so weirdly. I think, <laughs> I think like round, you know, the bell starts, and Mr. Frog is on top of Hulk immediately, and yeah. And has thrown him off the edge. Off also, the edge. Mr. Yeah. Frog able to recover. couldn't kill a TMZ reporter. That was because he was stopped. Like, they, they didn't let him. You wanted to finish <laughs> that job. You saw the reporter. He looked terrified. He, mm -hmm. Mr. Frog I mean, was you've seen there. what he could do. He, he gobbled down the producer like nothing. Yeah. yeah. I guess the Hulk is pretty big. So it's, it's going to be a tough gobble. He is really big. But he, all he needs to do is grab him and throw him off, which I think he could do. Yeah. <laughs> All he needs to do is throw off I know the that Hulk. you guys yeah. weren't familiar with this. I will say the Hulk's pretty strong. He's the he's got some strength, you know. Really? Yeah. I always thought his thing was speed. He's just pretty fast. <laughs> he's, he's not Mr. Frog fast, but he's pretty fast. That was Mr. Frog's uh, strongest Bear form. In mind. Cold, cold turkey, Mr. Frog. Is that his strongest form? <laughs> I was going to say, strongest form is now he's the president of the United States, so he has yeah. access to the entire oh, no. capacity of America. That's and I feel like thing. Mr. Frog beats him now because he's got nuclear weapons. For fuck's sake. So Mr. Frog <laughs> wins round three. To, to bat for Hulk briefly, <laughs> from what I understand of the Hulk, he has some pretty absurd durability. <laughs> of course. Like, isn't he like and, unkillable? Well, yeah, does, um, some radiation really doesn't know, really I was going to say, I know this sounds silly, either. but do nukes actually work on Hulk? Or does he just get blown I, really far away? I, I've heard, I don't know if, whatever, I don't know if this <laughs> is true or not, but from, he, like, if he's angry, he can't die. Like, <laughs> that's the kind pretty of vibe much. I've got. Uh, we need an ass here for this, really. <laughs> well, it, just... we need an expert on Hulk and Mr. Frog. <laughs> well, you're the experts <laughs> on Mr. Frog. <laughs> he is uh, surprisingly powerful. That's what we can say about him. It's yeah. Just that, um... mm -hmm. yeah. It sounds but... like kind of a Bugs Bunny yeah, level just... of unpredictability just... here. <laughs> but he I has. Just, I just he Googled... operates within more strict do... confines. Sorry, go on. I just Googled, do nukes work on the Hulk? And this is what came up. While the Hulk was easily able to survive the barrage of nuclear weapons, the noise of the explosions and cries of dying people eventually came to bother him. Dude. <laughs> I, yeah. Dude. They I came think, to bother I think the him. Hulk wins. <laughs> Mr. Frog wouldn't be bothered by that. That is such a funny thing. Eventually scene. began to bother. That's true. It wouldn't bother Mr. Frog. <laughs> but what we're saying is that the Hulk is more psychologically vulnerable than Mr. Frog, and that's his <laughs> well, yeah. You can tell from the, these images that the Hulk is clearly disturbed. <laughs> Mr. Frog's fine. Look at him; he's happy. <laughs> well, uh, um, do we want to put it to a vote for this cast? See where uh, everyone stands. Yeah. Sure. All right, put him in. What, what uh, my vote's for Mr. Frog. <laughs> I'm I'm going with the Hulk. Okay. Yeah, the Hulk. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Mr. Frog. I'm I think I've got to abstain. I've got to abstain because I don't understand Mr. Frog's. I don't power understand right. Mr. Frog. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I feel like voting against him is a mistake, and I don't know well, why. That's because you still haven't watched Smiling Friends, even though we've hey, I, tried I've, to force you to do so. I've I've watched some of it. Yeah, I, I don't I've know how you watch some, some of it. It's like sixty minutes of episodes. <laughs> the AI. Like just what the is name this of stupid like sanity? This AI I know, right? thing. Right. Like, every time I see it, it's a meme. It says people are debating it's who would so win in a fight between Mr. Frog and the Hulk. Some people think that Mr. Frog would win because he's a powerful wizard, <laughs> while others think that the Hulk would win because he is stronger. <laughs> <laughs> he's Wait, a how powerful you, how did, wizard. How do you get this one? To... <laughs> Where did you get that chat summary from? How does it even work? Uh, I don't know how the system works. A friend just sent me that. They're watching the stream. Yeah. Like, oh. I, I, I also don't know how to see them. They're very funny. Though. It's just good that yeah, it says quality so may vary. Um, all right, well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You think? So they had two votes each uh, I feel and like... Mark abstained. So what else we got? I feel like I have to vote for the Hulk because he's a comic book character and they're silly. Um, I think... Mr. Frog is not silly? Mr. Frog is not silly? <laughs> <laughs> I, They're silly in a whole new way, you know. I, fe I feel way, yeah. like a traitor, but I will say, Mr. Frog is hyper, hyper powerful in many directions. But I do think the Hulk has it overall. <laughs> Mr. Frog is is just <laughs> so amazing, but the Hulk is the Hulk. It's this is. I'm not convinced that Mr. Frog would live if he tried to eat the Hulk. Um, and I feel like <laughs> if he tried to punch him and kick him and stuff, like we're dealing with an entity that 
between them. Like, I, I don't feel like I've seen enough content from Mr. Frog that results in, like, if, if the Hulk punches the right person, they go off into orbit, you know what I mean? Like, Mr. Frog, <laughs> powerful, but I gotta give it to uh, the Hulk, I'm afraid. I would do it just to play safe, because I don't want to get to the end of this weight category, and for us to realize in the final round that Mr. Frog is just unbeatable, and he's won the game. <laughs> we got to get him out before he takes him. So over. Just yeah. in case, in the name of caution, I would vote for the Hulk. Yeah, like, if the Hulk's not going to beat him, who is? Santa, I guess. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Always possible. <laughs> this is before Mr. Frog starts, like, within the images Mauler has up, spontaneously running over to the other one and eating his opponent. Oh, well, this is the thing. <laughs> Smiling Friends episodes are still coming out, so who knows what he'll do with the next one. He fucking could eat the planet yeah. and be like, oh, well, oh, he's that might change things. <laughs> So, uh, we've got another classic ahead of us. One that, when these oh. two are revealed in fiction, everybody's been making videos about pitting them against each other. I'm actually curious what you guys will think, but I, I, I personally feel it's a clear winner. We have The Rancor versus Man Bear Pig. <laughs> <laughs> He's half man, half bear, and half pig. Yeah. <laughs> man Bear Pig is really bigger. strong. He is. Man Bear Pig is very lost. strong. Isn't Man Bear Pig isn't Man Bear Pig one of the special bosses in one of the games? Yeah, and it's fast yeah, and, and powerful. It's very, very tough. And to intelligent. Be. Oh yeah. Yeah, the thing is, it, I don't know. I think I think Man Bear Pig being fast is what's making me think that he could take on the Rancor. Would be an even fight, I think. The Rancor is way bigger. Man Bear Pig beats yeah. Satan. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, Man Bear Pig beat Satan. There was the yeah. the one where they powered yeah. the Incredible Hulk, and he beat Satan. He killed him. Hmm. Man, I, I feel like he's that. uh he's gonna mess up the rancor. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Man if Man it beats Satan, Satan, then the rancor has no chance. Yeah, I think yeah. I think Man Bear Pig wins. The thing about the rancor sure. as well is he's so slow. If we're going from Return of the Jedi. Yeah. 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 They just misunderstood. Bear... Leave him alone. Man Bear Pig is fast and smart. And strong, and, and strong, and a man, and like, and, 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 and a pair, and a pig, and, a hot, <laughs> and <laughs> <bad>. super cereal. <laughs> yeah. Someone said, "Well, yeah, Cuphead didn't yeah, say that you said Pikachu, Pikachu was strong." <laughs> you know what? You got us on that one. <laughs> All right. Well, it seems like it's clear. It. Sometimes you just don't need as much discussion. Man, bear pig will be in round two. He'll return. In the We're next in round two, God, I don't think I'm going to make it. This is taking forever. <laughs> I know, and to think it what only gets more interesting because the heavyweight fights. That's where chat's really going to get spicy. That's oh right, boy, big mad. <laughs> All of the big man. Well, got another classic ones coming up straight away, delivered right to you from Meme Apocalypse or, or wherever these characters all come from. But it is Hercules Meme versus Mister Incredible. Ooh. Hmm. That's an interesting one, I think. Hmm. They're both really yeah, strong. Like, They're both really strong, yeah. The coin toss for round one. one. Them for each of their strengths. This is going to be tough. Well, what Hercules? <laughs> Hercules like the, I, the myth or the Disney movie guy? Um, It's hard to say, right? Like, I think... What 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 are the primary what like what what do you think of when you think Hercules? Do you think strong guy or do you think strong guy with extra stuff? Kevin Sorbo, demigod. <laughs> He's a <like> demigod. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin Sorbo. Yeah. <laughs> as much as I I understand what you mean when you say have demigod in terms oh, yeah. of like he's he's more than man, but like I mean in powers and abilities because Mister Incredible's not a demigod, but fuck me, he could probably punch one. He could. Yeah. 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 They might be like somewhat equal. In he was. Hercules was instrumental in fighting off and defeat giants, so mm. yeah. that's pretty Mr. good. Mr. Incredible him. beat the Omni Droid. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Right, like they, they're that's very, very similar. Yeah, I'm trying. To... I think maybe we would do better not thinking about round one right away because I think they're pretty evenly matched. Yeah, that's probably correct. What happens so if we're going? Hysterically? If we Hercules go to round is known two, to be really stupid as well. Like that's a Hercules' big Achilles heel is that well, oh, that was kind of a pun. Is yeah. that he is really dumb. Like he, the, the sun was too hot, so he threatened to shoot it. Like he's that level of dumb. We've all been ah. there. So, <laughs> Mister <laughs> Incredible isn't exactly the brightest. I think it would be fair to say he's pretty smart. He's, he's like, like a normal guy, right? Sure. He beat the Omni Droid by getting him to like destroy his own core. That's pretty clever. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, uh, they, 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 they defeated the, uh, 
the second Omni Droid by getting the claws attached and then aiming it at him and then and then shooting it through. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah, he's got a pretty um, substantial intelligence advantage. Yeah, the thing I'm thinking about is we saw him in the forest. He beat the Omni Droid. <laughs> I mean, he got out of the forest to do it, but still, he was mm -hmm. doing pretty well. He ran pretty fast. Hmm. You know, this one's close. And what does round three even look like? I don't know. What do they each get access to in round three? Well, round three, yeah. What what is what is Hercules at round three? Uh, Hercules is in this like full god form, I guess. Yeah, that's that's the thing. So surely, like round three, Hercules absolutely wins. I think so. But yeah. At that but point, I, I think he loses the other two, or at least the second one. I don't know the first one. Uh, okay, but at at that point, does not Mister Incredible get the other superheroes that are with him? I don't no, think that's the main no. characters. I don't, I don't I even think that's, that's the equivalent. Uh, characters. Like, no. Him getting his family the equivalent to help is him like versus... Mr. Incredible being... Yeah, if he had, like, super incredible I mean, then, mode... Then uh, he gets fucking Zeus and the other gods as well, so it's... <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. Does he get his car? Oh, yeah, he did have his little, like, Batmobile type thing, didn't he? Not that that'll make a huge <laughs> yeah. difference, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. against Hercules, I think so. Um... Are we, it's down to round think... one, then, I'm guessing. Would it be reasonable with like martial training and whatnot to say Hercules is likely a more skilled fighter? Um, uh, I, don't I mean, Mister Incredible's got a lot of experience himself. He does, yeah. but Hercules has similar amounts of experience. Hercules so. also has a sword. <laughs> I just remembered. Yeah, but the sword doesn't. That's not for uh, round one, though. No, but which is the one two. that puts it into into like they need to? I think round two, we're saying Mister Incredible could win and round three hercules would win so it comes down to round one where he yeah but he would sword. he would have the sword in round two though i imagine in round because two we'd have the sword yeah yeah so that might actually tip the balance in round two he'd have a bow as well i think yeah uh, yeah so would, that that yeah. probably gives him the edge was it, hercules sweeps means... this what is going on it's like People are talking through the power levels of these characters, <laughs> like the whole fucking premise of the episode. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. Okay. There's many new people joining all the time, I feel. Yeah. Go back to the beginning <laughs> where we read all the rules out. I'll be doing that all yeah. the time. Um, do we are we are we heading toward a Hercules win overall? Is that what that sounded like? I, think so. I vote Hercules. Uh, yeah, I think so. Just mm -hmm. in the bow yeah. and everything. Considering he held up the world for a bit. I think, like, <laughs> oh, Mr. Frog can do that. I That's right, it. and he lost a Hulk. Yeah, which I'm so upset about. <laughs> I am. Of I kind of wish you. I kind of think he should have won, but at okay. least he lost to another green boy. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> They're still in uh, the greens. So this one is a uh, what a matchup. I just you know you don't expect it, but then you're like you know what it actually does make some sense. We have Bowser versus Sully. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, oh, okay. One. So I think that I, on even footing, Bowser definitely wins. I think so. Um, yeah. In yeah. Round one, Bowser. Yeah. I think Bowser is just innately stronger than Sully. He's got fire breath. <laughs> yeah, you can set him on fire. Uh, yeah. He's got the spinning, uh, yeah. spinning move where he'll, he'll spinning. Mess yeah, him up. spinning yeah. shell attack mm. is. Also, basically, an invulnerable defense move. Yeah, but, but he round round three, one Bowser's one. got it, man. He's got his all of his tools, his minions, and his castle. Yeah. He's got his, his army, traps. but it Sully's also yeah. got like the doors that mean that he could potentially like access an underground vault with like a bunch of weapons in it. Plant would C round three Bowser be Giga Bowser though? Oh, Giga <laughs> uh, that's true. He would be like the ultra Bowser form, so it probably yeah. is like just a Bowser sweep here. I think yeah. Bowser's got this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 nice try, Sully. Trying to get in on Bowser's turf. He'll be curious who uh, ends up killing Bowser, though, because I don't think he's going to make it to the end. Mm. I got confused yeah. for a second. I thought you you were about to say Sully from Uncharted. I was like, what the fuck is he doing here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, some ways to fuck him up. Well, he does survive getting shot, so, yeah. you know, he is pretty strong. Again, sometimes I question mm. myself of how these matchups happen, but the next one is, uh, you know, Daredevil, he's in. And his opponent is Popeye. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it. So the thing is, Popeye doesn't have any spinach in round one. Yeah, Daredevil's yeah. got round one. Yeah. I think Daredevil's got round one. 
For round two, <laughs> I presume that Popeye's got one can of spinach. Oh yeah, he's got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. At which point, it's which not easy, because he is OP yeah. with that spinach. He is. He really is. <laughs> Daredevil would know where he is. Though. He, and Daredevil would know where he is in the forest at he all would, times. But, but you gotta account for Daredevil actually getting to him by the time he eats the spinach, which yeah. I don't well, think could he could he as well. Not that he would know to do this, but he could wait him out so that the uh, effects wear off. He could. I was thinking that, yeah. He is very agile. If he's swinging through the trees with his uh, batons, he could he could just get away from him for a while. But does Daredevil know that's how the spinach mechanic works? No, he wouldn't know that. Um, Probably not. No. And, and Popeye could, like, we've seen it in the cartoons that he can punch a tree and turn them into planks of wood. So... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Thieves back, true. no. He could just punch his way through all this stuff and, and build an Popeye, entire fortress around him. If Popeye he will shoot Daredevil with a jar of nails and supersonic speed. Motherfucker has no chance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the interesting thing is Daredevil doesn't really scale. Like, basically, he gets his gear, but that's that's it. Like, once he gets mm. his gear, he's basically the same. Uh, I whereas feel like Popeye scales big time. Daredevil tries to block a spinach punch because he doesn't know, and that's it. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Well, so what happens in round three? Yeah, I mean, I What's know. Daredevil's like most powerful? I guess um, you're saying he doesn't scale. And he used the law what? against Popeye. It would just be that he has the resources. law. He yeah, sues Popeye. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I I figure because I presume that we'd have like yeah no no world where well what happens if like Daredevil is able to get like the chase to help him you know a bunch of ninjas against Popeye does he beat them all? <laughs> I actually think the, the law is the definite one though right because like you know assuming Popeye wins round two Daredevil can say well you just broke an environmental regulation fifteen point seven b we can't include like other factions into this it's gonna be too complicated. No, because then the United States that. government would hunt down all the aliens and shit. Well, we did entertain like but commanding a legion or at least faceless sort of drone things that might belong to the yeah, 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 but but factions outside of what they would have access well, to. Is my point. But law is kind of one of his powers. Oh, I don't, I don't well, know. sure, but the thing is, just like Popeye, what's that going to do? If he's got a spinach, he can't be arrested. He'll just beat he everybody. Be. Well, are we relying <laughs> then on the police the forces <laughs> reacting and like, shooting him down to the street yeah, before the, he can get to <laughs> Daredevil? You have the entirety of the U.S. government at that point. Like, you're, you're talking about the world teaming up to take down Popeye if he starts yeah. just beating, <laughs> beating and killing police officers <laughs> in the middle of the he's day. Got a, he's got a spinach. All right. <laughs> that would escalate so quickly. Uh, I think Popeye might like even even then it's just <laughs> he's just gonna find him. That's so funny. What, what, what they do in the, I guess the entirety of well, the police mm, mostly. No, actually, you know what? I think Daredevil actually wins because I think he, he has round three in the world. The spinach the spinach only lasts for a certain amount of time, and Daredevil's got stealth on his side. He can sneak up on Popeye and kill him before he like even know that he needs to get his spinach out and ready. So mm -hmm. I think Daredevil wins. Yeah. I think, I think Popeye wins round two, though. Well, so Popeye round wins one round and two. three go to Daredevil, yeah. which means he wins. Yeah. 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 Good job, Daredevil. Close. Popeye's a tough boy. Oh. Good job, Double D. I don't know how much... It'll be curious how far... Because Daredevil would have been Let's such a great... Spinach. No. Okay, so to, to clarify, if he eats the spinach and it wears out, he's then got to eat more spinach at some point, but he never knows when Daredevil's going to get him. So, like, unless we assume that he literally has an unlimited supply of spinach, which I don't know why we'd assume that he would, he'd have to go to the shops and get some more. You know what I mean? Like, he'd have to go to the shops and get some spinach, and by then, <laughs> have to time it correctly. I think we could assume he has unlimited in round three, but not in two. Well, round. no, if he has unlimited in round three, then Daredevil can't win, so we have to decide whether or not that's the he case. He might have a big oh. fucking, you know, Walmart bag of spinach cans, and he does <laughs> just keep keep them supplied. It is, oh. you know, at his maximum potential. Maybe that, that's limited by his wallet. <laughs> he can't afford Yeah, spinach. that's right. He's gotta go to work. <laughs> How much money does Popeye have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's never been his wallet. It's not that expensive. I still feel it's like yeah, well, it I still feel like Daredevil has control uh, a lot more in that environment, like the world. Oh, you know? Yeah, he does. Fucking Popeye's um, too poor to win again. <laughs> <laughs> Our next battle is 
Aragorn versus Worf. <laughs> oh. Hmm. That's well, funny. Worf might have round one. Klingons yeah. are pretty strong. Yeah. They're very strong. No swords and nothing. Yeah. He might have round two as well, because he would have a batleth at that point. You know, he, he, I don't know. He, he, yeah, I don't know. Does he have well, a, I think Aragorn can take him in a sword fight. Well, he's got a, fa a he's got a phaser in two. Yeah, and he'd have yeah. a phaser. Oh, yeah. if he has yeah, a phaser, Aragorn doesn't send a chance. And he'd have a starship Sorry. in round three, so it might be a yeah. clean sweep for war. <laughs> I think he, he, got, he absolutely yeah. wins round two and three at least. <laughs> Poor Aragorn. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry, Aragorn. Yeah. Aragorn summons the why, army why of the dead, but they're Aragorn all stuck on the ground. Him. That's so fun. Well, they can fly. They can go up to the ship. <laughs> <laughs> they're just running into the sky forever. Yeah. It would take them ages, but <laughs> they would get there eventually. And Wolf Aragorn would be like, what the wizard. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Aragorn deflects the phaser like the knife. Yeah, you can do that <laughs> for sure. Of course, yes. Oh, fuck. Can Aragorn summon the army of the dead onto the Enterprise? He <laughs> would in round three, you know. Yeah, it's it's all very, very sad, but I'm afraid I think uh, I think Aragorn is out. Yeah. We do like him, he's a There's cool no guy. no justice in this world. No justice. Does he stand no chance in round one at all? I, mean, I know the Klingons are strong, but you know, Aragorn's beaten very big, strong people. He beats yeah, and Aragorn is a Numenorian, yeah. but I don't know, or rather, he's half blood, right, or something like that. Um, no, he's full Numenorian. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I don't know I if that compares too hard with the Klingon strength. <laughs> he did fight Lurtz, but I assume Klingons are stronger than Urukai. I don't know. Actually, he also fought a troll. He kind of lost, but you know. <laughs> this um. It's a tough one. He's 6-6 six, six in the books. Yeah, it, it, just remember, it's a fist fight at that point. He doesn't get knives, swords, or... Mm -hmm. And he's got a... Yeah. Punch. Still, though, I think he might be able to win. Uh, I don't know how strong Klingons are in general. They're very pretty strong. strong. Yeah, I think it's very a wolf-biased slight toss-up, like 64... Eh, maybe a bit more. Are they stronger than the true king of Gondor, though? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, said, I, I, don't, I don't know Star Trek. I've seen a woman naked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is uh, rude. Well, we're, I think we're giving it to Worf. I'm sorry. Apologies. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't Michael Apologies. Burnham hold off like a whole team of Klingons with battle left? So are we really saying that Aragorn is worse than Michael Burnham? I don't know if we're allowed to consider Michael Burnham? anything Michael Burnham can. <laughs> it's not other Klingons, though. This is Worf. Oh, yeah. Very, very strong Klingon. Yeah, but this is Aragorn, though. Yeah, he's just a dude. No. No, he's not just he's a dude. He's a Duna Dane. He is, he is taller, older, stronger. Yeah. Uh, he's I, basically I really an want to, I want to keep him in. God damn it, but maybe not. I don't, I don't I know mean, how long he's going to last like anyway. He's basically like an enhanced human. Like, he's not regular human. Yeah. Um, besides, we've got to talk about the next bout, which I know all of you are going to be very interested in. This one is a classic as well. we got Roy Batty versus Peter Pan. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right. <laughs> what? <laughs> well... Hmm. Um, so about round one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, so can does Peter Pan he fly in round one? Have, does no, he have I fairy think... dust? He needs fairy dust to fly. Yeah, he That's doesn't... why he has Tinkerbell. I think he, he's, he's just getting grabbed one. and thrown off the edge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he's fucked in round yeah. one. You imagine yeah. Roy staring at Peter? You just be like, "What the fuck are you?" Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because we're, we're back to that. This is a man versus a child. Uh, Peter thing. Pan wins with yeah. Gay Beam. What is what? Gay Beam? <laughs> what? <laughs> Get out of That's here! Funny. Fucking fuck off with that shit. <laughs> oh. Well, how was it looking on round two? Does Roy get a gun? It does. Right? Um. Um, I don't know if he does. Does Roy like, get the motivation of his... I don't think he gets a gun, no. Yeah, um, you know? like, I don't think he gets one. I don't think he changes at all. I think Roy is just Roy every does single he, does time. Does he get the imminence of death? Making him, like... <laughs> <laughs> He's more powerful than... <laughs> and Peter, right, Peter gets to the fly, first. but does that... Does Dude, that fly as well? I love the idea that Peter can only fly for as long as he has happy thoughts, so Roy is just depressing him. <laughs> 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 Things you yeah, it just gives him the tears and rain. Yeah. Just, oh, God. 
Either really just flying off the right. There's all these moments will be lost in time, and he just crashes to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Gives him the oh, tears and the rain in Barry, speech, and it's over. I, I I don't know that that Peter Pan like Peter Pan at least has a, a weapon. Right, he has a little sword. His powers are rooted fly. in imagination. I don't think that's gonna. So it's like, <sighs> you know. It's hard to say. I think even with flight, I, I think I think Roy's just gonna grab him out of the sky and slam his head into the ground. Can Peter Pan attack from range in any capacity? No. He can fly, which is not nothing, but I don't think it's beating Roy. <laughs> I mean, Peter had trouble with a pirate. I feel like Roy is probably gonna sort him out. Yeah. Nothing against pirates, jeez. <laughs> Our only pirate got booed from it from this, didn't he? Jack Sparrow. Sucks. He Amazon. did, yeah. I'm sad. Are we are we happy with Roy? I saw a lot of Roy sweeps in chat. I'm happy with Roy. I mean, I guess is like is the love. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I guess Roy's at least got one and two. Because I mean, I, I suppose if Peter has the Lost Boys, he at least has numbers. But even then, that's <laughs> going to be Roy killing. Roy killing a lot of kids. Like it's not gonna, it's not gonna matter. You have another pirate in Luffy. Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. And he's still yes. up. He's yeah. still in. Um, you thought that he was doesn't. weird as a matchup. About to get weirder. And I think as a popularity mm -hmm. contest moment, I already know who's winning this one. But who realistically wins? Find out. We have the Doctor versus Banjo Kazooie. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm not <laughs> familiar with the capabilities of Banjo Kazooie. Um, so, uh, so round one. I think, I mean, you know. I'm pretty sure Banjo Kazooie is gonna. Probably Banjo is probably gonna yeah. fuck him up. They've yeah. got great recovery. They've well, got amazing. Banjo's recovery. pretty strong, and Kazooie can peck the fuck out of you. Yeah, that's yes. right. The doctor's so like, I think, I think Banjo a guy one for sure. Yeah, yeah. But, that's, but I think that's it then. <laughs> I think we're all agreed. Round three is the doctor. He gets the TARDIS at that point. The oh, question yeah. is, yeah. does he get the TARDIS in round two? That seems standard loadout to it's me. Sup it's super standard for him. Yeah. He would, he would get that. Almost, you'd argue ninety nine percent of his content. Him from leaving the scene, though. That's the yeah. thing. I think it does. I think the Doctor can leave the woods if he wants to. Yeah, he does that mean that it? he can use the TARDIS and just go back and find the the egg that Kazooie will hatch from and cook yes, it, and then he wins. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the commonality with which the TARDIS ceases to function to trap him in a location. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, and just also for the sake of um, fair. we will have to. Uh, this is probably the first example of us having to deal with this, but um, no, I didn't say Kazooie can peg the hell out of you. <laughs> why? why did you? <laughs> Just making sure that's clarified. Uh, so yeah, with uh, with the doctor's regenerations, if you cause one to happen, like that's probably considered a win. Any character that infinitely get, you know, like if you had Jason was yeah. in this. Like, yeah, he's going to resurrect years from now, or even minutes from now. He'll be like, well, I, I mean, that's a win. If you're just going to... The Doctor's supposed to have a finite number of regenerations. But he's I supposed guess to. Nah, lol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, well, I think the Doctor wins anyway, so... Uh, maybe we'll deal with that down If he's the line. allowed to time travel in two, then it's just over. It's completely unfair. <laughs> well, it's curious, right? The Doctor versus Doc Brown. That could be interesting. Hmm... Yes. Is that a matter of just so who I goes further back in time? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, well the I mean, can, like, the TARDIS can go through worlds, right? Yes. Yeah, time and space. Yeah, he's also uh, probably, like, you know, he has way more experience with doing that shit as well. The TARDIS yeah. also has greater potential to malfunction, though, I guess. Hmm. Mm, maybe. And the Doctor has a sonic screwdriver, so he can just, you know, fuck up the DeLorean from range. <laughs> Somewhat, yeah. Yep. Well, that fight's not even happening, so we don't have to worry about it yet. Um, our next bout is Spock versus Frankenstein. God, how many are there? <laughs> <laughs> also, what the fuck? <laughs> also, what the uh, fuck? Well, <laughs> round one... <laughs> Round one entirely depends on whether or not Frankenstein is vulnerable to a Vulcan nerve pinch. Probably is, true. Right? I mean, I he mean, is a human body. How does a, how does made out of, well, it's Frankenstein's body. He's a, a, yeah. he's a machine things. made out of body parts. So, yeah. I mean, would, would the nerve clusters be routed similarly, or would they be a little fucked? They would probably be a little fucked, right? 
Yeah, so I feel like the Vulcan Nerve Pinch might not work, but uh, we need to establish that, otherwise round one's going to be a lot harder. Um, I'm inclined to believe the Nerve Pinch would work, but I don't know about you guys. How, how does the... Well, then, yeah, really just, Spock like, has round one. supposed to be a pressure one, point type thing? I don't know thing. that he has those nerves. It's like a half-dead yeah, well, robot undead, thing. Is he, is he's he kind undead, of undead, or is he... I thought he was, like... Eh. He He's made out of multiple dead bodies. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know and that, but I thought life, but, though. But the doctor alive, said, it's yeah. alive. That means he's alive. Okay? Yeah. He's alive, sure. but he's the, he doesn't have life. He's it's now. a dead. It's built <laughs> together like a no, no, I, human. I, I mean, his body might not be might not be wired in the same way like the nerves might not yeah. be in the place where spock's expecting them to be so it, mm. it might still hurt him a little but it wouldn't put him immediately to sleep yeah uh, Spock wouldn't kill a one day year old i mean is, i mean <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know also <laughs> yeah he thinks this guy's a million years old monster thing. The thing is, is that once we well, go to round two, we've got the phaser problem. Two again. and three, Spock's got right. it, actually, yeah. so it's over anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Frankenstein. You're cool and everything, but it ain't happening. Uh, so it's bad. Frankenstein's monster, actually. Uh, yeah, no, in that. colloquial language, you just refer to him as Frankenstein. He's not a fucking nerd who actually is everything. Got him. <laughs> yeah, actually, I, I did that just now. Boop, 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 boop. Spock is moving forward. We don't even have a... Uh... Kirk and Picard got booted out. Fuck is in it. Oh, this is a this is gonna be <laughs> one. Oof. This was included as like a controversial decision. This selection because this is the most of any one set of creature we've ever had. It is the Toy Story toys as a group. Oh. And they okay. are fighting <laughs> Mario. <laughs> what? Mm. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I, I think Mario is messing them up. Well, so round three, Mario gets invincibility. Yep. So yeah. it's already round one. And, and round one. Off. Yeah, yeah, round he's one already kicks them off <laughs> bigger than that. <laughs> well, he's pretty small, too. Like, he's just he's not a boy he's small. Like, he's a, he's a normal small. human man. He's no, no, he's a, he's a small human. Yeah, he's, he's very tiny. short, actually, in most iterations. He's like four feet his tall. Trousers and puts a dump okay, on Okay, even if he's four he's foot done. tall, he's still like four feet tall. the size of these toys. <laughs> when yeah, he's like ten inches. Yeah, I, I feel like maybe the toys are just kind of a disadvantage no matter what. Because the like, even they're round damage. three. Yeah, the toys one one, like it's... angle would be if they had time prep to, to be able to set things up to fuck people up. And the problem but, is... Yeah, they might Yeah, Mario, they can't do a lot of games in round three. Mario yeah. could jump like six times the height Buzz would ever be able to. Oh yeah, he's just yeah. gonna like Fuck. combo stomp all of them, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even like Mario, but I think he he wins. Damn! This. Wow! Wow! Really? You don't like Mario? What? No, Mario's the most boring video oh, game my. character ever created. What did he do to the you? The most boring, boring video game character. Oh. The most I'm boring. Mario's boring. Oh. Hmm. No, he isn't. Uh, he absolutely no, he is. is. He's such a the boring most character. Boring. Absolutely. The most boring. You're just saying that to be a contrarian. Easily the most boring. Even nah. the very premise of Mario is like amusing. He is a short Italian plumber who goes to a magical land to that save a princess fit. and fight a turtle. He is very turtle. boring. <laughs> Incredibly boring. <laughs> oh. Just because there's a lot of games where Mario's in it and he's a hero man doesn't yeah. mean that it's boring. It's just because it's the most famous. Like, it's, yeah, he's not God damn. Incredibly boring character. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Salvo after Salvo, just hitting again. Uh, again. Doesn't matter. He beat the he, look. All right, <laughs> he, he, he beat the to toys. This round. He had it easy compared to round. some people. Let's yeah. be fair. He beat the toys but, um, yeah. boringly. The final <laughs> bout of round one of the middleweights is. All Atreides versus the winner of the oh, prior round, Solid Snake. Oh. <laughs> How hard does Paul scale? Like, uh, well, by the end, right, he's basically got mind control, right? Yeah. Yes. So that the, the voice so, is like, going to fuck up Solid three, Snake, right? I'd imagine. Yeah. But I, hmm. first two rounds, Snake's got it, I assume. Yeah, I think one and two. Is first two snake. rounds, does Paul get... What oh, about the shit. Shield? fancy shield? Wait, he get, he has a shield Paul gets the voice team. in all three rounds. Okay. He? Yeah, that's the thing. The yeah, voice is a real game changer. Oh, fuck. But it, he probably he wins round a, one then. He wouldn't Next have a question. very well developed in round one. Like, it would be 
slightly effective, but not ever so effective, I would have thought. So, like, Snake still has a chance. But he is a a competent fighter. He is. Yep. He's he's a, a, I assume he's a very good. Fighter. I was thinking about like round two though. In round two, Snake would probably shoot him, and it wouldn't work. And then he'd be like, "Oh shit!" I have, I have an important <laughs> question. Do it. In round two, can Snake use the codec to get information on how Paul's stuff works? <laughs> yes. <laughs> can he call up like uh, the Colonel or whatever oh, here? Yeah. Colonel. Snake, look out! He's got a shield that'll block your gunshots. Blah blah blah. Yeah, Colonel, I already put my control in the other port. It's still not working. I think he, I think you should have <laughs> you the voice your control uh, base, in the other by the way. Get the Doom Shield. Mm. Thinking about it, I don't see. Well, I, I, don't think it's, then he wins. I think the way yeah. that we've been doing this. Can you say jump? That, that's an ability he should have to get the get go. It's not like we take everyone from the untrained time and era. True, you know? good point. Yeah. So, but it, I mean, Snake just, has been in other psychic characters, right? So, I, like, I think is it Psycho Mantis is one of them, and oh, I'm sure there's another one. I can't there. remember though. Like, does is the Snake develop a, like some sort of immunity to psychic persuasion at any point, or is that uh, there's Psycho Mantis where you change game port, like the con- yeah. controller port, which yeah. turns off his ability so to mind like to play control Castlevania. you. <laughs> I, I think which, the like people are saying that the codec wouldn't know about any of this shit. The codec, they know how to deal with mind control. I don't know if they've ever dealt with someone who does mind control before. They seem to just know things. So yeah, they just they just omni, omnipotent. Basically, they know everything. Mm. <laughs> well, I, I think the only the the really arm. scary part though for round one is if Paul just says jump. Like oh yeah, is no. It I'm, over? I, I, as far as I'm concerned, I don't see how a Snake can win round one. He'll just say, "Kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself," and then he'll just stab himself <laughs> yeah. in the neck. Oh well, you'll you'll jump off, yeah. yeah, yeah. And if he gets round one, he probably gets round three, right? Paul, uh, like maximum strength, has insane resources. Oh yeah, well, and he can also see into the future. He that... becomes yeah. a god later on. Yeah, at the end, yeah. he's he's a god. He's basically omniscient. <laughs> snake yeah, has a chance to be most omnipotent. Well, yeah, cool. like, like, is that a thing? Does he just get to change controller port and be no. immune to mind control? I assume no. not. But... That's player input. We don't yeah, count no, that. We don't count that. Um... Well, it's in universe. It's not player input, but something is happening that causes him to no longer be vulnerable to mind control. So... He's changing his mental frequency. Well, does have to go <laughs> blind to use his sort of like ultimate foresight. There is a bit of a trade-off in play, but they, he quite explicitly uses it at one point to predict an attempted assassination. So it's not as though snakes. Covert ops would be much use at that point. So yeah. I can see Snake winning round two if only because he has the element of surprise. Um and he can sneak yeah. up and use melee through the shield, but one and three seem a bit lost to him. Yep. I don't uh, think it's winning two either, sure. but yeah. Yep. Bad opponent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big Sorry, Are we on to round two now? Of the middleweights, yes. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> uh. Our We're making fight. progress! Yes, our first <laughs> fight with these... So you're familiar with all these players now. This is all the next round. We've got Subject Delta versus Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> hmm. So... Hmm. So on base, we accepted last time that they had plas- that plasmids would be... In play, yeah. Like that that would be in, in play, which means that it's going to be really hard for Ratchet and Clank to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One lightning bolt and sun. Or freeze them and then and push them yeah, off the edge. Yeah. 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 But in round two. If they two, have no weapons, then he can just continuously knock them, right? Because he's bigger and heavier. And the suit is part of him. Well, yeah. 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 well didn't they yeah, win last he... time from being up in their ship? Huh? What? Oh, no, wait. wait. Oh, yeah. That's our oh, Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, that'd be round yeah. three, right? That'd be round oh, three. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Round right. two so... in the forest is like, well. Now so now Ratchet we've got, yeah, guns. basic loadouts, like, yeah, Delta gets guns, he's still got the plasmids, Ratchet and Clank, they've got he's really great plasmid. firepower, but yeah. I don't know if they can take on Delta, it's gonna be tough. The thing is, their weapons, I'd say that Ratchet and Clank weapons would outclass, like, I think the weapons so too. Well, but Delta gets, Remember, Delta has, sci-fi like, weapons you'll have space. telekinesis and he can grab all of them and throw them That's back. That's true. Yeah. That's oh, well, as itself. long as he can manage good. it, and some, and he can't grab some of them because Ratchet has weapons that are like energy based. That's fair too. Um, one of the things to consider: to one of his base moves is to close the distance really quick. Delta the drill charge. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, he needs to do that because yeah, uh, Ratchet has long range weapons that would be very effective against him. Uh, what about um, Giant Clank? Also, 
I, the problem is, like, I don't know how to factor in Giant Clank, because if they got Giant Clank, then, then they win. Um, like, I think they win round three, just with the ship. It's already, like, game yeah, over. Yeah, I think round three yeah. is Cl uh, Ratchet and Clank. It's Ratchet and Clank for round three. <laughs> so it's down to it's two, It's really then. two. Yeah. And I'm, I I'm think the thing is, is, I'm picturing Delta yeah. getting hit by a rocket launcher five or six times in a row in a matter of a few seconds, which is what yeah. would happen. Yeah. I mean, you can throw the you first few back around. at him. Well, uh, just... Yeah, but that's assuming that he doesn't even use energy-based weapons to, to start with, which he if, might. Depending on plasmids he's using as well, like, we got some crazy... Mm. Like, he has possession, I think, right? Oh, no, wait, is that's that a bigger... I can't remember the possession ones in Bioshock 2. I think... Is there anything like... Because you get the uh, the whirlpool. I'd have to look at the list. Um... To figure it out, but I know if we gave him like the baseline, like fire, ice, uh, wind, telekinesis, probably fair. It's one of the first ones you get in Bioshock One. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, his armor's pretty good, but we're dealing with it is pretty good, ratchets but like it's ratchet and clunk weapon. For, like if you use the sheepinator on him, he's, it's done. You yeah, just fire that and send him into a sheep instantly, armor or no armor. Yep. And, and uh, I'd say that remind yeah, me, ratchet I, and clank's like health. Yeah. Do they have shields as well? That nanotech. It's nanotech. Yeah, I think so like Ratchet and Clank will have health. this. It'll it'll feel like it could have been close, but I don't I think, think it is. A tough fight, but mm -hmm. I think I think they win. A good power set on Delta. They just have so many gadgets, right? Like yeah, so many gadgets. gadgets. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they, yeah, they like it, it could be that as soon as they they spawn, they have the Agents of Doom on their side, and they have like mini nukes. So you know. Yeah, <laughs> they throw it's, it's the Groovatron and Alpha effect. is forced to dance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, both, I mean, it would work on him, I think. Um, also, wait, yeah, I think they win. Just to be clear, Ratchet and Clank's standard loadout, what does that mean? I'd say the standard loadout is they got the wrench, uh, obviously, and like an assortment of early game weapons. Yeah. And early game weapons include the Groovatron and the, like the ones that turn you into a sheep or a chicken. The groove um, the being launcher. used on Delta would be so funny. Yeah, and 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 it's also just that like, and, and also like the agents of Doom, they they're like fairly early on, as well. Uh, or the like, um, yeah, I feel like you or Mister Zircon or something. Those are like fairly early game because late game is like the Rhino, but but at that point it's already kind of irrelevant because of the ship. Yeah, but I believe um, Ratchet just, and Clank have it. I think so. But you know, fair fight. The Ratchet is just really very powerful. It's it's wild how powerful they are. I mean, yeah, they I mean, look at the enemies they've taken down, you know, Dr. Nefarious. Yeah. He's well, a powerful if, um, guy and they beat him. I don't think it's gonna happen really, but if they ended up against Banjo kazooie they would fucking blast them off Earth as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, really, Ratchet and Clank are like very dominant. Like Jack and Daxter, they would struggle. Because it's it's just like you don't have you don't have what Clank has to offer with uh, Daxter in terms of abilities, <laughs> um, and the weapons aren't as good. They're good, but they're not as good. Our next battle. But then yes. you got Dark Jack though, so that that could change things. Arbiter versus Wesker. Oh. Um. I mean, if I think, if, I think it's Wesker, right? Um, yeah, I feel I like Wesker it's Wesker. Does Arbiter, does Arbiter Arbiter round, have the one, round three, Wesker loses. Yes. Arbiter yeah. loses blasting. But what about round three? Does, does, does Arbiter, Arbiter have weapons have that can deal with Wesker or no? I mean, he's got plasma. Like, he's got plasma weapons and an energy sword, which my guess would be that they'd be hyper effective against Wesker. I actually would say yeah. that, yeah. yeah. Wesker dodged them. <laughs> Wesker's pretty he's fast. Got, um, he's got active camo as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so, uh, ooh, this you know, is interesting. It's Wesker counter active mm. camo. Because if he uses mm. an active camo and then snakes up and stabs him with the energy sword, then he wins. I yeah. think. Does, I does, think he wins with Wesker an energy have, sword. Like, like the scan thingies in his little glasses? Does, does I think it would be like, like if he had sensors that could detect him, you know? Like if he sniffed and he's like, I smell an elite here. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he'd possibly be able to pick up if the elite was near him, but I don't know if that's just too late. And the energy sword is going to fuck up Wesker. A, and a plasma grenade as well, yep. which I think Arbiter would get at base stats. I think, oh shit, Arbiter coming in <laughs> to surprise everybody. Honestly, with my the instinct here. is to actually give this to Arbiter. I feel like the plasma weapons give him the edge. I know that Wesker yeah, could like go right, right to him and 
stab him, whatever. But even that, if the Arbiter's got the energy sword on the ready, I don't know if Wesker can kill him without dying. And that's mm -hmm. not even accounting yeah. for his active camo. What? Like, Arbiter just has the advantage that he's one of the few characters that actually has damage potential that can kill he's, Wesker. This is very like Pokemon, yeah. where he's got yeah. the direct counter for Wesker's type, it feels like. And he's got shields. Yeah, and then, he doesn't and die instantly. To Arbiter's going to be uh, he's going to be making it. You know, I'd be curious how far he gets. <laughs> honestly, mm -hmm. nice. I didn't. I didn't know how far he'd get. We'll have mm -hmm. to see. The next fight: Boba Fett versus Captain America. Hmm. Well, well, Cap's got round one. Cap's got round yeah, one, but for yeah. sure. Mm. For sure. But then uh, Cap Shield. He's going to be able to block three. that flamethrower. I feel like Cap Shield's well, probably threes. deflecting um, most of what Boba Fett has, right? Yeah. I think, I think it's better to assume anything no. that hits the shield is no cell. Like, yeah. Well, the, the flamethrower is getting through that shit. Um, it's, he's not going to be able to block the flamethrower. I don't know that... What's it going to do, though? It, it'll, it'll hit the shield and bounce mostly off, and then Cap will be able to deal with that. No, it would also go around the shield. Like it, well, it I mean, that's not to say that he can't dodge, either. Cap's still really quick. Well, no, I also, sure I also feel like that, he could but... endure it, um, but he would be moving anyway, yeah. I mean, the shield even nullifies the uh, the overpowered knee rockets. So. <laughs> <laughs> knee rockets. You know, we laugh, but that is actually Classic one of the, Bob the things that Cap's like going to have to really deal with is the stupid-ass knee rockets. Yeah. <laughs> like, so he'd be so surprised. It's like, what the fuck? Cap, Cap theoretically needs to throw the shield at some point in order to win, and does he ever, like, die while it's out of his hand? Hmm... What's interesting what is... What is tougher I... is, like, Vibranium or Beskar, which is actually the more solid metal. Well, how does that play into it, though? Because Cap, if he gets his hands on Boba, is probably just going to try and beat him up, take his helmet off, you know? But I, I don't know if yeah, Boba's going to let that happen, right? He'll stay away from him. He's got a jetpack. Yeah, he can fly. He does get a jetpack. And... But fucking hell, the amount of times those jetpacks fall off or break in this stupid franchise. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, I'm imagining... It, it wouldn't, it wouldn't it work gets... forever, no. The scenario I'm imagining is it just gets dinked with a shield at some point, and then it's it, gone. It, it's also in the middle of a forest, so it's gonna be a bunch yeah. of shit he has to fly through. Do we have, mm -hmm. um, does Boba Fett get round three? Because he's he's a Star Wars character, yes. so he's got way more power yeah. in space. Uh, I got think slave so. One. Yeah, because he has Slave 1 at that point. Does Boba burning down the forest make him win round two? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Like, unironically, he finds Cap and just immolates the forest around him. It truly is down to round two. He can trap him with this, like, you know, uh, fucking... Uh, he has a rope thing, right, that he fires out from uh, from something that he can trap people with. Oh, actually, like a Chad brings up a good point. Would Captain... Would he get Mjolnir for round three, and would that be a hmm. appropriate counter to Slave 1? I think he can have it, but I don't think it's a difference maker. I don't know the answer. Mjolnir is only question. like you channeling lightning, isn't it? So, like, I would assume that a spaceship that can survive laser blasts and plasma blasts oh, and missiles and has shields. You just plow through the ship with the hammer. Or yeah, throw the throw hammer it straight the through. It. Oh, yeah. fuck yeah. Also, yeah, like, are we just doing film continuity, Boba? Because like that version's a complete moron who travels to close range to start shooting people. So, <laughs> yeah. I think we were all entertaining that he is talented in this fight. Like he's not retarded. Okay. Hopefully, he's not a goober. Yeah. Yeah. We also got disintegration. Whatever you know that is. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no disintegration. Which. Yeah. I still expect that to bounce off the shield because that's like the meme with his shield. <laughs> yeah, everything bounces off. Like if you fire a nuke at him, it would fucking bounce. <laughs> You're like oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It would bounce and then kill. This has gotten difficult now because of the stupid Mjolnir has ruined everything. Because now yeah. I. If... I still think the flamethrower would be effective because you can't really block that, but yeah. I just think you would move you away. Move. Yeah. yeah. You can, well, but it will still set you on fire, probably. And like Boba's got to be careful because Cap, if he has his M1911 and he's got really good aim, if he shoots for his legs, mm. like the patches without armor. It's like, yeah. like a, fl a flamethrower is just not, it's not just fire. It's like a liquid flammable thing that attaches to you and just sticks to everything. It's horrible. But the thing is, Boba's got to get pretty just, close you know, to do that. I'm. Uh, fairly, yeah. I'm just saying. It yeah, puts if you're danger. close, you're dealing with a super powered, super like... fast Captain yeah. America. Yeah. The moment sure. the jetpack goes down, Boba's in a very bad spot. He has oh, to like absolutely. constantly be retreating while burning uh, honestly, the forest behind him. You know? Cap throwing <laughs> that shield at Boba, I feel like Boba's not ready for that. 
And if Cap, I think it would, I think that might just kill <laughs> that's him, sort of what I was getting at earlier. At is Cap throws the shield, and like that's Boba's one chance to win. If he if he is yeah. able to apply lethal damage to Cap while the shield is out of his hand, then he can win. But I don't think he does that very frequently. I don't, he, I don't think he'd be ready for it. He'd be so like shocked that the shield is being thrown at him, and it would probably especially kill him if if, uh, that. if that shield hits his jetpack, that thing's destroyed. I think with just how we know these yeah, things work. Yeah, he's done. Mm -hmm. I feel like it hits his chest. It's like, oh, rip you! I know that you've got your armor, but like that force is going to be immense. Um, are you guys? I'm feeling cap on this. Yeah, I think it's cap. Oh my, oh, yeah. he's cap too. Mm -hmm. Cap a release. Mm -hmm. I like you, Boba. Well, I want to like you. <laughs> like you. Your <laughs> damn continuity. But Star Wars makes it really difficult. Yeah, it's like they don't want us to like you. Ridiculous. Ooh! Look at that was so bad. Anyway, what's the next fight? Oh my, we have... I don't know if this is going to be interesting or not. I hope it is. Round three is obvious. Well, okay, so we have Master Chief versus the T-1000. Oh, mm. So, unfortunately, I think uh, mm. the thing is, is like Final Destination, I feel like T-1000's got the advantage. I don't think he can lose. Yeah. Like, he's just going to fuck can up Master Chief. Yeah. Just... Can it yeah, ever be thrown off? Yeah, yeah. I don't think it can. I think Master well... Yeah, I don't know I don't... if he could. I don't know if he could throw him off. I, I, like so, unless and and well, he'd be getting stabbed before. the whole time. Yeah, before he gets stabbed yeah. instantly. Mm -hmm. T one thousand yeah. definitely wins. So, it's, it's for, for sure. No, round two is, is interesting. Like, once you got the armor, um, yeah, because I think round three, uh, Chief's got it. But round two, yeah. Chief, Chief doesn't get what the Arbiter would get, which would totally yeah. nuke the T one thousand. I think if Chief but... had the Spartan laser, he would win. Yeah, but the... I don't know if he gets that. His base level. How effective are his armaments? Like, I don't um, think they do yeah. much. Right? Well, you got the assault I mean, if, rifle. If he had a battle rifle and a pistol. It's like, pistol, well, that's just ballistic yeah. weapons. So that's well, not some very... grenades. Do we know right. what sort of yeah, caliber yeah. those weapons are? I don't know. I, I feel like it doesn't matter what. It's it's just mm. it, it's not. Yeah, he's it's not the same problem. He'll just absorb those. Um, Nothing, yeah. nothing he brings is actually capable of killing the T-1000. Except, so, like, yeah, free the Spartan though. laser, but I don't think we can consider that standard loadout, can we? I don't well, think the thing is, loadout. yeah, because, like, to me, standard loadout excludes Covenant weapons completely. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't get that as standard weapons, I'd say. I, and I would be perceiving... Spartan laser's power weapon. Perceiving laser. So, so you don't also, think also, rifle, also, still grenades. If regular right? humans can be a T-1000, so can a spot. It's like, fucking Sarah Connor or John Connor would stand a chance against the T-1000 in a forest. If that's all they had. Forest. Yeah, they needed need a, a, like, need a furnace. They needed to, to drop him in lava. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's how you have lava. If this like fight were in a volcano, <laughs> which would have been handy for yeah. Wesker too. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> yep. But the thing is, 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 is that I don't know how well the T-1000 is going to be able to actually, like, try and kill Master Chief, though. That's but like he can so get there eventually. Are we, what do we the think about is that the it, stabbing? That Master Chief has no weapons. He, like, if we're talking about it, in a forest, right, he has a pistol, he has a battle rifle, maybe he has a shotgun, but, like, that's it. And, and maybe a, a grenade. grenade. Right? Yeah, grenade. Like, we've what? seen that the T-1000 can reform from even a grenade blast. So... Yeah, but... Without yeah. the fire, I don't see how <laughs> the, I don't the see how the T1000 just, loses. The T1000 wins on endurance. Like, yeah. it doesn't yeah, like, need if, rest or anything yeah. like if that. If neither of them could actually it, end each other's lives, then the T1000 wins through, like, Chief will starve. I don't know why you're saying plasma grenades in uppercase, like, that's a, like he wouldn't have them. Yeah, that's yeah, a we, we went over that. I, the Round opening three, thing I said is, unfortunately for Chief, if he spawned with anything the Arbiter had, he'd probably win, but he doesn't have access to any of that in standard yeah, load. He doesn't have Arbiter's gear, because he's a human, so he's got UNSC weapons it, as his base weapons. Could he yep. do something crazy with, like, his uh, uh, armor or something? Um, I don't know. Like, well, armor is temporary, sure. and that wouldn't kill the T-1000 anyway. Just... Entirely yeah. incapable of putting damage on the T1000, uh, so the T1000 the T wins eventually. That's yeah, eventually the he will just start like, like uh, it, pulling pieces of his armor off and stabbing him. Like it's what's so funny here yeah. as well is the like Ratchet and Clank are gonna fucking wreck the T1000 if they fight him. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 the right equipment. I feel and to be I, clear, I like Master Chief. I, love I want him, him I, to win, I, I want but him to go further, but I don't think he can win this. 
Well, yeah. here's a, here's a, here's an argument though. If he was on Final Destination, could Chief run up to him, grab him, and throw him off before the T one thousand would like even know what he is to do? I think a T one thousand is fast enough to not get blitzed that way. I would but... actually say the T one thousand. I guess be the thing is, is that we Chief. see. But I guess the thing oh, is, no. we see Master the T one thousand. Well, in... not wait. In... I don't necessarily mean faster in speed of running. I mean faster in he's a machine, so. You'll recognize the situation there, faster than Chief will. There's a scene though in Terminator Two, like, like uh, one of the first encounter between the T800 and T1000, when they're they're kind of grabbing each other and slamming each mm. other into the walls, which means that yeah. it's not like the T1000 can't be grappled. So it, it is possible but that yeah, Chief could just grab him and chuck yeah, him. We him don't off. know if that's dependent on the T1000's preferences, though, because later in the film when he's grabbing him, he starts to morph around him, like, as he's grabbing. That's true. Hmm. I, I guess the, the interesting T1000's thing is, like, I think... Uh, grab him, grab him. I think, I think Chief wins on pure strength. I think Chief is stronger than the T1000. Mm -hmm. The T1000 just has too many cheats, though, right? Like it, it can morph to yeah. anchor itself into yeah. the stage to anchor itself into Master Chief. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. It has bladed weaponry. It can stab him. Unless, yeah. right. oh, well, I, hmm. remember, we're, we're talking round one. He doesn't dead. have armor. So he's up against a bladed thing with yeah. no armor. Yeah. So yeah. It's like, well, that's the other thing. Yeah. He, he loses round oh, one. Yeah. He even right. has access to like the needle projectile finger thingamajiggy. So I don't know what Chief's going to. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Chief like, without armor in round one, he's got no chance. Oh, yeah, 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 round one, round one. Round one. Yeah. I was yeah. picturing and round him two in his endurance fight where eventually one. Chief runs out of ammo and is in the forest against the T-1000 still. Yeah. Eventually, yeah, okay, T-1000 sweeps. Not round three. No, he doesn't sweep. Round yeah, he three, doesn't Chief three, but... last. Round yeah. three, he gets... Oh, like, yeah. One, he gets Spartan laser, he gets tanks. Yeah, gets Chief has all the capabilities of killing him in round three. That's... But uh, yeah. Chief is out. Sad to see. Sad to see. Which Arbiter's sucks. making it further than Chief, which is funny. That is funny. <laughs> Arbiter, Arbiter does not beat Chief in a fight. So, next up we have Fox McCloud versus Werewolf. Hmm. <laughs> no. So round one, he loses. Round two and three, I think he wins. I think it's that simple, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. yeah, the only I angle the werewolf has in round two is getting to Fox before he shoots him up enough to kill him. Before he shoots him, yeah. Yep. Uh, would he be able to kill the werewolf easily though? In round well, two? it does depend on what, what you're going with with werewolf lore, but I think Fox's technology is enough to disintegrate him eventually, right? He'll just shoot him until his piece is left. Yeah. Traditionally, yeah. it's silver though, isn't it? So exactly. Like, yeah. Disintegrate yeah. him, but he's not going to die. He has a laser gun. Um, like like the, the werewolf's like probably it. gonna get to him before he can actually shoot them into pieces, right? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Fox is pretty fast. Well, and Fox has his yeah. gas. Yeah, yeah, fast. Fast. The werewolf's also really fucking I know, fast. I know the werewolf's fast, but like he's got to close the distance. Fox doesn't have to close the distance. He's just got yeah. to shoot him. Yeah, but and he, he doesn't, can do the dash just, as well. He doesn't have the capacity to kill him, though. Why do, why, why do we think that? No silver. So it's impossible for him to win. No silver. His gun won't do shit. Accept. If he can blow him up, silver. he would win. But you know, I don't think, I don't it think it would be correct silver. to accept that a werewolf can't be killed without silver because at that yeah. point, it's just a silver well, can so kill it in one shot. It's like the question of what happens to a vampire if you, I don't know, cut out their heart but don't stake it. It's like mm -hmm. it's really up to your own yeah, like law. Yeah, there are other ways you can kill it, but not like with just a regular gun or with a face. Well, it's not a regular gun though. It's a blaster. It's a laser gun. So that would like punch yeah. right through the werewolf. Yeah, this, this is the thing. Him, like, five, Genuinely, times, right? It's already over. You can picture two director's choices of this scene where Fox is shooting him and he just runs right at him and the blasts go through him and he just, you know, Fox can't stop him, doom dead. Or the other version, where werewolf's running at him, Fox shoots him, he starts to stumble, Flash is flying off and he just yeah. keeps shooting and then he just falls into yeah. a puddle. And he just keeps shooting him. Yeah. 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 Which I, I think, and then obviously round three's got the R wing and the great Fox. It's over. Yeah, well, round three, he, yeah, he definitely wins. Yeah. <laughs> it's all about that round three. Get any stronger. Also have like accelerated healing and things like that. I think so. Like I, I feel don't like know. the silver's yeah. always been something. Uh, it's that accelerated that. enough to deal with uh, pretty rapid fire pistol shots from a laser pistol. Yeah, that's yeah, thing. that's what I'm thinking. That, that Fox would be able to how... overwhelm them. 
the damage. Yeah, it's a question how right. damaging the, the laser pistol is. And Fox has the deflector as well, which means that he can deflect his, uh, like, the werewolf's attacks once he gets up I, to him I, anyway. I picture the Fox pissing off the werewolf because he would deflect and then sprint off with the dash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shoo, 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 exactly. Shoo, 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 deflect, deflect sprint. Tightening him yeah. permanently. Exactly, yeah. Fox wins. I believe mm, Fox wins. Probably. But the werewolf put up a good probably. effort. I'm not denying that. You know, he's a good lad. Which yeah, means that I guess time. Wolf, wolf O'Donnell would beat the wolf too, then. <laughs> okay, this God is uh, good, good, good. Next up is the fight we were all waiting for Santa Claus versus Geralt. Yeah, Santa Claus wins. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I mean, Geralt is kind of uniquely positioned to fight Santa, isn't he? <laughs> Right? I don't know. Uh, like, is he? Is he powerful enough to mind control Santa? I don't know. Well, right? I guess. Like, wait the the <laughs> sign that you can trap people with uh, might be a good counter to a speedster. Right. You could you could trap him. You could set him on fire. But oh, he, he's immune to fire. Uh, <laughs> take over his mind. Boy, I think Santa I think wins. Allowed, I think yeah, Geralt's allowed to Santa's just win too fast. One. But, like, I, I think Santa wins, but also. <laughs> I do feel like Santa's dominating. Have we established that Santa is really fast, or is yeah. it Santa's reindeer that are really fast? I wasn't well, sure he, he has to be really fast, fast too. He, he has to be fast, right? So Santa yeah, just and for every house. Night. Yeah. Like, he also has to get out of the sleigh, carry the, the presents through, yeah. you know, whatever entrance Jimmy. into a home, put him down, and then get back into the sleigh. So he can't just be, like, moving at normal speed. Yeah, true. I feel as though this might make Santa too high tier of a speedster for this bracket. <laughs> yes. but... He might be. <laughs> the thing, you know, it's just because he's he, very he, fast. He's basically the Flash. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he's gonna clear and get into heavyweight. Who knows? Yeah, <laughs> but, we, but it sounds like we're all clear on he's beaten Witcher like a Geralt. Is this is not. I don't Same see any way that there. he doesn't, but like, if anyone was going to be in a position, this is a good one, right? You know? Like, yeah, Geralt's yeah. designed to fight these sort of uh, <laughs> super powered. Maybe elf Geralt wouldn't want to defeat Santa. He has too much respect for him. He'd be like, you're Could a be. legend. You're gone. I mean, in, in round three, with all the buffs Geralt gets, he might be able to like, get a hit in, but I don't think he's going to beat Santa. I don't think he's beating Santa, no. Well, all right. <laughs> uh, uh, it's, it is tough. He is Santa, after all. <laughs> He's Santa, yeah. yeah. Santa sweep. Uh, Ridley versus Pikachu. Is that a clear Ridley? Uh, well, I that's kind so. of funny because <laughs> we know that Pikachu fought Ridley in uh, Super Smash Brothers uh, uh, Subspace uh, Emissary, and that and that attack was uh, quite effective on um, on Ridley. It, it saved Samus from mm. from death. So, but what does that but mean? Ridley wins. Ridley <laughs> but Ridley, I think I, I think Ridley still wins. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think he still wins. I don't know. Ridley, Ridley is flying though, and that's one thing Pikachu's very good against. Yeah, I, I think it's because round three Pikachu. Yeah, I, I think I think Ridley wins. If Ridley beats Charizard, he beats Pikachu. <laughs> that was kind yeah. of where I was thinking. I was like, I feel like Pikachu's yeah. not got this. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> and again, him. this is this is a <laughs> really? Pikachu, which is a big part of it, right? Like it's That's a true. random Pikachu, not Ash's Pikachu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, Pikachu loses. Well, rip Pikachu. I didn't expect yeah. Pikachu to get that far, honestly. Um, Man, get the fuck out of here, Pikachu! Damn, <laughs> yeah, little, little rat. The hatred. Ooh, uh, Luffy versus Helldiver. <laughs> oh, um, whoa! Um, does Luffy uh, survive an ordnance blast? I, I think he does. I, he may be. Okay, hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Hell divers have the lance laser, so they could cut him in, into pieces that's, with that's that. That's true. And that's standard that equipment work, right? too. Luffy gets yeah, round one. Be... Just but, you know, to be fair. Yes, Luffy gets yeah, round definitely. one. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Helldiver might get round three for I'm sure. I'm just <laughs> wondering how yeah. I'm wondering how gunshots interact with Luffy's rubber bullshits because he's vulnerable to getting stabbed. Mm. I well, think we're oh, okay. bullets it's just work, bounce right? back to wherever they came from. Apparently. Wait, knives work That's on him? I didn't. I, I can't remember that. 
But... That's that's why that's why I brought the 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 lands laser right lens, okay, okay. Laser, the laser thingy. I feel uh, like the hell dive is gonna have it if cut. that's true. Because you can cut him to pieces, and the, I, I think that doesn't he's... work. Because hmm. they could just what, call it in, right? He's invulnerable to lasers. I, I they don't have lasers in one piece. I think. Yeah, like how can we ever know whether that I, like whereas? <laughs> well, I guess there's to me like I guess there's fruits that can do yeah. like laser type stuff. But oh. I don't know how they. Oh yeah, water is his weakness. Do the hell divers have a water laser? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, water. Did you get, did you get water? Calm guns? down, Chet. I just corrected myself. Stop sh shouting. <laughs> Leave him alone. Never anger the One Piece fans. They're oh, no. How rabid. will I ever recover? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus such salt. Christ. That's, that's just going. Well. Gear hell. 5 is. Can he survive a laser? Because if he can, then he wins. <laughs> I don't oh, Chet, think I he can you. survive a laser if a laser actually hits him. <laughs> I mean, it's it seems like it w it wouldn't. Also, yeah, we're not doing the um. People were talking about like in his latest anime outings, he's like a hyper god. Yeah. But we're not doing that. Nah, because then he should be in this white class. Well, yeah, well, when he, when he was put in, I was obviously or something. thinking about the the powers as I understood them from how they're explained in the live action, which I assume is close to how he starts in the anime. So. I figure, yeah, yeah, right. In which case, I think Helldiver can kill him. In the forest. So how does this laser. how does this laser work exactly? I don't it's know, just a like, fucking laser, man. <laughs> it's a laser, like, man. He's just got a laser weapon. Like, it's it's okay. just a laser gun. Yeah, you carry it around uh, and shoot people with a laser. <laughs> how? What's our fire rate? Is it like a constant beam or? It's a constant beam. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering if Luffy is too fast. That's actually he's really very good fast. Good example of how this works, by the way. Helldiver probably would have kind of easily taken out T-1000 in round 2 and 3, but Master Chief probably would have taken out the Helldiver in all three rounds. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he <laughs> would have. Interesting so how counters work. The... Yeah. Well, I mean, the Helldiver has the stratagems in round 2. How's the Helldiver's aim? Mediocre? Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, I legitimately think Luffy might be too fast. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah that's fair. He's got the elastic... Like punches are pretty fast as well. Um, because it, so... and you don't expect that a person's going to be capable of this, so I don't know if he's going to lead with the laser. That's true. He probably will just shoot him with a gun, and then it's too late by the time he realizes yeah, that's not going to he... work. Mm. Yeah, I think Luffy wins. Yeah, I'm happy to give it to Luffy on the basis that the Hell Diver mm -hmm. is not going to be optimized for this fight immediately. Yeah, no. mm -hmm. that's that, fair, but it's probably accurate. That is fair. Luffy advances. I'm impressed that our random hell diver made it to Luffy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the hell diver was surprising because of the uh, the bonus sort of stuff from the that he can call in, right? Like that that gives him the edge. Yeah, the stratagems mm -hmm. make all the difference for him. Democracy losing to anime is a fucking disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> we have Buffy versus Ryu. Uh, oh, well, Ryu's really silly. Uh, probably Kong, Ryu. Counter. What does Ryu have? Fireballs. Yeah, she's uh, yeah. fireball. Either. Yeah, she's she's I, gonna I get fucking like... melted by that. It's, it's not up, to be though, clear. It's not, it's not to be clear. It's not literally fire. I think it still hits you like a physical impact, but it is like a ranged weapon. Well, well I, mean, I mean, fire. He has a flaming Hadouken also. Well, that's like the thing. The... Yeah, when he gets close, he can do the the sure you can, right? Yeah, and that'll mm -hmm. that'll really be bad for Buffy. Well, generally, <laughs> Ken's got the flaming stuff. dragon punch, but Ryu has the flaming fireball. He apparently has access to okay, electricity and lightning as well, which that would fuck her up. All right then. Yeah, mm. and um, he's very strong. There's like, not much point with her strong. Her round two is only going to get like a uh, stake and a crossbow. She's not got much more. So she's, she's wiped out. Mm -hmm. Stage 3 would be interesting if there was a fight still happening, because she's got access to insane stuff at maximum. Access to magic and stuff. Yeah. But we're not getting there. Ryu's got her. Mm -hmm. But to be fair, does he have like some kind of godlike thing at Stage 3? Or no? Does anyone know? Well, he's got, is it uh... half Ryu, right? Isn't that like... That's like what, a sorry? thing, right? It, isn't that like a dark Ryu? Yeah, like a Ryu with the, of him? Uh, yeah. Tatsui no Hada or whatever? I think there's some bullshit in the movie as well, if we count that. But 
So that's what we know how to, yeah, that's it. He's got weird evil hacks. I can't believe you made up a language just for the stream, Theo. That's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> hey now, yeah. I get bored in my time off. <laughs> we have the T-800 versus Doc Brown. This is kind of funny if you think about it. Uh, <laughs> I think we know the answer for round one. Yes. <laughs> 800 doesn't have ready access to time travel. Yeah, right. So, so Doc Brown does. He can Doc, go back in time. And if it was accepted that he could beat Leonardo using time travel to get out of the forest, then he wins. I think you know, he's got it, yeah. Yeah. Doc so, is going to be someone... Yeah. You need a specific counter to take him down in this bracket. Time travel is yeah. Can really be able to stop Sky in the I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw just the nerdiest thing at you though. Okay, so like the problem is, in order to stop the T800, you'd have to go into the future. Yes. Where Skynet is everywhere, and there's thousands of T800. No, he would so have would to he... protect John Connor and make sure he like. <laughs> it, it would have to stop Skynet in the past. Yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd have to do that. You'd have to. Well, it depends on if you believe it's inevitable or not, right? He could go to T2's mm -hmm. timeline and just work really hard to make sure Skynet never happens, and so he automatically wins that fight, I guess. Yeah. But but would That's... he actually be able to do that? Yeah, well, that, that's the thing. I, right? I'll like, admit that's that's way more difficult than just killing the baby version of a person. That's that's confusing and yeah. strange. Because like suppose, just you know, him the having scientist guy going to Skynet and saying like we need to stop this. Like, is he actually gonna be able to get them to the, do anything? The fact of the I... matter is, once once Doc leaves the forest, he has infinite time. Like. The only yeah. matter is, like, does he randomly die to something in his procession of figuring out well, yeah. what he needs to do in order to win? What we have to remember is from the T the T-800's POV, he's standing in the middle of the forest, he couldn't find him before Doc left, so he's walking around, and then he gets told by the god of this universe, like, Doc is off in some different timeline doing things, mm -hmm. and, and it might eventually lead to your non-existence. The robot's like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just... I guess I <laughs> I guess we'll see how that pans out. Yeah, the robot's like, do I win? And then he's like, no, 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 Doc might. Well, here's a TV. You could watch what he's doing. <laughs> he, he died of a heart attack 2,000 yeah. years ago. It so we agree that work. the T-800 can't win, but I I just don't know that Doc he Brown wins can if win Doc either. Of a heart attack well, that's the thing. Doc's pretty old, you're right. If, if Doc can't figure yeah. out how to defeat Skynet <laughs> before it yeah, ever... Just... I mean, yeah. would it really be so that hard go, for Doc right? Brown, like, though, to... Go to the future, pop out, grab a pulse rifle, and go back against thousands this... and thousands of Terminators. Yeah. I, well, I can see that being. A... I... Does it even make a difference? Because I thought the later the Terminator films kind of established, unfortunately, that stopping Skynet oh. does not actually stop the future because then yeah, it's yeah, Genesis yeah. and then it's whatever not, the fuck the next yeah. one was. If we're not counting the continuity of Destiny, Terminator we ain't films. fucking counting anything after T2, yeah. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> I'm wondering if we might be over downplaying the dangers involved in figuring out what he needs to do in the first place and then the dangers of actually doing it. I think there's a lot of ways he could die in trying to figure out how to actually take down Well, you're Skynet. right, but he doesn't the, know anything, the right? idea here is that all of these characters are under the impression that if they don't defeat their opponent, like that's worse than anything they could do. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but I, I, I don't think he has, he has the capability to even stop Skynet in the first place. Yeah. I'm well, not he's sure going to adjust I... anyway to, to a new... Like, if Skynet's saying, by the way, there's a kid called John Connor, and unless you kill him, we're in trouble... Would it not well, then wait, just adjust to... and say, oh, by the way, there's this old man who's just fleeing around this. the time somewhere. Go and kill him. The T-800 is not in that forest because of Skynet anyway. It's because of the sporting system. So, you know what I mean? Like, does that actually so moving... just fuck everything? Like, how, yeah, does how it... do you stop him? What does time travel do to stop the T-800? It would have to be that he travels, because like with Leonardo, he could find a place so far in the future that he gets a weapon I mean, that Leonardo could... cannot deal yeah. with. Mm. Right. In, the, in the same the vein, future, there is going to be a future. Have to go to the future and blow up the factory, basically. Well, no, not even okay. that. He just now... he goes to the future and gets oh. a weapon that would melt a Terminator in one shot that could home in. You know, like everything oh, yeah. you could imagine, weapon wise. That's probably what Doc's doing. The mm -hmm. T eight hundred still has a chance then to also destroy the car before he leaves because he would have weaponry. I don't know that. So he's going to be able to pull that off. Very I think easily. the like, would be able to leave faster than he will be able to find him. Yeah, I think more well, times. Remember, it has to it has to take off vertically and get you know somewhere and then go eighty eight yeah, miles. Yeah, but they're an not in view of each they're other. Not, yeah, they're not in view of each other. They're just in a forest, and they know that there's another guy in the forest. Yeah. Somewhere. I just I don't know, man. I don't know what time travel, how time travel would help him, other than I think he goes forward in time. He, find... he gets a weapon that the yeah. Terminator cannot deal with. Comes back, shoots him with it. 
But what I think happens... it's more likely that he dies. In the he future also picks up a yeah, shield from the future. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why we're laughing at that. Why wouldn't that happen? He has access <laughs> to all of time. Sure. Yes, Doc wins. I think Doc wins. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more likely that he gets killed in the future. What if he has a? Sh Wait, what? No, what? It, what? he's going to a future where he doesn't have to fight to get this weapon. It would just be something he could steal or something he could even barter for. Well, the future is if well, the Terminator is there. The future he doesn't is know. He's going to have to check right? around, right? But he has infinite time, technically. So. Isn't that potentially extremely dangerous, though. Oh, sure, it could go wrong. But I mean, why would we assume? Like, what, what, what's the likelihoods? How do we even determine that? I mean... We can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to eyeball, like, an old man and his capacity to, like, in, when essentially taking a shot in the dark into the future, his ability to get what he needs without, and without, like, putting himself in danger in doing so. Because he needs to get back in his car and get it back up to a certain speed to get out, right? That's true. This is not going to be easy. Well, so. we've established that he's got the VTOL version of the DeLorean, so otherwise he wouldn't be able to get out of the forest. Is there not also the fact that if he's leaving the present in a timeline where Skynet is coming into being, then the future into which he goes is one in which Skynet has not been defeated, in which case he has to buy a gun to kill Terminators from Terminators, question mark, well, in theory, and take that back? And yeah, then he use that against like, the other. You might not men. be galaxy bringing this enough. What if he goes like, you know, a hundred thousand years into the future? What if there's no Earth at that point? Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> what but if, what if the machine? Why are we won? assuming this is the Sky Knight timeline? These are just two guys in the forest from two different universes. Why is this the Sky Knight? That's another yeah, problem. Yeah. We can't. Yeah. You know what? We can't you know I, what the future is going to be. I think we should. I have the answer. Rule that you can't actually leave the what area. The like you can't leave the forest. But you know. I have the answer, um, which is that this man is smart enough to build a time machine. I and and a time train. Right. I believe <laughs> yeah. that he could go into the past as well and develop a weapon that could destroy a robot. The robot's not yeah. indestructible. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm down I think that, well, yeah, I, I think that's actually a really good point. The pipe bomb destroys this Terminator. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he, he, I feel he like he could just be the one to kill him, though. He just goes back to his workshop or whatever. He makes something approximating a pipe bomb. The only problem is then a delivery system because yeah. I mean, yeah, so he just needs to go get a gun. Firepower. I mean, EMP the T eight hundred also has a gun. Yeah, yeah that's this what scenario. I mean. He doesn't beat the T-800 with the, like, pulse rifle. Yeah, but again, he can, he can build himself, he can bring back defenses of all kinds. <laughs> he could even have, like, a yeah, robot I, version like, of himself. I don't, I don't even I don't remember. Think that is an argument I, I think like, we're like, overestimating his capabilities here. Well, I think we're, no, I, I think you're underestimating the fact that he has infinite time to prepare as much as he needs to from resources from exactly. the past. He yeah, offensively the and defensively. An it could be an but android an dock Mando, that fires the gun. He has as much time as he needs. Effectively infinite time. Yeah. Like the, effectively the... as he controls the entire game. That's a thing. Yeah. He the necessary... decides when the fight happens. The necessary preparation likely isn't going to take him more than a year. I would be surprised if it took him more than a few months. I don't know. No, yeah, yeah. Sure. I, think so. I, like, I just think that I, if he goes think back he to the past, he wouldn't be able to develop something that, you know, instantly gives him the win when he goes well, back. Well an RPG will yeah, likely do it to. though. Yeah, yeah he can I just mean, go and might. Get... He might also just get shot by the T-800. I think the RPG has, would like, definitely... targeting systems and shit. No, of course, but what I was saying, he develops offensive and defensive. The Terminator is shooting regular exactly. guns at him, so he just needs a way to defend himself yeah, from that. We, we said this was just the regular T-800, so it would, it would have, like, a futuristic rifle, like a pulse rifle or something. If he gets the pulse I, rifle, then I Doc's got to figure out ways to, to get defenses for that, which I think he can do, especially with the access to the with, future. With enough time. Well, I mean, if, if Doc Does can create know a time... That he has a pulse rifle when he leaves? Wait, did you say... Oh. Is he going to shoot him down like, before Doc, he leaves? Doc doesn't know that T-800 has a pulse rifle when he leaves to the past or the future or whatever. Um, I guess that's true, but wouldn't Doc be doing... You just get maximum power every time to make sure he can kill whatever he's facing? I mean, all he would really need is an electromagnetic pulse of some kind. Would that be effective? Against the Terminator? Maybe. I would imagine so, yeah. Yeah, if he, get, if he can get an, an EMP, like, that's not really easy to get your hands on. But well, he, he created a time machine. He got, yeah, he could he potentially build one, machine. and that might be, uh, be very effective. I'm content effective, with yeah. his ability to build pretty much all forms of conventional force that could be applied in his time, right? 
or like yeah. around his time, oh. and then then a bit beyond that. Mm -hmm. Which means he can bring to bear the necessary firepower to destroy a T eight hundred. Whether or not he can defend himself and apply that firepower, like yeah, that's the well. the bigger question. I but I think he has so much time that he's able. He'd probably be able to figure something out. <laughs> Yep, he's got so, so much time. I just don't envision many probabilities where the T eight hundred beats him. I just don't see it. Could it even be as simple as he like he actually just goes back to what half an hour before they all all due to like arrive in the forest and just commandeers a stealth bomber and drops a nuke on the forest and then he wins and it's done. Commandeers a stealth bomber. Yeah, just... <laughs> yeah it is a magical infinite it, forest it you know, <laughs> with no animals. <laughs> Like this is a place beyond space and time, right? That they're fighting, and it's you can't just yeah, guilt free there. nuking. <laughs> well, I mean, it seems unless I'm unclear. If if I feel like most of us think it's Doc, um, yeah, he's holding I respect all the cards. The um, yeah. the T eight hundred votes, but um, it looks like the 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 Docs have it for now. And by the way, I'm I'm partial to T eight hundred. Okay, I love my Terminator. I'm just saying. We are on to the next battle. Which is, uh, Hulk is back. This time, he's got to fight the Orphan of Kars. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, uh, but I feel like Hulk is going to flatten uh, the Orphan. Hulk. I yeah. think Hulk is going to... He's going to push yeah, him Hulk into a squishy boy. paste. It's going to be over pretty yeah. yeah. You know what? I think Hulk can deal 20,000 damage in one punch. Just in one punch, probably. <laughs> <laughs> If it was uh, Mr. Frog versus Orphan of Kars, he would definitely win. <laughs> which means Hulk would win. <laughs> I love the idea that Hulk yeah. tosses him into the moon, but it activates some kind of eldritch system. But it, he's like, uh oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Calls him back up. Yeah, round one, round two, and round three. I think and it's probably all probably round three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's little orphan wings. I love how much face too. <laughs> the Hulk has so much more trouble with Mister Frog <laughs> than an eldritch creature. <laughs> <laughs> he almost oh, lost okay. to Mister Frog. It was it was kind of close. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we've got that. That fight would have, would have even more yelling though. Like they both yell a lot. Oh, oh, dude, the yelling. Well, Mr. Frog doesn't yell that much, does he? No, not Mr. Frog. Yeah, no, a lot oh, of Hulk, <laughs> Hulk and and. Uh... I was actually just envisioning the kind of commentary Mr. Frog would have for Orphan of Course, you know. <laughs> God, uh, how offended Metal sounded there. No, not Mr. Frog. <laughs> <laughs> He's tired. He wrote my <laughs> joke, <I can't. laughs> All right, we have Hercules versus Man Bear Pig. Oh, wow. That feels like I a feel creature that Hercules Bear would Pig. defeat, right? Yeah. yeah. It feels like it, yeah. but, feels like it, but uh, you know. Does Hercules beat Satan? Well... I... Does he beat Hades? <laughs> That's an equivalent, right? He's, he's yeah. only a demigod, right? So, I feel like Man Bear Pig defeated Satan, who would be Hades, so he killed a god. I think Satan's more powerful than Hades. I don't yeah, right? Like, I feel like Man Bear yeah. Pig wins this. I, I'm nervous about establishing too much precedent off of killed South Park <laughs> Satan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Saddam Hussein's had sex with them. Who said Hades is not Satan? Everyone knows that. You just you're similar, right? Evil underworld man. He, he's the Greek things. equivalent of Satan. Yeah, it's all right. And then you Go get on. actually by someone saying, "Oh, actually, Hades is an evil." Um, um, uh, yeah, in the yeah. um, case in favor of Hercules, <laughs> Hercules, I think, does kill a fire-breathing Hydra at some point, and, and a big yeah. lion yeah. also. And he he took yep. Atlas's job for a minute. While Atlas needed to like rest, yeah. oh my yeah. up the sky for a bit. Yeah. What are we feeling about round one? Like, Mamba Pig's pretty vicious. That's that's probably what Hercules yeah. is very Hercules. strong. Yeah, you just need one very punch. Strong. Like Hercules is very strong. Hercules is like half man, mm -hmm. half god. While dealing with three halves, but they're not a strong half. <laughs> <laughs> right. half man, it does half have bear, an extra half. half. Yeah, that's true. I think it seems I'm getting vibes that Hercules has got this. Is that how everyone feels? I, think I feel so. like Hercules yeah. moving around one for sure. It just I know it's well, a bit you, of a well, shit argument, but it just, just it just feels like a thing Hercules did. He defeated Man Bear Pig, you know? Yeah, he, <laughs> he beats global warming. Exactly. We're continuing the lore. Good old Les. Alright. I don't know how you guys are gonna take this one, but we gotta do it. We need to know the answers. We have Bowser versus Daredevil. 
Oh. Well, round one, Bowser wins. Yes. Um, uh, nah, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> How's oh, what's their devil going to do against them? How do we how do we Nothing. account for the Italian plumber throwing Bowser off the map? Can Daredevil do that? Uh, I don't know. The thing is that he'd have to. I I don't know about that. I don't think so. Throw a baton at him and can knock him down, and then grab him by the tail. Spin him around, around, around a few times. Spin him around. Yeah. So long, gay Bowser. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I, th Bowser. I think Bowser's got this one. One of the problems ha Daredevil has is that on Final Destination, he just doesn't have that much room to move. So mm -hmm. Bowser yeah. will probably just burn him up before he even has a chance. Yeah, yeah I think him, knocking over Daredevil the might have round two, though. Round two might be for Daredevil because he's got his baton so he can start swinging around. Yeah. But uh, even then, he's going Bowser up against an sure. eight-foot or nine-foot tall dragon, you know? like uh, well, I guess, yeah. do we believe that the baton could, like, if he threw it hard enough, that it would kill Bowser? Hmm. Well, I think it would stun him, which would uh, kind of... Uh, oh, wait, hold on. How do you... Uh, in Mario 64, it's been a long time since I played In Mario 64, you throw him onto bombs, and it still takes five or six of those to get yeah. rid of Bowser. Uh, and there are no bombs in the forest. Oh, yeah. I don't think that ever no can bring enough force to that. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so sorry about yeah, so in the no. forest, he doesn't have a way to kill him. Yeah. And so then once we're talking round three... Just, you know... <laughs> Round three, Bowser, you know, Giga Bowser definitely yep. wins. And yeah, the Cooper, absolutely. His whole army. Yeah. yeah. Bowser breathed oh, yeah. fire. It's legions of turtles. Did I was out, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Now we have. Does War. Bowser have a single blue shell, you know? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, we have Worf versus Roy Batty. Well. Uh, geez. Worf is very strong. So is Roy. Is he as strong so as Roy a is or also... Aragorn? Well, yeah. no, Aragorn. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, you know, I just feel like I'm not familiar enough with uh, Klingon power levels. How it's strong hard. is a Klingon? So, let's say round two, we've got the phasers again, right? Can Roy oh, survive shit, the yeah, phaser Two shot? and three go to Wolf, yeah. I think. Yeah, so yeah, then yeah, it's, it's, over. it's already over. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Roy. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> yeah, but he got further no. than Master Chief. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's it was funny. Yeah. Is Wolf could have been taken out so far. Like, if he'd bumped into T1000 at the beginning, he'd be dead, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not in the round three, though. There's that to be honest with you, T1000's kind of lasted longer than I thought he would. I guess it's just he needs to bump into plasma and fire, like Charizard. Yeah. Would Charizard beat T one thousand? Probably, right? Charizard would have beaten T one thousand. Probably. Is the fire hot enough? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably it is. Yeah, Field probably. Game. Yeah. And he can fly, which means that the T one thousand is not going to be able to reach him. T one thousand would be very annoyed. Yeah, Fuck. yeah. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> Doesn't fit. He has to stand there and watch <laughs> as he melts. All right, we have T one thousand might win round for you though in that, but. The Doctor versus Spock. Hmm. Spock's got round one. Sorry, Doctor, you ain't Spock winning that. One. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. is is Spock not fucked there because he's against the TARDIS? Yeah, yeah it's the time travel again. Yeah, it's yeah. time travel bullshit again. Well, I mean, the TARDIS is even time better than space. the DeLorean. Yes. Is there any time travel in the uh, the original Star Trek series? Like, there can the original is. Enterprise go back in time? There's yeah, but I don't think they can control it. it in the forest. That's control, the though. No more, right, yeah. even if we gave them the round three stuff, right? Like, the Enterprise can't control it. They just suddenly get thrown back in time sometimes. Yeah, that's and not also, something he can use. Them. In round two, it's not something that he can use on a whim, right? Like, whereas yep. the TARDIS is base equipment for Doctor Who. It's, it's <sighs> very skilled at it. To be honest with you, it's a bit weird, because there is an episode I saw semi-recently, it's in season one, where they actually, they, like, crack time travel. And I'm pretty sure the Kirk says something along the lines of like, "This may be useful someday," or something like that. <laughs> and uh, the person I was watching it with, we were just like, "What the fuck?" Like, have they just have they just got time travel now? But I don't know. Isn't that... there something? Now I think about it. There's a temporal prime directive, isn't there? So even if they could, Spark would probably be like, "No, it's against the rules. We can't kill Baby Doctor." And then, well, uh, he loses. I mean, the Doctor doesn't doctor. want to kill anybody. You know, that's his thing. If these these are always going to be tough conversations because of the, the time travel makes it complicated. But we kind of we can't just disable mm -hmm. time travel because that knocks out so many characters, especially in heavyweight. We get a bunch of uh, power levels that are absolutely yeah. nuts. 
Um, I am well, round two. What can't... It's got to be the Doctor, right? Because he's going to be able to fuck with Spock in every way. But yeah. when Spock gets the yeah, Enterprise, we'd... that's when it gets a bit tougher. Can the Enterprise deal meaningful damage to the TARDIS? Hmm. Uh... It's going to be hard for them to shoot it because it, it, like, you can just, yeah, you know. Well, again, I mean, we're very in, small we're... target. They can trouble with the setup into a different because... time and they won't be able to follow him. You know? Yeah, we have... that. You can once again time limited. You can like land inside the Enterprise with the TARDIS. That's true. That too, yeah. And then they'll be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And then he comes out with a minigun, oh. as the Doctor would do. <laughs> or a bomb. I mean, if he does that, I think the the crew of the Enterprise probably beats him, but he can do other shit. Oh sure, yeah. Think it's out, like... letter, the Doctor. <laughs> you think it's not his convoluted Doctor Who style way of defeating Spock, you know, and. That's that. Are the two doctors going to be at the final round? They might. They very well <laughs> might, which is going to be really weird. But um, it seems to me that the TARDIS is almost the ultimate time traveling device. Like, the Enterprise does have that capabilities have, that relate yeah. to it, and obviously the DeLorean does, but it seems like the TARDIS is the best one for control and abilities. Not necessarily yes. in terms of its firepower, but. I mean, the Doctor has a lot of ways to sabotage people's ships when he has full control of the TARDIS. It's the also thing. It's an episode of, the, is it the Christopher Eccleston one where Rose looks into the heart of the TARDIS and then uses the power that it gives her to eliminate basically an entire fleet of Daleks or something? I think that happens in one of those episodes. That's the finale like, season it has one, yeah. destructive potential. Well, series one, but yes. Uh... The Enterprise runs on dark matter, their technology is basically space magic. I don't know if that helps them against the TARDIS, though, which is pretty much absolutely magical. Like, it's, how it's, do you, uh, yeah. in, in round three, how do you defeat the Doctor gets in the TARDIS and goes away and comes back once he has solved how to beat Spock? Like, what's the... what? What do we do? Spock gets into his Enterprise and does the same thing. But it, the thing is, the Enterprise's yep. time travels nowhere near the kind of control you get with the TARDIS. At least he that's the impression back, I got. He an ancient ancestor of, you know, uh, and he doesn't exist. The Doctor can come back wherever he wants, whenever yeah. he wants. Yeah, I feel with like we've got to give it wants. to the uh, the Doctor on this one. Yeah. So sorry, Spock. Finally, something that can beat the Enterprise, though. Yeah, that's all <laughs> of our uh, track characters are dead now. They all died. It's tragic. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> How could you? <laughs> All right. Oh, well, no. This is another one of those ones that everyone's thought about. Like, oh, if these two characters happen to meet up, you gotta know. It's like, how would it work? What would they do? But finally, we get to theorize it. It is Mario versus Paul Atreides. If you got invincibility. What does that mean, like the voice. in terms of the mind control? Well, if is the invincibility like infinite? Does it last forever? No. Uh, not forever, but it, it doesn't need to last forever, right? He, he only needs it for X amount of time, and he wins. And I figure it makes him invulnerable to mind control. Yeah, because the star normally makes you invincible against like everything. Yeah, well, like, yeah falling falling down, I guess. Can oh. Atreides outrun him? Does Mario enough, get or, the like, cat suit long enough? Yeah, the I mean, yeah, he, Paul he, wins he, in round goes, one and two. Atreides has some um, like army and like legions and fleets and shit. In, well, in, yeah, that, that's what I mean. Like, I don't know how. Even with the yeah, star, that, I'm not the sure how Mario is winning anything against the fleet, right? Like, right, but that, oh, oh, that's all round uh, three. I, sorry, stuff. against the star, but the but star it, doesn't last forever. Yeah, it lasts no, like it fifteen. It's only seconds. for like a few seconds or a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so and he, he has he millions. Needs he needs to work and fast. Needs you you to can keep up an orbital and, bombardment and, uh, for I, pretty I long. Now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm um, curious about oh, round, well, round two. Um, is Mario fucked because Paul has his shield and then he's got to get close enough to him where Paul can use the voice? Here's a question. Uh, yeah. at, at base level, does Mario have Cappy? Because if he has Cappy, then like that makes him quite powerful. I don't. I think I would consider that a base no, level base. thing of his. No? Uh, no. Well, so here's a question. Uh, if Mario, you know, like in a fight and Final Destination is just regular Mario, does uh, round two mean that he has like the uh, fire flower or like, you know, I think, like sort of the. Sure. I think the fire flower makes a lot more sense than giving him anything. Like, mm. you wouldn't get flood because it's I a very game specific, you know? 
Yeah, I think he has the base power ups in the in the second round, right? So he has the the mushroom, the flower, and maybe yeah, the star, ice. perhaps. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I figured the star would be final. That's like round three. Yeah, I feel like the star's guess. a bit too much. The standard loader, I think he should be fire flower Mario at, the, at round two. But the thing is, Paul gets his shield and his uh, knife, and obviously he still has the voice. Yeah. yeah. But all uh, Mario has to do is jump on his head. I don't know if he can. Um, <laughs> no. Can he, can he <laughs> slowly jump shield. on his head? Yeah, the I, I think Paul is gutting him in both round one and two. He's just the he's slow ground pound penetrates the yeah. shield. Is that what we're doing? I if it works. <laughs> <laughs> over and over. Bah, bah, bah. Right? Uh, he's telling him to jump and kill himself in round one, and then he's yeah. stabbing him to death in round two. And, so, and Paul absolutely wins round three as well. He is a fucking yeah. god. He has legions and plenty yeah, I feel like Paul's everything. got it. Yeah, the only way around it yeah. is if, it, like, the Benny Gesserit secretly trained Mario to be another candidate for the quiz. <laughs> That's totally canon to Mario Lord. Which means we're That's in so round, boring anymore. round three. We're really getting down to our uh, our pro mm -hmm. boys now. First fight, Ratchet and Clank versus Arbiter. Oh um, so oh. round one, I think Arbiter's got yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, but like, honestly, I don't know. In round two, I think Rash's weapons outclass Arbiter's weapons. <laughs> I think Arbiter's gonna, gonna be like, to "What the fuck?" When he gets a tornado of fucking <laughs> rockets and shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, he just doesn't I, stop shooting. I think, uh, <laughs> I think, like in the forest, even with like active camo, it's just like Ratchet's got some really good weapons. But the thing is, I yeah, think yeah. you're absolutely right. But round three, surely that's Arbiter again. Exactly. Round three, Ratchet and Clank's ship is not going to beat a Covenant no. Uh, no. carrier. No. That's not, not going to win. Man. So I think that means that... Uh, Isn't yeah, it crazy how, how clean those fights were? Like, it's just like, yeah, he won, yeah. then he won, then he won. Sorry, Ratchet, you're out. <laughs> we need a few more of these so that we can <laughs> pick yeah. up the pace. We're getting closer to heavyweights. That's where everyone wants to be, okay? Yeah. I do want to be there, but I'm, it's almost 4 a.m. and I'm really tired. Go as fast as you can, Metal, I swear. Captain America versus T-1000. Uh, it's round one, T-1000 wins. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. I think in all circumstances... I'm sorry, but round two, what can Cap yeah. do? Round two is the same. It's not a lot. Yeah, yeah, Cap yeah. can't beat him, really. Oh, wait, it's 11 ain't doing shit. The shield's not gonna yeah. do shit. As much as they, there's yeah, reason... It's a GG. There's reason to make Cap win in round three, right? Because he has access to a lot yeah. of like ordnance and stuff. But I just, I'm sorry. Round one and two go to the T1000. Yeah, he he would put up a good fight, but he he would lose. Is yeah. it? Is that anything to think about, about in round one? He might melt him. I don't know about that one. <laughs> melt him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good try there, guy. That is... <laughs> is there anything in round one to think about? I don't well, think so. I, I just like the T1000. Do you think he's venom? <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, just make the right. <laughs> that messes him up. <laughs> um, ooh, what are we dealing with here? We got Santa Claus is back, and he's fighting Fox oh, yeah. McCloud. Yeah, well, Fox out of his match. Yeah, I think yeah, Santa's as broken as we've been making him. Santa Santa, wins Santa's easily. faster than Fox for uh, sure. Although I think, I think seeing the R wing fight Santa's sleigh might be <laughs> really funny. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Love I just picture that. if Fox blew up the sleigh, you'd, you'd see it in the distance exploding, then Santa would have jumped from the sleigh onto the R-Wing. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> ho, ho. Yeah. We, uh, I think we're going with the Santa sweep again. He's one of the different... Yeah, yeah. But what's going to happen when he bumps into a time traveler? That's... Oh, uh, mm. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, they're going to have to be fast enough so they can uh, get through the <clears> stuff. <throat> Next is Ridley versus Luffy. Mm. Uh, does that mean that Rid Well, so fire. What does fire do against Luffy? Hmm. I um, presume it's effective. Good I, is there any reason why it wouldn't be effective? Not that I can think of. Being rubber doesn't really defend you against fire. It would melt. Burns him. Yeah, this is... Uh, it's like a gap in knowledge. Yeah, like, I, I don't know, to me, the, the fire seems, like, compelling as an argument for, for like, Ridley. The chat seem convinced it's Luffy that's got this. Like, Luffy is very, very durable, but, like, 
Mm. I don't, well, I don't know. Luffy like hits really hard and he's extremely durable, so I think he might still just yeah, win but see, anyway. They're, they're all bringing up the Gear Five stuff. They're talking about him later on, not the one version that we agreed. Yeah, yeah, you get like, like, like whenever someone says as well, it's like you're not, you're not, you don't understand this. Is this? It's like which one? Like there's like a million of, can, depending on the character. Can Ridley like do anything yeah. if he just gets like rushed down on? Like he opens um, his mouth to breathe fire and he just gets punched in the face by a comically large rubber fist. I mean that that would be effective. <laughs> like I mean you know that that would that seems like it would work. I guess the thing is, like, round three, if you've got uh, Ridley and the Space Pirates all together, it's like, well, then that probably beats Luffy, right? That's probably, that'll probably do it. That's just too many people to deal with. Uh, it says Luffy is immune to lightning damage, and I'm not sure how that's pertinent to what okay. we Okay, I mean, <laughs> like, alright. <laughs> I don't know when lightning damage came up. <laughs> I guess lightning burns things would be my guess at the link, but I don't know. So it said you can't just like ignore Luffy canon is. when it comes to characters like Luffy. It's like, wait, why are you saying it just for Luffy? Like, like then we have to go back to the Hulk and we, find. We've you also know... ignored canon for loads of characters. We we've we ignored canon for Indiana Jones. We've ignored canon for anything Star Wars, pretty much, because the majority of Star Wars lore is terrible now. We've ignored canon for um, uh, Terminator and Predator, somewhat. Like, yeah, we've been doing that for the whole thing. I don't know where you've been, but like, yeah. Luffy can't be. The, the god creature that's not he was not entered into this competition in middleweight with that in in it was it was it was season one of live action luffy powers that's what we were talking about it's right that like, was the intention and that's what i don't think he needs know. to be because i think with his speed i don't know that ridley can put the necessary damage on him quick enough before he just gets overwhelmed i mean i'm i'm happy to concede luffy wins i just uh i wouldn't know how he deals yeah. with fire or not i didn't have an answer for that Mm. Well, he fire can damage him, but as I said, he's but stupid. He's durable. still got his own counters of his own. That's the thing. He can still throw punches and do shit. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And if we were agreeing that plasma weapons and stuff would be useful earlier, right? Again, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Which I figure they would be, right? It, plasma. It's about the potency yeah. of the attack, though, right? Like, I don't know. Uh, can Ridley would need to cook him in an instant before Luffy can punch him in the face. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. Well, but in round Luffy one, needs to yell. Does he need to like yell his attack? Right. Like, right. But that's this, in but... round one. Once we get to round two, Ridley is flying. Right. Um, yeah, Ridley can go like one, really can't. high up in the air, and yeah, Ridley, which like is like isn't that, that kind of huge of an advantage against a rubber opponent. I I guess it's it just makes it harder to take him out though. Like it means that Ridley's got more chances to recover before getting thrown off screen. Like marginally, <laughs> but it, again, like Luffy's attack doesn't really change with distance. It just maybe takes the fist a little bit longer to reach. Correct. And Luffy is faster <laughs> than Ridley at base. Or at least I'm assuming he is. I guess mm. I don't know anything about Ridley, but Ridley doesn't seem like the quickest motherfucker around. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's fairly fast, but you know. Fair enough. But probably not as fast as Luffy throwing yeah. a punch. Luffy have it? Okay. Yeah, it I sounds think he like he probably it. wins, yes, but um... I, maybe I'm uninformed. I don't know. All right. We do the best we can. Uh, hence the big cast. So we have a likelihood of someone knowing something about each of the matchups. For example, Ryu versus Doc Brown. I think time travel. That one's yeah, already uh, Doc's got it, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is out of here. Ryu fans just eating. I don't blame you guys. Don't worry mm -hmm. about it. I Ooh. mean, it is frustrating, right? Like, you know? <laughs> I mean, the yeah, character I'm... makes it so far, then Trust runs me. into a time traveler. Everyone and here has seen their faves go down, right? It has to happen in order to progress hasn't happened to me yet but Ooh. you know that's wait is it someone who's actually santa in, the, claus guy? in the fight yeah is your santa claus i have no idea dude <laughs> i don't know who's in the heavyweights uh oh yeah fair. In, in, this tier, the in this tier i guess i was rooting for mr frog so i guess i am heartbroken but <laughs> yeah. i don't know yeah next is the hulk versus go. hercules now this is yeah, interesting wow um, still think hulk hulk's wins. probably winning this though yeah hulk they're wins. both really strong 
Yeah, but the whole <laughs> has the Hulk survive. held up the sky? I don't, I don't know. Think if so. Hulk could like survive a nuclear blast, do we <laughs> believe that Hercules could before he gets his ultra god powers? Probably not. Probably not. Hercules <laughs> so... held up the world. I so, think, yeah, yeah. He's, but you know, he, he actually gets terrible. poisoned at some point. So like he he's weaker. Like like he doesn't have the same physical resilience. He gets poisoned because I think he wears like a poisoned cloak, and then he sets himself on fire to die. So you know there is that. Yeah. <laughs> Hulk probably yeah. just wins Hercules on durability. Is not durable. Yeah. I feel like Hulk's got oh, round one and two. We're gonna, gonna assume he's gonna drink poison in this fight, or <laughs> no, no? It's just that he can be actually damaged. Like the whole. Can't really. Well, yeah, I mean, all that matters okay. is the yeah. is the two rounds. So, poison. correct me if I'm wrong. To deal with Hulk in the comics, they just shot him out into space, right, to get him off Earth. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Which is funny. Oh shit! You need, you need to put him in the thunder. He has forgive the punt like comical levels of durability. It's yeah. really yeah. silly. Isn't Hercules in the MCU now? Oh, uh, don't tell uh, me that. Yes, he is. <laughs> Uh, we, we might find this out one day. Oh, yeah, they might give us the answer. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I, I think it seems the Hulks have it, uh, from what I'm getting in here. Yeah. yeah. Hulk's about to go up against a time traveler. He's going to get fucked. <laughs> yep. They're all going to get fucked over by the time travelers. It's happening. Until mm -hmm. the time travelers fight each other. Um, Unless Santa can do something about it. Oh. He might be fast enough to beat Doc, actually. <laughs> we have Bowser versus Worf. Oh, shit. Well, Bowser. Round uh, one's Bowser, but yeah. round one's three Bowser. are going to Worf, surely. Because we have oh, phasers. The phasers going to fuck phaser. Bowser up. Round three, Is absolutely, it? and round two, yeah. Yeah, the phasers are really powerful. It depends okay. where you're drawing it from, but obviously in Smash Brothers, Bowser can take hits from Fox's laser gun, and that doesn't completely wipe him out. I mean, the Fox's laser gun in Smash is fucking useless. <laughs> yeah, it's crap. But like... yeah, a phaser can disintegrate. <laughs> like in a yeah, fa shot. phasers at max power could disintegrate, yeah. So they. Yeah. I feel like Bowser's not taking that. And then it's the Enterprise. Is there any magical free... property in his shell? I do love the idea him from this? of the Enterprise attacking Bowser's castle. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would be good. <laughs> Like, even if he's uh, Giga Bowser, he's still getting blasted from orbit. I think, uh, oh my God. I'm sorry, but I, I think Wolf has got it. He's still in. This man, I I, I was wrong. I thought the Star I'm Trek guys were out. This. The Wolf is how still does, happy. Um, how does Bowser get around yeah. in Mario Galaxy? Uh, he, oh shit, I cannot believe that it's, he's got his giant uh, ship, right? So his giant right. ship versus the Star Trek Enterprise, which one wins? The Star yeah, Trek the Enterprise. Star Trek Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the Enterprise, I think. I don't know about that. that the Enterprise has uh, significant shields and firepower. I don't know if Bowser's going to be able to put up with the Enterprise. Nah, fuck mm. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You could hope to. <laughs> it won't do like anything. A photon no. is supposed to be more powerful than a nuke, right? Like a, a single photon is supposed to be more powerful than a nuke. So. Yeah, uh, these things are incredibly powerful ships. Yeah. Oh no. Paul Atreides is on such a streak, but he's against the Doctor. Which, oh uh, my. I, feel like, uh, I mean, what's he going to do, right? Round one. Does the voice he... work on the Doctor? Oh, sure, but that's only round one, right? Two and three, I think, go to the Doctor. <laughs> yeah. We're committed yeah. to the conclusion that he can't yeah, find the Doctor before the Doctor he's not gets fast away enough. in time I, like, travels. I genuinely think uh, the Flash can do it, and then some other characters, mm -hmm. Santa could probably do it. I don't Santa. think Paul can do it. Yeah. So this could be a bit fucky, but theoretically, obviously Paul has foresight, and by the time Paul goes blind, it's quite powerful foresight. If Paul and it's it, like the future in Dune works like you're looking at down multiple strands of possible futures, and it's not necessarily true that you can change any of them, but theoretically it's possible that you can. If Paul has got perfect foresight, can he act in such a way as to always put himself in a position to counter the Doctor as the Doctor is coming toward him forward in time in order that they always meet on terms that are advantageous to Paul? Problem is, that he can go just go back in time and do shit to him like before he was born. That's true. Okay, uh, fuck that. <laughs> I can see the doctor strangling I'm a baby. It's just so rude. Yeah, it is rude. Like, but you got to respect power levels. Okay, the Hulk's powers are rude to Homer Simpson, but you know we just we have to allow it. That's so. pretty true. Yeah. 
the doctor is through. We're waiting for Doc Brown and the doctor to meet up. We still gotta wait. Uh, round four. Oh, we've got it finally. Arbiter versus yeah. the T one thousand. Okay, well, Arbiter wins. Yeah, yeah. I we we so. already discussed this kind of. Yeah. It's already over. Yep, big old T one thousand. T one thousand. T one thousand. Yeah. T one thousand. Yeah. Round yeah. one. The first round. Yeah. yeah. But Arbiter's yeah, yeah. got the too many round weapons for the T one thousand to counter in round two. And then yep. Arbiter's yeah. fire if, round was too good. If we pretend the plasma gray blew him apart, then Arbiter just has to walk up to him and just cook him with the energy sword, just like you know, like like with a knife yeah. and butter, just keep going back and forth and back <laughs> and forth until it just melts. Yeah. <laughs> He's out. And then obviously round three, he's got the- he just glass him. Dude, yeah. Skynet is not ready for the Covenant. <laughs> <laughs> um, these feel a little easier to the point where I don't have to get the images. Santa Claus versus Luffy? Is it just Santa Claus? It's just Santa, Claus. I think right? so, yeah. yeah. Luffy's yep. finally met his match. Well, finally. Yeah, because- Santa these... have a bladed weapon to hand, you know? How's it going? <laughs> Fuck him up. Uh, Doc Brown and Hulk. <laughs> Is Hulk fast enough to get to Doc before he escapes? That he might be. Oh, he, to be. Might, he might get be. To By dock? the time that he's lifting off, he could be jumping. He could definitely him. leap up. Yeah, he could just yeah. jump and smash the car before. I, I he oh, up. I think Doc might have had his match too. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. if it's Doctor Who, I, I think he could probably get in the TARDIS before the Hulk gets. Oh, that's mm -hmm. still probably. But there's it's... a car in a forest that's got to get up to a. Yeah, he's got a pretty yeah, high yeah, speed. He's got to launch, and that's the thing. The Hulk has got a decent. The Hulk, amount of time. Really the Hulk will fast. hear and that Hulk too. Hulk can jump really far. Yeah. He'll jump really far. He'll get him mm -hmm. before he can get away. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're we all got agreed, one of them. right? Oh, sorry, this is the wrong <laughs> image, uh, but uh... <laughs> it, it yeah. technically depends on like exactly how far away they spawn from each other. But I think the Hulk. Gets I like the thing is, Hulk can just jump so far, so quick. You, yeah, but you if they know. spawn like you know, five hundred the... miles from each other, uh, the he's not hearing a car, so he just yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think I, the I, spirit uh, of the forest is that they're fairly close, not yeah. too That's far. Yeah, like, like not right next to each other, but not too far. And and mm -hmm. you know, I I do think that the sounds it'll make, Hulk will be like, well, what the fuck, and then yeah. jump, and you'll already see it starting to lift off, yeah. and then Doc will be like, here like, I go like again. If... I'm gonna win, and then a giant if, if... green man will pull him out of the thing and toss him into space. <laughs> Eats his feet. Doesn't like destroy the car, just pulls him out. Something like that, they would hear each other, like from spawning distance. Sorry, right, I didn't catch that. That was a question. Uh... Uh, like, like if if one of them screams, the other one would hear them, like that sort of distance, maybe. Yeah, I like think so. within screaming distance. Yeah, sure. With, that's a good yeah. way to put it. Yeah. Uh, we got Wolf <laughs> versus the Doctor. So Wolf round one. And then Wolf I think it's the, one, it's the yeah. fight we had with Spock, right? Oh, over again. So. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's it's Spock. Damn. Yep. The Doctor's just wiping out Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> As it should. Jealousy. Is that an indication of which is the better sci fi? Discuss in the comments. <laughs> They've both the been destroyed. destroyed. <laughs> oh, we're really coming down to it now. Arbiter versus Santa Claus. Oh boy. Sorry, Arbiter. Oh, sorry, Arbiter. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, unfortunately for Arbiter, Santa Claus has got him. Mm -hmm. yep. He did way better than I thought he no, would. No, yeah, he got really far. <laughs> Good for him. Um, Didn't know Santa was such a. And then we have the question of Hulk versus the Doctor. The I Doctor's mean, too uh, fast, I think. The Doctor's got to yeah, literally like, like, open a door and close it, and then the, the Hulk yeah, can't do shit. Yeah. So, well, and like, they can go back and stop him from getting the fucking serum or whatever. Theoretically, let's say the Hulk is able to close before the TARDIS fully phases out. If he like grabs the TARDIS while it's phasing and starts like shaking it around, what happens? So I probably it need could a... potentially smash it apart. Or... I need a Doctor Who aficionado, but as far as I remember, there's like nothing you can do to the TARDIS. He can grab onto it, which will actually mm -hmm. travel him with the Doctor. Oh shit, that is Wait. actually a thing. And the thing is, <laughs> well, that, that would be very useful. Oh yeah, because that's that's uh -oh. actually ooh. <laughs> but that, okay. that, that, that relies on the Hulk knowing and pinpointing exactly where the TARDIS is and managing yeah. to jump the you're entire right, distance right. in the short time it takes to dematerialize. Hear it once. Well, it, it's worth keeping yeah. in mind though. The Hulk, like like slamming down that DeLorean as it's leaving, makes a lot of sense to me. Like that happens in a lot of mode, yes. but. The idea that he sees the police box, he goes to smash it, he can't smash it, he doesn't know what the fuck's going on, he's confused, and then it slowly disappears 
like is he grabbing it is he holding on to it or is he just sort of looking at it like what the fuck it's like immune to my punch i imagine he's grabbing it because he's or is it already gone because it's mostly silent thing. right like it's just the opening of a door is it silent from the outside no pretty no much, it yeah. makes noise no it, yeah i thought it was uh, pretty loud i don't think it's it's, it's so that loud, loud but it makes noise um, another thing to keep in mind is the only person who survived holding onto it is someone who can't die in universe in Doctor Who. But the Hulk, he's pretty durable. Like the person the who was hanging on can't die. Well, I was gonna say the person is Captain Jack in Doctor Who that does it, but he doesn't get like disintegrate or anything. He just quote unquote mm -hmm. dies. And I feel like the Hulk could tank it. Yeah. I know that's a bit. The whip, the whipping aliens doesn't go with the TARDIS though in in Blink. Oh and yeah, because they kind of they, they tried to it, grab they? onto it. Um. I'm not sure how to judge that. I, it's confusing to me, <laughs> like how it all works. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just fascinated by the idea of the Hulk grabbing onto the TARDIS as it flies through time and space. It's just fun. It's a lovely idea. I just can't like it's the number of times he will miss if we're running this in multiple simulations. Like I can't see him this being a reliable tactic for him. Yeah, I don't know how good is the Hulk's hearing. <laughs> oh, and apparently well, we'd love Clara to see the... survived it. Okay, yeah, she's like. She's not even in the Hulk can do it. The Hulk can survive it. But would he grab it? I think it is fair to say that you would be like, if my punches aren't working, I want to fiddle with this thing, try and pick it up, and then he would be attached to it. And he'd he'd probably be terrified at first. Like, what the fuck is it? But then he'd hold on. Mm -hmm. And then the doctor would be like, why the what the and then the, the doctor mm -hmm. can't exit the TARDIS. So I'm not sure what happens at that point if he knows the Hulk is outside, you know? Is he aware of stowaways of this form? Um The Doctor was I don't know if he has a camera that would like show it, but I think he's a he has awareness of like the outside world from the TARDIS's uh, instruments. I'm just not sure if it would tell him like, there like, is a giant radioactive that monster that's attached itself to the TARDIS. I'm not sure if it would tell him that. <laughs> yeah, they like they can feel the shaking and shit, right? Well, and if, someone just uh, said like, can he just go to space at that point? It's like the Hulk can survive space, from what I've gathered. Um, yeah, he is yeah. stupid durable. He can yeah. go like. Super close to a sun, I guess, and wait for him to cook. <laughs> Text Gary. I don't know. Um. So what do we do with this? <laughs> if... Is this a chat? It, it seems could be, it could likely. Be. Yeah, let's pull. Frustrating it. to say, we but it seems likely that Hulk loses. I just I can't chat. believe because... we're nearly at the point where both the time travelers have been booted before the end. That's crazy. Oh. So <laughs> there's there's a small number of scenarios in which the Hulk actually even grabs on in the first place, right? Yeah. And yeah. there's um, an even smaller number in which he finds a way to then kill the Doctor afterwards. I felt yeah, convinced I by... I thought it was yeah. you that convinced me, Theo, that, that he would you would punch it at first, and then he probably would grab it because oh. he's frustrated. Yes, that, 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 that's what my... Uh, yeah, that's my line of argument, if he was to reach it. But the question is, how consistently does oh, he actually okay. reach yeah. the TARDIS before the it phases of him out? doing that are so small that it's almost a redundant question, because... I like, agree. He wouldn't. Yeah. You'd have to hear it, and within like basically three seconds, it takes the TARDIS to dematerialize. Hulk has to traverse the entire distance completely accurately and grab it. And I'm, yeah. I, I, I can't see him doing that very often. I, yeah. I assume Doc wins more time than he loses for sure. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like we, I would. I would we've... love to see the Doctor Who in in uh, intro though with the Hulk like flying through the time tiss and holding onto the TARDIS. The Hulk is like extremely fast, from what I understand. But oh, the yeah. problem isn't speed. I think it's senses, like. How often does he actually pick up on the TARDIS, the sound of the TARDIS going anywhere to even know there's somewhere he needs to be? It look it looks like yeah. then that we've decided the Doc wins. Uh, sorry, Doctor Who. I think he, I think Doctor Who wins. Yeah. Mm. All right. Frustrates me, but yeah. you know, I mean, it doesn't really frustrate. I'm sorry, fine with either. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. How, well, I think chat uh, relatively possibly split on this. I'm not sure. In any case, that means the final battle of middleweight is the Doctor versus Santa. And Santa <laughs> wins. Oh, man. And Santa, pl Santa, Santa plucked wins, him yeah. right out of the TARDIS. <laughs> so, well, how does that run? So, like, Santa on round two? Because round one, Santa's got it. Yeah. And then round two, he's fast enough to grab him. He's, he's fast enough, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And he knows when he's well, sleeping and when he's awake. You know, a lot of, pe a lot of <laughs> people... Is we've... we've... A lot of people were hoping We've for We've determined it. that Santa is the Flash, so... It's... If you time... Does, does, is time traveling an act that gets you coal in your stocking? Is, is time traveling an act? <laughs> time travels naughty, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> does that get you on the naughty list? Here's the Doctor enter the TARDIS, and he's, like, preternaturally aware, because it's like, oh, yeah. 
I have some coal to deliver. Can you believe it? We are almost starting the heavyweights. He's, he's born which, so shimny on the TARDIS and climbs in. Of the heavyweights, Santa has indeed been added. Been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Santa, high. dude. <laughs> well, I was curious if, how he's going to match up against some of these others, you know? Because yeah. he's a fan favorite. I just need, like, two minutes to set up, so if you discuss something, uh, anything. Well, actually, oh, well, I'll be... I've got a good question that we can discuss about round two. Is there anyone who could have beaten the Doctor other than Santa? Mm. Hmm. I don't remember mm. the bracket well enough to look through all of well, them. I, th I think the challenge was they needed to be fast enough, right? That was like the only way they were going to be able to pull yeah. it off. Yeah. And the Hulk was fast enough to grab the DeLorean, but not the to make the difference significantly enough times on the. Uh, yeah, I think I think other than Santa, Hulk was probably the fa fastest out of the lot. I can't think of anyone who would be faster. Yeah. At least. Yeah, because in heavyweight, we'll be dealing with characters. I think anyway that can travel through time. Just being themselves, you know? <laughs> it's gonna get real complicated. There will be some people in here. I mean, we haven't seen Batman yet. You know he's in heavyweight. So it's like, what's yeah. Batman gonna do against him? It's like, oh, well, you know, don't count him out. But we are, chat, you can't have Batman win everything, okay? I know you want to. The key is oh, to put him boy. against other fan favorite characters, I think. They gotta choose. Like Sonic, yeah, for example. Time just... Batman's even in this tier. Because, um, there's good reason for Batman to be in heavyweights. It's, it's, yeah, it's the prep time thing. He's a he can be a lot of heavyweights with hyper. Yeah, like his tier three is going to be really difficult to beat. But the thing is, he's against people that are really fucking difficult to beat. Yeah, Jay's totally right. Mister Frog would fuck up the Doctor. <laughs> oh God, he's so fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what the Doctor would think. Yeah, you just look at him and be like, Oh God, a monstrosity. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I like your time machine. <laughs> Still can't believe we got Ridley, but not Samus. Curious. Hmm. 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 Let us all. Hmm. I swear hmm. to God, if I see Goku in here, I'm going to be upset. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're about to find Why? out. How could it not be in here? Yeah. I know he has to be, but Goku is the bane of all power scaling discussions for reasons I'm sure we'll find out. This uh, is the one everyone's been waiting for, right? We're well, if he's here. losing, he's just gonna go Super Saiyan 17 now. Wow. So the problem is that's just real. Like I know. People keep trying to do, like, using, like, characters with really complex, specific niche abilities to beat Goku, but there's precedent in-universe for just beating that through sheer power level. So, yeah. <laughs> what do you, like... He he overpowers stopping time. Like I'm sorry. <laughs> this does. is why we need to stop with Japanese. <laughs> he's dead. No, anyway, let him, let him cook. To kick off <laughs> the heavyweight battle, oh. here we have as our first brawl: Doctor Manhattan versus Cthulhu. Oh Jeez. my god! <laughs> <laughs> How do you even oh, begin? Oh, All right. Uh, so, how's, how's Cthulhu fitting on the platform? Fit, doesn't even fit. <laughs> is Doctor Manhattan okay as he looks at Cthulhu? Probably That's not. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> just, just yeah. Doctor Manhattan go insane if he sees Cthulhu. They're actually yeah, buddies. His brain will just every weekend. <laughs> how how ascended is his consciousness? I I feel oh, like Doctor Manhattan's got the got the tools to be able to look at Cthulhu and just be like. <laughs> the, the oh, day no. is. I don't. Less I don't think I'm convinced. Like, it's the 25th of May, 2024. Oh, I'm no. looking at an L. If he, uh, if he can feel emotions, then I think he's susceptible to becoming mad. Uh, yeah. Looking I, at people. I, I don't get think... through specifically has like powers as well. Like he could make his fucking brain melt. I am willing to say I don't think he would get brain cooked as easily as an average person. I think oh, you no. have quite some oh. resistance to it. Does, can, can't Dr. I, Manhattan like just uh, do like reality bending things, can just change stuff on, on, on a web? Also, well, the reason why we have thing? to deal with the no, madness what, what, aspect what's... first is because of the fact that like the aura, the existence of Cthulhu, if, if Dr. Manhattan is made aware of him, the madness aspect determines what can happen next. We need to know what happens to yeah, Manhattan. Yeah. Mm. Um... And yeah, I'm and also to say that I think he would be susceptible to it if he is. Well, like so a he's hippie. uniquely more susceptible, as Jay just pointed out. Manhattan's going to be aware of Cthulhu in the universe before he can even see him, 
as in like in a bad way, mm, like right. for his own mental state. Which means that if yeah. they spawn on opposite sides of Earth, Cthulhu is able to have an effect on him before Doctor Manhattan's in a position to do anything about him. Mm -hmm. Um, now, and same goes for in the though I guess in the forest he would see him. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I mean, I want to be clear here because everyone's gonna feel like, wait, what, don't you know Manhattan? It's like, of course, that's why he's in heavyweight. Okay, Manhattan is one of the most <laughs> fucking powerful creatures in all of fiction. I understand like, that. Cthulhu is also one of the most powerful creatures in all of fiction. Well, he has an element that I don't know that Manhattan can deal with. We're all guessing here. We're all kind of giving our opinion on whether or not Manhattan would go mad. And if he did go mad, mm -hmm. it's going to be real difficult for him to use his powers against Cthulhu. Yeah. Going am... mad means game so, over. No, no, I am generally of the opinion that his status in the universe means he's probably not going mad to quite the same extent that, or like, even at all, maybe. Yeah, because he he's already experiencing... Sure, but enough. He's already experiencing like all of time simultaneously, though. Like, I mean, he's he's dealing yeah, with a lot. Yeah, that's true. And but it... can't he get angry and sad? Yeah, which if he can get angry or sad or happy, then, he then that his means mind. he yeah, has just... to be able to go insane. Mm -hmm. Like, it means yeah. that he has to be operate, operating on a level that's comprehensible to a human, and Cthulhu it, like baked into him is the idea that he's so incomprehensible that you go insane. Yeah. Oh, so I guess Cthulhu's just winning this whole category then. Not necessarily. Well, look, right. We, no, 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 I mean, like, like between him and Manhattan. <laughs> like, I mean, all three rounds with with Dog yeah. Manhattan. Well, so I, one of the things. I'm leaning towards. Um, if Manhattan needed time to go mad, he could disintegrate Cthulhu in the first round before. You know, pretty quick, but I, I don't know that. that well, but this is the thing. I, I think, don't think madness is. applies pretty quick. Can, can this omnis... But, like, a lot of the madness has to do with, like, the incomprehensible nature of Cthulhu and things can like... Can comprehend him well I was going to say, this guy is, like, him. omniscient and omnipotent, kind of. I think he can maybe actually just comprehend him. I'm not entirely, well, that, like, 100% familiar with Cthulhu, but I'm pretty sure that, like, he's supposed to exist in his actual proper form. It exists outside of time and space on another yes. dimension entirely, right? So yeah. even if you can temporarily, within temporal time, resist the, the maddening effects of sort of temporal uh, Cthulhu, then you're still not able to counter him because what are you going to do? You can't actually stop the thing. It's so far beyond the realm of your comprehension. <clears throat> And and what we see in the law is mainly like when he's sleeping, like that's his power level when he's sleeping. When he's awakened, he's way more powerful when you know than uh, the regular influence that he that he has on people like uh, forever, basically. What's funny, by the way, is because he was like I, the the popular mm. one, but he's nowhere near the most powerful in in uh, love. No, law. not even close. <laughs> <laughs> that would be uh, Azathoth. Yeah, Azathoth. I believe. And yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Nyarlathotep is like. Azathoth's avatar, so to speak, right? Like, he does a lot of his work. But yeah. Cthul Cthulhu's and, and so, like, awesome, okay? <laughs> way more powerful gods. You know, the, the, there's yeah. elder, elder, elder gods. Um, yeah. You know? But, so, so are we Cthulhu's down... cool. I think we are down to two possible interpretations, and that's the problem. It might come down to a vote, because it really comes down to whether or not you think Manhattan can comprehend Cthulhu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't think he can. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't think he can. I think that's like built in. Yeah. Cthulhu's beyond the human world, the human universe, whatever you call it. That's Dr. Like Manhattan like losing his Manhattan. temper is what convinced me. Yeah, he's not that. Yeah. He's not far enough beyond humanity, I guess. Yeah, to be clear, be if right. Manhattan was an android that had this kind of power, I actually probably would give it to him because I don't know that it would matter probably. to an android, you know, or yeah, rather yeah, a robot. Manhattan wouldn't give a fuck. Like the Terminators yeah. wouldn't be affected by Cthulhu, presumably. Yeah. Does, does that mean we should have really kept Bugs Bunny in the competition <laughs> as the only <laughs> being that can actually counter Cthulhu? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Um. Yeah, and by the way, this counts as disabled, because uh, they're both considered immortal creatures. We're going to deal with a lot of fucking immortal creatures in this one. Uh, <laughs> if Manhattan's yeah. rolling around on the floor going, ally, 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 then it, it would... It would... <laughs> I'm not entirely certain <laughs> yeah, yeah. quite how nonsense it's Manhattan beats is. The other one, yeah. No, I get you. No, there is... I don't think people are going to be satisfied with the heavyweight rounds, but they'll enjoy the discussion somewhat. Um, but if we want to make it just clear, <laughs> does everyone want to throw out their votes for who they think wins this battle? And uh, we'll mm -hmm. go from there. Uh, I think it's Cthulhu. 
Yeah, I think it's Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Yeah. I think it's Cthulhu. Cthulhu. Mm -hmm. Well, he's dominating that one. I'm right? undecided, but. Goodbye, yeah. Manhattan. You were cool. And blue. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I like them. Uh, all right, next up, I'll get the pictures in a second, chat, all right? You've got to give me time. But um, the next is the Headless Horseman versus the Dark Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> um all right so in round one uh well what is the um, <laughs> i guess the dark phoenix is kind of innately powerful right yeah um, so, oh, yes so she, she wins in round i don't one. think the headless horseman has a chance in, no at least in round one i think there's there's no chance on that one um oh, x-men oh okay yeah, and then round yeah. two is basically the same fight again, but now he has a horse. <laughs> <laughs> now he has a horse. So, I love the idea that in round one he's just the headless man. <laughs> <laughs> I was assuming he had the horse in round one, but it wouldn't have helped. <laughs> round two he's like, aha, I've got you now. I have my horse. <laughs> he's he's pretty, pretty easily beaten in both of these, I think. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Uh, I think that's I uh... powers. Let's see. Why is this one so funny? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine he throws his head once and then just gets atomized. <laughs> 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 when uh, when this list was being devised, he, uh, I actually had to look up his powers. I didn't know what class he would go into. Now, what's annoying is I found this list, and I couldn't wait to read it out on stream. But I can't find it anymore. I don't know where it's gone. But it was a list of the Headless Horseman's abilities. And let's just say uh, it made this matchup make a lot more sense. <laughs> trying to find... Because right now it makes very little sense to me, Mo. Uh, <laughs> I, I found one here. Let me, I don't know if that's the one. It's from like the monster wiki. Doesn't look that impressive. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> in comparison to what? No, obviously Phoenix. not with the fucking swordsmanship. Quest. <laughs> oh, oh, Jack Lanterns. Equestrian is listed separately to horse riding skills. <laughs> They're padding. <laughs> Ferocity and bloodlust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so ferocious. Oh, he really this, wants to fight. Jack Adams is a power. <laughs> he can throw shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you considered his axemanship? Ah, uh, yeah, no, I didn't. You know, how to handle an axe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I had that fucking list. It was because the thing is, the list was hilarious. Like, uh, oh, in terms I mean, of I've... what powers he had, I might be able to find it's... it. I just went and found on mythicalcreatures.com. This one's really oh, wait, funny. Wait, I have another one. It under <laughs> physical characteristics, there's three subheadings: the head, horse, <laughs> and rider. <laughs> Uh, I got this one from the Villains w w Wiki. Great hunter and writer. Practically <laughs> immortal. What does practically strength? immortal mean? <laughs> Does that mean like almost immortal but not to quite? Heat to incredible temperature. Can cause Very durable. His to heat. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, he's, uh, he's really going up against He's my new Venus. favorite fictional character. He's great. <laughs> hey, he can cause his axe blade to heat to incredible temperature, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, that's gonna, I'm sure that's going to do well against a fantastic pyrokinesis. Hunter. This will help him <laughs> wood. His horse can outpace a car, which will wow. definitely help him against the, the fucking Dark Phoenix's meteor summoning and space-time manipulation powers. <laughs> oh, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead I just, and I just like the idea. Phoenix is like, I have cosmic pyrokinesis, psionic pyrokinesis, levitation. It's like, yeah, I have a warm axe. <laughs> <So you can, laughs> when I, when I do have a head, it's Christopher Walken. <laughs> I'm telling you, if this was a horse riding contest, he'd, like, man, it'd be oh, so yeah. easy. He'd, nail it. <laughs> he'd fucking nail it. There's <laughs> um, also skill with a gun, apparently. Since when? Oh. No, I... 
<laughs> well, so the Dark Phoenix wins, yeah, 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 barely, barely. I think we can oh, agree fuck. to that. Yeah, I found something close to what it was Mauler. before. If I read this right, so. The Headless Horseman possesses all the attributes of Earth's ghosts, such as passing through matter, drawing upon ectoplasm to create clothing in his spectral horse, which is fast enough to outpace a car, which is the funny quote, but who cares. Uh, he is, he's impervious to harm, except by mystical means, and can move quicker on Earth than he... This is such a stupid line. He could move quicker on Earth than when he was alive. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does right. that mean? Very specific. He could appear in any number of forms. The luminescence of his ethereal substance allows him to glow in the dark. <laughs> Super speed doesn't work on the moon. Uh, so he's sitting there glowing in the dark with a really hot can, axe. He can induce heart attacks in people through fear. That's probably relevant somewhat. Um, we dude, the fucking follow-up line. Though whether that power is lucky or an accident remains to be seen. <laughs> Okay, so that's not working on Gene. We don't. We know that people have had heart attacks in front of him, but we don't know if it's luck. <laughs> we don't know if he did that. Um, his, oh listen, his, yeah, he's like, oh, again. His hauntings are geographically limited. What? <laughs> So he's useless then. I thought you were reading his skills, not his limitations. Oh wow! She has to come to him. Oh, that was a compelling argument. This is yeah. the best part. However, this is put after the thing. However, he does seem to be able to throw his head. That's, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh so, yeah. Yeah. Um, the thing about it, like, he's impervious to harm except mystical, which. I assume, does Jean count as mystical? One of her powers is literally called reality warping. I is, think, I mean, I, I would say that pretty much counts. Well, Space-time manipulation. What is, what is generally mystical considered a mystical power? Is it when it is, like, Magi magical? Things that are specifically denoted to be magical. Because she's not... <laughs> is she performing magic or has she just got mutant powers, right? Like, it's... How does it would be like magic, cosmic then? powers, not right. magic powers. But if she can warp reality, then what does it even matter? Well, yeah, I was gonna say she at that just point, warp it to be magical and then win. Mm -hmm. I really like the idea of you going through this and being like, "Oh, he's definitely a heavyweight." No, seriously, the <laughs> list I found. <laughs> The list, I don't know where the fuck it went, but it, like, because I know there's the person who was with me in the call when I read it out, they were like, fucking hell, he's like, he's unstoppable. The the, the way the list went, went was, <laughs> he was basically immune to everything and could kill everyone. Like, that's how it was described, but I can't fight it I, anymore. I think so. this person was just trolling you, man. We no, it was like a wiki. <laughs> the thing is, there's like 17 different headless horseman wikis. I love the ones that list him as a great. Equestrian or whatever. That's just yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Listen, listen. I just typed in headless horseman wiki, and the second entry is headless horseman <laughs> wiki Roblox. Roblox. <laughs> there you go. I was clear to the way. That's the he one I was talking about. <laughs> I mean, he can throw <laughs> his head. It's, it's big power, man. <laughs> Axel. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna I mean, it's Jean Grey anyway. He was he was gonna have trouble no matter what, right? She's pretty yeah. she's pretty yeah. powerful. I'm I'm glad you know, the horseman was, got his chance. Great meme, Waller. <laughs> and you had it oh, for free. Wow. Uh, all right, Phoenix wins, which means our next bout. Oh shit, <laughs> we got Sauron versus Q. Ooh. Oh wow, I feel oh, like man. Q kind of wins that though. Right, like yeah, Q is an super powerful, powerful super being who can create or destroy anything. He's like his a reality base, bender. Like his base form is being a Q, right? Right, so, yeah. So like he could just snap and Sauron is gone. Fucked. Um, I mean, sounds like it's Q. What about Sauron? What about third round? And Sauron with his ring? I'm not even sure that Sauron doesn't get a ring around two. That's probably a base stat thing, right? Or does he it like count is the ring more or less? So. Yeah. I, I just don't see how he, like, his power is that he can, like, infect your mind and uh, he's, you know, physically powerful and things like that. But Q can literally go and you disappear. You, not even, like, disappear, yeah. but didn't exist. He's like, he's like time traveler cubed. 
mean, he comes closer probably as Iluvatar in the sort of the broader Tolkien mythos, who is more of a traditional sort of god figure who exists outside of time and space. And that's kind of more Q's level, whereas Sauron is pretty much bound by reality, even if he is immensely powerful within it. He doesn't have the ability to sort of snap his fingers and disappear things from existence. So, like, great as he is and brilliant as a villain as he is, I don't really see how he beats Q. And well, unless Q is susceptible to greed, right? Because that's Sauron's, what's well, the ring's ultimate allure is that it can corrupt people's minds with the mm. temptation of greed. So like, is Q right, susceptible but it offers you power, but Q is all powerful. Oh, Q is like the... Tom Bombadil. Q is immune to the ring because he is completely on a different plane of existence. So yeah, maybe not. Um, there, there aren't any like, you know, beings that are immune to Q's thing, right? There's other cues, but even they can affect each other. Hmm. Uh, what was like interesting Q is, is um, I asked Gary powerful. Uh, who he thought would be the ultimate winner of this contest in all of fictional characters. He actually said Morgoth. Um, which I said Sauron is in here, but not Morgoth. I was curious uh, for anyone else's take on you know, would Morgoth, if he Morgoth was in here... Is... Morgoth is almost beaten by um, Sh oh, what's the name of Shelob's mother, the, the first of the giant spiders. Uh, that name has escaped me. Ungolian, yeah, almost defeated by Ungolian and only saved by Balrog. So Morgoth is ultimately defeated by the elves. Um, yeah. So like he he is incredibly powerful, but actually still again bounded by reality. Um, and mm -hmm. the, he has to rebel against God. He's more like Lucifer to God, and that he's like a fallen angel as opposed to like a, a rival for godly power. Uh, yeah, so I yeah. think even he would lose. Ero Luvatar is way more powerful than uh, than Morgoth is, even though he's also powerful. Sounds like Q has it. Is that agreed? Yeah. Yep. Goodbye, Sauron. Yeah, and there, there's some people in the quote who are like, or in the chat, who are like, "Oh, Q loses his powers," and yes, he does lose his powers because the Q continuum takes them from him. But that that's not something where he can just like not have them someday. He is all powerful. Um, this next <laughs> matchup we have, I'm almost like assuming it's really dependent on what the chat like immediately reflexively jump into because I assume these guys have fought in their respective like someone's probably teamed them up or teamed against each other sorry they are different continuities but at the same time this is no way that we're, we're talking about this for the first time Galactus versus the Flash mm -hmm. who wins? I'm sure there is a continuum where the Flash somebody has must won. have done this and there must be an answer <clears throat> what have we got? Flash, Flash. I don't know enough about Galactus. Goku. <laughs> flash, Flash, Galactus. Can, can Galactus just eat the planet? Yeah, but... I mean... Where's that one panel talking about how fast the Flash perceives reality? It's like in attoseconds or something. Well, you can also... The Flash complete. does have the... Um, you can go back in time, right? You can fuck with that. Yep. Yeah. So... Final Destination, well, it's just a matter there of... there at the beginning of the universe? Uh, he has to go that far How back. Ever... <laughs> like, I got you now, baby How Galactus. That's a bit of a trip. I just don't understand how Flash is ever killing Galactus. Has Galactus interacted with speedsters before? He must have, own... right? At some point in the comics. Presumably. Yeah, a lot of people are saying time travel doesn't do shit to Galactus. In the first round. Galactus is the eater of worlds. It's funny though, it seems like the chat might be split. Apparently the Flash Galactus is pretty was broken. Here before the universe began. What, he is, what he's happens pretty... in the first round when they when they stand on a little platform? Well, so Galactus is so big, there's not even room for the... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> would, would Flash just instantly die because he takes up like 100% he... of the space? Is he standing between <laughs> his legs like, well, <laughs> this is it. But would it like it's just Master Hand is actually Galactus? That's how this works. Oh, yeah. It's just a hand. But the thing is, Dude, I'm just can the Flash like <laughs> run along his hand up into his eye and like punch it out really fast? <laughs> or does like does the Flash's yeah. ability to do things fast not mean anything to Galactus? I don't know. I mean, his his eye is like the size of a planet. Yeah, that's also true. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I don't know enough about weak. Galactus. Yeah. Dude, Galactus has like all the powers. Yeah, he's pretty insane. OP. Flash is up just there. Funny. I'm looking. I'm looking at the at the wiki. It's like a few abilities are displayed here, and it's like three pages of abilities. <laughs> he also heals One of them instantly. Is just ultimate power. <laughs> from what I'm <laughs> gathering, <laughs> from what I'm gathering, chat, Galactus <laughs> has got this. 
Yeah. What I see in the chat is a whole lot of people saying that the headless horseman. (laughs) (laughs) You know that's going to happen now. Like when everything seems the darkest, the headless horseman will arrive. Let's do a a bonus episode where we just pair everyone up against the headless horseman. (laughs) Yeah. See see which ones he wins against. He's quite the equestrian. The axmanship of the headless horseman kind of like, you know, turns this one. He can throw his whole ass head comes back just to be a dick. <laughs> no, he comes back with the Garrus! <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, the team up of a century. Do, uh, do we, do, are, we, are we safe to say Galactus has this one? I mean, I'm going with Galactus. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, we're at yeah. such crazy power levels now, it's more of a matter of which one isn't an immortal, all-knowing god. It's like, oh, it's mm-hmm. that one. Sorry, <laughs> mate. All right, well. Next up. Oh. This is an interesting one. We have Saitama. So, you know, Animu. You guys mm-hmm. happy? There you go. Mm-hmm. Against. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is, this is going to be a big deal because you, you understand his power level. Charles Xavier. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, I think One Punch Man uh, dominates. Yeah. Uh, does he? Yeah. I know that he has mind control powers, but he's super duper fast. So just zoom over, one punch, game over. Yep. Saitama's yeah. too fast. Just, we assuming Saitama like plays it optimally, fast. he if just Saitama punches would them. Be too mentally dense to even be affected. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I may well be impervious to uh, it's not well enough going on. Mind control nah, powers. Nah. I yeah, don't, if, I don't if, think he would be impervious to it. If Saitama plays it optimally, he just dashes over and punches him whether or and not he would him. whether or not he <laughs> would do that considering he's a fucking goof i don't know but... he is a goof but he knows that he's gonna kill this guy so yeah. we have entertained you know, characteristics before and the thing is uh... i love one punch man and i could totally buy he sprints over and stops at this guy in a wheelchair and goes oh huh? and then yeah. just asks him like <laughs> who are you and then Xavier just goes, sorry, man. And goes, whoa, 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 and then gets him to... Well, the thing is, he can't even make him kill himself, can he? I don't think he can. Make but him no. he might... Destination. But, it, like, Xavier's cr- capable of, like, fucking with his brain, though, right? Somewhat? Yeah. Mentally? Yeah. For sure, yeah. Because even Absolutely. as... Saitama can't even kill himself by punching himself, I assume. I, I, I... I don't think that would work. No. Is it a victory for... Charles, if he just makes Saitama his ally or whatever, probably yeah, that would count that as a count. disable. I he think. mind controls him, yeah. yeah. So, uh, does he have the wheelchair at level one? That's count as life support. <laughs> 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 it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> well, he it might as well be true. sitting but, like, down. I don't like. I don't think it can be ignored that Saitama would be curious. I really do think that's his character, especially with his interest in yeah. meeting with any kind of creature that could defeat him. But. How that plays in is complicated. What do you guys think? Um, couldn't like Charles Xavier put him oh. into a coma or something like that? Well, yeah, that's what apparently I'm saying. Saitama is immune to psychic. Apparently, Saitama is immune to psychic attacks. All of oh. them? Oh, yeah. okay. Then yeah, Xavier is fucked. <laughs> Against the psychic sisters, yeah. they they couldn't do anything to him. Yeah. Oh, okay. In, in that yeah. case, no. we have because that's the kind of law you have to consider. Way. Yeah, I think Saitama's got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The well, Battle Katie. of the Balds. And there we have it. <laughs> Paid actors <laughs> and bald. You'll be really curious to see how far Saitama can go. Um, this one's going to be weird. I don't know how we're going to figure this out, but we've got to try, damn it. <clears throat> the next fight is Freddy Krueger versus the Mummy. And we're going with the Brandon <laughs> Fraser Mummy. Does the Mummy dream? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Does he sleep? No, he's he's described as never sleeping. Yeah, you never see him asleep. Oh, yeah, then Freddy has no chance. He'll never stop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to be fair, in Freddy's continuity, he does some wacky shit as a result of you know he's in he was spawn in this this the second Elm Street is already spawning in real life, right? Yeah, but the, he's not super powerful. I think the mummy would destroy Nightmare on Elm Street too, Freddy. I think the mummy's gonna have this one. It's kind of weird to explain how, yeah. though. Yeah, I, I think just him not sleeping is it. He's just—he's never in the arena where Freddy's effective. Could it? So the capacity in which the mummy can be killed is if someone's aware of the rituals needed to do so with the right books. Can Freddy find that out in some way, shape, or form and make use of it? Is that possible? Before is he Freddy gets Freddy crafty enough to do that. 
Um, Perhaps in the third round, but is know, he able to win one in two, the first yeah. two rounds? Yeah, yeah, right. Like if they're on the final destination, does he have the ability to do a, a you know ritual to kill the mummy? No. He well, I, maybe, maybe actually... in the third round, but not in the first and second. I agree. Kind of think of it though, this might be a stalemate because if if he doesn't sleep, he can't get into a dream to pull Freddy out of the dream. Well, I, I think we have to assume that they are on the same plane of existence. They, they spawn in the same area still, so hmm. they're, they're there. Yeah, but does, so, does Freddy be like pulled out of the dreams? Right, Freddy in real life is not very powerful. Yeah, no, he's quite like that. That's how they clowny. defeat him. But hmm. is he safe from the mummy until? Something else happens? Because, I mean... Why would it be... Well, because there's not... What can the mummy... How does the mummy affect Freddy? Mm. Eat him? Uh, punch him? I, I don't know. Can he curse him? Would, would a, a curse powers. apply to a dream demon? Uh, remember, he, the mummy can, like, plague, <laughs> you know? I, 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 uh, these are rules that are very difficult to figure out. <laughs> I think, from what I'm uh, gathering from chat, people are more on the mummy side than Freddy's for the win here. Um, I'm not sure. The thing, uh, the, 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 for some reason, I can envision Freddy potentially eventually learning about the books. Um, the more he tries to discover about the mummy, but can the mummy get to Freddy and destroy him before that happens? Because they destroy Freddy a couple of times in the Freddy movies in different ways, but he's never like quite. Yeah, and then yeah. he keeps coming back. Yeah, he keeps coming back. The problem so, is he doesn't. He doesn't have well, access to the books in round one and two. That's can we also true. call it a mummy win if it's a standard Freddy defeat? Like, it, yeah, it's I not like he counts. has to figure out how to be the one to defeat him once and for all. Yeah, I thought that counts if uh, you incapacitate them in yeah. like a way that makes them unconscious or That's something along those lines. That counts. probably fair. Um... We, and that's I mean, the thing, it's like most of the goal is to get Freddy into the real world so they can kill him and defeat him. Yeah. The question is just who is more physically capable of killing the other? Oh, the definitely the mummy. If they were to have a physical fight, the mummy. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah. So the mummy. Bear in mind, the mummy can suck like Freddy dry, just his soul. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I I stand by what I said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it sounds then that uh, Freddy presumably can't read ancient Egyptian. Probably not. No. <laughs> All right, I think That's the mummy bad. has it then, by the sounds of things. Think so. Bye yeah. bye, Freddy. Dream Demon is out. Thank fuck. Get out of here. Why? Because he's confusing in terms of mechanics. <laughs> is that why it becomes easier? <laughs> that and that and many other reasons. Yes. Okay. How's this for a heavyweight bout? I think people will be confused how these are heavyweights. So we'll have to explain it extensively. We have Rick Sanchez versus Stewie Griffin. Mm. Stewie Griffin. Ah. Okay, I need explanation for that one. So um, I understand Rick immediately. Yeah, I, I think well, Rick's beating really Stewie. Smart. But uh, I think it's a matter of so in Final Destination, Rick wins. Yes. obviously. Um, mm -hmm. but then in round two, it's like, well, if Rick's got the portal gun as his base stat, that is essentially the same as the TARDIS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a time machine. It's a multiverse machine. It gives him well, not a time, time machine. Time. Only but, only a dimension oh, machine. <laughs> oh, dimension. Yeah, yeah. Well, but I guess in a practical sense, you could just go to a universe that's you know in a different point in time. It, it just it just gives him access did to him, anything that he could need. Did Rick ever invent anything time travelly? You'd think he would have. Um, I think he. I think so. Hasn't they? They, they keep on making a point to the, not have the, there be um, time travel because the original shorts were called Doc and Marty, and it actually yeah. was Doc Brown and What about and the Marty episode McFly? with the snakes and the time travel? I might not have seen that one, but that I think the only time I remember them addressing it in the early seasons is when he goes and gets a pizza from another dimension and brings it back right away. Oh yeah, and he said this. That wasn't time travel. These pizzas were already ready. They're just on the counter. Well, in any case, we, we'll um, deal with that when it comes to it, but uh, Stewie's standard loadout, he probably will allow him a ray gun, but I don't know if we're going to go further than that. Gun. He doesn't carry around his like, time travel equipment, you know? We to a time machine. It's not, yeah, it's like a, it's it's a static. Like, if you, in round th three, he has access to the time machine, which, um, that makes him way more competitive. Yeah, but does he get to round three? No. I don't think he... No, I don't no. think so. No, I think no. Rick beats him in round two. Yep. Yeah. Which means Rick is in the game. Let's see how far he gets, shall we? 
Next. Oh, this is going to be... Uh, actually, it might be straightforward. We've got Ghost Rider versus mm. Scorpion. Like Mortal Kombat Scorpion? Mortal Kombat Scorpion. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess they both throw things, right? Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, Ghost Rider can get like super fucking powerful as well. I think Ghost Rider. I feel like clears. Ghost Rider has some crazy powers. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and Scorpion, he just doesn't die easily. I think he. I think he fights like the super duper well destroyer Hulk at some point. I, you know, I'm gonna vote for Ghost Rider the whole way through with absolutely no other explanation the thing about it other is, than that he is a headless horseman. He is. He's directly <laughs> inspired. Damn it! But I was gonna say the he's uh, a headless uh, horseman. Scorpion's he's got his head. Limited. There's no skin on it. But, Scorpion's limited know. by being a part of Mortal Kombat. It makes him. He's very killable. Yeah. He's very defeatable. <laughs> so he's. He, it's kind of like it makes it really difficult for him to do anything. Ghost Rider, on the other hand, he's kind of OP. In fact, we'll oh, have yeah, to get a list of powers from him eventually because he's probably going to cause issues later. Like, who would win out a Ghost Rider and the Mummy? <laughs> if that happens, oh, who knows? But can yeah, can the Mummy even like use any attacks on him that would work? I don't know. In any case, uh, okay. that one seems pretty clear is... cut. I think I like Scorpion, but I mean, this is just too much for him. Ghost Rider's list is not as long as Galactus list. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, still pretty long, though. Oh, look at these guys. All right, so we have the uh, good old-fashioned Magneto. But who's he against? He's against none other than Dante from Devil May Cry. Whoa. Theo, calm Magneto down. Wins. Yo, yo, I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's my homie. <laughs> Not Magneto just um, grabs all this shit. So here's a uh, question. In the first uh, round, though... I I don't know well, Magneto's capabilities fully, but Dante is really bullshit. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I, think I feel like Dante's round wearing round a lot of metal. metal. Uh, He's yeah, wearing a lot of metal. That's so. true, but in the, in the first one, if, he has, if he has access to uh, does he have access to Devil Trigger as a base that's, yes, ability? That's just because if he has do. that, then he wins. And that also means Sin Devil Trigger. So, well, he's he's got a lot of metal on him. He does, but if he what is can, what does that mean? Do well, Magneto really need much. Them. He's been stabbed yeah, a lot to of do metal. What, though? And then do shit to him. Like yeah, you can I grab all the metal point. and then do what? You can toss him off yeah. uh, Final Destination, right? Disarm. Disarm. Platform, and then he teleport uh, back on. He teleport back on. Yeah. Oh, okay, I I don't know how he what I, what is yeah, what is Devil know. Trigger? How does that work? Devil Trigger is a super mode. He constantly regenerates at a steady rate, increases his speed, durability, and it's kind of like Spartan mm -hmm. Rage. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Spartan Rage. You... It's it's also almost the primary healing mechanic, though, because you can yeah. use it whenever you want, as opposed to having to find it. So it also <laughs> increases a bunch of his innate powers. Like so, in gameplay terms, he has he has a teleport he can do. You can do it once on the ground, once in the air. With Devil Trigger active, he can do it three times. So like it just amplifies all of his innate abilities dramatically. Um... So I, I don't know. I don't know how Magneto could ever like kill him or throw him off or do anything to him. Is there anything we don't know about Magneto? Isn't he? That is it, right? Ultimate control over like. like... Metal. Well, it's that he, he controls has ultimate control over metal, and then in rounds two and three, he would be immune to psychic attacks because he'd have the the helm. Um, yeah. And it's the argument yeah, that psychic what, what attacks kind of damage really can he put out? Like no, but you know, that just that would be the the other thing that he would gain, but he wouldn't have that in round one. Does he have any damage potential? Like, what can he do that? Well, it's, uh, metal. Could, it's all metal. He, That's also, he it's, could throw all the metal in the world at Dante at the same and Dante time. Dante would tank it. Can they pull the iron? <laughs> <out>? <laughs> 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 Dante's really bullshit. He's, uh, he's uh, how, much, how much iron does Dante have in his blood, though? Oh, yeah, the bit in X2. He pulls oh. all the iron out of the guy. The, yeah, so that was yeah. an extra bit of iron. That was more than yeah. a normal amount of iron which, in somebody's blood. Which is so, kind of bullshit because you know he could probably do that at any time, but probably. <laughs> well, um, the fact that they signaled that he couldn't do it yeah. unless it was sufficient is a problem for Magneto. You have to wonder if that changes in any way due to demon physiology. 
because Dante's half half devil. So. Half demon, yeah. They clearly have more metal in their blood. Also, ah, well, yes. I mean, <laughs> he needed enough metal to make a little platform that he could float over the gap with. But, I mean, can he just pull the iron out of anyone's blood at any time anyways? Well, so this is the thing. I, there's always can, iron in would do that all the I think people consider movie Magneto to be quite nerfed compared to comic Magneto, the I assume this picture is representative. Mm. The description here says he can manipulate yep. all forms of magnetism, summon force fields, and shoot electromagnetic pulses that can disable electronic devices. There's also, um, he can, like, fuck with the electric impulses in a person's brain. Oh. Apparently. Which makes That's him quite fun. overpowered. Oh. <laughs> but... Um... Go on. I will the gun not well, that's that's the that's the majority of it. Obviously, those powers can be used in very like many ways. But is that enough to defeat Dante? I don't know what that means if he's like Devil Trigger though. How is it like? Yeah, yeah I'll mess with your brains as like a mystical monster like entity. Mm -hmm. what, I don't or know. What does that, what does that look like? There is the question of if he even has the time to do anything because Dante's so fucking fast. But Dante wouldn't instantly speed blitz and kill him like that's not how he it wouldn't operates. be like the flash but he'd be pretty quick well i don't even mean in terms of capability i mean in terms of personality he'd fuck around so that's true which might I, like, be a big disadvantage yeah. <laughs> but also i mean magneto is going to be getting his weapons away from him super fast that's the problem is that is that i can't use his uh his blade or his guns he's a he's a master of all forms of combat though so like yeah, so he doesn't need them. But yeah. could Magneto grab it and use it against him? Um, I don't know. You maybe it's... keep the cowboy hat. I don't, I don't know. So if Magneto I am generally able... curious. Dante's weapons are quite esoteric. If Magneto pushes him away by controlling all the buckles and stuff in his, and the zips and everything in his, his clothing and then takes the sword off him, splits it up into a big, like, egg and puts Dante inside it and then, like just shuttles him down into the ground for, for Final Destination. I don't know how any of this would work. <laughs> like if the teleports Why out. wouldn't Dante, Dante just be able to teleport out? Yeah, Dante can just teleport out. Um, would he then not just keep going down, though? Even if he did? If Magneto's just constantly pushing down? He can targeted um, teleport to particular individuals, so... I think Dante wouldn't... He, he wouldn't feel any shame going back up naked. Probably not. <laughs> I don't. Well, well I, I mean, the I with, the with manipulating the sword, right? I just assume that uh, if like, Dante, is, if if it comes to it, Dante can even fly. So, well, I, at that point, I can't see. I just don't. I don't know how Magneto's going to be able to pull this off. It seems that uh, he's dead. Nope. It would be the electrical brain fuckery stuff, but I don't. A combination know, though, a combination of that, the the magnetic force on his clothing, and the fact that all of Dante's weapons are actually being used against him, presumably all at the same time. Even if you're teleporting, yeah. you're going to have a bit of trouble. Dante's what, what, what were you saying about extremely he esoteric? He dies in like a split second. by his own weapons from... all the time. It's like the joke. Yeah. Well, but also, did you say you can just... kill Magneto in like a split I, I second? I just shot him into pieces. But... Hold on. Pardon? Did you say you could do it in like a split second, question? the devil trigger stuff or whatever? Uh, yeah, he can snap his fingers and he's in devil trigger and he can stay in it indefinitely. Um. Uh, well, what are we. What are we... What are we thinking? Because if Magneto gets a force I've been field, convinced. but I don't know how significant. Like, could Dante get through a Magneto force field? I, I'm not. I don't know. I figure he could have. He's teleporting. He's got some like, like he's extremely he's substantial attack power. So, because I assume that the force field would be having an effect if you were trying to physically move through it. But if you're just teleporting I... past it, then. You know. The way I, the way <laughs> like I see it was. is Dante can only lose due to fucking around, which he would do, but <laughs> I don't know if that causes him to lose in a large enough sample of Look scenarios. At this. Magneto controls blood. He can't even metal be landed on Magneto. Dante can't die. Magneto can use the devil on his draw. Dante is 5'10 MAGA for the win. Like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> It seems nah, chat you. is split. I, I, I don't know. It's it's. I'm not sure. Like I don't know. I feel like they're both uh, really powerful. I'm I'm in Dante's corner because I can't see how he Dante actually loses. Dante's just fucking magic. That's. I mean, I feel like magic. I I don't understand the like. Uh, I could use my metal power. How does Magneto ever lose ever in the comics if he can just like mess with people's brains using magnetism? 
I don't understand. <laughs> if he, about, someone said he moved yep. the Earth. How does he lose? <laughs> how does he lose in the comics? Like, I don't know. <laughs> He, he should just win all the time, yeah. So not all of Dante's weapons are even like. Well, to be metal. fair, so like Dark Phoenix has got Dr. bigger powers than that, and she drops loses. a meteor on him. Yeah, I, I guess that's what I, I suppose. I'm just, I, I guess I just find it interesting because I'm thinking about Magneto very much like in the movies of just yeah, he grabs metal, which is already like really powerful. <laughs> on top of like, well, yeah, he can control the magnetic fields in your brain. <laughs> Like, I was yeah. not thinking of that in terms of Magneto being, like, a heavyweight character. I figured him just manipulating metal alone was already really powerful, aside from, like, all of the crazy additional things on top. I think it's the mostly because shot. whenever Magneto's there, right, like, he, you're not seeing him fighting against regular humans. You're seeing him fight against the, the mutants that he identifies with, right? So I don't think he's ever trying to obliterate his enemies, the X-Men. Right. Yeah. Uh, it depends. Re he respects I some just... of them, like Charles and Chetan. I don't really. Uh, this is we've been talking specifically round one so far, yeah. Because yeah, I don't think it gets any better for Magneto. But I'm not familiar with the character, so maybe I'm wrong. But by by round three, Dante can stop time. So <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah. I I just assumed he would grab his weapons and like chop him into pieces with them. But uh, if he can't do that, then yeah, he's un believably durable like he has unbelievable healing factor and yeah he, he gets impaled yeah, through you... the midsection once per game and completely shrugs it off what if you chop his head off though i don't think he's gonna let you but i mean <laughs> no seriously okay. kind of the he's problem dream... of including it he's kind of a joke character in a way yeah he he's kind of a joke character but like like, like saitama like I refuse. Like what? what no, he, he's, no, he's not. Not <laughs> I refuse. He's just too quick. Like he's too fast. I guess. Yeah. Well, that's the better answer. Because I was going to say, even Saitama has. He's not because he's a joke character. It's because he's invulnerable. Like you can't cut off Saitama's head. Yeah. That's the. That's like yeah. the explanation. It would just break. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I'm willing to call it. It's, it seems like it's Dante. Uh, but you know, Magneto is real powerful. Absolutely. Yeah. No denying that. Look at him. Magneto go. does get bitten by a wooden I'm, gun, though, like Chat pointed out. Oh. I may not be familiar enough with his game, but Dante's extremely broken, so I think, yeah. yeah. I mean, th this is why they're heavyweights, right? Yep. Yes. You're going to see a lot of people be like, oh, he's in. Oh, he's out. Damn. Okay. Jeez. That's sad. Like, we haven't even come across Spider Man yet, but I don't think he's dealing with any of these guys pretty well. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna have some trouble, I guess. Uh, but next up, we have Dark Side and Palpatine. <laughs> now, I, I don't um, know how well Palpatine deals with Omega Beams. Yeah, yeah does Omega Beams? Uh, Omega. I imagine he does this funny spin lunge and just gets Omega Beams. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, because even even if Palpatine used the Force to pick him up and try to throw him away, it's too like, Mega the Beams, Beams. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Mega Beams got him every time. Surely it's yeah. redundant though, because like if he dies in round one and somehow he returns for round two and so on and so on, that like, you can't actually stop so Palpatine. Wow. He gets yeah, exploded trying, and survives. <laughs> somehow he will return. Dude, that that dark side we established that a me. knockout counts. Yeah, that counts. Him exploding in the Death Star yeah. counts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I feel like uh, Darkseid just wins all three. He's too yeah. We do have to consider that Palpatine does, does, does have unlimited well, power. Well, so does. round three True. would be like the, the Death Star, right? Yeah, but Darkseid... Yeah, so he would have the entire Empire. Darkseid's resources as well. Yeah, yeah Darkseid's... Like an entire Empire. What, is, what has he got? Yeah, like, that's true. He's got devices that are absolutely nuts, right, Darkseid? Of he's, course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> does he have an entire galactic empire, though? Probably not, that loser. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the parademons. I don't know if that yeah, would be significant. The parademons and the yeah. apocalypse, right, army at least. And apocalypse and everything. Would Palpatine use his, his control of the Galactic Senate to stop Darkseid from ever <laughs> coming <laughs> to his level of power and resource? I think Darkseid probably wouldn't care. Well, that's not very nice. Well, no, but yeah, he, well, he like, would have the, the, it, entire, the entire Empire armies. Uh, with them, the, all the all the battleships and shit. 
Yeah, and I guess like the Star Wars Empire is like multiple planets and solar systems worth of resources, whereas Dark Side kind of only has like, apocalypse. None of this matters. He wins in the forest too. Omega beams gets yeah. uh, gets Palpatine real easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's real sad, man. Poor Palps. He's just yeah. Mr. Creamy was just trying to get in on the fun and he gets booed out straight away. <laughs> He'll be back. Uh, he always is. What, how does um, how the lightsaber glory. deal with Omega Beams? What happens? I, I, I mean, I don't know that he would even be able to do any because he, he just direct the Omega Beams around the lightsaber. Even when a Jedi blocks the blaster shot, they like they can still get shot by other shots, and there's always two Omega Beams. All right then. Always uh, two of those. Ha! Get some cool. Yeah. Direction done. Looks like the next battle will be. Ooh, Godzilla is here finally. It's been a while. Whoa. For sure. Mm. His first yeah. battle is with Unicron, who is, uh, as far as I'm aware, a top tier transformer. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can get a power oh. list for him. Like, uh, Galactus version of the transformers. Yeah, what do we got here? What have we got here? Dark energy. Yeah, Unicron might beat Godzilla. <gasps> Just as he eats planets, doesn't he? Does he? Oh well, I mean, that's if what he I'm eats planets, then, yeah, then I might over. be wrong. That's even a long ass time. <laughs> evil that's robot the... god. Yeah, evil <laughs> robot god. Evil robot god physiology <laughs> is yeah. what He's I Chaos bringer, planet eater, dedicated to. Consuming the multiverse. Dude, oh, this no. hell is this so funny. So he's Galactus then. Evil Reality robot warping. god physiology slash godhood like alien machine physiology. Yeah. What? The <laughs> embodiment <laughs> of chaos itself. The Destruct. very primordial chaos given shape. Nigh oh. omnipotence. Wait, hang on. Creation Uni in brackets evil. Unicron. <laughs> immortality. Unicron can travel through dimensions and cause massive destruction. How do they. How do the robots defeat oh, him? Here's. Here's, here's, <laughs> right here, this is how you know he wins Godzilla. He has a causality. He exists outside the nature of cause and effect. Black hole what? mimicry? He has the power <laughs> to destroy universes. How does Optimus Prime ever beat him? What? <laughs> the little kid in the sandbox. Go, infinite strength, my... infinite stamina, supernatural speed, nigh omniscience, <laughs> nigh invulnerability, infinity durability, light, nigh omnipresence. This just might even be because what's yeah. the fundamental Dude, difference like between <laughs> black hole creation so and black hole mimicry? He According once to destroyed twenty two point seven percent of the multiverse. According to Google, the Autobot Matrix of Leadership uh, and its power is the only key weapon to destroy Unicron and end him for life. But he exists outside of causality, so no, they didn't. I'm surprised they would have any weapon that can defeat something that exists outside of causality and destroys universes by traveling through dimensions. Erasure immunity? Erasure? <laughs> Apocalypse <laughs> inducement? <laughs> <laughs> he might be a little bit OP. I like how we can't even entertain Godzilla for a God? second with this fight. Godzilla's fucked. Yeah, no. <laughs> what the fuck is this he, thing? He <laughs> once destroyed the. Gonna go what, what's really, Unicron's what's going really far, funny yeah. is all, all the way on the bottom on their build he says swordsmanship mid tier. Mid tier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want to make him too powerful. Astral. Yeah, but how big is the sword? Even if Unicron's body is destroyed, his astral form is eternal and will return to the astral realm upon death. What? From there, Unicron can reincarnate himself in another divergent universe to continue his path of destruction. So he is Cthulhu. He is Cyber Cthulhu. I think that that's the only rival that Cthulhu has, that you can't stop this thing <laughs> at all. Well, you oh can if you God, have the Matrix of Leadership, right. okay? The Matrix of Leadership. <laughs> yep, that's what you that's need. Right. The Matrix of Leadership. It is, yeah. It's out there, apparently. Well, we'll deal yeah. with Unicron next time. <laughs> For now. Don't got look a new at his fight. aliases on this page, by the way. He's got aliases? He's, oh, there's too many of them. Oh. Well, look at rank. That's even more. Yeah. Are you ready for the next round? This one's more of an iconic one. Mm -hmm. It's probably been done before. But Not now so we're checking it out. It is Doctor Doom versus Darth Vader. Doctor Doom? Oh, that's a fun is Doctor one. Doom, like, really broken? I think he's pretty broken. I don't really know what he does, but... Yeah. Vader is the Force. Let's see how long his ability list is. 
<laughs> Everyone is saying Doom. Well, so does Doom start with his power armor, and uh, does he need that to live? Mm. I don't. I don't think he needs it. Vader to live. might have round one, possibly. If it's embedded in him, though, like, can he take it off? I think he wins. Well, I guess he wins two and three, so it doesn't even matter. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He wins two and three with all of the abilities he has. Which we'll have to read about eventually because he's probably going to go up against, like. Well, it's just because he's got science and magic. That's the thing that Doom's got. He's got science and magic. Uh, one of the Star Wars characters again. The resources mince. of a country where, like, in round three, Vader will have the entire empire. Ah, uh, yeah, but Doctor Doom has all of the crazy shit he can get from all the different dimensions and and shit. So I don't I don't know how like beneficial it is to have the Death Star uh, <laughs> compared to what Doom would be able to muster. Probably yeah. not. No. It's like Vader could force choke him. It's like I don't know if Vader could do anything to it. Before. I don't think that would be. Isn't he like a technomancer yeah. or something? He could like destroy Vader's yeah, suit. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, then Vader's in trouble. And and he'd have magic that he would not be able to counter. Like, the Force is not going to counter a lot of the magic that he would be able to muster in the Marvel world. Yeah, he's got technopathy, so that's probably, <laughs> oh. you know, a thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, you know what, Vader? You tried, and that's all you can do, really do in, in a Vader's situation defense, like I think there is an old comic, though, in Sorry, which Vader man. uses the Force to destroy somebody's heart inside its ribcage. It's about I mean, fucking I, time I someone did that in Star Wars. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's funny too because you having that happen for the first time, they'd be like, "Oh, you have to be so powerful to do that." It's like that doesn't seem that much of a powerful move, honestly. <laughs> like crushing a heart with a force, I feel like, uh... or just like fiddle around in their head, like their brain with the force, right? Move some yeah, things or, around, or you know, testicular torsion or something. Oh, oh, testicular <laughs> torsion. Yeah, well, that's a brutal, if, brutal. If it gets the job done. <laughs> you know, dick twist. Maybe that's what they did to Han in like the the torture room. If you oh, don't get it addressed it. right away, it can result in a necrotic testicle. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Okay, keep yeah. it light. Okay. <laughs> Not what you want. We have <laughs> kind of an ultimate battle here. This is going to be pretty exciting. It is Kratos versus oh my Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> so what does Morbius do? Uh, he's super fast and strong and I've, eats I've, people. I've heard he morbs. I don't know yeah. if this is even yeah. more real yeah. hard. Yeah. Okay, what, is, yeah. what are his actual powers, though? What can he do? He can move power. real fast. I think he is actually pretty OP. After the Unicron incident. Superhuman the strength, Unicron speed, incident. stamina, agility, reflexes, senses, regenerative but I feel healing, like, fangs I feel and like claws. It's, Ooh. Yeah, it's basically like a vampire person, isn't he? Yeah. But when he's moving around real fast, I think he's got CGI bullshit following behind him that'll make it really easy for Kratos to track. <laughs> Bionic gliding mesmerism. Okay. Mesmerism. To be fair, this movie was better than Madam Web, okay. <laughs> Madam Web was a godsend. I want more. Yeah. Madam Web yeah. is funnier yeah. than this though. There yeah, will be no more fun. though. No. Oh no, we still got I mean Morbius has this um... has like pretty normal super strength thing with speed. Whereas Kratos is a god, so yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't see Morbius, Morbius winning well, any of those rounds. The thing about the god aspect, we kind of have to ignore that. It has to be just because saying Morbius oh, is well, superhuman. I guess what I'm saying is he's Kratos is like superhuman. Kratos. Doesn't describe Kratos. Kratos. He's like Wrong. ultra mega human. If if we're gonna yeah. try and classify, because you know mean, gods yeah, so can be god. weaker and stronger depending on the the law. Like Loki's a god, Kratos, you know. Especially like. Mm -hmm. With all of the gear that he gets by the end of like all of the games combined and accumulated together, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. no so shot. So tier in round three, three Kratos is probably going to knock out Morbius easily. But what about round one for both of them? Probably Kratos. I think round one he's uh, knocking out too. I, he's yeah, I think he's winning in round one, right? Yeah. No. He probably Unless... only needs to punch him once, and that would be it. Mm -hmm. Well, Morbius can uh, kind of fly more. though, so would he be hard to knock off? The I think he'd kill him though. Kratos I wouldn't need to knock him off. He'd kill him, he would, yeah. He, yeah, Kratos, he'd kill Kratos him along the platform. Kratos would burst his head open. Like, it, it, yeah. He, he's just... Yeah. yeah. Kratos, Kratos is wins a bit all three pretty easily. Yeah. I tried yeah. to steal Man Morbius and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because well, then... Morbius needs blood, right? So, like, without the resource of having blood to drink. No and even with it, I still today. think he's screwed anyway. Yeah. 
Now here is a bout that uh, is going to be pretty difficult to figure out. Well, maybe not. No, this one probably won't be difficult, but I think you guys will be happy to know who is also in this running. I'd be curious where he's going to end up. In any case, it is Alex Mercer versus the Grim Reaper. The Grim like Reaper. literal oh, embodiment of death? <laughs> He's here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alex this is this death. is actually kind of tough. How you kill death? The thing is, yeah. is that death, death just um, has to touch you when it's already game over. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Good image. <laughs> and I guess, yeah, are all the protrusions from Alex Mercer considered part of him? So him. death... Yeah, yeah so death touch... Yeah, but Mercer's fucked. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> a all of his attacks are body-based. Rather yeah. a bad matchup for Mr. Mercer. Yeah. Yep. Man. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. We we yeah, sorry, yeah. bro. Yeah. He tried. He's gotta touch him. Yeah, but you know you to... death. I'm just thinking like death's gonna need some hard counters. Yeah. Like robots would be good against death, right? Yes, because he mm -hmm. couldn't kill them. Mm -hmm. He's gonna end up near he's With probably gonna end up fighting Unicron. Oh, Alex Mercer is just like not not designed to fight against death. No, he's that designed poor, to fight against a lot of other entities, but not death. Yeah. No. It is kind of funny. He's like, here I am, ready for my redemption. I'm going to fuck things. It's like, oh, dead. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> Important thing is he tried. Alex Mercer is basically like Carnage mixed with Tetsuo from Akira. That means a lot to everyone here. Everyone here. They know exactly what you're referring to. <laughs> Next Big up. monster that can turn into weapons. We have Ultron versus the Mask. <laughs> the Mask. The Mask yeah. has crazy super duper cartoon powers. Yeah, working in yeah his he might be in a Bugs Bunny situation. But, the rules yeah, don't but, really apply to him. Can he just can he destroy an entity that basically exists like on all technology in the world? He probably has round one, right? If Ultron's limited to do. just one Ultron. Oh hmm. yeah, then the Mask definitely beats him. And his Ultron, he's probably limited to just one Ultron in the forest, too, right? Or is he? Um, probably. Oh, well, even then, yeah. And if he, even if he had, like, a few little Ultron bots, they'd get destroyed pretty easy. Yeah, the mask is gonna fuck up. So, uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's that round three, well, but it doesn't shit. matter, because he With doesn't Ultron, get the Yeah, It doesn't matter, yeah. Ultron's out. It's nice that he tried. Sorry, bro. But the mask is Yeah, it might awful. seem silly, but you gotta understand the mask isn't playing by the same rules of reality as everyone else once he has the mask on. Isn't the mask, um, what's like the mythology of it? Is it, um... It, yeah, I think it's it was Loki's like an old, like, it, yeah. Aztec relic. Well, people in chat have been saying it's, uh, yeah, it's Loki's mask or something, so it's, it's kind of interesting to compare. <laughs> but, uh... I wonder... <laughs> I like that image a lot. Sorry, I, I'm, it's difficult for me to show images because of the the nature of me my setup right now. But we'll yeah, go to the next yeah. fight. I'll be very curious what everyone thinks about this one. Neo versus Mewtwo. Hmm. hmm. I don't know much about Does Pokemon powers. Place, Mewtwo is great. God. Mewtwo is, is a god. It's the god of Pokemon. But does Pokemon exist within the Matrix or not? I mean, Neo wouldn't be in the Matrix in this scenario. Man, a lot of people say I mean, Mewtwo wins. Guy. Like, Mewtwo is, is a god with basically every power. It's insanely OP. Oh, Wait, I yeah. thought Mewtwo was just a clone thingy. He's a clone of a god, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I do okay. have to, I have to Obviously, run. Obviously, my bad. <laughs> I have to run for, for a short period of time. Uh, so I, I'm gonna hop out now, but I'll be back in 30 minutes or so. We'll probably uh, still be here, at least some of us. <laughs> All right, man. Bye, chat. Bye. Later. Bye, bye. Later, Mario. Later. So, uh, Neo and Mewtwo, what are we? Uh, what are we? I mean, doing? outside of the Matrix, for at least round one and probably two, Neo is just a normal guy. If it's not in the Matrix, it seems yeah, I mean, unreasonable that, to we consider really him figure just that a out. normal guy. Sure. So if you take, I mean, in round three, he definitely has powers because he has. The thing about, like the... and and by the way, I guess we are doing reloaded and revelations, right? We're ignoring resurrections. Um, he's he's quite fightable, Neo, in in the second and third films. Once he's reached his uh, Neo mm -hmm. level, he has to like. 
have regular fist fights with uh, you know agents and these guys yeah. in the um, the chateau. Like he has to fight all of them. He doesn't like wipe them out. I feel like Mewtwo would wipe out all of that pretty easily. Yeah. Yeah, He's... probably. I think Mewtwo actually takes this uh, in in like Mewtwo the basic interpretation just... of how we would assume both of them would run in in when fighting each other with the powers we see them with in their typical existence, like not including the nature of the Matrix, like that Mewtwo is hooked up to all the things to get him into them. You know what I mean? Like we're not really, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know enough about Mewtwo to argue, so I'm cool with giving it to him or her. No what is it? idea. What is it? I, I think yeah. uh, Mewtwo's so cool looking. He's got to be a guy, right? They wouldn't make a girl cool looking. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, it, it's 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 interesting to think about. But Mewtwo is uh, he's a strong boy. Um, he made everyone cry in the first Pokemon movie because he was being mean. But then he <laughs> turned good, and he gave a really nice moral message because that was weirdly quite a good film, from what I remember. Mind you, I was like five, so maybe it wasn't. <laughs> I do not remember. <laughs> Truly, who can say? Uh, do I not have an image for this? Whoops. All right, I need to get one while you guys discuss Sonic versus King Ghidorah. Mm. Boy. So um, the thing is, is that in round three, it's Super Sonic, who is invincible and super yeah, fast. Yeah, Super Sonic is OP as shit. Yeah. So like, Super yeah. Sonic probably wins, right? <laughs> Get in that fight. And the, there's no time limit to that, right? That lasts basically forever. But Pretty round much, yeah. round one, does Sonic have a chance? What is the stopping power on a spin dash? Uh, <laughs> can it hurt the toe of Ghidorah? Yeah, Sonic, Sonic loses Sonic. round one and two, um, I think, right? Well, can Sonic, like, boss fight it out? Can he hit Ghidorah enough times hard enough to eventually <laughs> win? Well, Especially no. are there rings in the area? Yeah. Yeah. Does Ghidorah create weird things that Sonic can jump onto so he can hit all three of his heads? <laughs> Does he create weird things? Yeah, like Sonic stones really that float around. Right and then you the go thing. like, ah, I'm too slow. Uh, you're too slow, damn it. I'm too slow. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Probably like run Sonic's right really up the tail. You know, he's really fast. He really is fast. Just yeah, do the spin dash out. charge up in its eye. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> kind of. Like, I, you know, like, I know, but he's fast. He's really fast. Yeah, but I've, I just think that, you know, makes it last longer. I, I don't think he would actually win. What? I, I don't know. I mean, Sonic, like, if he's running really fast and he spin dashes into, like, King Ghidorah's head... Correct me if I'm wrong. That's King King be, Ghidorah, like, effective. Has he got really strong regeneration? Because like, the way he's knocked out in King of the Monsters was, um... He was, like, hit by heavy radiation blasts over and over and over again. Yeah. I vaguely recall one of the heads getting cut off and it regrowing yeah. pretty much instantly. Which makes it well, really hard for Sonic. At least in the first two rounds. I'm willing to bet that Supersonic wins, but up to that point... Yeah, King, King Ghidorah can fly, right? He can, yeah. What about, uh, if he, can he use Chaos yeah. Control in, like, round two? I mean, King, uh, King Ghidorah can just stay up in the air and shoot shit yeah. at Sonic. I guess he could use Chaos Control, yeah. The thing is, is that if, if King Ghidorah spawns on the land, is he even going to be fast enough to get to a, an except? Like, can he be fast enough to be inaccessible to Sonic before Sonic already has a chance to, like, attack him on the ground? But is Sonic attacking him actually going to do anything I, to King Ghidorah? Like, genuinely, I yeah. don't think Sonic has the power level until level 3 to beat Ghidorah. Because Ghidorah's yeah. got yeah, that's what like, I was hyper thinking. regeneration as well. And energy drains. So, like, the, si the, the size differential... Isn't Sonic basically the size of, like, the top, like, tip of one of King Ghidorah's toenails? Like, are you being molested <laughs> by a flea at this point? It's not... <laughs> I think Sonic's losing this. I, like I said, I think Sonic has the, th the third round, but I don't know that he can muster enough power to beat Ghidorah in round one and two. He and could the fact dodge is... for a very long time, but I don't know if he has a stopping power to actually do anything before level is, three. Is King Ghidorah even in a position to hurt Sonic, though? Like, can he? Is he? Is Sonic too fast for him to hurt him? Um, it's possible that that's the case. Because if that's the case, then surely like Sonic just wins by attrition. 
Like Why does Sonic win by attrition? Uh, if if he's if if he can hit Ghidorah, but Ghidorah can't hit him, then it just feels like it's a health bar going down. It's health bar. Eventually, going down. eventually, King Ghidorah would hit him. Mm. And his health bar, he's going back up. That's his King Ghidorah's thing. Like the, yeah. the reason I think. Well, so was that a draw then? Well, isn't it just it's you just have to like wait until Ghidorah hits Sonic, and that's that? Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Sonic loses. And Sonic can't put out the necessary damage, it doesn't seem well, like. Well, I mean, it, no matter how hard the hit, Sonic would just drop his rings, and then if you, if you pick up a couple, <laughs> you're, you're good for another hit. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have rings? I'm down to assume that Sonic in, eventually in the gets forest? tired. The yeah, in the hit. first round, he probably doesn't, but yeah. In the second, he might have a few. Because on Final Destination, there's barely any room for Sonic to actually evade Ghidorah's like lightning strikes, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You just nuke the platform. <laughs> mm -hmm. Seems that way. And so mm -hmm. it, like, it seems like it's two. round two, basically. Um, Ghidorah has the ability to start up gravity fields and hurricanes, and then the electricity as well. I don't know how the energy yeah. drain thing works, though. Ghidorah can drain energy and electricity directly into himself by biting down on power sources. Oh, he's yeah, all the kaiju can do that, right? right. He's got speed and agility. Each of Ghidorah's heads move very nimble and quick, able to lash out and quickly strike their intended targets like snakes. Probably not fast enough for Sonic, but no. he can do other shit. What's that boss from Sonic Adventure that, um, Perfect Chaos? What's what's the one that he beats that's like a kaiju? How do he do that? He just spin dashes There's Super into Sonic a at the end of it, right? Like, is that the last boss in Sonic Adventure? Um, I, I, like, I just, I'm talking about, like, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out if it's a I, I believe you do I become do Super Sonic at the end of Sonic Adventure, and that's how Yeah, that's do. the problem, is that Super Sonic is relegated chaos. strictly to, uh, to, to round three, I think. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well. What's the welt? What are we learning? Yeah, and then there's. Like, I guess he probably get, he like... probably gets tired. You're right. Like eventually he'll get tired, and then Guitar will kill him. Just even. So... And like in yeah. front, in frontiers, there's like these titans, and you have to get like become become supersonic every time to beat them as well. I guess they're kind of comparable in size. I'm I'm not sure though. Hmm. Um, but he also needs to be supersonic to do that. So I, I don't know. Yeah. So so I guess we're giving this one to Guitar then. Probably. Yeah. I don't know how Sonic would ever win. With Super Sonic. He'd spin but... dash into him enough. <laughs> do no damage whatsoever. <laughs> hey, look, I don't try his best. <laughs> yeah, but trying is not winning. <laughs> Hope isn't oh a strategy. <laughs> Crushing his dreams. <laughs> We're knocking out so many heavy hitters. Oh! A classic, though I'm pretty sure I know exactly the way this goes. Or even spoken. About. This might be the most spoken about battle ever. Oh, you know what no. I'm talking about? Oh no! Is it Goku versus Superman? Well, <laughs> you guessed <laughs> right, buddy. Uh, oh no! So, isn't it just Goku? <laughs> yeah. Because, as far as I'm aware, Goku. Doesn't really have a weakness, <laughs> like what Superman yeah, does. Yeah, as far as as far as I've been made aware, it is Goku until you get to like the really silly Superman iterations. I'm not all that familiar with either of them, but isn't Superman's only weakness Kryptonite? How's Goku getting that? What well, also magic? Well, magic as well, yeah. And oh, you can maybe argue that Goku's power is I somewhat mean... magic based. Uh, am I to take his only weakness is kryptonite to mean that any amount of force exerted on him that is not kryptonite does nothing? Yeah. I don't I don't know that that's well, the case for Superman, right? Like I no, feel, because I feel like yeah, every like, iteration uh, Doomsday of him... kills him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doomsday well, doesn't he kills use him kryptonite, kryptonite to kill him. He? he just beats him. Oh. He, no, he just beats him up. He yeah. but like I I think the the way it was explained to me which made sense a long time ago probably when I was a teenager was he's the man of steel. But you can still destroy something that's made out of steel if you're hitting it hard enough for long enough with a big enough thing. So it's like eventually Superman will fall, but it's it's pretty tough because he's very strong. 
Someone said Superman right, lifted a book with through? infinite pages. What does that mean? What? Okay, it's very uh, strange. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what, what would be like how would we describe the nature of like goku going super saiyan like what what would he be doing to superman on a, a physical level uh he's exerting like physical forces on superman that are not really possible to conceptualize in terms of the strength <laughs> he has like yeah dragon ball got a little bit out of control it's it's <laughs> incredulously stupid the game's this man, oh <laughs> this, <laughs> man this, this man could fire like giga stoop like super beams and wipe out super clusters of galaxies if like judging by the way the series has scaled but can't like, superman go okay. around the planet so fast that he reverses time goku can teleport <laughs> i typed in to google who would win out of these two and the result was superman would win while Goku is extremely powerful, he would not be able to even hurt Superman, whose only weakness is magic and kryptonite. Goku cannot use magic, and if anything, the key blasts are a form of UV light, which would help Superman. The only way <laughs> Goku could defeat Superman fuck? would be with the power pole. Why would the, the why would the belief the be that like Superman? So like, if Superman huh? fights Zod, would it just be that they both? It's just like, oh well, the fight never ends because they can't kill each other unless they have kryptonite. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not buying that this whole literally yeah, any yeah, physical so force yeah. exerted on them does nothing unless kryptonite is involved. I don't buy it. Also, how yeah. is this bullshit not magic? I don't know. Yeah, it's like your stuff is magic. <laughs> I don't right? know. Like yeah. that. that uh, is yeah, like if magic Superman in a gets sense. hit by any key-related attacks, and we classify that as magic, Superman explodes immediately. But <laughs> well, you know what? Because <laughs> again, the power the power behind these things is like impossible to conceptualize. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid the calamity that is us deciding Goku or Superman. We'll leave this to chat, okay? Oh, this is sure. beyond us. <laughs> so funny. The, the strongest <laughs> Superman beats the strongest Goku, but your average Goku beats most Supermans. Well, just funny, on the, the... I think the last time I checked on Dragon Ball, they had to punch in a certain way so the universe doesn't explode or something. It was really weird. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Goku can just overpower Time Stop. Like he is pa again like. He's strong in ways that don't make sense. Trying to capture how strong this man is, like trying to say he's stronger than the color blue. Like it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but if, well, if the Superman pole is can up. Fly around the planet so fast that he reverses time. Then he's got all the same powers that say oh the Doctor God, Who yeah. has. In which case, he can go back in time and kill Goku, Goku before he gets all of his powers. In which case, he's fine. Witness. That doesn't happen often, but it does happen in the Christopher Reeve movie, which a, a lot of people will cite as a lot of people say that's, thing. that's not a part they're particularly fond of as a payoff because it is just yeah. like, well, yeah, yeah. Like, it's yeah. silly. It's I just, don't it, like, it doesn't make any sense. It's silly. I don't like the Transformers guy being Cyber Cthulhu because he's unstoppable. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's not true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, hey, look, responsibility. A, a sword fight is your best bet. Responsibility relinquished from us. Chat is deciding what's going to happen. Because we've had mm -hmm. a few Super Chats trying to explain the context for why either would win. I leave it to the people. I love democracy. I love the Republic. I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly willing to believe that the strongest version of Superman ever beats the strongest version of Goku. I have no idea. I have I no idea. Who wins. Like, I don't know who wins. Because <laughs> so fucking crazy. So. <laughs> Some of the Dragon Ball super abilities are nuts. Yes. Yeah, like I said, Goku just no sells time stop because he's really strong, like <laughs> and fast. Super <laughs> Superman <laughs> gets <laughs> crushed. He just, he just pumps his numbers to defeat anything that would like beat him. It's uh, like I don't know. Super Saiyan God Sachi should be disqualified, bro. We've got Manhattan and Cthulhu in this, like. And Cthulhu, so what are you talking yeah. about? This is a heavyweight. The whole yeah. point is that they're all overpowered. Yeah. Yeah. They're all ridiculous. <laughs> never been there. Um, I don't think Superman's taken this. I'll say that. No, much. it looks like Goku's got it. I'm not saying Boy. Superman benched the weight of the planet for six days straight, as if that's like. If remotely why impressive that... compared to Goku. Yeah, why... <laughs> I don't know why that said. Well, well, the, the, like the, the person earlier <laughs> said that Wait, Superman but... lifted a book with infinite pages. What does that mean? What does that even like again? Why does it have to be a book? It would be infinitely heavy. Like with yes. these two stupid now, I mean, yeah, ass yeah, characters, we're in domains that can't actually be conceptualized and don't make sense. Superman is stronger than 
Superman is stronger than abstract art. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. No, it isn't. No, it's not. Well, in any uh, case, uh, this isn't close. <laughs> Goku's got it. Um, sorry, that's Superman. Kind of heartbreaking, but there was there's no winners in terms of this one. <laughs> <laughs> there's no winners. We all oh, lose. Everyone's just mad. Like I said, we weren't going to solve that one. That's an age-old internet thing, you know? Oh, yeah. But it was fun to see you guys decide in chat, see what you had. What's funny is, I was about to say, we're about to go to an easier one, but who knows the can of worms that we're about to open with this one. Uh, we have, next bout, Zeus versus Odin. Oh. Huh. Now, my inclination is actually Odin, from what I know about the mythologies, but... I could be wrong, because um, uh, Odin's very much into knowledge, right? Yeah. yeah. And so it's like, it feels like that's going to give him the leg up on Zeus, who's... Um, I mean, that's just a huge advantage anyway. Like, he's going to find out everything he can with his crows and shit. But I, I don't know. Yeah. If, if they both spawn on Final Destination, round one, it's really down to power levels. Um, Zeus might have round one, maybe. I don't know. I don't think he does. I, I, I have a vague remem like memory that Odin beats monsters that are like bigger than planets, and Zeus never does that. So power level wise, Odin would win, assuming that is uh, true. It yeah, it depends. Like, do we go just by the old Norse legends, or uh, you know, the, the mythology, or do we go by like you know, uh, Marvel stuff, or, or you know? Mm -hmm. I think the, we stay uh, away from. Marvel? Yeah, we like... generally want to go with like a like a general knowledge on the both of them, but like obviously I'm not familiar with their full mythologies, so I can't speak mm -hmm. to that. But it is fun to speculate because you know broad characteristics from all the portrayals they've had in all kinds of media. Um, mm -hmm. what do you guys think? Hmm. I don't know. Zeus didn't the defeat the Titans, but I'm I'm not aware of the inter. Like the the giant things that Odin apparently slayed. Like, so I, I, I haven't vote heard about him. that either. Odin's mm. like Odin's Mister Magic as compared to Zeus, who is like marginally, I suppose, more physical. If I can, being, uh, you know, the lightning guy as well. Give us some mm. idea. So while Zeus's best feat is defeating a mountain-sized monster, Odin's best feat is defeating a monster as big as nine worlds. Odin outclasses oh, Zeus in intelligence, versatility, strength, and weapons. Zeus simply cannot compete. Well, the winner is Odin, the All Father of the Aesir. I think he also I mean, had help yeah, fair enough. the Titans. That's... I do approve. I mean, it's good enough for me. He has all of his magic shit on top of that. Yeah. So yeah, sounds like Zeus is a fucking pussy. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it does seem. Most... Take that, Greeks. I'd say like seventy percent of chat was saying it was Odin as well, at least. So it looks like Odin has it. I don't know. I like yeah. how we're far past the point of most of the rounds even mattering whatsoever because of the way these characters exist. We'll get to the <laughs> craziness probably at the end in terms of... It would be funny to see who ends up at the end. It's gotta be Unicron, Cthulhu... Uh... I mean, I, I don't understand how anything could beat Unicron. Well, no. Optimus fucking Prime did it with the Matrix of Friendship or whatever, so I, fuck you. I guess, but like, <laughs> I don't know how he did that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Well, but that's going to be the Achilles' heel. Friendship if... won't exist until the third round like, anyway. Why didn't, so. why didn't Unicron just use Apocalypse Inducement? You know? like <laughs> Yeah, that <laughs> fool. It was his first day or something, I don't know. He forgot. Um, Alright. We have the next fight. This is kind of... Uh, I wonder if this one's obvious. It might be actually considering their respective laws, but... Hey, we promised Merlin would be in here, okay? So we've got Merlin versus Gandalf. Oh. So Merlin is a wizard. Gandalf. So is Gandalf. <laughs> well, that's true, but Gandalf is like <laughs> something akin to an angel within Tolkien's yeah. mythology, from my understanding. So. Yeah, he is, but his power level is quite specifically limited, and yeah. it's much more naturalistic. Whereas Merlin's Merlin has the advantage of a soft magic system in the way that Gandalf doesn't, and soft magic systems tend to beat hard magic systems because they cheat. So I would go for Merlin on this one. Yeah, well, Platoon's Also, uh... we'll put, um, I know this picture's not right, but we'll go with uh, Gandalf the White as well, just to push him to max. I assume he's more powerful than Gandalf the Grey. 
No what comment. equipment do, do uh, they... So, no staff for Gandalf in the first Oh, fight? shit, yeah. I think Merlin doesn't require any what does that tools, mean? does he, to cast spells? Or he has does a he? wand, doesn't he? Does he? Um, well, I presume that Merlin gets no wand, no books. No. It would just be a fist fight between them, I guess. Two old guys. <laughs> Gandalf has, like, showcased martial prowess, you know? So. That's sure. true. Yeah. Just to clarify, can Merlin He's do anything... more durable, given he's an angel. Can Merlin do anything magical without any materials? Don't know. Hmm. I just like the idea of the uh, two how to three for all on Final Destination. Yeah, that's I great. Just that the best you format. Two old men. Do we, do we have <laughs> anything guess... on like what Merlin can do? Yeah, it depends on the iteration of Merlin as well. Like in some iterations, he also uses his hands to do magic, I guess, or at least from what I remember. In others, he uses a wand. Uh, most common powers include prophecy and shape shifting. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing as like his most common yeah. Yeah. things that he does. Shape shifting would definitely help in round one. <laughs> Engineers the birth of Arthur through magic and intrigue. Oh my! <laughs> All right. Uh, yep. Oh my! This post says that yep. he's uh, his knowledge of magical abilities would make him formidable to Lord Voldemort. Which means he's got to know some stuff. Um, Vol a lot of things. There's right? also. Yeah. It, the so the, the history that the Maya uh, are placed on Earth by the Valar, and they are limited in such a way as to prevent them winning exactly this competition. Like Gandalf is explicitly designed with limits on his power that stop him becoming the most all-powerful thing in the world ever. That's why he's placed there. Um, the only reason that Sauron, who's technically of the same race of being, can become as powerful as he is is because he makes the ring, and greed can make you fall into temptation which allows you to supersede the power limits that are set upon you, but Gandalf is quite explicitly designed not to be able to win this fight. So Gandalf is actually fighting against the rules of the game here. Hmm. <laughs> it does say as well, uh, Merlin's abilities... That sounded pretty convincing. <laughs> ...allow him to battle God single-handedly, instantly teleport anywhere in the world, and summon mythological creatures to do his bidding. Hmm... He well, has astral right. projection, telekinesis, reality manipulation, and the ability to bring anyone back to life. Okay, he's kind of OP, if that's true. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Merlin's pretty OP, I think we've There's all known There's probably this. a lot of different versions of the of Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Mix. Um, do we believe Merlin uh, has this? Gandalf beat a Balrog? Yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. We like that. We're, we, we like Gandalf. He's cool. I'd have him over like for dinner. He did yeah. that. The Balrog did kill him as well. He had to be brought oh, back. Oh, that's a technicality. So... <laughs> <laughs> I do like the idea that Merlin summons a Balrog, Gandalf beats it, he's exhausted, and Merlin summons another one. <laughs> it's like, go, it's like, do it again. Uh, um, but I don't know. From, from everything I'm learning here, it sounds like Merlin has it. Seems yeah. that way. Sadly. Yes. I love me some Gandalf, but... Merlin's uh, he's a bit of a bitch, you know, and it's gonna be curious how he does in future. <laughs> Got some wizards in here. It's, it's making things magical. Hey, how are they gonna? Oh wait, Superman doesn't get to fight any of these because he lost nope. to Goku objectively, mm -hmm. according to Chan. Right, I'm blaming you. Oh, Chan. next up, <laughs> I don't know what to think of this. We have Voldemort and Maleficent. Um. So Both like, powerful uh, wizards. <laughs> final form, Maleficent's a dragon. So can Voldemort be the dragon? Yeah, a Avada Kedavra kills everything. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, well, then, I guess he wins. Yes. Then, he? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess Voldemort <laughs> just, <laughs> just clears, yeah. Just clear that we're sweeping with Avada Kedavra? It's, uh, that's not a homing well, I don't spell, think right? Like you have Maleficent's to aim it. not beating him in the fist fight at the beginning, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, he needs his wand. Does she need a particular tool to cast spells? Staff? No? I don't, I don't know. know. Well, the thing Does is, is that... mm. No idea. I actually don't know, yeah. Do, do the wizards in Harry Potter need wands to do anything at all? Yes. Uh, they can huh. do some things without it, right? Like, uh, Harry makes the glass disappear and shit like that. Hmm. Yeah, but they need their wand to, like, focus do it. Yeah, they, to do like specific spells and shit, then the the ones. It's, ones are like they. Is the notion in the Harry Potter universe that they channel your power? Like they're not the be all and end all, but they're certainly what you should have. Something like that. Yeah. 
I think so. It gets quite loose though because it's JK Rowling. So mm. who really knows? <laughs> but like, like, like there are more powerful ones as well. So like theoretically final form Voldemort in round three has the elder wand, which is yeah, like one of the biggest damn like hardest things ever. I don't know, but I like I still uh, can't see her beating Avada Kedavra. It's the biggest and hardest well, people one. like Voldemort yeah, could even biggest kill a baby. Hardest, wonderful. Nice. <laughs> Voldemort had trouble defeating <laughs> high school students. <laughs> it's like, hey. <laughs> um, it, it, it seems, generally speaking, that Maleficent is uh, outplayed here. But the thing is, Voldemort's not going to get much uh, further in this, I don't think. In fact, he'll probably end up against Merlin next. Rip. I assume Rip. I don't know. But hmm. I don't know. Nevada Kedavra's pretty I think broken. Voldemort might actually win that. <laughs> Voldemort. What a wonderful name. Ooh, we have a classic. Or it might not be. This comes down to... This is another understanding of media that I, have, I only have half of this. So, Homelander versus Omni-Man. Huh. Omni-Man feels yeah. stronger, right? He doesn't have laser eyes, but other than that, he is physically stronger. I would assume so. And we know so. that Homelander can be beaten, right? Because... Because uh, Butcher nearly did and then didn't kill him for some stupid fucking God. reason. But the show we know he can be beaten. <laughs> and, and it's really hard to kill Omni Man. The chat is just a tide of Omni Man. I mean, yeah, Omni Man is like. I'll say 10% of that him. is popularity contest. The rest is just the truth, I think. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> Omni Man is just yeah. much more likable from what I gather because he's, he's much more. Cons like, H Homeland is kind of annoying at this point. Um, in the show, because he's they've done the same thing with him over and over and over again. He's crazy. He's gonna destroy the whole world. No, no, he won't. No, oh, he's gonna do it. No, no, he won't. Oh, oh. god, there he goes again. No, it's fine. I feel <laughs> like in Invincible there was a character with lasers that shot lasers at him, right? And and I feel that his eyes could be affected, right? He could be burnt. He could be whatever, but he would still punch directly through Homelander's face. <laughs> I'm convinced o Omni Man has it. A Omni Man, good luck with the you know Omnicron or whatever the fuck. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> um, okay, this is a bit of a wild one, but it's good we have some people who have played the games to know what the fuck this this uh, this is. Um, we have He Man, and he's going to be battling Grave Lord Nito. What the fuck? He man what? I didn't <laughs> expect him to show up. Why? That's a good skeleton. <laughs> Why Grave, Grave Lord Nito is one of the bosses from thing. Dark Souls 1? Oh. He is. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Because Skeletor, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> good, I'm sorry. I'm with it, yeah. I mean, yeah, I think we can give this one to you, man. Yeah. <laughs> so, Maybe not round one. Uh, remind me, Theo, do you need, like, holy weapons to attack... Nito, or do you need something? No. What do you need for him? Fire. Just in general, you just, need, you just need holy to put his skeleton buddies down for good. Right. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, they just you come need back. The power all the time. No. Yeah, and he's super weak to fire. Nito does have the stabby stab move from the ground, and he does have his yeah. cords that'll get in the way. But I think He Man's ready for this. I think he's trained his whole life for this. Fabulous. I think He, he Man. Does it does He Man's sword do like holy damage? I don't know. <laughs> it <laughs> might do. No I don't actually know. Yeah. He's got damage. a cross on his chest. <laughs> he does. He, he do, he, like, I don't know. Um, I, I think Nito probably wins round three, but I don't know if he wins beyond that before that point. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, he starts winning whenever he gets access to the you know miasma of death and disease that mm -hmm. insta killed the dragons the moment oh, their scales yeah. were gone. Well, I wonder if He-Man can put up with that at his maximum, which I don't know what, what his maximum is. I don't is. know how hard He-Man scales. The, the only thing I remember is he says he has fabulous powers. His powers are pretty fucking fabulous. Yeah. Let me check. I'm Googling. Because I think Google. he's more powerful than I thought he was. The uh, He-Man, you know, like... He does, does he have, like, a yeah. supersonic yeah. thing? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I hope it's called that. <laughs> ah, the supersonic thing. Go! The power swords grant nigh indestructibility, energy absorption, and projectile shape... or projection shape-shifting, I see. 
Oh, there's a question here. Is He-Man stronger than Superman? Damn. <laughs> what is He-Man's weakness? He lacks huh. deadly ranged weaponry. Oh. That's Apparently unfortunate. Apparently he can hit non-corporeal objects as well. Um, well, I think he beats Nito the two times out of the three, which is the important part. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Powered by Captain Gra uh, Cap Castle Grayskull, he is shown to be among uh, the incarnations of He-Man Power Bub. Well, wields the power to destroy the entire universe. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Well, why does everyone? Oh, yeah, that's have the powers? thing. Skeletor is trying to steal all the time. Yeah, that's what. I mean, damn you, Skeletor! So he's gonna be Nito. I mean, I mean <laughs> Nito with a little thief guy. <laughs> I do like the idea that he sees Nito and he's like, "Oh, you goofs, the skeletal. What are you up to now?" That it's like, "Oh, oh, you're like, oh, you're like a serious skeleton man." Damn. <laughs> Maybe taking it a little too seriously. <laughs> yeah, I think we Nito's we are. Agreed. Starts playing. He's like, "Oh." I his think weakness is just funny. his sword. So. Ba -da 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 -da. Well, as some people pointed out, I, Nito can be. Kind I guess Magneto could have won. He can be kind of easy. Um. Depending on your position, I feel like He Man would find Nito easy in the earlier rounds. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. ER, you've waited all this time. Oh, boy. are you ready? But after hearing all these people, <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> it is Ang, and he is against. Oh, I bet you hope it's someone he could beat, don't you? You want him to last more than one <laughs> round, don't you? I, yeah, I'm just hoping um, you say. Cora. I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> Ang versus Dracula. <laughs> Dracula. 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 Yeah, well, <laughs> that's doable. I mean, Dracula has some crazy powers. He does right? have crazy yeah. powers, but I mean, I think Ang gets access to um, the, the Avatar state in all three rounds, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't know that he. Well, that's the thing, right? Are we talking well, about? That's end state. His everyday base power is non-avatar, right? Yeah, but he, like, doesn't he? Be... Well, I don't know Wait, that we we wouldn't. Non... We, no, we're not taking him from like season one. We'd be getting him from like his prime. Not not like his. We're not his, like Sonic's average state is not before he learned how to spin dash and stuff. We don't take them from. Right, I, right, yeah, but I he's also like... not in avatar mode all the time. Right? No, no, no. But he can activate it when he's like. Airbending master, pretty good with earthbending, very good at water bending, maybe a little bit of firebending as his base state. I don't know. Well, I, yeah, I feel like I feel like his life post. Because remember, with all the continuity that exists, I know this is going to be hard for you, ER, but we know that Ang grew up and he's a big <laughs> boy, so we can really take him from post season three, and and at that point he can just he Fair can enough. turn on the avatar state, right? At will. Yeah. Right. In which case, Dracula's probably. In fucked. which case. Yeah, he just wins yeah. everything. They're like, and he never. Well, you say wins. he wins everything. I don't know if he's winning. Is well, well in this one against Dracula, he wins everything against Dracula. To be fair, Dracula's probably one of the lower levels power people in this yes. uh, selection. A sharp stick beats Dracula, so he's not exactly <laughs> bent holy water. <laughs> I didn't think Mola would know Sonic Law well enough to say spin dash. Really. <laughs> what? Smaller's a gamer. What are you talking about? Well, but also everyone has said spin dash today like a million times when we were talking about Ghidorah. It's not really a lore, <laughs> it's a move. Move from the game. I'll allow it to be known as lore. I just feel like it's basic bitch lore, okay? I don't know anything about Sonic. I just know that Shadow's dash, the best character. He's nuts. Um oh, yeah. <laughs> Sonic. Oh, Shadow is such a bad game, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so bad. It's terrible. That's amazing. Um, one of the best games. It's a fucking yeah, painful yeah. game. I'd rather play Shamu. This man so hates awful. Mario and Shadow. Get rid of him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Based. We're coming close to the end of round one, okay? We're nearing it. Though we might uh. be entering one of the most difficult. This is going to be hard for, for uh, Fringy in particular. I know he's fond of both of these guys. But he's got to choose between one. Uh, what choose one winner? Okay. We have Yoda versus Kirby. Oh boy, <laughs> but Kirby is—he's killed. The gods. Kirby he's lore is gods. very yeah. Kirby <laughs> lore is something else, from what I understand. 
Kirby is is a god killer. He's almost invulnerable. He can eat <laughs> yeah. anything. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like as soon as Kirby swallows Yoda, it's like he well, becomes Yoda. Yeah. He becomes. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so just <laughs> help me out. Be able to slice help me out as a noob on this law. They spawn on Final Destination. What does Kirby do when Yoda picks him up? He just sucks him in. Sucks him in. But it doesn't he have to be within <laughs> range. Um, yeah, but I mean, uh, Final Destination is pretty close, right? Like, yeah. it's well, definitely as we know from Smash Bros, range. if if Kirby's picked up from spawn, he won't be close enough to suck in the person that spawned on the other side. Hmm. Yeah, Yoda could potentially just okay. So you know, he could win in 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 that one and throw him off. Yeah. What happens if uh like Kirby turns into like massive weights though? Like he just activates that power and falls off the edge. Yoda can well, lift very heavy yeah, things. Yeah, I was going to say, Yoda can push him and slide like, him off. That's <laughs> true, but it, it requires a level of, like, effort that might be difficult, right? So, yeah, like, if he grabs Kirby, well, Kirby what is the instantly weight? turns into, like, a 5,000, you know, kilogram, uh, like, thing. That would size matters not for me. Size, size right, matters yeah, not. Size, size, size matters not. <laughs> no, no, size no, matters a little I, bit. I agree, but, like, it would disorient him, surely. Like, if he went from grabbing Kirby to suddenly it weighs an X-Wing, like, it weighs as much as an X-Wing, that would fuck it up for him, wouldn't it? Yeah, he would so fall he to the ground and, and, he, and he can pick him up again. Well, he'd have to... I'm just saying, like, could he do that and mess with him so that Yoda wouldn't even be able to, like, concentrate? He'd be like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, he'd have to keep going back and forth between trying to grab Kirby and, and grab massive weights. I think you've just been time, at this Kirby's long enough to like yeah, learn not like to be Kirby distracted. Would be getting closer. Sure. Yeah, Kirby <laughs> is ridiculously powerful. Well, so what I would argue like, probably is ridiculous. Kirby probably has round two and three. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, I don't know if you guys yeah, can answer in this the question. Forest, he's just going to suck him in. Yeah. What does um, what does like a lightsaber do to Kirby? I think he would just swallow it. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's lit. I think he would just swallow it. Yeah, like Kirby's ridiculous. <laughs> Mm. All right. Maybe. I mean, I, I can buy it. Um, For round three's purposes, though, Kirby against the entire army of the Republic. Would that Kirby probably? Win? I mean, yeah, even then, I mean, <laughs> yeah. he's just, he's just waddling then. forward, sucking in the entire army. Like, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And he's how does unkillable. Kirby beat the Republic Starfleet? Oh, he just swallowed it. <laughs> he swallows, yeah. swallows the Death Star and then just takes them all out. I don't think you love the idea. He spits it out in pieces, and then his ability is now a Death Star laser. He's going to I mean, there's nothing yeah. that we've seen in Kirby games <laughs> that he can't swallow. Yeah, like that's the thing is that Kirby seems to be able to swallow basically anything. Anything. Um, right. And once he does it, he acquires their abilities, which is like a huge advantage. Yeah. Yep. Can they can get into I'm space? A, I'm not. Well read uh, in yes, Kirby lore. He's been in space. I was on the, the thing is that in round yeah. two and three, he gets gear, so he gets yeah. his star that he can fly around with, come down right, on Yoda right, right. and destroy him instantly. Yeah. So, yeah. Kirby wins. Look at look at Kirby. Unassuming Kirby. Kirby's <laughs> a monster. Kirby might be able to beat Unicron. I'm trusting I'm trusting the experts on this one because I just don't know enough about Kirby Law, but I do like well, the idea I'm that he's a horrifying. Kirby expert, but like I think Kirby will surprise you with, with how far he can go. He might be Cthulhu. I was gonna say I'm up for just keeping him in just because he might be the shit. only thing that can be Cthulhu or the, the fucking Transformers Cthulhu Unicron, thing. Yeah. He just swallows them and just becomes their equivalent. So <laughs> yes. also just wouldn't it be funny if Kirby wins? Uh, wouldn't that be a great name? <laughs> do, do, do. Our yeah, next, okay. next matchup feels like we're uh, shrinking power levels just a little bit, but that's okay. We're still in heavyweights. Syndrome versus Thanos. I don't know Syndrome's powers. So, Syndrome wins round one. Uh, wait, no, sorry. Thanos wins round uh, yeah. one. Yeah, Thanos has got that. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Uh -oh. Syndrome wins round two, though. <laughs> Yes, uh, Thanos would get his silly little sci-fi blade in round two. And his armor, mm -hmm. but, but then uh, round three... would just grab him with zero point energy and kill him. But, yeah, but round three, Thanos has got it with the gauntlet. Yeah. Yeah. So Syndrome is out. So, yep. But he tried, and everyone would have loved to watch that round one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Josh Brolin just punching little, uh, little ginger man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Ooh. Maybe the soul on that one. Never mind. I think chat are really going to light up with this one. I, uh, I know who I think would probably win, but I think, correct me if I'm wrong, the popularity contest is really going to come in for this one. We have. You're missing all of Thanos' abilities. He just won. He just won. He won. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go yeah, into it when we need to. I'm confused. Yeah, we'll get to it when we get to it. Anyway, Green Lantern versus Spider Man. So, round Lantern. one, Spider Man wins because Green Lantern doesn't have the ring. Would be my. Yeah. It would be Hal Jordan, just the guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Spider Man kicks his ass. Mm. Uh, but, like, round two onwards, I feel like Green Lantern's got the edge. Uh oh, Chad. The fact looking... that he can imagine anything. I he don't can, know. Anything he can imagine, he can create as like yeah. a weapon to use against Spider Man. I don't know I mean, how like fucking stupid mind. the version of Spider Man we have to start appealing to is before he starts being able to win. Like. Well, it's just. How, how does Spider Man account for like Green Lantern summoning yeah, like exactly. a whole bunch of F 15s to blow him up or like, <laughs> you know, grabbing him and flying him into space? The nature of Green Lantern's powers just means that he really should. Well, and also, Green Lantern can make himself inaccessible to Spider-Man very quickly. He can yeah. fly into space. He can take Spider-Man into space, can't he? Can't he capture people with the Green Lantern well, ring? Yeah, he can grab him, yeah. grab him with a big hand, and then fly him off into Not space. Even just, but the thing is, is that... He like summon a, a, a sphere around him or locks onto his hands. Just... Yeah, be a big cube. The thing is, is that, that um, Green Lantern, generally, the way that it's shown is that an amount of physical attacks on, like, a manifestation can break it. So, like, if he grabs Superman, like, Superman could eventually, like, break out. Mm. You know, regardless of, like, how crazy yeah. the thing is that he creates there seems to be some degree he, he can of, put them uh, in like multiples of cubes though right yeah, but see, could could spider-man yeah. break out by the time he's in space i don't think so i don't really. think so either he, he, green yeah. Lantern, he has put another capsule like on top of him uh, when he's about to break out well even then he's falling from a great height like that too you know yeah i don't think spider-man lives if he falls miles and miles and miles and hits the ground I have to get a pull oh, going. Got got well, Spider-Man's got pretty reality. insane durability. He probably survives that. I gotta see what the chat thinks. Space? Yeah, I don't oh, think no. he survives a yeah, fall yeah, from yeah, space, man. Close. I don't know, man. Well, wait. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it looks like Green I, I'm. I am not in the business of underestimating the durability of comic book characters. Well, they're both <laughs> comic book characters, though. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> in this unless, unless he's, you know, know, he's Peter, he's Peter Parker who doesn't have any like, you know. Unless uh, when Green Lantern grabs him, Spider Man demoralizes him enough that he loses his will <laughs> and then kills him. <laughs> <laughs> he says things like, Nobody likes you, you know that hell? They I'm like, dude, you, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of shocked. Spider Man's popularity has been flattened by the reality that he would lose. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> I, yeah, I, pr I think you know, it's, it's good of them. I, I thought I thought chat would just be like, no, I want Spider-Man in for longer, but he's he looks like he's heading out. Because I think that our conclusion would be that Green Lantern wins. Mm -hmm. It's just the fact that he can, whatever he imagines, he can make it. Like, how do you beat that as Spider-Man? Yeah, it's pretty powerful. Well, I think that's it. I'm sorry. There's nothing else to say. Spider-Man is no more. But um, just just counterfactual. What if it is the Snyder cut version of Green Lantern who cannot imagine anything and he so a laser. dies in He'll his one and only scene? He imagines a laser. Like a big yeah, and imagines. Wait, was the big mallet? Was that that was in Justice League, right? Was that in the yeah. Snyder cut? Oh fuck! Because I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Zach. Snyder cut? I remember the meme that Zach only had the Green Lantern shoot three lasers. I think that was it. Yeah, wasn't that it? Like, yeah. Green Lantern was worse in that version? Yes. Categorically, it was less imaginative. <laughs> which is insane. How do you get a Green Lantern and you can CG anything and you make it a laser? Why would you do so, that? I mean, if, if it's Green Lantern as written by Zack Snyder, then Spider-Man wins. But if it's well, but any other it, version, But at that point, loses. you should be putting a Zack Snyder Spider-Man against Zack Snyder Green Lantern. So, <laughs> Unless we fucking probably, I don't want to imagine that. <laughs> Nobody I wants prefer to the that. Suicide Squad. Kill the Justice League version. That's the best version. Oh I'm not sure slow motion will work for web-slinging scenes. 
<laughs> it would look really dumb. <laughs> okay, we have one here that people have kind of been waiting for in terms of where have these two been? They're here, finally. Samus Aran versus Iron Man. So, base power level Samus beats Iron Man. Like, as, you know, Samus without the suit kicks Iron Man's yeah. ass. Tony Stark yeah. can't do a yeah. lot. Yeah. He is just a guy. No, Tony no. Stark is not going to beat Samus in a fist fight. No. Uh, but then the thing is, is like, the Varia suit versus, I don't know, like, the Mark V armor. That feels fairly competitive. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it? The I feel like Samus might... The timeline of the technology just seems like the Varia suit should have an edge. Go on. I was going to say, I think Samus has the edge over Iron Man. I'd be curious about the ultimate forms, both of them, because Iron Man's going to be well, pretty powerful. Well, the thing is, in Metroid Dread, we see what Samus in the most powerful looks like, and she is yeah. like, ultra powerful. It's pretty crazy. She is super <laughs> duper powerful. I think... Like, she, she she's firing, like, a massive blazer, basically, that I don't know if... I, I think it would disintegrate Iron Man, like, if she hit him with it. But then the suit in Avengers, the first Avengers film, can take the lightning, and it can take hits from Mjolnir, but it can also take the lightning from Mjolnir and redirect it. It just like channels it into a, a bigger energy blast, so mm -hmm. it's variable, then, I think. The blast that Samus has is like insane. It's huge. It's enormous. Like it's it's really powerful. But well, then yeah, again, remember, um... like I'm Iron Man at his best is like Hulkbuster. He probably even has like a fleet of Iron Man suits working. Also, well, some people have right? been saying he's a basically a god at his highest power, which doesn't surprise me because all the fucking characters yeah, in comics like some... are gods. Yeah, because that's how it goes. Crazy yeah. Yeah. armor or something. That might be the problem. Is like he's Iron got... Man at his best feels like he could have a whole bunch of suits working for him, where Samus would just be like it would be her best armor and maybe her ship like helping her out. Uh, Friggy, his against, best armor uh... is called the God Buster. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all Stop right. it. Sure. Stop it. Stop uh, well then, okay, well then, in that case, it's a question of does Samus in the Varia suit beat like what Iron Man on his own in like a Mark V suit in the forest? I think Samus has got round one and two. I mean, I'm she's been... I think yeah. so too. Yeah. I um, mean, it, the... super agile. Well, now we solved the freezing hard. issue. Samus has shields, and uh, she can her defensive and evasive systems are, I think, better than his. His cost power too every time. I think so. Um, I love Iron Man, but I think Samus has it. Cosmic yeah, Iron so. God armor, dude. So funny. Stop. <laughs> no, keep going. It's funny. Does the Hulk have a God Hulk armor where he, he becomes God well, Hulk? I mean... Uh, it's like Red Hulk or something. Like I don't know. Oh, there's I mean there's all kinds, but uh, oh look what we've got coming up here. Oh, chat gonna get so mad at the potential of this one. I'm gonna be so interested to see what everyone has to say. There's a certain guy who's been missing for a long time now. A certain night in the darkness. But he's oh here. my god! He's oh, yeah. here and he's battling Wolverine. Who wins? So, mm. round I one, think... Wolverine's got him, right? Wolverine's yeah, going yeah, to we... annihilate Bruce Wayne, yeah. sorry. But <laughs> in the first round, we know that. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's yeah. not even close. God, that image of Wolverine, Jesus. I know. <laughs> Now, <laughs> round um, two. Round two and three is where it gets more interesting. Yeah, Batman gets his suit and his utility belt. He's got a standard set of tools at his disposal, but... Do we, do we include the Batmobile in round two? Or is okay, that... well, here's the other question. Does that make any difference? Yeah, it's Wolverine has side. crazy healing and yeah. his adamantium or whatever, like skeleton, that makes him super durable, right? So... Does Batman have the ability to cobble together anything that can cause meaningful damage to Wolverine? I guess we're, it, it... yeah, because you can't just punch him. To well, death. so the, I want to be clear. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I think <laughs> Batman. Back to a, to a power... I think Batman wins round three. Knockout gas. I don't Batman know that he can... wins three because he has all of the time that he needs to figure yeah. out yeah, why to beat Wolverine. Yep. But round two. And he's smarter. Can he incapacitate Wolverine? I don't know that. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. In certain situations, his belt is basically like an infinite fucking pocket. I don't so know if we're going to treat it that way, though. Like, 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I know. It, it's going to go by tools, right? If someone said, like, he's got a grappling hook, I'd be like, yeah, of course, definitely. And then someone said, he's got a time travel machine. I'd be like, no, 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 he doesn't have that. And like, no. <laughs> does he have the shock repellent bat spray? Does he have Wolverine yes. spray? If he does, you know, yes, that'll work out. Obviously. Um, I, I really, we're, back at, we're back at characters that can actually walk into woods now, so we can actually take the woods mm -hmm. back into account this does, time. Uh... Does Batman have the capacity to knock out Wolverine and then like? Maybe he does throw the those little those that. little knockout things, doesn't he? Yeah, those like little... I presume that if he had some kind of bomb that could knock out Wolverine, then he wins. I think yeah. that's like, pretty Wolverine. regularly shown. Would then that would, would like? Do we, we just need to know would it work on Wolverine? Because Wolverine's pretty uh, uh, durable, I mean, right? Like he's got a he he is, but uh, like would knock out gas of some kind? Would that? Actually, would that work on Wolverine? Probably, right? Probably, it wouldn't last for very long. In the yeah, in a movie, just right? physically I durable, right? I don't know. I think um, it wouldn't yeah, last I very think he long. He gets knocked out by yeah. gas in in the movies, doesn't he? He does get knocked out. I'm certain he can be, uh, and I think we can believe uh, Batman would have knockout would gas. Have to, but the thing is, is he'd need to be able to do that with Wolverine actually like breathing it in. When Wolverine could just be like running around or climbing up in the trees, right, with his claws. Well, as people mentioned, around. Wolverine in the forest is kind of terrifying. He's yeah, a, that's like a really, sure. good, it's really good turf <laughs> for him, great. and it's not as it, good for Batman. It absolutely would not be easy for Batman to win this, even if he has the the correct things. Well, he'd he'd need to rely on that. If he missed with the knockout gas, yeah. he's fucked. Like so, that's it. <laughs> it's over. Yeah. Well, well, no, Wolverine, uh, then. Wolverine many... can smell him as well, right? So he can go, he can draw to him yeah. straight away. But Batman yeah. would be able to find Wolverine like basically immediately as well, because he'd have like some capacity to, you know, like yeah, thermal. with the the cowl would probably have something in there, right? That would help. So him they'd both out. know exactly where they are. So it's like, well, how do they win <laughs> then if they essentially do a direct confrontation? I think, I think the sense of smell thing you mentioned means Batman never gets the time he needs to concoct a bulletproof strategy yeah. to actually take Wolverine down, which means Wolverine yeah. wins. Well, I mean, it looks like we've Jeez. concluded it would be reasonably speaking Wolverine, certainly for round one, mostly round two, but then not round three. Mm -hmm. But that's enough for him to take it. Yeah, I've been trying to. Uh, I want to ask uh, the poll to see how <laughs> how skewed it is or isn't. But um, the thing is, like, no one was ever going to like Batman losing ever. It doesn't matter. It could have been against fucking mm -hmm. um, Cthulhu. It wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> 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 It would definitely win against Cthulhu. I feel like Batman still might have a means of non-lethally taking Wolverine down. For oh, he, 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 would, but, he yeah. just doesn't have time. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah, I, but I mean, that, like, that... doesn't he have like a utility belt with a like a reasonable amount of things in it, like that he might have on him for most situations? Yes. Yeah, so, um, the problem is that most but of the time Wolverine is running at him. He's coming yeah. real fast. Does he have a taser? I mean, Wolverine is metal skeleton. His body is still basically human. In some iterations, it does, right? Uh, wow, that's a question. Is it? Is this like before or after Weapon X? Like, well, know, I guess it's got to be after, right? Adamantium. Well, I was wondering that. Is base power level? I mean, not that it necessarily makes a huge difference, but I presume that base power level um, Wolverine is without the adamantium skeleton on Final Destination. No, I think that's stuff. that's like it, it, the question is more so which era we picking him out of, and I think it would be fair to pick him out of the uh, post mm -hmm. adamantium. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It's like the vast majority of the content. No, I, I know, I know. I was just wondering. Yeah. That's all. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, um, I'll I'll put a timer on for this poll. We'll see how that results. Just out of curiosity, yeah, I'm but... the results for this. I feel like Batman's gonna have more, right? Oh, uh, wow, it's actually, like, more neck and neck than I thought it would be. I thought Batman yeah. would be getting more favor. Because <laughs> he's Batman. I mean, he is, this <laughs> is what I mean. I think people really want Batman to survive. Batman's not going to get much further, guys. <laughs> like, he, even if he won this one. <laughs> well, yeah, what's Batman going to do against Cthulhu? Oh, no, he'd find a way. <laughs> he'd find a... <laughs> yeah, he'd definitely find a way. <laughs> I did see someone say Batman would drive Cthulhu insane. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. <laughs> They would use the fear toxin on him. Yes. Uh, and this vote isn't binding, right? I mean, everybody, it seems like Wolverine's gonna win, no matter what. Well, 
let's say if if chat had chosen batman maybe we discussed it a little bit more but if chat is choosing wolverine mm -hmm. which seems to be the case poll is closing in 10 seconds uh yeah it, it looks like the chat you know what yeah, yeah. you know what we didn't choose anything it was you guys chat <laughs> you guys want yeah. wolverine to win okay <laughs> we didn't want this you we didn't want... choose this we didn't, didn't ask for this. this and yet here it is <laughs> yeah no. yeah one percent. Damn. Oh, some be they tried to sneak some votes in at the end there. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, God, David. Now, for the record, I 1%. love Batman, but he is out. Yeah. Sorry, man. Love you. Wolverine is also pretty awesome, though. Wolverine is really awesome. I hope the new movie is good. I hope it's good. If it's bad, yeah. I'll be upset. I'll be sad. It's I'll bad. cry. Yeah, I will cry. Say <laughs> we can't rig a YouTube poll. Huh? <laughs> rigged. People are saying oh, they rigged. Are it was rigged, damn it. Okay, this fight... <laughs> uh, You know what? I'm just going to announce it. The next one is Optimus Prime versus King Kong. <laughs> uh, mm. Optimus Prime probably wins, right? I yeah. think totally. Prime... Mm -hmm. So... He's just gonna shoot the shit out of Kong, and Kong dies, right? He'll shoot him, yeah. He'll yeah, shoot him. Yeah. I would actually say no, Kong no. is one of the lower level powers in this whole thing. Yes, he is. He's a big yeah. boy, but he has the laser and the radiation. Kong. You know, Kong is—he's just a big, big monkey. He's gonna die. <laughs> yep. Uh, but yeah, yeah Prime. Uh, Prime probably has some bullshit too at the final level. Kong doesn't have Super Saiyan or anything. He's just monkey. Kong is Kong, like, he doesn't scale, well, I guess, really. Oh, well, I guess maybe new Kong he has all his, like, gear yeah, he has the gadgets, that's right, he has the fucking... He got his power glove now. Oh, the gauntlet yeah. now from the new movie, yeah. 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 And the uh, uh, carbon fiber Prime tooth. Prime still wins, right? Yes, I think No, so. yeah, Prime yeah, has this. It's easy. Yeah. Poor Kong. It's nice that he was there, though. <laughs> <laughs> nice of it to show up. Thanks for we appreciate up. you. He's like walking away, like, oh, I get, is that it? I waited all this time. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the invite. The, the oh. food was great, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'm curious for the opinions about this one. We have the Balrog, uh, a fan favorite. Who's he against? None other than Doom Guy. Oh. oh well, man. the Doom guy this does kill yeah, demons. Oh. So. Yeah, is this the Doom guy? Big demon. Or is this the Doom Slayer that Doom Eternal can't help but jerk off continually? Uh, uh, I mean, if we're talking about like you know his iteration, it's probably the Slayer, right? Yeah, well, that's the one that's on screen. We're trying to take him in their best, their best. Yeah, whoever thing, the so whoever the most powerful Doom guy person Slayer is, the Slayer. Yeah, and well. the Slayer would kill a Balrog in a few minutes. You think? I think it's just the Slayer. Probably Maybe. Take than that, but uh, that weren't, well, no. Okay, so no armor, no guns. Um, yeah, he's really Bal strong. But no he's armor, really no strong. Gun. Balrog's winning round one. Balrog is Balrog always. You know, like he, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, is, he yeah. is what he is. He might win round one, but round two comes along and you've got the Doom guy with the uh, or the Slayer with, with a super with shotgun. shotgun. They're, they're <laughs> in the middle of the forest, though. Like the battle is going to set all of that shit on fire. Well, sorry, it doesn't matter. Round, well, it doesn't so matter. Round three, it's Doom round hell. He's fine. Round three is Doom guy's got BFG. So yeah, round like, three is yeah. he's got a BFG. Exactly. Yeah, he's he definitely wins. winning round three. Round, round, round two, two actually is kind of close. Round right now, it's it's really not. Wouldn't Doom guy get cooked? <laughs> No, he's not going to be harmed by fire. He goes right. to hell. No, you take damage when you run across lava. When you run across very hot lava, Whoa, you take a minuscule of... amount of damage. Well, Chainsaw is an instant kill. Chainsaw does get like an instant kill on, a, on, on the Balrog with ammo as well. So Right, like the, the Baron Balrog of Hell is, is very similar to Balrog. Enemies. Well, wait, we don't do it like that. Just because in mechanics, no, I, in I, I, universe, I'm whatever. I'm I'm what about, about those guys that everyone hates fighting in Doom Eternal? Couldn't the Balrog be argued to be something oh, like that? Marauders? Oh, or the, even uh, better. The Marauders? Marauders. The guy that you fight. Well, my, the Marauders. The Marauders, yeah. That's the Marauders are nothing, right. are nothing like a Balrog, right? No. Like, people don't like them because <laughs> they they just no-sell your shots. But um, the Balrog is just another demon 
to the Doom guy. Like the closest thing might be a Baron of Hell, or, or maybe a Cyber Demon, probably. Maybe a Cyber Demon, both of which the Slayer has killed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like I feel like Doom guy wins round two. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, Balrog might be more akin to something like Icon of Sin. Like the even then, he still killed it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, true. I mean, it, it, Generally, it, it, though, you're, when you're fighting the icon of sin, you are at max most power. powerful, right? It would be like him regular, right? It'd be just a regular Balrog like with a sitting in, in pistol and shotgun, basically. Well, yeah, well, pistol and shotgun's a lot for a Doom. Well, for the really, really, like, really strong guy. Doom guy's really strong. He is Other always portrayed. Really strong. He, he is always are, portrayed with the super shotgun. Like, yeah. are, are we yeah. assuming that there's ammo pickups in the forest? Also, I'd say he has enough ammo well, to like. He has a sufficient has amount of ammo. If, right? this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. if this is Doom Eternal, he's got the fucking hammer. So, like, he just spawns ammo out of hitting. <laughs> the, yeah. like, yeah, but it's only the Balrog as a minion, right? Does it that does, does the tree spawn ammo? <laughs> and does uh, does uh does Doom Guy have the sword like that that crazy sword? The crucible? Is, so the crucible I, I feel like that's gotta be a, a round three thing. Oh uh, well, yeah, I mean round three doesn't matter, right? Because BFG. Yeah. But if that's round yeah, three, yeah. then yeah, I get what you mean. There are yeah, I mean, so right, even the... with like his standard equipment, right? If you give him a pistol, the super shotgun, his armor. He, he, I feel like he definitely takes down the Balrog. He's extremely yeah. maneuverable. There are a the, couple the people biggest problem voting he runs into. for the Balrog. Is, it, what's the best defense we can put up for why the Balrog wins the fight, if there's any? So it's, it's the case that like regular weapons don't really harm him at all. In the and, and Doom Guy doesn't have any jo any Jabba zombies to heal off of, so... <laughs> yeah, so... Ah. <laughs> like, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, it still feels like Doom Guy's got the edge, though. I, yeah, I, I have to assume Doom Guy's weapon like, will be like he's the same, same kind of being as Doom Guy. I think someone say any demon can kill Doom Guy, but the thing is, it's all non-canonical. Doom Guy wins. Like, it's yeah. not canonical that an average demon beats I him. Don't, I don't know that... In fact... Yeah, yeah. That they're still correct that anyone can, much like the Balrog can. It's non-canonical that Doom Guy kills Balrog, you know? But whatever, it doesn't mean that... That's, that's impossible. True, but I, I guess what I mean is like, you know, whenever Doom Guy fights like a regular, you know, demon, he always beats him. Well, but, yeah, it, but the it is representative of his... a regular demon. That's the point. Yeah, the, the fact that a regular Isn't demon it? can kill him means that a Balrog needs to hit him what once right. with the whip and can really fuck him up. Well, I, I think this just comes down to we need to establish whether or not Doom Guy's weapons are effective against the Balrog. Are they? Yeah. I Which, don't um, think we can know the answer that definitively. Well, I'm I, saying yes, but only because I, I think that that's the only way it becomes any kind of contest. Uh, Gandalf does say your your weapons will be no use here uh, in regards to the Balrog. Yeah, and that, that's the case in the lore as well. Is Little Platoon still here? I yes. Yeah, okay. What, what do you think about this? Um, I mean, well, Gandalf says your uh, swords are of no more use here, but then he does go and proceed to smack the Balrog around with a sword. Yeah, so I thought I that was like the most reliable person. And then he obviously uses the lightning power to use, like, it's already an open wound in the Balrog's chest, and that's the thing that takes it out. I think, like, any energy weapon would theoretically well, see, be I, useful against a Balrog. I took that to mean that he's, magical, yeah, he's got a magical wizard sword, and he does cast a shit ton of spells, like, when he's fighting it. Yeah. Big, big thing. Because that um, final strike to the Balrog is definitely what would be considered a magical sword strike, right? With the lightning drawn into it. Yeah, his, his sword is, is the magical. He, do do? I mean, the, the sword itself is not like Arnold. innately magical. I mean, the, the sword itself is just one of the, the older el elven blades that they pick up during the course well, of the but... Hobbit. So the sword has no innate magic to it. He what summons was... lightning from the sky to imbue it with me. It's Glaurong, I think, is the name of Is that the name of his sword? Something like that. No, Glamdring? It's, um, uh, it's the Glamdring, flame, even. Flame, yeah. uh, the Flame of Honor, uh, whatever yeah. it's called. That's what I meant by he casts a whole bunch of spells, which I assume give the sword more power than your average sword. You know. It's Glamdring, right? Glamdring is the. Glamdring, yes. Yeah. Which is. Wait, did we. Can, yeah, some people are saying it is a magical sword. It comes I from the same was. loot pile as, as Sting comes from. So I thought like it's it's innate quality was that it was like first age elven make, but it, it wasn't necessarily like a super magic weapon. I might be wrong about that. It's been so long since I've delved into that part of the lore, but I, I thought like Gandalf imbues it with magic more than it innately has magic. 
Yeah, I mean, fair. Because obviously, all we're just clarifying here is that does a weapon need to be magical to harm the battle rod? Because if it does, then Doom Guy's in trouble. If not, Doom Guy probably has it. I think that's where we're at. If it does, then Doom Guy has the Crucible, and that would like be it. Lundring survived the fight with the Balrog and certainly was enchanted. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, this is strange, because like, in his own continuity, Doom Guy, if it comes out of hell, he beats it. You know? Yeah. Like, well, isn't a Balrog a fallen angel or whatever? Oh. Or is it a demon? He is, essentially. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, one yeah. of the Ainur, so it's like, it's it's kind of like a fallen angel it's that, yeah. that feels like the definition of a hairs. demon to me yeah that, 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 that's fair it, it, it's it's definitions i guess it, it's just different <laughs> can, continuities right why, why don't we know. do a poll for whether or not doom guys weapons can damage the balrog because i think that's that's the only variable <laughs> oh, well, we need we'll just sorted out. we'll skip that part we'll just say who wins the balrog or doom and i mean everyone's heard the uh our arguments? Uh, I'm going to now. work under the... You're going to work on what? Uh, no, oh, yeah, Gandalf also has... I just want to see what chat says. Gandalf also has one of the rings of power as well. Boy, this is uh, this is. Oh unfair. my goodness. <laughs> Balrog getting yeah. dominated. Holy oh fuck. man. Like I said, it's I so clear. I get the feeling this isn't completely <laughs> no, it isn't. correct, but... It's so clear. And of no, course, is... the that Slayer beats the Balrog. Wait, hang, hang on, on chat. If you know the lore, it's not that clear. Yeah. The, the, the whole point is we don't actually no, have an I answer. I need someone to mod the Balrog into Doom Eternal ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> I want to run the experiment. <laughs> I appreciate all of you, chat. All of you. Balrog Except for 30%. It's just of a Hell Baron reskin. <laughs> Probably. Just woke up. You guys are still streaming. Yes. <laughs> anyway, let us. Uh, I think that's clear. We can end that poll. Thank you very much for participating. We understand, and uh, it looks like the Balrog <laughs> is out. We love him. He's a great dude, but uh, he ain't he ain't winning this one. Who would have won out of so Batman and the Balrog? Gone and won the argument. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> oh, fine. We got the last fight of this round of the heavyweights. Finally, Oof. you'll be finding out about the last two contestants, which you already know one of them is Santa, because he made it from the uh, the previous round. Oh, right. But who <laughs> is his opponent? I don't oh, know boy. if you all have the stream up. You're about to find out. I actually think this is going to be pretty close. Uh, I think I know. Hopefully we can have a lot of discussion here. I know Santa's been you know, winning a lot, but if there was a direct competitor, I would say he's going to have it. I almost don't want to say his <laughs> name. He's so powerful, but... Chat, what do you reckon? Who's winning out of these two? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, if he couldn't beat Wings of Redemption, he's not beating Santa. But he has a gun. <laughs> Can't stand to beat protein and urine, though. Exactly, he can There's, put protein in Santa's urine. Santa, ha the Santa has to be fast enough to dodge a bullet. Know. Oh. I don't even know that a bullet would kill Santa. Load out for round two. Hmm? The thing is, is that Boogie would enjoy it. He would love being beaten up by uh, by Santa with this weird degradation. Especially team. that Santa. Yeah. And Boogie doesn't even get the pistol until <laughs> round three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels bad his trying to figure form. out what his round one, two, and threes would be. <laughs> it, Boogie's most. Just this is an image of Boogie's most powerful three. form, by the way. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> a rare what, what, the Tomb Raider shit two, of the army of rubber ducks in round 3 are we round absolutely two, sure yeah. that, that Santa isn't Boogie's final form no. <laughs> oh, no well I mean look at him it's fat bearded brings presents to children presumably so that's what I mean like, Santa's too kind there's no way it wouldn't make sense yeah. <laughs> why is he so altruistic what's the angle <laughs> but uh <laughs> What I'm understanding here is a lot of people seem to think the boogie would not win this. That's, uh, wow. I don't think he would either. No. I don't think say? boogie has a chance in any round. Well, <laughs> you know what? If if that's what you guys want to vote, I was gonna. I just. I, I don't know. The internet. What has it done to rot people's brains? Boogie is my things? champion. Exactly. Which means we begin round two. You have to finish without me. I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm a limit. 
It's okay, go to sleep, Metal. Metal. You have a big show tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, you oh, made it fine, 10 man. hours and 14 minutes. That's pretty good. It's not, it's not bad at all. Yeah. Congratulations. Had to make some time. I haven't been on for, for a couple of episodes. So. <laughs> Hope it was worth yeah. it, discussing whether Boogie could defeat Santa <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> Absolutely. No, I, I mean, I, I would... I would. I want to know who wins. You know what? I'm, I'm going for Unicron. I think he's going to take it. I think mm. he's going to take the W at the end. Don't count I Kirby think, I think Kirby, man. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Like, you need, you guys need to look up the power levels of Kirby. He's insane. We will, probably. Right, We're going to have to. Well, Unicron maybe page. I just have faith in my Lord and Savior, Unicron, okay? So, very good. Nice. Um, but right, yeah, sleep well soon. And, uh, <laughs> and a link to your, your channel is in description, and you're yeah, going to be getting yeah. up to some fun frogs. Yes, that's the name of the show. Metal's frog. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Rombo. Yeah. T tomorrow, Furiosa and other Mad Max stuff. Furiosa. I'm Beautiful. sure Mark is going to tell you all about it later when you guys are done. I will do my best. Okay. If he's alive. Okay. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye, Metal. Bye. Bye. Later. Nah. Like, like we're all dying. We're getting there, though, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's Hulu versus Dark Phoenix. I'm afraid well, this uh, is just a step down Dark from Dr. Manhattan. Dark Phoenix can go insane. Yeah, she, well, she... Yeah. If she becomes even remotely aware of Cthulhu, she is fucking losing it. She'll disintegrate herself. <laughs> If Dr. Yeah. Manhattan can't, yeah. If Dr. Manhattan can't endure or Cthulhu, comprehend she can't, Cthulhu, yeah. then yeah. yeah, yeah, no absolutely. chance. Isn't part of her power set though that she is mad anyway? Like, would it uh, actually defeat yeah, her is. to go mad? I mean, she would go more insane. Yeah, rather than I don't think it would cancel out. I think it would just turn her into fucking this. Like, she. Yeah. I don't even know it would, would be comprehensible. probably make it even Bro, worse, she, actually. She'd probably be more susceptible. More nihilistic madness. She has killed herself before in her insanity, so... Oh. Like, yeah. well, making her more insane again. means she just does it anyways, right? Yeah, like, I don't even think Cthulhu will notice her. She'll pop like a balloon, and you'll be like, what? What's going on? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Where's my <laughs> fight? I'm here to battle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> down she goes. Another woman booted from this leaderboard. What's that about? <laughs> Bigotry, Goodness. I think. Sexism. Racism. Oh, this might be a tough <laughs> one. <whole> track <laughs> it's time for another Galactus round, and he is going to be dealing with Q. That one's real rough, uh, man. Because again, I think Q can Q... just snap and Yeah, Q gone. takes this one. Really? Is Q? Does he always win? I yeah, mean, he's powerful, man. It was just bullshit. Q is just like bullshit. Control, like all of reality, though. I mean, is it that obvious? Because I, I, I'll have to trust you guys. Yeah, Chat like I Galactus controlled like all of reality. Q beats Galactus. Does Q beat uh, mm. Mega Ultra whatever Tron? <laughs> Unicron. 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 Well, no, because he's outside of causality or whatever. Remember. Uh. <laughs> so I think. I think it depends Q's on can... who meets Kirby first. Then. <laughs> right. well, Q, Q can, can definitely can beat Kirby. <laughs> but, but Q can also definitely do stuff that breaks the laws of cause and effect. He can just make things happen. Well, everyone seems certain of it. I, I mean, I can't put up any uh, attack against that. I have no idea about either of these people. So but everyone seems so sure. Q's, so uh, he's disgustingly overpowered. He's basically a god. Yeah, but Galactus is overpowered, though. No, 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 no. Galactus was the first <laughs> living Look, being in the universe. Q yeah, can create in universe, the universe. Yeah, exactly. Right? He's in the universe. Oh, if he's yeah. in the universe, then Q is more powerful because Q exists beyond the universe. <laughs> well, he's also outside of Cosdown. Okay, okay. Also... well, Q dies of space cancer in Picard Season 2, so <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... I mean, I, uh, I don't care really, like whether yeah, this is like... or not. That's fine with me. <laughs> I mean, I, I just can't <laughs> yeah, speak to it. I thought he was. I thought Galactus might have had this, but now Q's got it. Off he goes. Which brings us to oh, this is a what the fuck is this gonna be? Saitama versus the Mummy. Uh, I think Saitama wins. Saitama oh, yeah. just punches yeah. it. No, he'll punch him and then he'll win. <laughs> yep. Well, but wait. <laughs> You can't, just because he kills everything in one punch doesn't mean he kills the mummy in one punch. The mummy can't die from being punched. What do you mean oh, he can't die from being punched? He can't die from being punched. That's not how it works. He can't, yeah, no. You have to do the ritual. Oh, yeah. Fuck. 
Titanus is the fucking the, the ritual overpowers like the punch that the punch would like Wait, just beat the ritual. Yeah, sorry, that's the what are we doing here? Like like ignoring one fiction, just taking one over the other. The mummy's fiction means it can't die unless you perform the rituals. But Saitama's fiction is that the mummy can't kill Saitama. So then what happens? Why did Saitama win? Saitama <laughs> punches him enough times that he, he does like a Dormammu on him and gets him to kill himself. Him, None I mean, of them win in I the first round. He, and then done the mummy stages. can turn itself into sand, like it doesn't, you know. Yeah, and that's... if he punched one grain of sand, it would like disintegrate them all as one would. I he can't be happen. killed that way. He's a curse monster. Does. Does Saitama win if he punches the mummy into the sun? <laughs> yeah. No, like, not no, necessarily no. to destroy it, but just, like, to create it's infinitesimal distance. This is, I think this is the height of bias. You are like, you're like, Saitama no, not... can't be, not you, Saitama can't be destroyed. Okay, okay. The mummy can, though, even though in both their laws they cannot be destroyed. What? <laughs> like, how is that fair? That's just a contradiction. Well, that, that, no, it's not a contradiction. You cannot, character. you cannot choose that the mummy would just automatically lose when it's. That's not the rules of its universe. It cannot die well, that way. Is no, it I'm a stalemate that then? Do his... That's the question. What happens? Unless they can fight their way all the way over to Egypt, in which, like, where the books are, and then they can read the books and kill the mummy. If they are actually permanently locked in an eternal forest, then it has to be a stalemate logically. Yes, none of them win yeah. in round one and two, and then, and then in, the in round, round three, Saitama then has the capacity to go find the book yeah. and figure it out. You have to learn I ancient guess. Egyptian, but I guess he could do it. He could find he, someone. Well, he could find someone who would help him. <laughs> I guess. For like, now people ask me, why do the mummy sour. rules win? Neither, though, no, both of them are winning. Both of their rules state they like the mummy can't kill Saitama, but Saitama can't kill the mummy either, unless there's one weakness. Unless he does. It, it yeah, is kind of bullshit though, because ball. the mummy can't can't lose the first two rounds if that's the case. Okay, yeah, but uh, round one, uh, Saitama can't lose them either. Because, round know, one's like, not, again, not about dying though. It's not about dying. It's about being knocked off of uh, a thing. Yeah, so but like, which one of them could be knocked off? Get moved. He'd be standing totally still and it wouldn't do shit. Well, right. Yeah, I mean, so well, the well, mummy can throw any of this hand off of the edge, really. Like it doesn't, you know. Would the mummy lose the first round then? Because he well, I mean, but then again, Saitama would just punch him off of the like yeah. stage, right? Whether it kills him, or he'd punch him off and then he'd die. From right, the, the mummy can be affected. He, yeah, he, he would can definitely be affected. Yeah, like he can things. affect him physically. He wouldn't kill yes. him, but he'd knock him off the screen and then he'd explode anyway. So that means yeah. Saitama wins round one. Well, Saitama has to and get him. Remember, we agreed that the sides don't kill you. So if you oh, can recover, he, which the mummy um, can recover easily. He can. Oh, he can then, just turn back okay, into sand then, and come back. Okay, no, so then round three. Off, the no, he's got. Well, Saitama has to get him in the like the, the abyss below, but I don't see how he's going to do it because the mummy's always going to be able to like teleport back. It's the, it's the yeah. same thing as the Devil May Cry guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Devil so, May Cry guy. Yeah. So I haven't played those games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the, mum, the mummy will still lose round three. And then the, the mummy, mummy loses. loses round three because yeah. he can't do anything to Saitama, but Saitama can just go find the book and then yeah, figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the only so the weakness Saitama has, if one can say that, would be uh, we, we entertained it briefly with like the, what Charles might be able to do to him, but he's resistant to mental manipulation, was something someone said. He's just immune. How do well, people beat him then in like his own thing? Because I have no well, familiarity with him at all. Is that, is, is, that, is, that, is that a joke? He's, he's I don't I think he honestly should be disqualified, honestly. He's he's a gag character. I disagree. I, Q can beat them. We've got You no, could actually beat him. You could beat him. Saitama no. might be able to beat Cthulhu. Well, so Saitama's biggest weakness. Him. Him. Saitama's would biggest dope. weakness from what we've gathered is gonna be that he belongs to this universe. There he's got he's, I don't know if he can beat Q, Cthulhu, or uh Omni Omni I keep forgetting his name. I tear reality okay. warpers are beyond That's him. Same. Let's Yeah, I think I think real. he's outclassed by things beyond the universe. I think Kirby could eat him. Maybe. Yeah. Could maybe eat him. Yeah. I think we could eat him. I don't know that he would be a I don't know that he would understand what was happening quick enough to prevent it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, but so Kirby would just be a stalemate, right? Well, so yeah. just to so clarify he, for he this one, stalemate, stalemate, himself. and then Saitama like eventually wins. Yeah. 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 Yes. Got him.
Arlene the Egyptian, which would be funny. It'd be funny. Punch him attacks at him, and it just didn't do shit. It would just be funny too because he, you know, he would have motivation issues with it. You'd keep coming back to the books, being like, ugh. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, anything the mummy does, I well would ignore it. I'd just be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> he just occasionally appears and like annoys him a bit. Because <laughs> I was gonna say, like every uh, the mummy's moves, other than that, like they're all too normalish, like uh, summoning soldiers to do something or trying to fling a bunch of locusts at Saitama. Like nothing's gonna do anything. Mm -hmm. Which leaves us with Rick Sanchez versus Ghost Rider. Oh. Uh, Rick wins hmm. round two, three. Yeah, when when he, he wins, teleports wins. out, figures it out. Yeah, kills him. that's unfortunate too, because we really Trust do him. want a headless horseman to win, right? <laughs> 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 this isn't even the equestrian expert, though. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know. he's boring now, and I don't I don't see an axe either. Where's the axemanship? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, so to be clear, I, you said it so fast, Fring. You know, chat will be all very upset about this. <laughs> well, so Rick in Ghost Rider in round one. Round one, Ghost Rider annihilates but, Rick. There's no chance. Yeah, yeah. very fine. Ghost but Rider, like Rick can't do anything. Round two, they spawn. Rick goes <laughs> with his ray gun, his yeah. gloomy teleport portal gun. He is out of there. He figures it out. Yeah. No. Figure it out. It probably should be entertained. Ghost Rider, can he like? Move through dimensions or anything? Is there anything you can do like that? Would he be able to oh, find Rick though? No, probably. Not. Well, like oh shit! Wait, why would he be able to track him down? Isn't part of Ghost Rider's thing that he punishes sinners or whatever? Yeah, he has this thing called the penance stare, where like if he looks at someone who has committed sinful acts, like bad things happen to them. I think they. Why just, do we think that Rick would be able to develop a counter to that though? Well, given the, all of the shit that he can do. I was asking whether or not he does that in the one with the devil, right? He he decurses items that yeah, the devil like has curses the on. Yeah, like he decurses the items, so <laughs> like he well, fought I was going to ask if he could find. Know? Can he like hone in on Rick with that power, or because it, it, it's really the thing about Rick is the longer he has to deal with, you know, he's like he's like hyper Batman. He'll be able to in his in Rick and Morty, he can like defeat gods and ancient demons, and he like Rick against the mummy, it would, it would be easily Rick. Like, it's not even close. He I don't know why we're saying there's no figuring out Ghost Rider. Rick accomplishes insane feats that he just figures out. <laughs> that's like the saying, time. my guy wins because I said yeah. so. Like, like that bullshit argument. <laughs> it's just like Rick, <laughs> with enough time, seems to be able to figure out a lot of solutions to problems, including supernatural problems. Yeah, a lot of people have been referencing Penn and Steer, but it's no good unless he gets close to Rick. You can't which you wouldn't be in, in the, the forest. Some kind of like system that he can try to create to work around it. He needs to be able to teleport, or you know. Yeah, apparently, like Ghost Rider does have dimensional travel. The problem is, he oh, needs to find, find Rick him. before Rick gets what he needs to kill Ghost Rider. Yeah, yeah. It depends on if he, if you can actually hone in on Rick or not. But even By even then, it's like, like Rick has like super duper like. Rick figures out like supernatural entities. He's done that before, of yeah, like sure. finding some way to figure out what they can do. But, but if Ghost you know, Rider could just teleport to him, like every time Rick teleports away, it, you know, he would probably eventually. Well, then I guess he just keeps teleporting away. I guess. The, yeah, the but gun I'm has guessing the endurance of Ghost Rider is higher. Well, than but Rick's. the portal gun might have limited fuel, oh, but all he needs to do is pick up some batteries or equivalents, right? Which yeah, he has plenty true. of so just teleports to the right place, gets a bad fruit. There's also going. there's the one on the um oh it's it's on the space station with the assassin guy when uh like the, the, the bugs go in and he immediately teleports out, opens another portal that floods the entire room, and then opens another portal that floods them all out again. That puts Ghost Fires uh, Ghost whatever the fuck his name is, his power <laughs> out. So he's extinguished oh. at this point, right? Extinguished. Okay. <laughs> um Is his weakness just water? Like what No, I don't I don't know about that. Maybe, but like I think all we're really figuring out here is that I don't think Ghost Rider could beat Rick um, because Rick is going to find his absolute weaknesses through every last form of spirituality, science, and uh, magic, and everything you could possibly imagine. Like, uh, he will. Yes, I mean, yeah, like, based on what we see across the show, like, Rick is able to create some pretty insane solutions. 
Yeah, there's a this lot is the thing. In Rick, they're scientific or supernatural. We're appealing to their respective laws. Like Rick defeats people who are either like or probably even more powerful or primordial than the Ghost Rider. Like, yep. Mm. Well, I mean, remember he he defeated like World Ender while drunk, and then he did that while also creating a saw trap system to defeat all of the uh, like that fucked up a lot of the Vindicators. Mm-hmm. It's like in the movie Saw. <laughs> Episode. Ooh, this one could cause problems because I don't. Oh wait, know. so did, uh, Rick w- rims round two and three then? Um, yeah. well, unless like, you Rick disagree Rick with any of that, something. do you have any arguments? Well, no, I mean I agree, but something I've seen here is oh, so like Rick can teleport out of the forest? Yeah, just like Doc could get out of the forest. Yeah, Rick that is part of the rule. Rick's portal gun is yeah, one Rick of his most common gun. loadout like <laughs> items. I yeah. yeah, I just don't know enough about Ghost Rider to see whether or not. So, um, we've got Darkseid versus Dante. Uh, huh. Someone's gonna need uh, to explain to me how an Omega Beam Omega works. <laughs> we need to read up on Omega <laughs> Beam. <laughs> if I have the beams, they can go, like, in different directions, like, uh, at will. So they don't have to go straight, they can, like, dart around. So and he has, just, like, a homing them. laser? All right, what? Yeah, are... something like that. Is say. it anything more than a laser? Is it just a laser? Dark Side's really Omega powerful Beams are powerful laser. blasts of cosmic energy that he can fire from his eyes. The effects of these beams varies, but with his power, Dark Side can teleport his targets or erase them from the universe. The whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty powerful. All right. Oh. Uh, Holy fuck, why Dark must it this insane <laughs> fucking stupid level. This is, by the way, this, this was why everyone thought it was funny that there's that shot of the portal. They're all looking at Dark Side through the portal, or whatever, and, and Snyder got they're like, "Why didn't he just use his Omega Beams?" Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Well. <laughs> so Dante has Royal Guard. What does that do? Can you just block it? Uh, it's a block move. It blocks everything. <laughs> and, sto- and stores the energy yeah. to then fire it back. Oh my god! Good block. Uh, yeah. What, and, well, I don't know. Because <laughs> you know, by everything, do you mean like I'm literally like, everything? Um, I'm trying to think of things in the video game that you can't royal guard. Uh, yeah, and I'm can drawing it block a like a flamethrower. Like, yeah. Yes. Oh, so this is interesting. Cthulhu mind beams. <laughs> the main function of Royal Guard is to guard against enemy attacks to fill up a meter for counterattack. The effectiveness of the block depends on how well timed it is. Yes. Dante would be really good Dante at Dante has it. incredible reflexes. Yeah. How Insane fast do Omega reflexes. Beams travel? Like, is that going to be tough for him, or...? I don't know. They uh, seem to travel at like a rate that you can see. Like in a lot of in a lot of media, it, it, it like moves slower than a laser actually should. Dante's <laughs> speed, Dante's speed factor is to an extent that I don't know that their speed should be an issue for him. He's extremely he fast. <laughs> and yeah, in by round three, he can stop time again. Like, so. Yeah, Batman dodged Omega <laughs> Beams. Yeah, exactly. Wait, oh, if if Batman dodged. If Batman's dodging <laughs> easy. That easy. Apparently, oh, yeah. um. Uh, someone said, round three, you think it'd be Dante, but the D- Darkseid's gonna get his hell planet and become a universal god. What the fuck did you just they say? They all become <laughs> gods. Every last one becomes a god. <laughs> I hate it so much. I hate it. I hate it. Um, anyway, so um, was, hmm. I thought Darkseid would probably win this, but it's sounding like Dante probably still just wins. Uh, so run one and two, yeah. Or mega beams? Can he like spam them? I think he could just spam them. He could just keep doing it. Um, I because he can do that. He can teleport. He has like telekinetic like powers as well. Um, he's super duper strong, and they both. But it feels like for those Dante would also be like competitive. He can teleport. He's got super fast reflexes. He's really strong. He's got a near unbreakable block. Like, do yeah. do the beams work like they do in that picture there, where it's like a game of snake, and like he just <laughs> leaves these trails around, and eventually he traps Dante, and or like whichever one of them loses, the the, the snake game dies. I guess so. <laughs> it does look incredibly silly. I need you guys to hear this. Jesus Christ! So someone posted on Quora dot com, which is a question answer thing. How come Batman is able to dodge Omega Beams, but many speedsters, including the Flash, is unable to? 
The response. Oh my god. Batman's ability to dodge Omega Beams, energy blasts emitted by Darkseid or other characters in the DC Comics universe, is often portrayed as a combination of his exceptional reflexes, strategic thinking, and his skills as a martial artist. While characters like speedsters like The Flash have superhuman speed, they may not always possess the same level of strategic thinking or combat prowess that Batman does. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> this is just Pepe with a massive copium load. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He's dripping out of his mouth. <laughs> he's just in an, he's just in an he's iron lung of copium. You know? Copium yeah. sauna. I don't know. I, I kind of want Dante to win because I kind of find Darkseid like ultra cringe. But that's like, not I a mean, reason. I completely agree. I I'm very high. Uh, <laughs> it it sounds know. like Dante should just win until three where, what was that, Hell Planet? <laughs> Like, well, but well, because Darkseid <laughs> gets the anti-life equation, which probably does beat Dante, right? I Dante is oh alive, God. so he is alive. Equation. Yeah, you're probably right. He gets around three. So, um, unless there's something we're missing, because it seems like the Omega Beams can be cancelled out by the Royal Guard and reflected, which yeah, would the fuck thing, the, and does just speed, um, right? Does he have that in round one though? It's just one of his innate things, so he should. Oh. Dante is a cringe. Dante is a meme which balances out. Yeah, <laughs> balances he's out. Really it's really very silly. He's self-aware. Uh, no, it's cringe meme. It's a cringe meme. No, the line between crazy. cringe and non-cringe is is it's a fine one. Just learn to enjoy <laughs> some good cheesy content, okay? Um. Yeah, all right. Well, I, it looks. I'm afraid it looks like the Dantes have it. So goodbye. Unless. Dark side. unless Unless Darkseid can do better than Omega Beams that Batman dodged. Well, the, thing is, <laughs> the thing is, is that it, the problem is that that shouldn't be happening. Like, Darkseid's yeah. meant to be like a godlike entity. Well, didn't Batman but... shoot him with the anti life bullet or something in one of the comics? And it killed him, right? <laughs> yeah, like, pretty Batman sure. Batman shot him dead, even though, even though Darkseid's meant to be like a god. Well, uh, it was a special gun or something. The chat Whereas window. the thing is, is that, you know, look, Dante, like, wins his fights, all right? <laughs> you know? Like, he, he doesn't get shot in the head by Batman. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know if we need well, to do this. Maybe one. he does, and then he just goes, ow, and then walks it off, you know? <laughs> um, the next one, I think, the the weight class here is, 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 it's like you need hyper heavy. We got Unicron and Doctor Doom. Does Doctor Doom even have a chance? I don't. I mean, it There's doesn't no sound way. like it with all the shit. Uni <laughs> like, I'm, I'm going back to the page. I'm going back to the page. What do we have here? <laughs> black holes and stuff? Like, yeah, he has. What was it? Where is it? Uh, black hole mimicry. Yes, black <laughs> hole mimicry. What even is that? Well, wait. Does Dr. No, Doom become a god that? in his final form, though? <laughs> he appears to have multiversal destruction, have reality consumption. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Just... I don't. I don't know why matter ingestion is here. Like I do that. Everyone does yeah. that. It's kind <laughs> of just a bullshit words that doesn't mean. Dude, yeah, it's pretty, this is so impressive. funny. What is the most powerful Doctor Doom? Well, the strongest version is God Emperor Doom. It's like, of course oh, it is. Sake. Yes. <laughs> Again. Stop it. Hey, there's God Emperor Joker. <laughs> <laughs> you, you cannot you cannot defeat a being that exists outside of causality. Yeah. You say, I killed you, ergo you no longer exist. A lol, no, that's causality. I am still I'm in fine. existence because fuck your causality. Yeah. He can't be beaten. He wins. I'm just I'm, I'm, un I'm unable to get over apocalypse inducement. Like <laughs> <laughs> inducement. <laughs> when you know, like, no, because Doctor Doom at his best, maybe he does, but like regular, like on his own, you know, without his power armor, and then like with it, but normal abilities, and like surely, like Unicron doesn't scale. He's got all the powers all the time, right? I feel what like fuck yeah. is ignorance slash foolishness embodiment. What is hatred <laughs> empowerment? <laughs> what is this? I don't know. What is calamity hell? Apocalypse. Calamity like, likes to get a little silly. Calamity doesn't hell mean, doesn't mean fuck all. Omni malevolence. Uh, we'll 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 have to we'll uh, look, we'll have to deal with <laughs> that really later. For now, we because Doom's done. He's this guy's out. So fucking stupid. <laughs> Omni malevolence. That's fucking amazing. The next round is the Grim Reaper versus Kratos. Well, so this um, is like a thing that's going to happen sometime in the future. Probably. Yeah, we're <laughs> gonna see this. 
the thing is, I I mean, is do we do we assume that like if death touches Kratos, then that's it? Like he just touches him and it's it's ripped. The obvious thing people will bring up is Kratos has died like two times before. But Yeah, but that doesn't count. I'm like, assuming we're the, ignoring like, the fact that if he dies, physically... he dies. Not he yeah, doesn't crawl out back, of the but underworld. Would lose the round. I think he loses yeah. the round, yeah. So that he means his way out of the that he has to recognize what the Grim Reaper is and not let him touch him. But then, can he even kill the Grim Reaper? Um, I don't know. You're like, doing you a lot of Castlevania games. Or something, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. would fuck him up. <laughs> if, well, so that's the thing. Are we going with a Grim Reaper that can die or not? Um, or they can know. be defeated, I, I, know that, I guess. I know that we've got, you know, from, from Family Guy, but remember, like, Homer killed, a, like, death with a bowling ball. So, is that... Is that would that work if you hit death with a bowling ball? If, would it kill him? if you can kill death with a bowling ball, <laughs> no. Kratos is gonna have a pretty easy time. Yeah, I think I think that's. Well, I mean, also, is a um, th oh god, no, the in um, uh, not Chains of Olympus, the other one, Ghost of Sparta. Uh -huh. Who's the bad guy in that? Isn't he like death? Um, oh, fuck, I'm trying. I'm to forgetting the name right now. It's well, not Thanatos. Thanatos? Is it? Yeah, it is Thanatos. Thanatos. He's uh, that would it's... be death. It's yeah. complicated because well, Kratos beats it's down, it, but it's down. I don't know if that's fair though. Like, like is it, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I defeated you in my story. It's like, okay. What about uh? <laughs> what about like story? the death from Darksiders? You know, like Darksiders two. He's like pretty. I feel strong, like he's right? gonna get killed he by probably... Kratos though. He would get probably. killed by Kratos. Uh, yeah, probably. Especially if we're talking like Kratos with all of everything that he's accrued over the course of all of the stories. Yeah. Yeah. Um. We decided that Alex Mercer would die if he got touched. Yeah. We'll I don't I think, think Kratos doesn't need to touch him, though. And the thing is, is that... That's yeah, true. Like Kratos', Kratos weapons are not very... Um, yeah, because Alex Mercer can't even harm death without touching him, right? Because he's all goopy and he has to yeah, stab him Yeah, whereas, like, his... the Blades of yeah. Chaos, you can use that, and that won't, you know, maybe hit death. Any, any of his weapons. Yeah. Leviathan axe, you can the throw. Gear, the, the spears the gear, are all yeah. throwing. So... Hmm. And I think it's realistic that Kratos would recognize the Grim Reaper, right? Because he knows God. He'd have a familiarity with mythology. Right, yeah. He would, he would see it and be like, I know what this is. Maybe. He might. He might. Yeah. I don't know if it's a certainty, but he might. I, I'm pretty sure he loses round one, though, right? Oh. Um, ah, well, he's got no yeah. gear. Yeah, he doesn't so have, he yeah, if have he, to if run he punches and death, punch him, so. And he doesn't punch him in his sweater yeah. or sweatpants. <laughs> <He punches him>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we? Is that is that the final verdict? It goes death, Kratos, Kratos. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, think so, that works. Yeah. It is kind of funny though, like because <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Kratos is making it much further, but it is funny to have him beat death. Yeah. It's appropriate. All right. Next up, the mask versus Mewtwo. Just point out mm. that the concept of death is out, and the fucking transformer <laughs> is still here. <laughs> I don't. We don't. The less said about that stupid fucking robot, it's gonna like, win, Theo. It's yeah, gonna I fucking can't. win. It's going to win. I can't think I of what think fuck would beat it. Like again, anytime he comes up, you just start reading out his fucking ability list, and who who can even whatever? Well, he can only do black hole mimicry. Kirby is the black one. <laughs> you just wait till you read I mean, the Kirby. Yeah, Kirby, Kirby just needs to I... suck him up and then he wins. Yeah. Half of the things on that list doesn't mean anything anyway. Like... Yeah. Okay. Just... What is it? Ignorance slash foolishness embodiment. <laughs> yeah. What? what the fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it just means he likes to get a little silly on the weekends. <laughs> okay, this is dumb as fuck. I just googled powers and abilities of the mask and it says he's got a strong healing factor that makes him immune to typical means of harm. He also has immortality. Duplication, shape shifting, creation, summoning, transfiguration, size manipulation, creates tornadoes. Let me just throw that in. <laughs> and the ability to stretch his limbs. So does that mean then that the mask is going to get outclassed by the dimensional being universal people, probably? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he's but probably he, gonna be outclassed by Mewtwo. But I think. well, I was about to say, does he beat Mewtwo? A lot of people seem to think he would, but I'm not sure. He doesn't. It doesn't say he's immune to he's psychic. He's immune to regular means of damage. Mewtwo is pretty damn powerful, right? Well, Mewtwo's like super psychic powered, right? He would fuck up the mask, possibly. 
with that. It doesn't mention anything yeah, about possibly. immunity to it. Yeah. Would the mask have immunity to, like, mind control? I don't think he would. Yeah, I'm not sure why he would. <laughs> I, t <laughs> I typed in the mask immunities, and I got, there is no data to say wearing a mask would weaken your immune system. <laughs> <laughs> like no, I'm talking about nerd shit, oh. idiot. Um, oh. So what do you guys reckon? Would Mute should be able to like use his powers to actually rip the mask off his face? I mean, he mm. does have like telekinesis, right? Yeah. So like that might that's be possible. Mask. He might be able to rip his mask off if he could identify that that's actually you know a thing. Like well, the... if he's got mind control, if he if he if he has like telekinetic uh, or uh, am I mixing them up? Telepathic powers. Well, he so could probably read his mind and go, hmm, all right. To read this out, and by the way, we just did the mass powers. I feel like this just sounds like he's more powerful. Um, Mewtwo has uh, the most powerful of all psychic Pokemon, possessing many psionic powers from telepathy, telekinesis, immense psi powered speed, future foresight, psychic blasts, aura manipulation, and even manipulation of the powers of other Pokemon. Yeah, I think Mewtwo's gonna. How would yeah, he react to a performance think, of Cuban Peace? I don't think he'd care. Like, I don't think Mewtwo. I think he wouldn't give a shit. He would just instantly try to kill him. Like, yes. it, it seems like yeah. Mewtwo would be the kind of character who you couldn't stun. He would just be like, "No, I'm killing you." Like, I don't care about anything that you try to do. He he means business, you know. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. Mewtwo's kind of a bastard. Um, it seems like does everyone agree? I think so. Mewtwo's gone. I it. think so. Yeah. Pretty, uh... Mm. Wonder who's going to be crushing him. Next up, we have. I think we know the answer. But we just got the pictures. Uh, King Ghidorah versus Goku. Goku, right? Yeah. Um, Goku Goku sweeps. Sweeps, right? Sorry, yeah. Ghidorah. Sorry. Hi, Ghidorah. <laughs> it's nice. No. Uh, yeah. You hit the landmine. Ooh, Odin mm. and Merlin. Uh, Odin. Odin. Is it not just Odin? Odin yeah, seems Odin. to just be everything that Merlin does. I was going to say, better yeah. he seems varied. like a ranked up Merlin, so yeah, yeah, I think we're all, yeah, okay. A little bit. Anyone disagree? I'm going to say <laughs> we may need to speed up. We've got exactly one hour left before the uh, cap yeah. hits, so <laughs> let, us, let us go. Voldemort versus Omnibad. Omniman. Omniman. Can Omni-Man Omni -Man survive he's the God of Kedavra he... there? I assume he can't, but... He feel like he can get him too quick, right? He, I feel like yeah. Omni-Man's Omni -Man's super fast, right? So he'll fuck up Voldemort. Yeah. yeah. Does Voldemort yeah. have his Horcruxes, is the other oh, question. Oh, I think that would count as yeah. a disable, oh. though. Killing him so he has to respawn. It, yeah, he would still lose the rounds. I think in the rule set he would lose on that. Fair yeah. enough. Makes sense. To be honest with you, I feel like Voldemort is in a... Like, Omni-Man is outclassed. You know what I mean? And so it's like, Voldemort is like, Hi, everyone. It's like, you need to go home. This is not for you. Like, <laughs> How you know, did you okay. get this far? <laughs> oh, shit. We've got He-Man versus Aang. Oh. <laughs> I don't know enough about He-Man. Well. Well. So, I, I, round I, one... I, I, we're saying that he has his avatar powers because we decided he would be the adult Aang, right? Yeah, and that he can turn that on and off whenever he wants. If I'm right, correct. so round one, he's probably winning because He Man doesn't oh, have his sword. Absolutely, he's winning that. But Aang's then round, round two, one. Air Bender. round Air two, He Man has his sword, right which off. makes him invulnerable. Hmm. Hmm. Invulnerable yeah. to what exactly? No, no, just invulnerable. Just everything. In <laughs> while he he's holding is. it, or just while he has it, like while holding it, he is invulnerable while touching. The so sword. that means Zang's just got to get it off. He's from the... like physical damage. Right. Yeah. His only weakness is taking the sword away from him. I feel like Which... Ang could do that. It seems like a non too difficult, non too difficult task. Yeah. Did we also establish that Hima has the power to destroy the universe? Well, <laughs> well, but in the forest fight, he does he want it? Fight. Does that not kind of fuck him up <laughs> if he destroys? Well, it means yeah. it, he, he can do a forced score draw, right? Like it's the ultimate rage quit. He can't lose if he can <laughs> destroy the That's the flipping the table. I think I think Ang's got him in round one and two, though. I think maybe two. Yeah, because I, I two. Don't like, I don't know. Ang's he... got a. And he's got a lot of things he can throw at him, like in a forest. 
Yeah, but with earth vulnerable. bending and air bending. Yeah, you can and can quite easily get the sword out of his hand. I think. Right, he just needs yeah. to knock the sword out of his hand in some way. Mm. He and can he can trap win. his hand with earth bending. He can like use gusts of wind. He can freeze the hand in place. Like I don't know. He has so many he options. Is, so it's probably worth mentioning. Like if you were to you know pack the earth all around He Man, He Man could likely at his best power just walk through it and be like, huh, "You think that mm -hmm. works on me?" You know. But it's tough it's to also say. Bullshit energy bending. Yeah. Would he be so I was gonna bring up. That? What about like can Ang blood bend when he's in Avatar State? No. Presumably, uh, but he's he's learn how to, so you should have to have a full moon, but it depends. Hmm. What what lore you're going with? Ang Ang's lore, Coral lore. Would Ang even be capable of blood bending though? He, I'm per, I'm sure he could do it. It's the um, willingness to do it. I don't think. Hmm. He would Ang also? be able to connect the dots that he needs to get the sword out of He-Man's hands, thinking about that. Well, it, 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 surely yeah, that I would mean, come down... Weapon, so he might try I was going to say, he might just try and do it anyway, mm -hmm. eventually. He'd be like, that sword of yours, I don't, don't want you to have it. It's just swinging it at me. Uh, it seems dangerous. <laughs> On the Wikipedia, it says um, He-Man with the sword grants him nigh indestructibility, any energy absorption and projection and shape-shifting. Wow. What? Wow. It's good. Please, uh, but I don't know. I don't know if He's it beats absorbing energy. Then does Ang win if he opens the sword out of his hand? Then right, it's really about getting the sword. Because if or does Ang win if he him. opens up the earth, buries him, and then just like you know keeps him <laughs> leaves him there? I, yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, Is that a win? He might could probably like punch continent. him, punch his way out of it, maybe. But um... you can kill Bill Volume Two. What do we do? I'm not sure. Does is round two and three the same? I just don't know enough about He Man. Yeah. Well, I think the problem we're at is whether or not Ang can get that sword out of his hand. I don't know if he is can he actually make off? He Man relinquish his grip. Like, yeah. He Man's pretty strong. He Man's very strong. Yeah. The thing is, uh, how what's like Ang's defenses when he's in Avatar State? The normal things even hurt him. Or is he like super uh, immune? Really easily. I think he's still. Um, oh, is he a glass vulnerable. cannon? He, he doesn't have hurt, but. Um, I mean, it is very much applied after a thousand lifetimes that no one's managed to actually like, kill an avatar in the after state. Yeah, presumably, you'll have like force fields or at least things that are going to protect him from any like projectiles and stuff. He but... can defend himself with the elements at his disposal. So. Would you We're like to put this wall. up to a poll, perhaps? We can do that. Yeah, are you okay with that? He is your precious. Yeah. Yeah, I know he's remember. I think he bad's probably taking it, but Yeah, I think chat's <laughs> <laughs> I think chat knows that guy. Yeah. I don't yeah, that's the thing. I don't know enough about He Man. Yeah. He Man. I know he's got a pretty cool tiger. And he's got muscles. Yeah. I don't know enough about He Man. Sometimes he literally has the power. Like, what? I <laughs> have the power. I suppose he does. It is amusing, though, if he, like, wins this, and he's like, I'm on to the next round, and it's just fucking, you know, a cue. It's just, poof, it's just like, bye. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. E-Man, off to a strong start of 57. 60. Not as clear a victory as... Uh, what was the clearest one we had? It was like Green Lantern and Spider-Man, wasn't it? It was shocking. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody was in Spider-Man's corner. What I've learned is everyone hates Spider-Man. I just didn't know that. Yep. I thought no, like Doom was Guy was 70% too. too. Yeah, he was, he was kicking the Balrog's yeah. ass according to chat lore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got some Ang wins 100%. I'm just not sure. It's hard to say. He's got to get that sword out yeah, of... Uh... I don't know. Does He-Man have like a also, summoning time? Well, I guess they both need to activate their powers, right? Because entering the Avatar state, do you need time to do that, or is it like instant? To the chat um, member who said that, hundred percent is instant. Because he got he got he, he hit with to... um with electric by uh, uh the evil sister lady. I oh, I wish I could remember. It's been so long. Yeah, Ayala. that was yeah. Azula, Azula that's yeah, that it, was yeah. when. He was attempting to do what must be done to master it, 
and um, yeah, didn't manage to do it. Mm -hmm. And then he had to get his rocks in the right place on his back, and he was good to go. Yeah, that was the <laughs> chakra. Fortunately, that was cool. We need to understand just how a hundred percent of the time is a lot. It I, is. A I, lot. I feel the need to say, like, I don't have a one hundred percent success rate on breathing or like swallowing. <laughs> you know, in what? my lifetime. <laughs> It is in the high 99. The high 99. Are you not breathing? What? Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly we're all like, are you okay? <laughs> I've, uh, never, I've been winded a couple times. And... Oh, man. I never expected to hear somebody say, I don't have a 100% chance of breathing. No, no, no or not 100% chance. 100% success rate. 100% success rate. Success rate. Breathing, breathing or that? swallowing. <laughs> unsuccessful breath like have you ever been winded that's that's an unsuccessful that, that's breathing failing, moment that's or two. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's a failure to swallow exactly no i guess what do you mean swallow, like what, what do you mean what is a failure to swallow it goes <laughs> down into your fucking windpipe like yeah, yeah I, I can aspiration. see that the, the failure to breathe though that's the uh, <laughs> how do you do that <laughs> Uh, I mean, the aspiration might actually help you out with that, oh, too. Uh, clearly, for a minute. clearly brains are melted right now. Uh, He-Man <laughs> has the victory. Let us be honest. I'm so sorry, Ang fans. He was close. A little bit. Not as close as some other ones, but still. Than I would have thought. Yeah, do a good job. But uh, out he goes. He-Man <laughs> continues. The next bout. This one could be interesting. Kirby versus Thanos. Oh, I mean, boy. Kirby... Look up, I'm telling you, please look up the Kirby powers. Well, know, Kirby disgusting. just with Smash Bros. powers beats Thanos on rounds one and two, I think. He, he just but is disgusting. I'm assuming... He doesn't get the powers of the glove, though, does he? If he swallows him? I think I mean, round three Thanos, Thanos gets the, the gauntlet, which means I'm but pretty if, sure he if, fucks up Kirby. If he has the gauntlet in round three and Kirby swallows him with the gauntlet, Kirby gets the standard B move, and well, I imagine the gauntlet is Thanos' standard B move, so technically Kirby would swallow him and get like the that, Infinity Gauntlet, no? I think that he's snapping before Kirby's gonna be able to do anything. Yeah. True. I think so, too. And Kirby's dust, but, uh, unless anyone disagrees, I think Kirby's got the first two rounds. I think mm -hmm. so. Yeah. I don't think Thanos. it matters here, but what is, what's Kirby's durability? Mm. He's immortal. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's almost boring now. <laughs> like, oh yeah, yeah. oh <laughs> another immortal yeah, of omniscient, yeah. omniscient. Yeah, like, yeah, he's an omnit omniscient space god. Like, well, yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, what's this character's form of attack? Oh, he wills you out of existence. Oh, daring today, aren't oh, we? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're far away from the characters who just punch. We we used to have Mister Bean. Damn it! Once upon a time, <laughs> didn't even punch. Mister Bean just versus there. Kermit was the best round. It was. <laughs> yeah, the the important thing to understand about Kirby is that he does not suck up people. He inhales their souls. <laughs> I'm sorry? This is oh, canonical. He inhales their souls and takes on their power. Um, what he, happens to, what happened to them? He swallows <laughs> they them. Die. They food. die. Yeah. They die. <laughs> it's they a see. failure to live, Theo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Max Brothers yeah. presents it inaccurately, right? He gets him out and he takes her powers. He just kills him. Next Does up. Does Theo find anything interesting? Sorry for not liking fucking realm warping fucking weirdos who make <laughs> oh. storytelling impossible. My bad. My fucking bad. <laughs> I like that they're only mad at you as well when all yeah, of us are. It's just me, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Samus versus Green Lantern. Um, Round Green one Lantern. Samus. Samus. Yes. The rest is Round one is Samus. Pro, yeah. yeah. And then Green Lantern. Yeah, the I don't know if she can deal with him in two and three. He's going to fuck her up. Though, if he throws her into space, she's fine, right? Mm -hmm. Well, she's uh, not fine. She's kind of just. If he throws her into the sun, she might the be fucked. Thing is, up. Again, she's quite powerful after Metro Dread. Like, the ending, she is quite powerful. But uh, unless like, I'm much mistaken, get... he can do anything he imagines. She does. So, like, it, her power level is almost irrelevant. He can yeah. just imagine that she dissolves yeah, in but space. But he's going eight. to imagine yeah. a laser is the thing, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't see. Like, well, is there anything she can do about him picking her up and him tossing her into the sun? No. No. Sorry, Even at her most powerful. To be honest with you, I guess she these could like, two... morph ball and then maybe get away, but then he just grab her again. Yeah. Uh, these two should be thankful they're even in this right now, considering what's going on at the higher ends of the leaderboard. It's a fucked yeah. up world, you know. 
Oh, Wolverine versus Optimus Prime is the next one. Ooh. Well, uh, um, I feel like Optimus Prime would shoot him a lot. He would shoot him a lot. Does Optimus Prime, could he shoot him enough that, that it wouldn't actually matter him? about his, you know, like, recovery? I mean, because, you know, like, Dark Phoenix could, like, obliterate, you know, Wolverine, right? Like, the healing mm -hmm. power is not going to help him too much. <laughs> like, if can't, she really can't heal off of zero hit points. Um, my word. guess Wolverine would be has... that Wolverine can cut through the metal that Optimus is made of. Yeah, he has killed yeah. a lot of Sentinels. Well, Probably. Optimus gets blown yeah. apart by, like, you know, guns. That's yeah. true. Adamantium so on, on Final Destination, Wolverine can get close enough to do damage to at least but disable if Optimus, Optimus Prime like kicks him off. Like if he just mm. kicks him off, then then what? Hmm. Yeah, Optimus might have round one. I don't know. Like I just I feel like you can't discount Optimus Prime kicking him. Yeah, he just has too much ability to move Wolverine, despite the fact that he can't necessarily injure him so much. He can just move him too much. So Wolverine yeah. sticks his claws in and doesn't get thrown off. We've seen that before. Optimus right? can't kill Wolverine. He can regenerate from a single cell. Um is that is that like Where if you blow up the cell? Where be operating from? I, I think that's canon, yeah. Yeah. But like what if you destroy how is Wolverine brain. not multiplying, then? No, no, he's been shot in the head and stuff, and it still he's revolves. No, I mean, what if he destroyed the brain completely? Like, yeah, the brain is gone. He still regenerates. Would he recover his brain? Dude, hmm. I yeah. think so, yeah. You're basically okay, going to have to throw uh, him into a sun to kill him. Dude. <laughs> he's a guy well, with claws. Why? Well, I think yeah, is, if, if, you, if you kick him off the edge... Yeah, because in round three, could, Optimus Prime could, like, scan a, a jet, right, and grab him, and then, like, fly him into a okay, space so, or something. Okay, so... But Wolverine yep. literally tanked a nuclear explosion. He's uh, well, he, he kind of a tanked bit more it, than a nuclear like, explosion. The guy with kinda... claws. <laughs> yeah, but, but Wolverine isn't going to survive in the vacuum of space, right? He would suffocate. Uh, uh, he would die. But... He would like, you know, come back to life if you brought him back to Earth again. But if I you guess. toss him into the sun yeah. from space, oh, he's fucked, sure, right? But... Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Surely the sun, he's dead. Yeah, or black hole. The sun, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> on the, in well, that case, that's the, thing, the first Optimus round, it, balance probabilities. I feel like Wolverine is gonna do everything he can to not get thrown off by digging his claws into anything Optimus offers. Though I think Optimus will be successful at least a couple of times out of however many. I, I don't know. And I'll just say. Him off. Yeah. It's well, like Wolverine leaps toward him and he just boofs him in the face, and it probably would yeah. be like, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> but what happens if Optimus Prime just steps out of the way? Then, like, Wolverine's gonna fly off into the abyss. <laughs> That's what I mean. That <laughs> one <laughs> could be said to be 50 50. Round two goes to Wolverine, I think, but round three then goes back to yeah, Optimus. Probably. Well, like, Optimus is on some Prime, stupid like, shit. Can he scan a spaceship or something, turn into a spaceship, and then fly him up I, into. I think I think he can far exceed that sort of. Isn't he like somehow responsible for defeating Unicron at some point? Because well, yeah, but no. but but not because not because he was more powerful, but because he got a thing that disables. Right, you know, that's the matrix of leadership, which I just looked it up. Is like a Jesus gem, and apparently it Ooh. it just like confers <laughs> yeah. access to the to the transformer version of the afterlife or some such shit. It's what? sure, yeah. why not? Why not? Well, okay, well, shit, that feels like, if yeah, the height of, like, the maximum the Optimus can get from the Transformers is probably pretty crazy, right? I felt like he had I round guess. three before that, so he definitely has it after that. Sure. Yeah. Well, so wait, Optimus, so that's draw that. I mean, they draw... It's right, and then it's a question of whether it's... But the question is, like, you know, round one and two, who, who do we have? Well, we well, think no, two. That round one sounded like it was kind of a 50-50. It could go either yeah, way. Yeah. Round two is Wolverine. Round three is Optimus. Yes. Yeah. So Chat decides. We're going to have to go with Chat. Yeah. You guys better know your your prime Optimus Wolverines. Very Wolverine and Rock. Yeah, this is this is all your fault, whoever wins here. Mm -hmm. it's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> now you bear the burden that we've been having on our shoulders for the last eleven hours. You gotta pick the correct one objectively. If you fail to do that, you failed the world. No, no, no pressure. And I really. will ban you. And remember, Santa will know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh.
There it is. Who wins? Wolverine, Optimus Prime. Decide now. Who do you guys think is going to... Oh, well, it looks like it's obvious already. Well... Yeah. <laughs> wow. Like, I was expecting it to be that uh, dominant. I thought Wolverine might beat him. Mm -hmm. I think Wolverine is more popular, right? He must be. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. I mean, he's like one of the most popular superheroes. Yeah. And I feel like Optimus Prime is not generally like people, feels like people pick like Starscream or like Megatron or uh, Bumblebee or, you know. Mm hmm Yeah. Feels sad that Boogie got knocked out so early. <laughs> I really thought he stood yeah. a chance, but I guess he just ran into the wrong opponent in yeah. He just ran into his counter, his direct counter. That sucks. Yeah. Like something joyful and, you know, loving and loving, happy. caring. Takes care of people, yeah. <laughs> uh it looks to be the answer is clear. Thank you very much, chat. You've uh, decided to push Optimus into the next round while Wolverine falls into the abyss, screaming and crying and pissing and shitting. There he goes. <laughs> you have to press it like that, don't you? <laughs> next round. <laughs> I feel like chat may have trouble with this one. We have, uh, I guess, the Slayer or Doom guy versus Santa. Oof. <laughs> Santa's mm, too okay. quick, right? <laughs> Santa's really fast. Yeah. And the Doom Doom guy is a glass cannon. Doom guy is a glass cannon. We still got some Doom guys in chat. A lot of a lot of hype for him, you Love know. To know how? Well, because he's yeah, from an but... IP where he gets to win despite all the insanity. That's kind of his thing, right? I guess. Like, well, I guess if Doom guy shot Santa with one of his guns, is that going to affect Santa? No. I don't think so. I don't think he has any way of damaging Santa. <laughs> you're going by the Santa Claus rules. Santa Claus rules. Oh, Where, fall off a roof. What are we drawing on to give Santa this level of durability? I'm like... it, since when is Santa bulletproof? I understand the, the super speed thing, but oh, uh, have, no we, have we ever suggested that Santa can be shot? I always took it as implied. Most people can be shot. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen Santa be shot? I didn't think so. I have not seen it. probably in that one movie or something. <laughs> Santa gets they, shot. They kill him in South Park. Starring Tom yeah, in South right. Park, he gets his kneecaps so... taken out and his balls zapped by Saddam Hussein's minions, <laughs> but he can be calmed. <laughs> so, so far, we've Jesus. just kind of established Santa's that he's balls. really fast, right? <laughs> Like that's basically all Santa's been carried so far by the fact that he's just really quick. Yeah, he's yeah, really, yeah. really quick. He's zooming around. We haven't really looked at any of his other powers there. And to well, be fair, he is still really quick. <laughs> the thing I mean, is, it's funny we've talked about him having uh, super speed. He's also got teleportation, from what I gather. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he is a massive that's dude. Like he has even a faster, just <laughs> run into you and kill you. He's probably quite strong. Yeah. Yeah. But like, if Doom Guy shoots him with a gun, I think it's fast enough to do that. Though. I don't think. Yeah, he's, yeah I, thing, I don't I think, think he'll have the speed for it. Too fast to hit. Like Santa just teleports behind him and snaps his neck. Boy, he's picturing Santa. It's not. It's not exactly a statement. Katana and teleports behind you. Yeah. Nothing personnel, Doom Guy. Oh. <laughs> I think it is. Santa has it. I'm sorry, Doomman. Yeah, yeah. I guess like does does his bag of presents count as essentially hammer space? Does he have whatever the fuck he wants in there? Like I don't know. Mm. It's Love basically a, like a infinite bag of stuff. Yeah. That's super chat though. Doom guy's Christian. He would never hurt Santa. <laughs> <laughs> True. Or maybe he would hurt him because he's Christian. Oh, Get out of here, fake Santa. Day. Now, we are in round three of the heavyweights. So, we, we've got Cthulhu and Q facing it off. That's tough. Is Q uh, both of them... would, could Cthulhu drive, uh, could drive Q mad? Is that possible? I, I don't think so. Q's level of comprehension is, on such a, is to such a degree that I don't know that it would be reasonable to say that Cthulhu can drive him crazy. Yeah, but that's in, I don't really that's in a character. world where Cthulhu doesn't exist, though. No, I know, but I just mean, like, his 
his mind exists on such a level that if Cthulhu yeah. were to be a thing that exists, he would quite easily be able to reconcile that. Because maybe I'm yeah. imagining this differently to you guys, but the way I imagine Cthulhu's like madness thing works is that a person, a human, when they see him or come to know about him, they can't wear such a thing existing with yeah. their understanding of how the universe works. But maybe uh, that's could. part of it. Thank you, yeah. could. Okay, but he, um, he, he can also like drive you mad through dreams and shit so like that as well. Like, and you know, Q, like, and, and delete things. Cthulhu. Can well, we do that? sort of, yeah. So it depends on what we're classing as, um, like, incapacitation, because Cthulhu exists in the material realm in one form, and we know that Q can snap the material out of existence. Cthulhu still exists outside of the material realm, but is yep. he incapacitated if Q snaps his material version away? That probably would count, right? As, I, I as guess Cthulhu like is the realm, right? Yeah. I think so. The he thing is, the round. So Q is That's described as being an unknown, a being of unknown origin who possesses immeasurable power over time, space, the laws of physics, and reality itself. That still feels like it's all within the universe, while Cthulhu is like distinctly out of it in terms of comprehending it. And mm. Cthulhu has a lot of, uh, sorry, sense. Q has a lot of emotional states, right? From what I understand of him, he does. Yes. Yeah. He is a very emotional being who gets bored. Like Cthulhu and... might make him big mad. Oh, yeah. can't cause... figure him out. Because um, the thing about like, if the description involves Q being like a master of the universe from beyond it, then you'd probably be aware of all of the great ones, so to speak, right? Like in all of their bullshit, he just <laughs> he wouldn't talk about them with his friends or something. But the fact that he's like a master from within our universe, which this is why I think Cthulhu's probably going to lose to the stupid fucking Tim tr Transformer guy. Because it's like, I don't think he could do anything to him. <laughs> I don't know if anyone could do anything yeah. to him. Um, the thing is, though, like, if uh, he has he has those uh, capabilities in a world where Cthulhu does not exist. So if Cthulhu do, do exist, like, would it be driven mad instantly because of, you know, the incomprehensible beings just existing? Is there no, um, not that I would expect There's... it to be, but is there no Cthulhu in Star Trek lore, like, completely? <laughs> There's no so. Cthulhu, but there are like weird eldritch beings and stuff like that. There, there's certainly, you know, old creatures that are, are powerful that exist. Q is one of them. Um, there's yeah. other things sort of like the Qs, right? Like there's other ultra powerful things. So I think that, that if they were in the same universe, the Qs would know about them already. Yeah, they would definitely know. The question is, like, would they be driven mad by it or not? I don't like think so. I think they would be, you know, beyond that. They're not human. They're not some some small-minded yeah. human who can be driven mad by the concept of something so large and scary. You know, they are large and scary themselves. It sounds like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is... So, I don't know that he would be immune to, to madness if he were standing in front of Cthulhu. I don't know that um, we're supposed like... to take from Cthulhu lore slash you know, everything to do with Lovecraft, that you're being driven mad by how big it is. It's more so... Well, no, the, that's not... Yeah. It's the data you're receiving yeah, I, is so incomprehensible to your senses, it drives you mad, right? Like, so I don't know that Q would be yeah. immune to that, especially when he doesn't have it in his own universe, and he's described to be powerful within the universe, not beyond it. I think, mm. I, think I would probably square it as Cthulhu has a limited effect on Q insofar as this is not something that Q would be familiar with and it is beyond them in a sense such that yeah this is something that can affect Q on that level just not in the same way as it would just shatter the mind of a human right does Probably Q like have to like see him. the the thing or the person that he you know puts out of existence or can he just do it like no no he can just snap and things happen he can yeah, do it from and it anywhere. can be on like the, the other side of the universe or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. entirely. Yeah, he, he can change time um, as far back as he wants. You know, he can, <laughs> um, oh, 400 seeing, years ago, this thing didn't happen now. I'm seeing a complete oh, okay, yeah. mix in chat. Shall we uh, we leave it to them? Whatever ends up winning? I think so. Because this one's a very it. tough one. Sure. I think you probably wins, but yeah, we can do that. Q is just one of those, you know, obscenely powerful things, and it's hard to kind of figure out how powerful he is compared to Cthulhu, an obscenely powerful thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know. By the rules of the game, like, all he needs to do is to get Cthulhu's physical form out of the woods in which the battle is being fought in order to win that battle. Like, yeah. whether he defeats Cthulhu 
completely is almost irrelevant to the question. It's just whether or not he can win the round, and I think he could. I think yeah, he could he win the round. Just yeah. win instantly all three times, I, I feel. I am not convinced, delete, 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 delete. but at this point, I mean, we, we've probably gone over everything. Um, yeah. The interesting thing, <laughs> more as a bias to his friend, Cthulhu, I wish, what a <laughs> cool dude he is. Um, <laughs> what's funny is I way prefer dealing with a Cthulhu or a Q compared to Robot. Every single time. It's like I'm not allowed to remember <laughs> it. Less said of that. Bullshit robot. Yeah, yeah. Where their powers are. Well, the thing stupid. is, do you know who I think has the best chance against Mr. Robot? It's probably Rick. Rick, yeah. Rick has a good chance. Yeah, you're right. Saitama could punch him. Saitama kill him. is the problem for him that he's going to have with a lot of these characters is he's, he's like not beyond the universe, right? It's like that they're. That's, that's what the, true. That's the power levels we're dealing with, like all these creatures that stand above puppeteering the world that, that, that sort of is like the borders of what Saitama can even do. So... Uh, does, Kirby, oh, though, no, if he absorbs him, he would gain all those abilities. through space-time... Has he done that? Extra-dimensional be Yeah. Does fucking erasure immunity Where they change one the power of fight, which is terrible, but... I think both Cthulhu and Bullshittatron exist outside of space time, though. That's sort of the problem. And again, outside causality means that, like, you could kill him in one punch, except that that's causal, so you can't do that. You could punch him, but he's still fine. Or he could decide not to be at any given moment. It just, like, you gotta get Kirby that. could you gotta unironically get the... win it just because he can mimic the power and just do it to a stalemate, and that's basically it. Saitama's gotta yeah. get that Matrix of Friendship. He's gotta do it. He's gonna grab it. Yeah. Yeah. Which I guess he could. He just go have to go find it, right? But then, then he's How lost round one and two. A whole yeah. space time causal. It's like that's breaking causality. Mm. Yeah, but the act of breaking it is itself causal. Once you're outside of space time, then causality ceases to factor. But you're you're breaking out of causality within space time, so there is still a causal relationship between yourself and the breach you're creating. I would have thought. Mm. <laughs> Once you're past it looks bridge. like our votes are pretty solid here. That's solid to you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not moving. Oh, that was I thought Q was going to win. Even... Okay, well, it's a close so one. Uh, th this really is just down to whether or not... There's, no, there's never going to be an answer to this. And even if there were, it would be biased toward the fucking IP, right? So, yes. Yeah. But yeah, okay. Well, chat, you've once again... Even 52 now, apparently. All righty. Um, okay, yeah, Cthulhu wins, which pushes us to Saitama versus Rick. Oh, if only they could have worked together against the uh, dumb robot. Damn. <laughs> so, round one is good old Saitama. Saitama. Yeah. Yep. But round two, the question is could Rick create some means of getting around Saitama's ability to do one punch? And or could he even get out of the forest fast enough? Or could he not just use a portal, like shoot a portal underneath Saitama and drop him out of the forest and win by default? Hmm. Oh. Saitama, like, Saitama's very, very quick, but he's also gauntless. Yeah. So that's true. That's true. I, <laughs> I feel like though, if if they put a portal underneath him, he probably would be like, whoa, and then like he can fly. So he'd probably like stop himself yeah. halfway through, look at him, and be like, what have you done? What is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they tried to do that before. They uh, He was thrown out in space. They tried to throw him through a, uh, a hyperspace portal. He just grabbed the portal and <laughs> moved it out of the way. <laughs> any, any scenario in round two that entails Rick and Saitama like, being within visual range of each other before Rick has left for however long it takes him to find some way to win results in Saitama winning. I would totally so. see memes of Rick opens the portal, jumps through, starts tinkering, and then he hears, what are you doing? And he's right behind him. And he's like, yeah, fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can see that. I can totally see that, yeah. Um... This could just be a battle that it's unfortunate because I feel like Rick was the fucking silver bullet for the stupid robot. I think he can't, but, but he's out because Saito was going to be him. Saitama, yeah, I don't think so. Well, like that's unless you entertain mm. like joke answers. Like Rick goes and gets Saitama some like discount coupons and says, <laughs> "I'll give you these if you throw the fight." 
Oh. We, yeah, we, we are sort of invoking the joke thing. Like, cause there's no way I don't think in Rick and Morty that you can kick portals or move portals around. Like, if you just drop him through a portal, like it would be funny to see him kick it out of the way, but I don't think that's something that you could actually do. That's the whole point. Like, those things that you're not supposed to be able to do. Like, he did, he, he's so powerful from doing basic um, strength training. It doesn't make any sense. Well, you sound a, shit. Why is he in this he's round? He's a gag character. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm he saying. He should be disqualified. He's, a, he's absolutely... I don't he agree. sounds I awesome gag is what this he is, sounds like. <laughs> this is, we're dealing with, once again, if you have two continuities, one says you can eat rocks and it gives you powers, and the other one says eat rocks will kill you, it's not like one just automatically wins. In Rick's <laughs> universe, you cannot do what uh, what Sidema does in his universe to portals. It's like that's it have to be respected if it were Rick's portal that he's trying to uh, fuck with, I guess. Why why do we have to They need to step out? Well, because why should Saitama get scary. the benefit? He seems like he always gets the benefit of his lore over anyone else's. Then why why does Rick get the benefit then? He doesn't because it's his portal. That's, yeah, like that, that's, I think that's uh, fair. He creates his, the his portal, weapon. So it's his the, Rick would be getting the benefit Sifo if he could just him, shoot Saitama with a gun and kill him. him. Oh yeah, but he can't do that because that's disrespecting Saitama's side of the law. Like it, that makes sense to me. It's it's like a constant struggle. This is the difficulty of doing these fights. But like I said, I'm inclined to say that Saitama wins this because I don't know what Rick yeah. could devise to kill him. I don't know what it would be. Yeah, like, why would it work? And how could he create a counter to the One Punch? The One Punch just seems to work, like, always. And if it doesn't, then then there's the serious punch, it, so... That's right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, he just, he would need to, like, portal him into the sun or something. But that wouldn't work. That like, would Saitama oh. would withstand the sun. <laughs> People are mad that Ghost Rider uh, got mean... beaten by Rick. I don't know how else to explain it. Ghost Rider's not immune. He's not Saitama. Uh, Rick is kind yeah, of he's like... he's not Saitama. Rick, Rick is like a fucking god-level hyper-god. Like, he, if there's anything... This is why I we know, wanted... I know that you think he's cringe, all right? But, like... The thing about Rick is he's going to <laughs> figure what out does. what... It, so, the only people that can't be beaten by Rick are going to be people like Saitama who don't have, like... There's no book you can read. There's no device you can create. He's not going to be defeated by any of that. Best thing to is defeat Saitama can be creatures beyond the universe, which Rick is not mm. a creature beyond the universe. And yeah, I'm sure Ghost Rider's pretty insane. That's fine. We do have limits. Nobody That's here fine. knows so, everything about yeah. Ghost Rider. We did some Googling. We looked at his powers, much like many other people. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, not everybody gets to make it through. I'm sorry. I like Ghost Rider. He's really cool. You guys, the headless you know, horseman. Of yeah, the headless like horseman him. didn't make it in, you know, and he was my favorite. I yeah. got him in here just, so he, <laughs> and he just died. Still broken one. up about it. Dude. He's gone. He was oh. the equestrian hero, and he's just not here anymore. <laughs> hmm. That is proof there's no bias here. Precision accuracy. Rick was beaten by a god. I thought Rick beat the god. Unless we're yeah, talking about he was win. saved. Wasn't he saved by Summer and Morty when he was fighting Zeus? Oh, damn, I can't like remember. Like, he held his own, I think, but... Is a, a blur. Yeah, anything after season three is a blur for me, but like, I think he held his own, but he had to get sort of bailed out in the end. I'm just wondering, like, for the, for the purposes of the rules, though, if he were, like, if Saitama were just portaled out, say, into the sun, doesn't matter if he can survive the sun, he is out of the woods. Is that technically a ring out, or...? Mm. I mean, he's, again also so fast that time could basically be stopped for him. Yeah, yeah he's he's like the flash fast, right? Saitama. Yeah, yeah, he's I mean he was so fast that when um Genos tried to kick him, like the light that he had like created yeah, he was just like, chasing like he still his, looked like he was in front of him. Yeah. <laughs> That's how fast he is. So is it don't you don't you can't give a crap about Saitama law when you ignore Ghost Rider law. What do you mean ignore? I don't know any he of it. I googled the powers, the I read them out. Made... We did the best we could, I'm sorry. I know you like out. Ghost Rider, time travel. and I know and that it's important. That about it, <laughs> if you're that upset about it, consider discounting our opinion because we're uninformed. If there it you go. means yeah, that much fun. to you. Like, well, I mean, that's right. Ultimately, they, like, we all take it this way too seriously. <laughs> it doesn't change much anyway because Ghost Rider's not beating Saitama. Nah, yep. no not way. Happening. I don't care what abilities he has. Because they say, like, he would set his opponents on fire immediately. And it's like, 
Wait, Sonic's going to just punch him, and then that's it. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's not going to do shit to Sonic anyway. And then, like, roll around on the ground to put himself out. Like, ah, ah, shit. I wonder what the oh, pen and stare yeah, would do. Exactly. He'd do st I don't think it would work. Wait, is, like, would that count as mental like manipulation, psionic something? I don't know. Or does that count as like and ritual Sonic's cursing? Sonic's going to be immune to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also, like, if Ghost Rider can do, like, Scorpion-level fire spells, like, that's not really going to do anything to Rick if he's already through the portal. He's got magic. He's got sin manipulation. What does that even mean? Whatever, man. <laughs> wow. <Like, laughs> um... Sides him and beats him for one punch. That's it. He just punches him yeah. and it's over. Are, they, are we, are we <laughs> agreed Sides has got this? Yeah, comics yeah. Character I think Sides him and beats Rick, yeah. 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 I don't like it, but yes. Well, the main thing I'm <laughs> no, sad about. I find it funny. I sides of a winning is it's just amusing because he's such a funny character. That stupid robot's about to just clear up, though. Yeah, uh, please, man. Which is lame. Oh, Theo, you have no idea. <laughs> The next but one how, is Unicron. You know, if oh. Saitama's whole shtick is, oh no, he can't actually die because that's his shtick in universe. Like, how can anyone beat him? Because I we're basically creatures allowing beyond... for the concept of destiny. That's what I'm saying. I think creatures beyond the universe will be able to deal with him. I'm sorry. But but surely he could just do a funny and stop them. We didn't, we've never entertained funny rules. I don't know why people keep saying that. We don't do funny rules. <laughs> uh... Thing. Like, I find it funny if he wins, but funny rules don't override, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. just like how things work. We don't do funny on I want Saitama to beat the fucking robot. The stupid sure. Gigabot is going to will him out of also, existence, so. Speaking of the Gigabot, we got Unicron versus Dante. Uh, Gigabot wins, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. Dante can't no. even hope to scale to that yeah, sort of level. Yeah, what can he do? What can he like, do if create like, black the, the only... The only way he scales to that level is there's there's a funny argument that power scalers have used to try and scale Dante. I'm just going to say it because it's funny. I think it's a really stupid argument. So in Devil May Cry 1, Dante defeats an, a boss called Nightmare. Nightmare is a uh, an enemy that is said to have the power to end the demon realm. Uh, and the demon realm is said to be a place of like infinite dimensions, essentially. People have taken this transitive property to say Dante has near infinite attack power because he can because he defeated a being that could destroy an infinite space. Yeah, but that sound oh. convincing. Unicron, though. <laughs> I, I don't think that sounds convincing at all because that's not how properties yeah. translate. Like he hit it with a sword and shot it to death with his guns. Like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, the stupid Gigabot wins. <laughs> OBS is like yep. lagging like crazy right now. I'm hoping it stays stable. We've got like another 20 minutes before we're gonna get kicked off. Yeah. Um... All right. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it'll figure itself out eventually. Uh. Let's see. So wait, are we just? I mean, it is going to Unicron, right? Yeah. There's, there's no way. There's no way. I'm so sorry. Who's gonna have a hope of beating him? Um, oh, hey, you, Kratos. Uh, Kratos and Mewtwo are next. Hmm. Mewtwo. How does Kratos sense. deal with Mewtwo's like mind control? Yeah. I'm not does sure he, he does. I don't think he does. Yeah. I don't think he... It's gonna be mm. tough. Um, Kratos oh, has done Kratos some... Kratos losing to a Pokemon. It's like, uh, <laughs> could Kratos like, break through the mental manipulation? It's like, maybe, but I, I don't know. This EFAP needs get, a redo? Like, I don't think we're gonna redo it again, again break. anytime soon. He break out of crowd control effects like mind control with Spartan Rage? I don't know. Yeah. There would have been times where he's like mentally manipulated and he breaks free of it, depending on um, yeah. what he's dealing with in particular games, but I don't know. Mewtwo's pretty powerful. Too angry? Yeah, I mean, because <laughs> <He's too angry. laughs> Mewtwo still has to kill him, I suppose, right? Going with his mind. Yeah, that's the thing. And would he be? Can he do that? Is he like in a position to do that? Does like with his powers, to beat be... the fact. Like, yeah. What happens if Kratos just gets his axe and just like slams it into Mewtwo's neck? I mean, Mewtwo could presumably use psychic and telekinesis to stop it. 
maybe i guess it would be a matter of like would his would his psychic abilities be strong enough to just counter the raw physical strength of kratos uh, since that feels like it would be a factor he creates entire storms in that first pokemon movie and he does like he i think he uses like very very strong telekinesis that like he can move heavy heavy mm. heavy objects and he creates yeah. like massive explosions as well, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got I, some I feel like, energy manipulation. Because Mewtwo stuff, could yeah. like throw him off in Final Destination, and Kratos wouldn't be able to recover. Yeah, can he use the Blades of Chaos to recover? I don't know. Ah, uh, oh, well, he, he wouldn't, wouldn't have, have those. Yeah, at, uh, have yeah, not in round one. Oh, uh, I'm just yeah, that power outage, unfortunately. Um, well, all right. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this oh. uh, it could be considered pretty close. What are we voting for? Mm. We'll go that direction. It sounds to me like it should be Mewtwo. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Sadly. I, I don't know enough about Mewtwo's power to make a case for Kratos, sadly. Yeah. Mewtwo sounds bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, <it's bomb. laughs> That's these characters. Is he a bit glass cannony? Like, would one solid attack fuck uh, me too up or no? I think if Kratos no? punched him, he dies. So... Well, uh, that's my thinking. Like, any physical attack that lands would kill him. But what what coalescence of circumstances uh, create? How, do, how does Mewtwo deal with, like, Dropnir? Is, is it, is it kind of like a Heimdall situation where, like, it's too much for him to handle? I think he's a bit beyond Heimdall, but... Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. I, I don't know. The mind control seems like it's pretty powerful for a Mewtwo. A lot of mixed opinions yeah, in chat as to whether or not. Can deal with that. Should we do another poll? I can. Do we have the time? We're running low <laughs> on time. Well, the thing is, this is getting recorded locally, right? So the, technically the stream can go further than the limit, as long as they just won't have the full amount when it's uh, finished processing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Alright, chat. We're going to have to give you literally like a minute and a half for this. To figure out who wins out of Kratos and Mewtwo. We're getting so close to the end. Almost perfectly timed. Someone might say. They were nuts. Mm -hmm. um, Alright. Your time starts now. Go! Get the votes in! <laughs> it's funny because I saw uh, two different people say it like it's obviously the, you know, the one and then the other. The other, yeah. I do love that. It's <laughs> obviously a lot that. To people saying it's obviously diametrically opposed <laughs> answers. Yeah, I, I've seen that for basically every single matchup. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, one minute left to vote. I suppose we could start figuring out the next one while they're voting. Figure out the next one. Which is yeah. a yeah, Goku yeah. and Odin. Uh, Goku. <laughs> Goku doesn't have Don't super weakness to magic, and he just overpowers hacks stuff. Yeah. So I, I guess Go Goku wins, even though I'm really he's not kinda, happy about it. He's dumb and easy to trick, but the problem is he has the ability to just brute force whatever he gets tricked into. Like yeah. in his in his universe, if your number is big enough and you power up enough, you can defeat like complex special abilities that do particular things. Yeah. He does it so many times. There's a guy that like devours energy, and it's like, oh man, this this is a real problem. And the solution he comes up with is, I'm gonna power up a lot and release a lot of energy, so the guy eats too much and blows up. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Hmm. Uh. Well, from what I'm gathering, people feel it's uh, it is Goku who Goku. wins this one. Yeah. Which um, I think you know, it's, it's it's we're at the we're at the end of the game now. Okay, these are these are the hyper powerful characters in all of fiction. Yay! Also, uh, it looks like Mewtwo has won. So sorry, oh, Kratos. Interesting. Huh. I'm gonna reiterate how depressing it is that you just used the words. These are the most powerful characters in all of fiction, and there's a fucking transformer here. It's just <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was such, not expecting this, honestly. Such hatred. Well, I didn't know about the power levels of fucking Unicron. Actually, it's uh, something that as suggested. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll throw a bad guy transformer in there. I guess. <laughs> Little did I know. Omni Man versus He Man. He Man's oh. invulnerable. Yes. So. But that's round two and three. And that's only for as long as he doesn't really get that sword taken off him, which Omni-Man might 
you know, Omni Man doesn't yeah, have Omni any kind Man of Omni Man maybe has enough. strength to break his grip. Yeah, but He Man ends the universe or something? Does he not? Like, <laughs> no, he, he can. He probably um, won't. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, can he end the universe before Omni Man like picks him up, flies him into space, and just leaves him there? Uh, still I mean, just I don't know ex- I don't know the mechanics. I, he might have to be at Castle Grayskull to do that. We do need to consider that He Man has the power. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, must have the power. Good point. So it's uh, so many people like Omni Man, Omni Man, Omni Man, and then people are like, no, He Man, He Man, absolutely He Man. It's like Everyone's I don't so know. confident in their guy. Yeah. Like it's obviously yeah. He Man, and it's mm-hmm. obviously Omni Man. It's, like, um, it's almost like it's obviously they're both really strong. So it's, it's crazy. My tell. guess would have been would the, the speed that Omni Man has. He's going to be able to get that sword from uh, from He Man. But He Man does have the power. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> and Omni Man's got, man's got a lot of power, too. too. <laughs> it, might not, it might not be the power, but it's certainly the a power. power. I think the yeah. speed might be the tipping point. I, I think. Yeah. No. Yeah. Omni Man can fly so He-Man fast he ignites the atmosphere. Replay. That's fun. Hmm. Yeah, How it's quaint. Like... He Even must have looks fast. over like, hmm. I mean, we're going to have to make a choice anyway, so it seems like Omni Man has got it. I think it's Omni Man. Yeah. Yeah, my vote's Omni Man. Yeah. All right. Kirby versus Greed Lantern. Well, Kirby's a... just gonna suck him oh, up, yeah. and yep. uh, then he's got Green Lantern powers, yep. and and Green Lantern's dead. So that's <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why he's got this one. This has you Green Lantern suck him up before Green Lantern can potentially grab him. Especially yes. if, if Kirby's got the star, like he can come down on Green Lantern before he's even ready to react. That's the third round, so, yeah. right? So like in, in round, round two, two, in round, no, round two, two, he gets the star. I'd say that seems like yeah. a base level sort of gear. And if he has a star, he can stop time. So what? there's that too. I don't remember Kirby I, I getting a star in round two. When did that happen? Here. Oh, do we wait? I th- I thought that was just treated as because Kirby default is just Kirby, right? Like yep. with all of his powers. So Kirby with gear, it's like he's got his mouth. No, not necessarily. Right, Homer doesn't do get any gear because his standard loadout is Homer. Oh, um, hmm, ah, uh, hmm. And to be honest okay, with you, I think, think, I think everyone is um, way overestimating um, Kirby's like, suck range. Like, I don't understand yeah. why we think it's automatically it's just... Not that... It's not that good. Yeah. It's, very it's basically a range. melee range weapon, isn't it? Because like, yeah, you can Green still Lantern, punch Kirby like, if you've got a longer weapon. If he captures Kirby, I'm not even sure what Kirby can do. He wouldn't need to capture him. Like, as long as he's out of range and can imagine some way for Kirby to die, then Kirby dies. Kirby's a mortal, ring in round one, you, though. you can't but... kill him. Yeah. In round one, he no. In round one, Kirby wins for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So fair. Kirby and in round, round one three, and three anyway. And in round three, he would have his star, which means that he can both That's... fly and stop time. Uh, yeah. So, so it doesn't so round two doesn't even matter, right? Yeah. yeah. He <laughs> like round two doesn't matter. That is Kirby wins. Wait, does he get to hone in on anybody in the universe at will with the star? Well, it's the time. It's the fact that it can, it, like it, ha- it gives him some amount of control over time. That gives him a huge edge. But like it wouldn't matter unless he knows where Green Lantern is. But he's is there any re- well. I mean, surely yeah. it would be the I same first? problem for Green Lantern, right? Of finding Kirby. Yeah, yeah, and so if he finds Kirby first, Kirby's fucked. Yeah, no, because Kirby, Kirby would have his star. Green Lantern well, first, no, then he can't fucked. use the star if he's trapped by Green Lantern. It, it, Why? But that's the thing. Why? It would have to be like stopped and stopped completely instantaneously or Kirby can use the star and stop time and swallow the Green Lantern. Yeah, so it's whoever ambushes the other first, right? That's what we're doing? Uh, who do we think would ambush the other one? Can... Also, people mm-hmm. making observations is probably worthwhile. How much backup does Green Lantern have at level 3? Does he have like a core helping him out? I don't know. I'm not familiar I mean, enough with Green Lantern. Does he have? Do they have like ships in the? Well, it's just Green Lantern Corps, so that like it's like a police force. Help. Well, sure, but um, I guess like sort of faceless lanterns that can help him out. I mean, at that point, Kirby's going to have difficulty because as long as one of them captures and then sends him into the sun, right? That's an option. 
No, he wouldn't. He would live through the sun. Could he? Can he get out of? Oh, the sun? Kirby. Though? Kirby would what absolutely if you just, live through the sun. What if, what if you just imagine a big, like, metal, impenetrable box and trap him in it? Does that count as a win? Uh, if he has access to the star, he can teleport. Can Kirby survive a black so, hole? Probably. I mean, he, star we, get probably out we, might have, yeah. we might have a guy the who could take down Unicron. Run it. <laughs> like, he could eat the sun if he got thrown into the sun. Uh, he, he actually has stars in his stomach, so, like, this is not some new thing he yep. he does eat stars um like burning gaseous stars or things he eats kirby um, contains a black hole is there a black hole inside he, he, kirby he contains several stars um yeah, but the can, black can you eat a black hole though like that he, if somebody could it would be him uh <laughs> he he can you know um he has a, a separate dimension inside of his stomach so that's kind of black hole e right um, if you attack him with uh here's one that could work against the green lantern if you attack him with something he can inhale the attack and reflect it back against you so could he inhale the green lantern fist and reflect it mm, kirby's lore well, suggests well, yes so just y'all thought steve was so op now look at what you're discussing you guys voted him out that was your decision not ours we let you, we let you Kirby's decide. disgusting. Well, if I'd known Kirby was in this, I would have told you. He's they killed Bugs Bunny Leo and Pete. Steve. Right? They could have been here. Steve might have been able to do something against the stupid robot. So there he goes. He's dead. Bugs Bunny definitely could have. He can also <laughs> turn his uh, his enemies uh, to into his friends uh, by absorbing their morality. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> like yeah, that, that one's pretty heavy, That's man. Right. He can. So if he threw that at another Green Lantern, oh shit. Uh, people are talking <laughs> about um, funny, right? Parallax, He, he takes the away way. the morality and they become his friends. What is yeah, Parallax? Would he can Green himself too? Over Parallax? Would he have control over him? Like at level 3? And why what, would what is Parallax? Par isn't like Parallax that he's like a super duper cosmic entity, like a, green, like a typical... He's one of the Green Lantern villains. Hmm... So like I'm wondering why would why would a Green Lantern have uh have control there? And and even then Kirby could just throw the thing at him and then rip Parallax is on his side. Yep. Yeah, and Kirby and also, can duplicate Kirby isn't too. afraid of anything, so it wouldn't even work. You know, Parallax wouldn't scare him. I mean, it sounds like Kirby uh, has so it. So as as the thing said, Kirby actually beat up the sun in one of his games. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, he's fine. disgustingly We're powerful. Kirby. Um, uh, I'm willing to give it to Kirby, especially because uh, we're so close. We're getting there, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's give it to Kirby. Uh, all right, so we have... Uh, where is this? Oh, right, yeah. So, wait, uh, what was the void win out of Wolverine and Optimus Prime? Do you remember? Uh, Optimus, uh, Prime. Optimus Prime won Optimus, as a void. Yeah. Yeah, chat I guess it doesn't. For him to win. It might not matter because the next foe is Santa Claus versus uh, Optimus Prime. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, shit. Uh, well, rip Optimus Prime. <laughs> Santa, <laughs> Santa defeat Optimus. Does he have the power to do that? Santa yeah, would have take the Optimus. Force. Yeah. Turn him into a bunch of little Optimus and give them right? to the kids. Yeah, that's right. But it's made out of metal, though. Can they actually like break through uh, the thing? He's very fast. That's all we really established, right? Can... <laughs> I love that we keep reiterating. He's he in he's fact fast. very so fast. <laughs> he's like, like a screwdriver or a drill or something. He's to, probably to Optimus Prime and yeah. Assemble him. Oh, what about Tier Three though? Does Optimus get like something that's going to make him? Mm. I mean, what he turns into like a disgusting gets? god entity. He gets back up from Unicron. He... <laughs> He probably is Unicron in his final form. Like that's probably. Well, he gets he gets the thing that controls Unicron's access to the afterlife or whatever it was, what right? What the fuck are you talking the power about? Power like, <laughs> Isn't that well, what wait, it was? at that point, it still might be Optimus. Then no, no, because Santa wins round one. Santa probably wins round two. Right? I fully yeah, believe every word you just though. said was true, and I hate it. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, we've got to keep moving. So what do we think? Metal is the is the thing. 
does he have to punch, punch through metal or can he just yeah. be so fast that he goes and gets, you know, a thing and crowbars off a piece of armor and gets into... I think Santa could probably no get a gun, right? Round one. I mean, they're on a little platform in round one, like, surrounded by nothing. That's true. I, I, I don't think Santa has the damage potential to defeat Optimus. Yeah, That's the yeah. best one, either. yeah. Hmm. I, I can't two, think of a signature three, Santa Claus right? attack. The thing is, is that if, if you're able to go infinitely fast, then you have infinite power, right? Because you can yeah, hit but you something kill yourself infinitely fast. The, 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 yeah, if you're not, you need, to be, you, need to be, you need to endure that. And can Santa but endure he it? could just as easily, you know, well, I guess in round one, he doesn't have access to anything. So he just splatters himself onto <laughs> onto onto Optimus Prime, <laughs> just turns into a little red spot. <laughs> um, but round yeah. two, I think he could win because he could just like you know grab a, a rock and run with it and let the it thing go. Is, Santa can teleport yep. to any <laughs> part of the world at will, apparently. Which means yeah, but he's so he could teleport out and then work on a solution after its prime. God damn it! Get the elves to work. <laughs> that's, as far as I understand, can he teleport yeah. back though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the phone would be able to. Uh, it, it's not part of uh, whatever. <laughs> it's it's the same rules as we had with like uh, Rick, yeah, and, Rick, yeah. And, uh, Doctor Who. Yeah. Yep. Dude, his normal strength uh, is augmented on Christmas Eve to lift two tons. So, uh, okay. So How much is Optimus Prime? God damn it. Well, that would he be his level rip, three rip then. His head off then. Um. Oh, God damn it. I think Santa has it. Are we? How are we feeling on that? Mm, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. But he's going down <laughs> soon, right? It's like Santa's not going to be able to survive much longer. In fact, Santa's next foe is Kirby. Yeah. Ooh, well, shit. <laughs> well, we got. Damn, he's in trouble. <laughs> we're on round four. We'll get there. We've reached, I think, the YouTube cap, but the so the stream will no longer be complete, but the re-upload will be. Um. All right, Cthulhu versus Saitama. Um. So Saitama I can't. is Saitama susceptible to becoming like yeah. mad? I think so. He's got to be. I think. I think it's, it's not really a matter of like psionic or telekinetic abilities. It's more so a matter of like Saitama actually trying to comprehend. Saitama's right? just a guy in terms of I like don't psychology. Think he would care. Yeah, because he's <laughs> like, oh, oh, is this something that can actually fight me? Well, like, oh, if he, if it's something that can he can fight him, then he would care, if, right? No, but that that but what I mean is, I don't think he'd be scared by it. He'd be happy about it. It's mm. not. The, you you Cthulhu, can't think of it that way. It's not entirely how apathetic about yeah. it. If Cthulhu appeared in One Punch Man, that's like, how it would play out. However, it's more that he's like retarded. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how much the argument stupid would to be that scared. He's like too dumb to be scared of Cthulhu. I don't know about that. I think no. he would be. Like, you don't he, would, he would that understand power. that it's something that he should be. You, you don't want to give up that power. You're giving Goku a free ticket to win. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Goku could take out Unicron. Is that what we're hoping? If if he's I too mean, dumb to be like fucking erased or whatever, he has the attack power to kill Unicron. <laughs> I think I think that Saitama isn't too stupid to be irrationally afraid you... by a by an eldritch being. Well, it's not fear, it's your brain Madness. can't comprehend it. Yeah, yeah, like it's not. We're not arguing. Saitama would be like, "Oh God, a foe I cannot defeat." It's like, no, 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 no. It's just beyond him, beyond anything in his mind. Like, Saitama right. is seeing two and parallel and lines you... that meet halfway and through. Could he even like... could he even go and punch Cthulhu? Is that even you know like if he punched the, whatever the manifestation would be in you know his dimension, would he be able to have that transcend into other dimensions? I think he could. He, he could one punch Cthulhu's physical form. Yes. That's, that seems yeah. That I mean, seems like he's yeah. Being so. messed with by a, a villain called God, which is a, calling itself God, which is an extra dimensional being. He doesn't care. Um, oh, and for the record, someone said you've done it now. You kicked out Tran uh, Prime Man when he could have taken out uh, Omnicron. He has to beat Goku, Omni Man, Kirby, and Santa. Those are the four people that you'd have to get past. I don't know if he's doing yeah. that. Optimus he, he Prime's cool, but he's he it's it's amazing he got this far, to be honest with you. Really it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um so on the 
the note of the Saitama one. Uh, do you want to put it to a vote? How's everyone feeling? I feel like yeah. it's obvious. I think Cthulhu, Cthulhu would should win. just win it. I think Cthulhu. Right? I, th like, I think it's a natural counter in a way that well, the it only way... sounds like an overwhelming vote for Cthulhu already like the, exists on the panel. The, the only yeah. way you get out of that counter is by just asserting that Saitama can just no sell going crazy because he <laughs> doesn't care. Which it, seems it, like it was the immune to psychic abilities things, yeah. right? Which technically is what Cthulhu. Well, is doing. the thing is, is that Cthulhu isn't like a. It's not like a psychic yeah. ability that he's performing. It's 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 literally yeah. just you the see nature him of his existence. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, I mean, he does, he does both technically. Like it, he also does like psychic bullshit, but uh, yeah. yeah. But it's, it, it's, it's just that fundamental. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it sounds like there's like four or five votes here for Cthulhu anyway. So. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. I mean, but he's already got a, a villain like that that's messing with him, and he doesn't care. Uh, yeah, but that villain's not Cthulhu, right? Like, specifically Cthulhu? No. I'm trying to figure out, like, how he'd wrap his mind but... around Cthulhu specifically. Because psychologically, he's a guy, so... And he is just, a guy. And, and just bear in mind, the... all of the past, like, 20 top people have been described in their own lore as basically, like, unkillable, unstoppable. It's like, we gotta... And mm -hmm. Titan still beat them, so... <laughs> yeah, like... And if that's the case, then Cthulhu also beating them still makes a case for it, him, too. It just strikes me as the perfect counter matchup. Like... I, it does. It seems oh like he's one of the few things I that could... apathy personified. It seems like this is like the worst match. I don't think he's, he's like apathy personified human, even, but that like, wouldn't even counter. I mean, that wouldn't even counter Cthulhu. He is, mentally speaking, a normal human being, which is, that's the axis along which he, Cthulhu would be attacked. And Saitama like, totally God, cares about all kinds of stuff. Being. Where are you even getting that? Saitama is normal, normal, normal man. Saitama's whole appeal is that he's a normal man. Yeah. The idea is that he broke reality yeah but like the the whole he appeal of his normal... character is that he's super appealing to the average person because he cares about like the sale in the supermarket or like getting his yeah, pennies like he, in order. exactly he's got very relatable which make... normal yeah which doesn't make any well, sense well doesn't, that doesn't make him apathetic to everything about... it's the opposite i i mean we we know that he isn't he's... like completely apathetic because he makes choices to try yeah. and like save lives and and help people and, and pursue his goals, even if he's bad at, at attaining them. Like, he's not completely apathetic. Yeah, sure. Completely. And so if he's even not complete, and I don't even know if apathy necessarily even makes a difference. I don't think that counters Cthulhu. But it's, uh, you could be apathetic. Yeah. Like, there's people who are apathetic in real life that, of course, would... The whole idea is this beyond their comprehension. It's beyond their capacity for understanding the universe. <laughs> And so he would just go insane yeah. looking at him. Yeah. Cthulhu's a bad addition to this list. He, how can you not argue what? that everyone at the end is that? was a really <laughs> relevant addition to the list. What I really like about I, Cthulhu I is he's got... Like, oh, well, they're really powerful, so they should be on the list. When the well, whole point is there is a hard <laughs> counter to Cthulhu, by the way, that is still on this list. Eric, it's a hard counter to Cthulhu. It's Kirby. <laughs> he has Kirby. madness immunity. <laughs> Oh, does he? Well, know? okay, wait. Well, okay, so we got that one. Uh, it's Unicron and Mewtwo. I'm assuming Unicron. Unicron crushes. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. I want to point out the it chat does. that apathy does not mean an entire. You're just disinterested in living. All right. No, I get, it, but we agree that he's apathetic in many aspects of his life, including the hero work. Yeah. Right, that's a big part of it. But he still cares about all we'll kinds of it. things in his life. He's not like yeah, like sure, he, but not that about... kind of. Uh, again, he's. Gone up against reality bending. Is it against? I mean, he like the mist it would be a mistake to think of Cthulhu enemy. as the next enemy. That's not what this means. It's to do I with. Even think of him as a... I don't care. <laughs> That's my point. Is that I, he, sh I mean, he shouldn't I, be conceptualized know, like... that way. That's not. You shouldn't feel apathetic about Cthulhu because he wouldn't have any trouble beating him. That's not the nature of that being. Nor yeah, that's... Cthulhu. Well, yeah, because Saitama cared enough about Boros to pretend that it was like a real fight to just give him the thrill of a fight. You know. So, like, I think I think he cares a, a decent amount, really. I think we should all just be very, very thankful and and grateful that something came along that defeated Saitama. He's now gone forever, Damn. so he won't win. <laughs> Platoon oh my on. god! <laughs> well, What's next that? we got Goku and Omni Man, and I'm assuming Goku clears. Yeah, I'm sorry, Omni Man. Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> As you can tell, though, we're coming to the last few now. Kirby and Santa Claus is Kirby, I assume. 
Kirby. Yeah. Uh, yes. I, I, I'm gonna make an argument here. Uh, when Kirby sucks off, uh, sucks <laughs> off. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, you know, he, he becomes imbued with little, like the power of goodness and all that. Um, and so he realizes what a horrible little piece of shit he is, and he kills himself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Kirby is a very wholesome, happy lad. No, he's, he's very a horrible awesome. little shit with a nice <laughs> he's exterior. Incredibly no, he's awesome. not. He's a hero who tries no, to save isn't. the world. He, he, he kills go. people all the fucking time, eats their souls, and like <laughs> <laughs> he does eat their souls, but in a like, devouring monster. Someone suggested like Kirby it. goes to suck him up, but he opens up his gift bag, and so his yeah. infinite presence just going to Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think Kirby has like a capacity limit though. No, he doesn't, but the no. thing is that neither he does that sack. <laughs> it just keeps. Doesn't, going. Oh, doesn't no. Kirby... DDD have like a sack of infinite shit that he throws at Kirby though? Like he's the arch enemy. Sand to King DDD, they're very similar, similar, people, yeah, maybe. similar characters. Mm. Clearly, based on yeah. the same. Kirby role. consistently beats King DDD, so you know. ah, well, yeah. Kirby I think we're, we're going with Kirby, alrighty. Yeah. Which means um, we're down to our so final Santa four. So Santa is out. Santa's yes. out. Yeah. Santa oh. came uh, all the way up from the woo. middleweights. He did. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But then he met Kirby, and it was over <laughs> for. <him. laughs> I so. disagree. I think he would kill himself. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we have crowd, Cthulhu Santa and Unicron. Now, from what I could tell, Unicron would be immune to Cthulhu. Oh, or... oh, I don't, I don't know why the fuck because Unicron <laughs> would be going crazy because he just does like. Well, it Unicron... seems like he just creates Cthulhu's on the regular. Like, he creates Cthulhu's. <laughs> He's also a robot, so he doesn't have. It, it... He, like, he was like chaos person personified, right? Yeah, yeah and so chaos this, motherfucker, yeah. this motherfucker transcends like multiverses. He is a singularity, apparently, meaning like he exists just one of him across the entire Dude. multiverse, and he just chooses which universe he exists in at a time. This shit's so <laughs> funny. It's like quick facts about Unicron. Played by Coleman Domingo. He's like, oh cool. First appearance, 1986, <laughs> the Transformers movie. Number of universes destroyed, trillions. Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow. Like, what do you mean? Trillions of you. Why? I mean, it, there's infinite space. I mean, trillions the number you can get to. Infinite yeah. strength, infinite stamina, like, nigh omniscience, nigh invulnerability, and infinity durability to go on top of the nigh invulnerability, you know? Like, <laughs> apocalypse inducer. Yeah. Is he, uh... he induces apocalypses. He has possession, apparently. He's considered a Calamity cyber, hell. Cybertronian like entity. So is he susceptible at all to Cthulhu? We assume no, right? Not a chance. No. Yeah, oh, right. no. Not. Which means he exists, he exists in the multiverse. Like In which case But Cthulhu really... exists outside the multiverse. But mind you, don't they both technically exist outside of everything? Cthulhu's like outside the outside. universe, right? Yeah. Or beyond. He's outside existence, isn't he? Like he's not just outside the universe; he's outside of the cosmos. Hmm. I was going to ask. Interdimensional if... in some way, yeah. When well, you know what's funny is making Unicron go insane would probably destroy even more. Yeah. You just like would make him more around. powerful. <laughs> um. Can they? Can they both in like instantly and at the same time comprehend each other and die? <laughs> That would be nice. <laughs> they both go you know, that's the thing, though, right? Like, Unicron would be, in his true form, another eldritch being. He would be one of the, the great old ones, maybe. So I think he would even more easily understand Cthulhu. Yeah, I mean, he would be in a similar, similar scale, for sure. Well, uh, it, I think we're all uh, aiming toward uh, Cthulhu's loss, so... Unicron getting I'm close to the town. I don't understand how anything can be. I just don't understand what can beat this stupid fucking robot. Like, I don't well, understand what can beat this fucking the, robot. The Optimus penultimate Prime battle yes. it is Kirby versus Goku. That's uh... really. I think Kirby unironically is able to eat Goku and. Yeah, he can just suck him up and take his powers and kill him instantly. He'd yeah, have he a couple of minutes where Goku's but, just looking at him like, hey, little guy, you're pretty I, cute. Hold on. I have to raise the stupid thing again now because okay. like because of mm -hmm. the nature of Goku's shit, he can just power up and not be eaten anymore. Like I don't that... think I don't think that's 
Is that's that just possible? that's just how Maybe. things work in his universe. Any like complex weird ability like that is defeated and overridden by being more powerful. Okay, but the thing is that he has to be that fast enough before he gets gobbled up, though, which would only also, take it, a couple of seconds. It assumes right. there's no and, equivalent in Kirby law, right? Because Kirby presumably has some sort of equivalently bullshit mechanic whereby he can swallow anything, no matter how like powerful it gets. Right, and he's he's infinitely strong, really, because um, he can't be damaged. Right, and he's immortal, so he could just suck him up. And and even if you were to try to, you know, get through him, once you're inside, he's eaten your soul. <laughs> yeah, that's it. yeah, like but the horrible little shit. Shit is. Over. If you're <laughs> if you're eating his soul, that's probably that's probably just it. Right, like he can uh, uh, outrun a black hole, apparently. So, like, I I think <laughs> I think he's probably okay with. Sucking up Goku, and and yeah, well, you know, Goku has can like, Goku fly though. Yeah, Goku can fly and has Kirby and can, and, and teleport. Kirby's and got has a, reactions. Yeah, he's, Kirby's got to get range, range, like, in range. The thing is, once Kirby does the suck, it's he stun locks him, so that's it. Well, but he has but, to get close. He has to, to do get, this. Yeah. Like, to do we have suck. not really solved the problem range, of the range of the suck. That's true. So does he even stun lock him? Like, but doesn't fair? but Kirby can get like the ultra big like suck right where it's like makes it a much more <laughs> oh, dear powerful God. one than the one in Smash Brothers isn't that the case like Kirby has like a super duper one he sure does well super yeah suck. we gotta yeah, be careful like, because one on one pain. hand like Saitama's law did not save him but Kirby seems to be overriding everyone else's well it's I mean, just that Kirby has so many powers. The big suck. That's the thing. He can Go suck. Goku's Goku's lore is that let's if he's if he's caught in the big suck and like he's getting pulled in and like he finds that he can't break away, he can power up and now he can. Can he power up quick enough though? That's the thing. Can he like do it in an instant? Or what it or does he need to like scream a bit and then he <laughs> and then he gets powered up? Well <laughs> here's the thing, is he also has instant movement. He has the Oh thing well shit. Alright, that makes he has sense the thing where he just here. teleports away. He has so. instant transmission. And, you know. Uh well shit. Um but well, that, uh, that's a big can, problem, then. Can, an, can attack power that can destroy entire superclusters of galaxies damage Kirby in any meaningful way? No. Cool. Yes. No. <laughs> well, hang the fuck on. Like, Kirby is defeated in his own games and in Smash Bros., so how's that happening, then? No, no when he's defeated, it's, it's not like he loses because of a thing it's just kind of like defeats he just kind of gives up a little bit because he's he gives up you know... a little bit <laughs> yeah <laughs> that counts as a victory for goku kirby gave up a little bit like i think we should <laughs> fuck the little fuck <laughs> like, kirby's truly ridiculous right like he's absolutely so disgusting is... kirby wins canonically you know like what does that mean Smash brothers what 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 is what is the nature of the canon of Smash Brothers of like well Mario punched him and then he loses like what is is Kirby significantly nerfed in order to fit the meta? It's that Kirby Super Smash himself. Kirby, is sur Kirby survived the Super Smash at the beginning of, of Super That's Smash. That's true. He, he, he did survived. survive He's... against like the because of the style allowed him to teleport. That's true. Yeah, he's it the only one who like... survived. Most heroes of most properties canonically survive the property they are the hero of. That's that's yeah. I guess what I'm trying to, it's like, what does it look like if Kirby gets, you know, punched, right, by like a regular enemy? I think he goes, ow, Kirby? and then sucks. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the problem. <laughs> if you're getting well, close enough to punch Kirby, then Kirby can suck you. <laughs> We've got to like change the term to inhale. <laughs> but like, do you, do you get the Snap whole Kirby in the face and like, just continues to suck? Theo said it a few times. It's like you're you've decided the suck will overpower the you can't suck me. The 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 suck law <laughs> well, beats out the you can't I, suck I me guess... up law. <laughs> but then we got to decide how much the like Goku's abilities overrides the Kirby's seeming invulnerability. It's it's tough, right? Like all I'm telling you is what he has, and he has everything. Well, <laughs> all I'm saying is the Kamehameha has like atomized near invulnerable foes before. Mm. Like, isn't that also more of a ranged weapon? Like Kirby's range isn't great. No, like, if you can take it's not, distance, isn't great. 
but he can suck up your your superpower comma uh, you know whatever it is he, he can can't suck, it up, suck and... up lasers can he, he, like, can. he can suck up shells he, but he can't like, he sucks does. solid matter he can't no, suck he up, sucks up lasers too he can do it he can't suck lasers <laughs> You're making that up. He can suck up explosions. Uh, he can suck thing... up... I, mean, I think we're at a stalemate. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's one thing that maybe changes this in the third round, and that's a technique Goku he... gets access to called the Mafuba, which would he just can seal Kirby away in a such pot. Such as star powers and magic. Seal him away in a pot. <laughs> yes. But does Kirby's lore allow for that to happen, Theo? Oh fucking no, man! <laughs> also, for all the people saying he can suck up lasers, he can't in any of his appearances in Smash Brothers. All right, I'm just putting it out there. Well, that's one property. We're not using just one so, property. Well, it, true. it's arguably a lot of what people know Kirby from. Well, wait, is that yeah. the argument? Does that like supersede the actual Kirby games that are yeah, like? Because we, we've been using comics lore anything? for stuff earlier. Well, and, like, I know nothing about comics lore for though. many characters, but we have been using those. We actually have yes. been da darting between all kinds of lore, so I think it's relevant to mention yeah, it. That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, th I think it's relevant. It's just how much does that override the lore of the Kirby games? Well, um, the Kirby games themselves, is there a fail state? Yeah. You can, yeah. you can lose. What well, is it? it? Again, it's just but I know, Kirby kind of gives about up the a little bit. There are Dragon Ball Z games where Goku can lose, right? I haven't so played them. I wouldn't like be able to answer just... that question, but I'm assuming so. Well, that's got to be like... It would be silly if you can't lose. <laughs> Go Goku dies in Dragon Ball. Like, what happens? He has... Fail Doesn't states. he go up to yeah. heaven with the weird, like, not racist alien creature? Isn't that a thing that happens? Wait, what? Uh, yes, yeah. he's there heaven. for a little while. Uh, apparently he died to a heart attack. So oh. He did in fact die to a heart attack. Was he old? Or is he, like, stressed out? No, no. he had a special he, disease. He just, oh. just random new heart disease just sniped special him around disease. midway there's, It's okay, series. though. There's a cure for it in the future, and they got their own Kyle Reese. Yeah. Oh. By the way, Dragon Ball has time yeah. travel. But can Goku... Oh. Travel through time. Um, he is friends with a person who has time travel devices. So we can't use named characters. That's cheating. In that isn't case, it? yeah, then that that's off the table then. But uh, right, but again, Kirby can also stop time, right? Like that's Goku can that... overpower stopping time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm not joking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there is a villain, there's a person well, he fights called Hit, whose power is stopping time, and Goku beats it by being more powerful. <laughs> Hit can stop more time. Powerful. Like, because, like, I think, because he's I think this stronger, one is just such can stop bullshit, time right? for less time. Yeah, this one's the worst it's ever been. Like, Kirby's such bullshit, and Goku is such bullshit. Yeah, the, like, the moral it, of the story the, that everything's bullshit and we all lost. The crux of, the crux of it is, do we accept the Goku is able to damage Kirby in any way? Yes. He can make him slightly sad. Yeah, if, right. He can well, make him, he can if, make him if not Goku want to win If Goku is able anymore. to damage Kirby, Goku wins. If Goku cannot damage Kirby, Kirby wins. What I don't do you think, think he can do any physical damage to Kirby. So, like, he, can, he, he fires, he can... like, max power, like, spirit bomb, stupid fucking whatever beam at him, and, like... It, it does nothing to Kirby and then destroys the entire like universe. Kirby swallows it. Kirby. Kirby, Kirby, it. Kirby swallows the heat death of the universe. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It, and he like that's the thing. He he can do any uh, 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 power attack at him, right? Like that's the thing. Um, when Kirby loses, he just kind of is like, oh, that sucks, I lost. It's not like he actually dies. Yeah, but like, can we count that as a loss condition? So that <laughs> yeah, we, can we lose? definitely have before any kind of disable or defeat in a significant manner that's even not death still counts, but... I so, feel this is a, a poll we... thing, because I don't uh, I'm, I'm, I feel I'm, like I'm I hovering over the start poll, I'm ready to go. Yeah, to I the chat. throw it to chat, you decide. Because yeah. they're both bullshit, no matter which one it is. It's like... <laughs> right, and I was just more strategically than happy for vote based on which one we think can yeah, be Unicron. Like, this one is, I, I think, yeah. oh god, they're both just like lining up to get eaten by Unicron. Unicron. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby falling into the lead. I think the best way to beat Kirby was with depression, and it failed. But it's very close.
Chat is torn. Holy fuck. <laughs> Kerbleton's pulling ahead. He's pulling it. <laughs> Half the chat is wrong. There's a member of the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Not my oh, wow, heart, though. Not my heart. I just want everyone to know in future, whenever people have this conversation, you can refer to this part of this EFAP. This is the truth that's going to yeah, go on here. We've we've solved it. Like, solved ignore it. all those power scaling communities. We've got it. It doesn't matter what continuity, it doesn't matter what games, shows, comics, anything, or any particular... It doesn't even matter about rounds anymore. It's simple. Kerbleton, 54. Rumbo. <laughs> well, <46. he's> <laughs> Fucking Kirby, bro. <laughs> like Kirby wins. Like, I... Nice. Uh, I'm Dude. not some Kirby super stan here, you know? Like, he just is overpowered. Well, there's something wonderful about the na notion of, like, they're entering the stage, the stupid robot and Kerbleton. <laughs> and Kerbleton just, just gives his little walk, miles, waves. He's <laughs> <laughs> just this cute little pink thing. Uh, but, um... Against, like, a colossal robot. Well, so what's... I feel like Moriarty made it up all... I'm just reading his wiki, man. I'm reading you what's on his wiki. If you look it up, he has so many powers. His power level is infinite. What? What is that? How do you even... His power yeah, is that's infinite. Yeah, the same as reading the wiki for, uh, yeah, like for how Unicron's got all this bullshit. Hey, that's yeah, just yeah, like... Uh, total bullshit. That's just like Superman. He lifted a book ability. with infinite how do you like pages. Cosmic hunger. How do you like, uh, yeah, cosmic you, hunger with uh, a subcategory of multiversal destruction. How do, you counter, how do you counter the induction of an apocalypse? I don't know. I, you swallow it up. You he swallow, swallow, it. swallow, it. swallow you up the goblins. apocalypse. Well, he's, he's, got, he's got apocalypse inducement, and then he's got also got calamity hell, which is apparently the ability calamity to... Hell. Wait, the ability to initiate repetitive Armageddon states. <laughs> <laughs> like, Dude, I hate when is, that happens. Uh, Armageddon you need more states. than one? Oh. <laughs> He's just, it's like a playlist of Roland Emmerich movies that just keeps on going on repeat. <laughs> oh, you know what it feels like? Is like the guy who made that thing, his friend had like a bunch of normal stuff, like super powerful, can destroy planets, blah, blah. And then he took all of the descriptions and then added like things onto the beginning of them, like the destroyer of planets that destroys planets, the greatest fear cosmic death of portal vortex, black yeah. hole eating uh, intelligence bombs. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's like, How do you feel about this? Death than embodiment yours. slash death aspect manifestation. <laughs> oh, well, uh, it's well, like a fucking. Would you like to hear? So, cool does that just has mean... resistance to death manipulation? <laughs> Is death aspect manifestation you just like summon Let, a ghost? Let's, let's have a look. Concept of being that, that, that an would aspect be the Grim of death. Reaper, wouldn't it? We killed the Grim Reaper earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, Unicron can bring him back. Or is this Kirby? Yeah. <laughs> this is Unicron. <laughs> oh, Kirby okay. can do that. Not even mental sure. Dish. Mental <laughs> disorder manipulation? <laughs> what? Uh, what? Well, I what? mean... <laughs> does, what? does Kirby have immunity to, like, mental manipulation? He does, yes. Okay, yeah, it's gonna so. help out. <laughs> Well, what is I mean... mental disorder manipulation? So I oh, see your right. autism, and I'm going to raise yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, it is the time. The power to manipulate mental disorders. All right. It's time for the final <laughs> round. Unicron versus he Kirby. Has power. He has Kirby goes squish. If Kirby can gobble him up, you know, then he gets all those powers. Yeah. Kirby just gets willed out of existence. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, yeah, but I mean... Kirby can outrun that. <laughs> so this is the thing. You guys okay. had a lot of hope for Kirby. I'm not entirely. I was waiting to find out why. Why do you think Kirby can take out Unicron? Eat him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, please bear in mind, Kirby just you know enjoyed his life in the universe. Just goes that he's dead. Is Kirby <laughs> also like under <laughs> foot he's, tall he's, too? Is he like really tiny? Yeah. Remember he that doesn't this... have any health. He can't lose health or gain health. He's yeah. not. That's cool and all. Willed out of existence. Elbows don't die. <laughs> like, yeah. This thing is he multiversal and exists in whatever universe in that multiverse he yeah, chooses the thing is, at a given can moment. Can do that before Kirby gobbles him up? Yes, because yes. he exists yes. outside of causality as well. Like, like Kirby do, can't causally I, swallow the guy. I do like the idea that Kirby's like, where's that unicron? And someone just points up and he's like, 
Oh, I'm going to get him. <laughs> he starts doing his recovery jump. He just starts jumping. <laughs> jump, oh, no. jump, jump, <laughs> jump, 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 yeah. <laughs> if Kirby can go back and, and find the corpse of Optimus Prime and swallow him and get the, the Matrix of, of love, oh. then, then he can win. But otherwise... I think he has to lose. This fucker yeah, has yeah. time manipulation, by the way, apparently. Only mid-tier, so, but Wait, he has run? time yeah. manipulation. We don't want to make him too yeah. powerful. Does that, out, he, he I think that outclasses Kirby's time manipulation ranks? He only has the time stop with the star. With the star. Damn. Also, he's got the, the, that embodiment the thing, of foolishness thing is, power, which could be incredibly good. I don't even know that Optimus Prime would have been the thing to kill Unicron, because surely in these, when you run no. these scenarios, he just gets fucking vaporized. Yeah. It, well, how do they beat him? Be how do they beat Unicron? Free, I'm gonna go ones. ahead and assume for me it doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> like, in terms like, of... I mean, if he if he has yeah. the ability to create black holes and stuff, then well, probably multiple not. Dude, or whatever. This, this shit was written by a five year old. Like, yes. damn. <laughs> the, this is all the cool worlds I thought of doing this day. This is my OC death robot uh, kill man. He has all of the powers. His strength is <laughs> well, maximum. And, and, does, yeah. What is it like if you have the Matrix of Friendship? Do you have to just like hold it up and press a button or something? Because like even that would be too much before Unicron can vaporize you. Surely. Really, I think that what could have taken him out was a headless horseman. Exactly, yeah. and you all yeah. laughed. That's like, what we all needed. I love that. That's what we all like, needed. Like Kirby's on the ropes. You know, he's had his toughest fight yet, and then in the background of the shot, you know, over Unicron's shoulder, you can see <laughs> riding awesome. in on a horse. <laughs> Throws his <laughs> head at Unicron. Right up and just throws the pumpkin head at him. <laughs> Swings his axe smashes. and in one mighty blow. You just want to see as well, like, holding his hand out, grabs Kirby's hand, throws him onto the back of the horse. He's like, let's go, buddy. We got this. <laughs> and Kirby eats him. And then Kirby eats him. <laughs> at that point it's just kirby with headless horse but, but uh, uh, as the funny. horseman is getting swallowed he's like i understand <laughs> oh. oh all right kirby so... who ate the headless horseman even look like what, what <laughs> he would look badass as fuck is what he would look like is he just a pumpkin head he'll be the top kirby? half is like... god it's just fire yes. oh a little so, Kirby horse. Unicron. Well, Unicron is the winner. That's the thing. I Congratulations, feel like Kirby... Unicron, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> well, you know what? Wouldn't it be interesting to know what chat thinks, though? You know uh, chat will not allow oh. Unicron to win. They don't like him. <laughs> Look, girl, I, I have Over more faith. Kirby, I think, though? I think chat will, will come to the correct conclusion. I'm you know, willing to give it to chat. I, I think that they'll yeah, be nice to chat an objective win, on yeah. this one and figure out who wins. They could be objective. Kirby will swallow his insides. <laughs> okay, uh, all right. All right, I I'll see. get it going. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> I think I they've just, been very fair. It, I'm curious. No, yeah. it's fair. To be fair as well, I want to throw in just one of the dudes who got knocked out earlier as a sort of like, because he, he would have maybe stood a chance. I'm just curious what they think. You can vote for him or not. It's up to you. <laughs> so now you know what people are going to vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's competitive, lads. He's competitive. Is this <laughs> he wins. He's in the running. <laughs> it's the gun, I swear. It's powerful. Oh, he's winning. Oh, he's winning. Boogie is the one who knocks. <laughs> Boogie is the ultimate life. Garrison there as well. <laughs> oh, Garrus. First soldier down. Oh, he's beyond time and space. <laughs> Good god, this has been an insane street. It's 12 hours. The longest we've done in a while, Fringy. I am yeah, I'm ready I know, to go eat something. Really, really I say this. Uh, like, I'm just realizing what the time is like. Yeah, the whole day. Yeah, the whole day is gone. Part. It's like you <laughs> skip a day. Sadathrax wasn't there. Yeah, I know. I Unfortunate. I'm sure he would have loved this. Though, if he were oh, here, yeah. he would have wanted to discuss every one of them down to the details, and I think we would have had a 24-hour stream. <laughs> uh, it would have been longer, yeah. We would have to split it up. All day gone. But, uh, I mean, what can I say that looks like the chat have chosen? You said they would be objective about yeah. it. 
they were objective. <laughs> Unicron, yeah. for all of his many powers, he has not won the hearts and minds of the people. Unicron came last. <laughs> he was third place. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you do love the idea that like, Kirby on the ropes, the portals, music comes on, and out comes Boogie, like, <laughs> with his gun. <laughs> Shoots Unicron once and he, like, explodes. It's just a bad, you know, like, p like small explosion, real life one layered over him. It could be the uh, crack team of, of, of Boogie and Bugs Bunny, and they both have, like, <laughs> shotguns slung over their shoulders, walking out of the well, voted Bugs Bunny out, That's the question. So right? I think Steve would have been knocked out legitimately, but Bugs Bunny, is yeah. he one of the, like, ultimate characters like Kirby? Is that all we learned? I think he's I just think so. far beyond his, his cartoon bullshit. His damage output might become a problem at, at a certain point against some... Yeah, Some but opponents. He can avoid the thing all with the bugs is happening. that his mo is their opponent is his opponents defeating themselves essentially. So yeah. he he can yeah. leverage his opponent's attack power against them. What, what would happen with Bugs Bunny against Cthulhu? I, think I just imagine say, what's up, Doc. I, I just he imagine just... he takes one look at him, goes like, Ugh, then holds a mirror up to Cthulhu, and Cthulhu goes. <laughs> 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 Alas, we will never know for sure. Mm -hmm. Boogie's kind of just dominating, let's be fair. What yep. a yeah. Unicron being left in the dust, which is... Because what have we learned from this whole ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny? It's that it's really just down to how silly you write your character. <laughs> in yeah. terms of what Dude, they can Unicron's do. just oh, built oh, with bullshit. bullshit. Can I make my character? Yeah. <laughs> the same with Kirby. Kirby's just built with bullshit. Yeah. I can kind of respect Kirby's bullshit more though. There's something about the Transformer winning which is deeply and existentially depressing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm gonna spend some amount of time over the next few weeks trying to find something that can beat the stupid fucking Transformer. Yeah. <laughs> He's Wait so until you come OP. up with Kirby. The shit version of a Gundam, and it's the most powerful thing in the universe. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, Dark uh, Energon. I, I just wasn't expecting like that character well, yeah, to like uh, be so dominant. Well, because a couple of characters got boosted by us reading their like respective lore. Santa being a big one, he he got so far <laughs> from his. Remember, he was like a middleweight yeah, class did. boy, and he got to like the final round. But um. I was misunderstanding. Still Kirby. <laughs> uh, Headless Horseman didn't even get past round one. I mean, I just wanted to highlight that. I wish everyone understands that's a tragedy. Mm. But um, yeah, you know, learning about Unicron, I thought when Ad suggested it, I thought he was like a big, scary Transformer. And that was that. Like big yeah. cosmic robot or something. But he's a little more than that. He's um, just a little. He's everything yeah. more than that. But we did highlight, like, I still, well, what do you think about Rick's potential to beat him? Do you think it's just a matter of he just vaporizes Rick before he can do anything? Well, yeah, probably. No, based Rick can't on the get away from him, is the thing. He's, like, nigh yeah. omnipresent, and he's multiversal. Rick can't and all multiverses. Yeah. So what's Rick gonna do? He'll just die instantly. Yeah, it's a big but he comes out of Rick. every portal, and there's the big stupid <laughs> robot, right? You know. <laughs> right what about if Dr. Which Manhattan person? gotta go? Because he canonically is no, like, he can disapparate into, like, you know, particles, but he can always reform. That's like a part of his thing. Yeah, uh, but couldn't Unicron just delete that universe from existence, including all of the matter in it? I think that's yeah, Manhattan's that's weakness, time, much dude. like many in this fucking standings. They're all bound by their universe. Such weaklings they yeah, are. Yeah, not like this stupid robot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple how, here that are beyond Optimus... their universe. How does Optimus Prime beat him if he step fucking? Well, th that's what we were asking about. Is what's the nature of the matrix Our friendship, of baby. leadership or whatever? How does how does it work? Because this is the thing: if you say like three, two, one, go, then doesn't Unicorn just go boom? You're dead. And whatever Optimus Prime yeah, exactly. needs to do with that matrix, like, does he even have the time? I mean, he would know that Optimus Prime is gonna go get that thing, and he can just delete him before he gets it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I wonder if he will be mad at the ultimate winner. I think he <laughs> earned it. I mean, yeah, I well, think so. Boogie. Yeah. I'm I'm super hungry, and uh, oh, I'm I dying. Like but 
if we're wrapping up, let's get everybody to talk about what they're up to before you go, okay? That's that's how we end these horrible nightmares. So, <laughs> <laughs> why, don't, uh, why don't you go first, since you need to go eat, which I, I think maybe all of us probably do at this point, being humans. Um, Hi, I'm Moriarty. My YouTube channel is really cool, and uh, I have nothing that I've got out recently, but I have a couple of videos coming out soon. Um, one's going to be a four-hour-long thing about uh, the meaning of living not the meaning of life but like the act of living oh. shown through a review of uh, the outer wilds so that'll be fun ah oh, cool well that's wonderful thanks for coming on and for spending such a long time with us you defeated metal's timer mm -hmm. you went to sleep the little german yeah, I mean, at one point i was the third longest uh, uh, person on this you know and now <clears throat> I can't remember who was here at the not. beginning. I think most of you mm. were actually, right? Uh, yeah. was not. I was a little bit late, but... You know, the, 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 it's the legendary team that made it to the end, okay? They saw Boogie through that finish line. Um, <laughs> Mark, what about you, sir? What are you up to, sir? Uh, tomorrow, uh, I guess in about uh, six and a half hours oh, or so, <laughs> I'll be on um, <laughs> Metal Sforge talking about uh, Furiosa and uh, some Mad Max stuff. So uh, that, that's the next place you'll be able to find me. Awesome. If you're awake in time. Do you want to give us a quick spoiler-free thoughts on Furiosa? Because I don't even know if I'm seeing it. It'll depend on what people say. I mean, it's it, it's not fantastic, but it, uh, it's not altogether terrible either. Like, there, there's some decent action scenes in it that make it all right, but uh, the story's kind of stupid. And it, it feels very redundant just being a prequel. I see. Like, a prequel that, it, like, leads directly into Fury Road to the point that I guess this is a bit of a spoiler. The last few scenes of the movie are just footage from Fury Road. Well, all righty. So I assume you're going to sleep as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm like I'm lying down as we speak. Luckily, I'm in a setup where I can like turn my <laughs> mic around so that yeah. It's, that makes a lot. I'm pretty of much going to pass out the second I turn my my screen off. Um, little platoon. I see you've targeted that young, awesome indie filmmaker Zack Snyder. Uh, why why do you keep badgering him and his wonderful sci-fi adventures? What's uh, what's going on there? I know. Can you explain yourself. It's really mean. He he's a trier, and I support new up and coming people who've not got a long and unbroken record of failure behind them, destroying many many franchises. Um, but you know, sometimes the truth needs to be said, which is that he's a shit filmmaker and he can't tell stories. No. So there's a nice long um, wow. nice long yeah, four and a half hour video. Oh, that's both Rebel Moons Part One and Two, which was probably the hardest job I've ever had any like, getting anything past copyright. Mm. Absolute bastard. Um, but. Yeah, that, that that was fun. Next thing will probably be, I think, Doctor Who actually, because that's Ooh. interesting me at the moment. Oh. Yeah. Did you yeah. see? Like lots of people. The newest episode. Sorry. Not yet. No, I've, I'm one behind. I think be... or two. Is it two now? I'd be very interested to know what you think, because uh, I happened to watch it against my will, and uh, not not the boom <laughs> one, the one after that, and uh, it is a fucking baffling episode. By the time the ending hit, <laughs> I had no idea what had happened. Um, I've seen people's theories, none of it makes sense, and I wish you the best of luck to have your brain remain intact. It's like looking into Cthulhu, basically, that episode. So. Oh, fantastic. I've got that to look forward to. Thank you so very yeah. much. <laughs> also got the rings of power soon. Oh, no. Ooh, fuck off. <laughs> another Lovecraftian <laughs> element. Uh, well, Gogo, what about you? What are you up to? Where can people find you? I'm not doing much. Watch uh, Eve Ab movies, uh, War Movie Arc. Yeah, which uh, yeah. they're going to be coming out slightly faster soon, right? This is the middle of the yeah. year. It's going to be two every month, starting you. Beautiful. Yeah, what about you? You, you? you making fun of someone's movies again? Or is it still uh, the Avatar live action show? <laughs> I'm still on the Avatar live action. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's just so much. So, yeah. Well, One day. plenty to look forward to. Are you planning on covering any uh, any movies that have come out lately, or not interested? Mm, I, don't, I might uh, post videos. You gonna you gonna want to come back to talk about the third Ryan Johnson Knives Out film? It's on the way. It's called I, it's something like The Dead Man or something. Did anyone see the trailer for oh this? Oh my! Well, it's not a trailer. It's like I a did not. It's like yeah, a little little thing. Kind of no, this is promo. Of, huh. Promo graphic. I get to see Benoit Blanc solve another mystery by being retarded. Oh, exciting. Oh, yeah, it would be really <laughs> amazing and cool. I'm so glad that those movies exist. 
I will gladly torture you with that if you're at least semi willing. You know, I wouldn't want to. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, but well, I, I guess uh, uh, Fringy, is there anything uh, you would like to mention, sir? Rather than just saying you want to, you know, the deal. Leap. It's working. <laughs> Hmm. No, I was about to say, like, not right now. I'm, yeah, like, I'm not doing any... But, you know, tomorrow back to work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, the deal just working. Beautiful. Well, thank you all so much. This is the longest CFA we've done ever that's not an anniversary? Yeah. It? it might be, at least in one go. I think, so. I think we did a two, uh, two in one once. I don't know how long that lasted for. Well... No more short man comments in this comment section. <laughs> and hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you guys have fun. Stupid. Obviously nonsense, but like, you know, <laughs> we tried. We did our best, okay? Between it, Jimmy Carter solos yeah. this whole list. <laughs> 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 a lot of autism and a lot of fun. It, was, it took a while to set up. I thought that the brackets were kind of fun, but clearly there were little errors in terms of how to organize everything. And, uh, it was so hard to make consistent rules. You must understand. This is insane. Just quickly, because the <laughs> chat's asking what I'm up to. You know the deal. Similar thing to Fringy. Same old video featuring Joseph Anderson. You know, that's me. Go on. <laughs> Wait, you're going after Joseph Anderson? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, turns out Yay. he made a Darkest Dungeon review, and it's really bad. But it being oh really bad isn't... Oh the thing I'd want to focus on is just within that review is the perfect example of a bunch of stuff to do with RNG that I want to talk about. Oh. <laughs> That'll be interesting then. Wonderful. I hope so. Um, sorry, I didn't re I thought I'd already asked you. My brain is No, that's okay. I I, I right assumed now. you just figured it was business as usual, so oh, I usually try and do it anyway just in case. You never know, you know. You guys oh, come up with crazy projects all the time. Um so you can say not don't sub to my channel, you know. <laughs> sub to everyone's channel. Uh, is there, was there else? Is there anything else to say other than we're probably gonna go now? Hopefully, you had Thanks all for the hanging fun. out, everyone. Oh, and for the because so like, I just saw the super chat chat. Tell no, no one tell about the JRPG characters that would like destroy Omni Unicron. It's like, of course, we we really did. It, this was all very much mainstream. Okay, we had a couple of maybe ones you didn't recognize, but uh, oh, I know. Thanks for throwing this together, Mola. This was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, yeah well, hey, it's a good time. Yeah, I'm and just glad whoever it else may somewhat. have with setting it up. Oh yeah, I had some uh, advice and input from a lot of different people, but um, you know, it worked out. Uh, Boogie won. <laughs> That's what matters. Yep. <laughs> the, the king himself. <laughs> Who else was it ever gonna be? I mean, it's it, it, it. I mean, Steve from Minecraft. I mean, maybe if we brought him back from the mm, from the graveyard. Boogie, though, I don't know. Headless horses. Also, you can't be salty about any decisions that were made by chat. We are immune to such things. Uh, I agree. Right. I still feel bad about Garrus. <sighs> well, they decided chat got rid of Garrus, so I would have kept they him. They killed him, yeah. I shot him in the back. They killed him. He wasn't even I would have kept him, of won. course. Okay, anyway. <laughs> we should definitely exit. Thank <laughs> you so much for watching. We shall see you in the next thing, whatever it may or may not be. But for now, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, 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 bye,